Chapter 850 The Arrival of Gods Silence. A long silence. The patriarch stared blankly at the stargazer in front of him, and suddenly felt a strong sense of impending death. The smooth skin on the surface of its body shrank sharply, and while its round body shrank, layers of wrinkles also appeared. Why? Why? Since the last punishment of world destruction, we have never stopped praying for countless standard days and nights. Why? Why do the gods want to punish the world again? Faced with the clan leader's repeated questions, the stargazer remained silent for a while and then began to explain again. I don't know the reason. But, 300 standard days ago, the stars changed strangely again. In the night sky, stars began to disappear without warning. At first, only one or two stars appeared abnormal. But as time goes by, the stars disappear faster and faster. Today, thousands of stars have disappeared from the night sky. Speaking of this, the stargazer pondered for a while, seeming to be recalling something in the history of civilization. There have been such visions before. After that, the second punishment of annihilation occurred. The patriarch's body trembled slightly, and he asked the stargazer in a low voice, You mean, the big meltdown? The big meltdown occurred 35,000 standard days ago. When a stargazer was observing the night sky, he suddenly discovered that the number of stars in an area of the sky had suddenly decreased. What followed was an unexplained death within the group. The body of a dead individual will spontaneously dissolve into the sea water. Only those individuals hiding in the deepest part of the inner sea managed to escape. Yes. The stargazer gave a resounding answer. Abnormal astrology. The outer sea area is gradually shrinking. All this indicates that the third punishment of annihilation is coming. The patriarch twisted his body irritably, swimming back and forth in the cold water. Finally, it stopped in front of the stargazer. Tell me, what should we do? Facing the clan leader's gaze, the stargazer didn't hesitate at all and gave the answer straightforwardly. Start the big prayer ceremony again to pray for God's forgiveness. After completing the prayer, go to the deepest part of the inland sea and wait patiently for God's response. Big prayer ceremony. Very different from the standard day and night prayer ritual. The routine prayer ceremony requires only one prayer person, while the big prayer ceremony requires the participation of all clan members. Routine prayer rituals can be performed by simply rising to the surface of the sea. And the big prayer ceremony. You need to go to the ruins of the gods to proceed. The relics of the gods are the relics left by the gods after the first punishment of annihilation. According to legend, it was the mount left by the gods here to awaken the world. Originally, the ruins of the gods were on the seaside. However, as the outer sea area continues to shrink, the distance between the gods' ruins and the ocean gradually increases. To this day, Traveling to the ruins of the gods is a difficult challenge in itself for the jellyfish. Plus increasing temperatures. It is foreseeable that this big prayer ceremony will lead to the death of a large number of tribesmen. Therefore, the patriarch subconsciously wanted to reject the stargazer's request. But I think of the two punishments of annihilation recorded in history. It was still afraid. In order to minimize the casualties among the tribesmen, the start time of the big prayer ceremony was set at the beginning of the next standard night. Night falls. All the jellyfish, led by the clan leader and stargazer, left the inland sea and landed on land. They struggled to twist their limp bodies and move forward slowly on the flat land covered with gravel. According to the plan, they will arrive at the ruins of the gods in the middle of a standard night. After completing the great prayer ceremony, they will rush back to the ocean at the beginning of the standard day. The temperature at this time is not too high, and the tribesmen can still persist. Time passes bit by bit. The night is getting deeper and deeper. The temple hanging high in the corner of the sky is very bright, illuminating the surrounding area. The thick atmosphere and the light from the temple obscured the light of most stars. Therefore, even under normal circumstances, stargazers can only observe a few stars. But now, the patriarch stood up, looked at the night sky, and sighed deeply. In the vast night sky, except for the light of the temple, there were almost no stars. All the stars disappeared this seemed to indicate the severity of the punishment of annihilation that would follow. It looked sadly at the shadow of the god's ruins in the distance. With countless distracting thoughts in its heart. God, what did we do wrong? It asked from the bottom of its heart. Apparently, no one responded to its questions. Finally, thus the expedition briefly came to an end. Looking at the ruins of the gods before their eyes, the tired jellyfish began a big prayer ceremony under the guidance of their clan leader. They stood close together and formed concentric rings around the ruins of the gods. Then, they slowly swayed their bodies 
and their vocal organs began to vibrate, making a series of low sounds of gurgling, gurgling, gurgling. The clan leader said a devout prayer to the relics of the gods and begged the gods for forgiveness. The great prayer takes a long time, and it would take a full 20 hours if converted to humanly time. The prayer is coming to an end. The clan leader cast his gaze towards the ruins of the gods. It comes from a heartfelt hope that God will respond. But, it's disappointing. There was no reaction from the gods' ruins. It was like a stone, standing quietly on this flat land. So, the clan leader raised his head again and cast his gaze towards the temple in the sky. Still nothing has changed. Just when it was about to turn its gaze back and announce the end of the great prayer ceremony, a vision appeared. At some point, an unknown object hovered in the sky. From the perspective of the clan leader, behind this unknown flying object was the temple that was emitting a faint light. God. God has arrived. It instigated its vocal organs and announced the news to the surroundings with an extremely trembling voice. Wow. The prayer ceremony at the end came to an abrupt end. One after another, the jellyfish raised their heads and cast their gazes towards the sky. The unknown flying object still stopped in midair, like a god watching them silently. This moment, the jellyfish are boiling. Years of prayer have finally been answered by God, while they were looking forward to and excited. What was more in their hearts was actually panic. They felt the powerful heat source in the sky, and an inexplicable sense of panic arose. Prayer. Keep praying. The hoarse voice of the stargazer rang out, awakening the group of jellyfish that were frozen in place. Then, they danced their bodies harder and chanted their prayers louder and louder. Chapter 851 Preparation for First Contact The sound of rapid footsteps came closer and closer. Drop. With a crisp reminder, the door to the command center suddenly opened. Lin Zile and several academicians, who were not too young walked into the command center in a hurry. As soon as they walked through the door, their eyes were attracted by the pictures on the giant holographic projection. In the slightly dim sky, there is a huge, bright moon hanging. Unlike the ordinary moon, this moon, which is essentially Saturn, occupies a large area of the sky. Moon, stars are rare. Under the radiance of the Earth moon, few stars can be seen in the sky. The light orange atmosphere, the Earth moon, with a slight orange light, the flat land covered with gravel and filled with a wild atmosphere. There is also the incongruous and highly identifiable one bird, wreckage on the Earth, as well as the intelligent life dancing around the wreckage. This fantastic scene deeply shocked this group of academicians who majored in theology and religious studies. They stopped, eager to get into the holographic projection and experience this unique and strange atmosphere firsthand. Professor, are you looking for me? Lin Zhao turned away his astonished gaze and looked at Lu Yong Chong, who was standing directly in front of the command center. Zila! Seeing Lin Zila and the academicians behind him, Lu Yong Chong breathed a sigh of relief subconsciously. You are finally here! Having dealt with various cutting-edge technologies all his life, he really didn't know how to deal with these primitive races. He gestured towards the holographic projection. Do you have any corresponding plans for how to deal with a civilization that is still in the age of ignorance? Lin Zhao looked at Lu Yong Chong in confusion. Teach! Professor! Perhaps because of the great impact, Lin Zile's voice seemed to stutter. Sociology. The School of Sociology only has corresponding treatment plans for civilizations of level 1 and above. This, this civilization in the ignorant era, his voice became softer. According to your original regulations, they are far from meeting the minimum requirements of the civilization affiliated with the People's Federation. Cough. Lu Yong Chong coughed lightly, covering up the embarrassment on his face, and explained softly. These are the lives on Titan. You should know their history. Right. The People's Federation owes them a lot. Lin Zile's expression suddenly became serious. Titan jellyfish? What do you mean? Accept it as a subordinate civilization. Lu Yongchang issued an extremely concise order. Perhaps because he was afraid that Lin Zile would not understand it properly. He added, Just like ten descendants. Hearing this, Lin Zile's expression became more solemn. After hesitating for a moment, he nodded, I'll try my best. Is it very difficult? Lu Yongchang noticed the meaning of Lin Zile's words and asked again. Lin Zile couldn't help but smile bitterly. Professor, you should know that the lower the civilization level, the weaker the ability to accept external stimulation, taking action against these civilizations who are still in the age of ignorance. We cannot make any mistakes. Didn't you ask to bring academicians who study theology and religious studies here? Lu Yongchang's eyes drifted behind Lin Zile, and he frowned slightly. 
Isn't this impossible? Lin Zile smiled bitterly and shook his head. It's hard. The research projects on theology and religious studies at the School of Sociology actually serve the ideological stamp, technology. This coercive approach, which does not take into account the potential for subsequent development of civilization, does not apply to Titan jellyfish. We need to discuss completely new responses. After a heated discussion, the command center finally determined the next action plan. In order not to cause too much irritation to this group of fragile jellyfish, Lin Zile and other social academicians unanimously decided to rely on religion to complete the first contact operation. Since the other party regards the aircraft left by human civilization as an object of worship, they must make good use of this natural advantage. Before this, the first thing to solve is the communication problem. Titan, under Liu Yongchang's order, the detection ship slowly lowered its altitude and tried to detect the communication methods between these jellyfish. After seeing silicon-based life forms such as Ten Descendants and Tenth Empire that use electrical signals and electromagnetic waves as communication methods, Liu Yongchang has great expectations for the communication methods of these jellyfish. After all, they are also life forms living in the methane ocean. So it is appropriate for them to evolve some unique means of communication. Right? Therefore, in order to prevent missed or misjudged operations, after lowering the altitude, Liu Yongchang directly issued an order that he regretted for a long time. Zero. Operating all listening and detection devices at full power. The next second, the extremely sticky chuck and puff sounds resounded throughout the command center. The clucking sound comes from the vocal organs of these jellyfish. As for the pop sound, it is emitted by the collision of the elastic bodies of these jellyfish. It was a strange and rhythmic sound. It's not unpleasant. But listening to these voices, some pictures related to the land of reincarnation of grains appeared in Liu Yongchang's mind. In just an instant, his expression changed. Not to mention Liu Yongchang. The expressions of all the academicians in the command center changed. Before he could speak, he raised his hand and pressed the mute button on the operating interface beside him. The world is quiet. Liu Yongchang breathed a long sigh of relief and issued the next order. Zero. Package all the information and send it to academician Ming Lu. Let her be prepared and try to decipher the other person's language system during the first contact. He hesitated for a moment and added again. By the way, remember to remind academician Ming. Remember to turn down the volume when playing these audio clips. Time flies. The probe ship is still hovering in the sky. A hint of anxiety gradually rose in the patriarch's heart. Due to the arrival of the gods, the time of the great prayer ceremony was extended several times. Now, the standard night is almost over. But all the tribesmen are still staying at the ruins of the gods. Wait for the standard day to arrive. The patriarch couldn't imagine such a scene. He looked at the god's mount that was still in the air and made no movement at all. And made a very tangled decision. Stop the big prayer ceremony immediately. Retreat. Retreat immediately. There is no doubt that the stargazers and priests protested the moment the order was given. Before the gods give their will. As believers, they must not leave without authorization. The dispute took a lot of time. Finally, under the power accumulated by the clan leader for many years, the clan stopped the big prayer ceremony, moved its exhausted body, and rushed towards the distant ocean along the way it came. Chapter 852 God's Gift Under the real-time monitoring of the detection ship in Zero, the command center immediately discovered the unusual movements of the jellyfish. On the one hand, there is still no useful news from academician Ming Lu. On the other hand, academicians are also curious about the movements of these jellyfish. Due to the above two factors, Liu Yongchang did not issue a contact order, but asked the detection ship to continue to follow the jellyfish group at a distance. Compared with the beginning, the picture in the high-definition camera is much brighter. The sun is rising soon. Looking at the picture in the holographic projection, Liu Yongchang murmured softly, the surrounding environment becomes brighter and brighter, but the jellyfish did not feel joy. On the contrary, panic had already arisen within the group at this time, especially feeling that the surrounding atmosphere is gradually becoming warmer and drier. Each jellyfish strives to shake its limp body, trying to speed up its walking speed. But, to no avail, the clan leader raised his head and looked at the small half of an orange-red fireball that had appeared on the horizon, feeling a little desperate in his heart. There is still quite a distance from the ocean. At the current speed of advancement of the ethnic group, I am afraid that the third punishment of annihilation will come early. It turned around and looked at the God's mount that had been hanging above its head again. 
feeling even more desperate. Why? Why do you do this to us? What did we do wrong? Maybe it's because the tribe is about to die. Anger arises from extreme despair and breaks through the imprisonment in its heart. It twisted its body, used its vocal organs with all its strength, and let out its first roar to the god. At the same time, screams full of fear came from not far away. The patriarch subconsciously turned his gaze to the direction where the exclamation came from. Bang! A dull sound sounded, and a tribesman whose body expanded to the extreme exploded. Light yellow body fluids and various organ debris were evenly scattered in the air, raining down on the surrounding tribesmen like rain. Such a terrifying scene brought the panic atmosphere within the tribe to its peak. God! Did you see it? The clan leader looked angrily at the god's mount in the sky and roared again. Professor, there is a jellyfish that is acting a little strange. The moment the electronic synthesized sound sounded, the picture in the holographic projection instantly enlarged and settled on a significantly larger jellyfish. Lu Yongchan looked at the jellyfish in the picture that was twisting its body with some confusion and asked Lin Zile, What does this mean? The prayer ceremony is not over yet. Like Lu Yongchan, Lin Zile looked confused at this time. He tried turning on the sound. It's still the sticky, unbearable, chuck and puff sounds. However, this time the voice was obviously much more powerful. It's possible it's paying respect to the gods? Lin Zile made a guess. There's no way. Before the language system is cracked, humans can't understand what these jellyfish want to express at all who can read the body language and expressions from a bunch of pale yellow things. Bang! The dull explosion interrupted the academician's thoughts. Seeing the body remains and body mucus flying in the sky, the expression on Lu Yongchang's face suddenly froze. The next moment, he realized what the problem was. Temperature. It's temperature. Titan's daytime temperatures are already too hot for these jellyfish. Cool the temperature, Lu Yongchang said without any hesitation. We must lower the surface temperature of Titan as soon as possible. For current human civilization, there are many ways to reduce the surface temperature of the planet. However, Considering the time and cost issues, Lu Yongchan decided to adopt the simplest and crudest solution. Fleet! Smoke grenade volley! The moment the order is given, the fleet consisting of 500 large battleships began to move under Zero's control. Golden Crow, Xuanwu, White Tiger. This series of wartime starships have activated the secondary guns on the sides of the hull. The power of the antimatter reactor was slightly increased, and tens of thousands of smoke bombs were launched. The target of these smoke bombs is the area between the red giant sun and Titan. The distance of tens of millions of kilometers flies by in an instant. The explosion's fire flashed away, followed by thick clouds of white smoke. Under zero precise control and calculation, the smoke generated after the smoke bomb explodes is an umbrella-shaped structure. As the best weapon against laser weapons, smoke grenades have always been the standing ammunition in the People's Alliance battleships. Nowadays, it has been developed for another use of parasol. A giant umbrella that spans thousands of kilometers. The light from the sun is greatly blocked by this giant umbrella. But this is not enough. After all, Titan is a huge planet, and heat conduction is relatively slow. When its temperature begins to drop, it is estimated that there will not be many jellyfish left. Zero. Dispatch a fleet of shipborne drones to drop liquid nitrogen in the area where Titan's jellyfish are located for emergency cooling. Numerous emergency cooling plans flashed through Lu Yongchang's mind but he finally chose the most unpretentious one. Titan. As time passed, the orange-red fireball in the sky became more and more dazzling, and the surrounding temperature continued to rise. On the sea in the distance, wisps of fog rise, which are methane seawater that is constantly vaporizing. Bang! 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 The clan leader's ears also heard the sounds of clan members dying one after another. It endured the bulging feeling in various parts of its body, raised its head with difficulty, and looked at the god's mount hanging above its head. At this time, it no longer had the strength to roar and roar. Just as it was preparing to face death in despair, it suddenly discovered that the bright sky had turned dark. At the same time, only a faint outline of the blazing orange-red fireball remained. The moment of coolness made these dying jellyfish breathe a sigh of relief. But the surrounding temperature did not drop much, and the feeling of bulging and dryness continued to attack this group of fragile jellyfish. God! The gods have come to the world again! A cry of surprise reached the ears of the clan leader. Gods. They. It subconsciously raised its head and looked at the thick sky. They were countless mounts of gods arranged in neat formations. They swept across the sky at great speed. Just when the jellyfish were a little puzzled by the gods' actions, 
a drop of cold methane rain fell on the patriarch. Rain. It's rain. A miracle. This is a miracle. The hoarse voice of the stargazer rang in his ears. What followed was an unprecedented downpour. The cold methane rain quickly eliminates the heat on Titan's surface, feeling the bloating and dryness that were quickly disappearing. The patriarch turned his gaze to the sky again. The gods' mouths still hung in their original positions, looking at them indifferently. This time, the patriarch slowly moved his body and sang a prayer. Thank God for the gift. It sighed from the heart. Chapter 853 Level 1 Affiliated Civilization Drop! A crisp reminder sounded, and a higher priority message appeared on the holographic projection in front of Lu Yongchan. The moment he saw the content clearly, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but perked up. The sender is Meng Lu, a first-level academician. The message content is simple. The language system deciphering department has made all preparations for tentative contact. Scientific research work is roughly the same. Theoretical research requires experimental verification. And the deciphering of language systems also requires a large number of control samples. Where do you get the control sample? Very simply. Civilized contact and exchanges between the two sides can produce a large number of control samples. Lu Yongchang, who knew this well, gave the order without hesitation. Landing ship. Set off. Get ready for first contact. At the suggestion of Lin Zile and other social academicians, Lu Yongchang canceled the initial probe ship contact plan in order to better implant the shadow of human civilization in the religious system of the jellyfish. The first contact will be a humanoid robot after special modification. This robot has been stripped of various characteristics that indicate its identity as a robot. It may sound a bit difficult to pronounce, but it is actually easy to understand. In order to prevent the emergence of the uncanny valley effect, Humanoid and humanoid robots will be deliberately designed to look less like humans. But the situation today is obviously different. This is the first contact between human civilization and jellyfish civilization. The first impression is always the deepest. It is obvious that the religious systems of these jellyfish already have the shadow of human civilization starships. If correction is not carried out, I am afraid that in the mythical stories of future jellyfish civilization, the gods will all look like starships. Lu Yongchang didn't want to see such a scene. Titan, under the gaze of the jellyfish, the detection ship that had been staying above the group quietly left. The departure of the God's Mount undoubtedly caused quite a bit of chaos. But it didn't take long for the sudden commotion to be calmed down as shuttle ship crossed the horizon and quickly landed directly in front of the ethnic group. Looking at the strange-looking God Mount, the jellyfish were filled with confusion, curiosity and panic. They don't know what a streamlined hull is let alone how high in technology these starships contain. They only know that this is the first time that gods have come to the earth. And it is also the first time that gods have responded to their prayers and requests. The shuttle ship's hatch slowly opened. A humanoid robot wearing formal clothes slowly walked out of the hatch and stepped onto the wild land of Titan. At this moment, the only sounds left in the world were the howling of strong winds and the gurgling of methane rain. The jellyfish huddled as much as possible making as much room as possible for the shuttle and the robot. Until the robot made a series of familiar sounds, the prayers of the jellyfish. It is clear. After playing the recorded prayer, the jellyfish's mental state improved a lot. In a slight commotion, a slightly larger jellyfish squeezed out of the group. Gujaguji. It vibrated its vocal organs and asked the robot. The robot didn't speak. Under Zero's control, it turned around and retrieved various items that had been prepared from the shuttle ship. Stones, gravel, seawater, People's Alliance small universe, Earth. Lu Yongchang calmed down and quietly looked at the scene of the chicken talking to the duck in the holographic projection. The progress bar of the language system cracking work is advancing little by little. Perhaps because the other party is saying repetitive prayers. The progress of the cracking work is not going smoothly. But it's not a big problem. Since the development of the People's Federation, it has come into contact with at least thousands of different civilizations and the language system cracking department has also accumulated a lot of experience. Finally, when the deciphering progress was more than half over, some preliminary translated words gradually appeared in the holographic projection. God. Respect. Grateful. There are only a few keywords. But the specific meaning is still easy to guess. It is nothing more than an expression of gratitude to human civilization. But the words that followed quickly became obscure. Forgive. Extinct. Civilization. Correction. Ethnic group. Extinct. Ask. Grateful. The atmosphere in the command center gradually became solemn. Perhaps because enough sample data has been collected. 
the progress of cracking the language system has been visibly accelerated. The text in the giant holographic projection also quickly became complete. However, the atmosphere in the command center did not improve at all. And even became heavier. Lu Yongchog stood up from his seat silently and sighed. The several hour exchange came to an end. And he now had a general understanding of the history of Titan's jellyfish civilization. Logically speaking, this is a happy thing. But, after learning the timing of the two world destroying punishments, the entire command center fell into silence. The first punishment of annihilation was the extermination fishing before human civilization left the solar system. At that time, everyone believed that jellyfish had almost no intelligence and were just lower level beings that relied on instinct. But now it seems that this was obviously a serious misjudgment. At that time, jellyfish had already evolved into highly intelligent individuals. It is precisely because of witnessing this scene that the jellyfish have this abnormal belief out of fear. As for the second punishment of annihilation, judging from the time point and characteristics, it should be caused by the local war between the sweepers and the pastoralists. The so-called big ablation is when gamma rays destroy their genetic material, perhaps because of their hard luck, or perhaps because of the shielding effect of Saturn. They were lucky enough to survive. And this even more bizarre punishment of annihilation has further strengthened the jellyfish's abnormal beliefs. Moving Titan into the microcosm. The megastructure engineering department will take the lead to customize a canopy device for macro control of planetary climate. The sociology branch will formulate the best development plan for them and get them out of the age of ignorance as soon as possible while ensuring their development potential. All material consumption before civilization enters the interstellar era will be borne by the Academy of Sciences. When the jellyfish enter the interstellar age, tell them all the truth. And if the other party agrees, incorporate them into a level 1 affiliated civilization. As the number of affiliated civilizations increases, the sociology branch has also made corresponding hierarchies for affiliated civilizations. Before this, there had been only one level 1 affiliated civilization of the People's Federation, New Civilization. Even, Taladin Civilization, and, Eugene Civilization, can only be classified as level 2 affiliated civilizations. As for those affiliated civilizations that were abandoned. Sorry. They are level 3 affiliated civilizations. Chapter 854. The Edge of the Galaxy. With the coordinated work of a large number of engineering ships. Titan was covered with a SH. L. This is the so-called planetary climate macro control canopy device. To put it simply. Titan at this time is actually a bit similar to the home star fortress left by the 10th Empire. On the day when the megastructure project was completely completed, under the order of Li Yongchang, Kuafu began to gradually increase the power of the Grand Unified Field, open the entrance to the small universe, and swallowed Titan into it. At this point, the Titan jellyfish relocation operation is completely completed. Whether it is building a canopy device for macro control of planetary climate or moving Titan into a small universe, various magnificent anomalies are unavoidable. At this time, the advantages of the ignorant era emerge. Everything can be pushed toward the so-called will of gods. The sky was greatly distorted. And the sun, Saturn and other stars disappeared one after another. Under the so-called divine will, it only caused a very short period of panic. These anomalies were followed by a global methane rainstorm that lasted for dozens of days. On the one hand, this is because the gaseous methane originally present in the atmosphere quickly liquefies after the temperature drops. On the other hand, the People's Federation has replenished a large amount of liquid methane from the outside. The moment the rainstorm ended, the ocean that had almost shrunk to a lake had grown several times, or even dozens of times, the Krakenmare Sea covered almost all of Titan's surface area. After unexpectedly harvesting a Titan, Lu Yongchang once again ignited hope for the solar system. Under his orders, the fleet dispatched hundreds of thousands of small detectors. The purpose is naturally to conduct the most detailed detection of every remaining planet in the solar system. What if there is other life? But the reality is unsatisfactory. Following human civilization, the jellyfish on Titan seem to have exhausted all the luck of the solar system except for Titan. All planets are barren. Looking at the huge fireball that swallowed Mercury, Venus and the Earth one after another, Lu Yongchang shook his head helplessly and gave the last order. Fleet, set off again. This time, the fleet's target is the Milky Way Andromeda Galaxy Bridge. 100 years later, Earth calendar year 4655, the edge of the Milky Way, following a wave of time and space fluctuations. A fleet of 500 starships appeared next to a deserted star system. The appearance of the starships is bright and bright, and each one looks like brand new from the factory. The armor made of dense hydrogen 
and the powerful force field attached to it are enough to resist the erosion of interstellar dust and cosmic radiation. This is the fleet of human civilization. To be precise, this is the vanguard of human civilization in the universe. This is already the outermost region of the Milky Way. And the interstellar matter is also much sparser. Even the most common stars have become relatively rare things. Farther away is the huge galaxy bridge spanning the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. It is said to be a galaxy bridge, but based on naked eye observation, it is actually not much different from the void of interstellar space. In the extreme distance of the line of sight, that is, 2.54 million light years away, there is still a small spot of light. That is the destination of human civilization's first expedition, the Andromeda Galaxy. This is a binary star system formed by two yellow dwarf stars. According to observations, there is also a gas giant planet and an Earth-like planet inside it. This will be the last supply point for the human fleet to embark on a 2.54 million light-year expedition. According to the preset program, Zero controlled the fleet and sailed towards the star system. Milky Way Andromeda Bridge Region A spherical detector with a surface as smooth as a mirror is quietly suspended in the vast universe, detecting various fluctuations in space and time around it. Its internal screening mechanism has successfully screened out almost all space-time fluctuations caused by stars and lower civilizations. Suddenly, after being silent for a long time, it detected powerful space-time fluctuations above the warning line. After several confirmations, it sent an alert message to a cluster of stars thousands of light years away. It was a high-density area where more than 50 stars gathered. The distance between each star is about 5 light years. This is a very rare phenomenon at the edge of the Milky Way. After the tachyon information was transmitted, less than a month later, a powerful wave of space-time came from the high-density star aggregation area. In the star system, where the human fleet is located, under Zero's precise control, Kwafu left Chiyu as side and easily swallowed the two planets into the small universe. But it's not over yet. Its ultimate goal is the two yellow dwarf stars orbiting each other. This is the first time that a binary star system has been captured. Just as Kwafu cautiously approached one of the yellow dwarfs, a piercing alarm sounded from the tachyon radar. It was a wave of extremely intense space-time fluctuations. There is no doubt that they are traces of higher civilization activities. Judging from the waveforms of the tachyon radar, the speed of these unknown aircraft even reached 600 c. This series of characteristics directly triggered the highest alarm of zero. Almost at the same time that the tachyon radar issued an alarm, the emergency wake-up procedure automatically started. After an hour, in the small universe of human civilization, the Earth Command Center, an academician who had just woken up from his hibernation cabin looked seriously at the giant holographic projection in front of him. The display image of the tachyon radar is filled with densely packed bright red marks. Each mark means a starship with a speed of up to 600 c. According to preliminary estimates, the number of starships even exceeds 10,000. Level 6 Civilization Lu Yongchang looked a little solemn and squeezed out a few words from between his teeth. I didn't expect that we would encounter something like this when we were about to leave the galaxy. Fang Su, whose face was full of helplessness, said, We are really unlucky. Luck. Lu Yongchang shook his head in denial. And his eyes became deep. I'm afraid it's not as simple as luck. The fleet has been traveling at 800 C for the past hundred years. The fleet crossed countless star fields densely packed with star systems, but did not encounter any accidents. This means that we have not encountered a level 6 civilization during our long journey of tens of thousands of light years. That in itself is an incredible thing. Fang Su was stunned. And then he realized the meaning of Lu Yongchang's words. You mean, where have the sixth level civilizations in the Milky Way gone? This question will probably be answered soon. Lu Yongchan looked at the spot of light in the distance outside the porthole. A magnificent sixth-level civilization is stationed in such a remote and sensitive area. That in itself speaks volumes. Pass the order. Sound the level one combat readiness alert. Get ready to fight. Chapter 855 No Response? Fight first and then talk. A total of 10,000 wartype starships were quietly docked in the free area of the small universe. When the first level combat readiness alarm was sounded, these wartype starships were like lions waking up, and they began to show their prowess. The port gate on the side of the battleship opened quickly. The transport ship and engineering ship carried a large amount of supplies and robots, and headed to the designated area in an orderly manner under Zero's control. Replenish fuel, replenish weapons and ammunition, and perform final inspection and maintenance on the functions of each module. The originally peaceful little universe became busy at this moment. 
At the same time, a large number of hibernating crew members were awakened and took shuttle ships to designated wartime starships. From the time the alarm sounded to the fleet completing pre-war preparations, it took less than three days. It may seem like a long time, but for a war with a sixth-level civilization, three days is a completely negligible time. The central area of the small universe, the Earth Command Center. The current distance is 1,000 light years. We have entered the second level warning line. Immediately send a tachyon communication request and warning message to the other party. Report. Tachyon message has been sent successfully. Liu Yongchang listened to the commands coming from around him. Gently raised his hand and rubbed his temples. Closed his eyes slightly and sighed. The person who came is not good. Yes. Zhao Zijie on the side said with a heavy expression. It is now certain that the other party is coming for us. The purpose is not clear. Based on the current intelligence, it should be the time and space fluctuations caused by the fleet sailing that attracted the opponent's attention. Liu Yongchang put down his hand, slowly opened his eyes, pondered for a moment, and then asked the holographic projection on the side. Did the other party respond to the message? No response of any kind has been received yet. An electronic synthesizer sounded quickly. After hearing this, Liu Yongchang glanced at the display data in the tachyon radar. Not only did it not respond to the communication request, it did not even reduce the navigation speed or change the navigation direction. No more waiting. No matter what its purpose is, fight first. Liu Yongchang's eyes showed a cold light. Sound the war alarm directly. Zhao Zijia looked solemn and immediately issued the order. The People's Alliance fleet has entered a state of war. The small space warship is on standby. Waiting for the opportunity. Small outer space battleship. Salvo of warp missiles. Calculate the current space-time node. Release the space-time trap. The scope of action is one light year. The order was given. The 500 warships outside the small universe opened the port doors on the sides of the ships. Kwafu also increased the output power again, opening the door to the small universe. Countless ship-based drones and floating artillery batteries swarmed out of it and flew quickly towards the outer reaches of the star system. They will be the first line of defense. After the ship-based drones, there are strange shuttle-shaped devices. They have no attack capabilities. And their only function is to create a space-time trap that forbids curvature navigation. After leaving the mothership, these shuttle-shaped devices followed the ship-borne drones and flew out of the star system. According to Zero's planning calculations, they will create a moat outside this star system. The huge throughput of the small universe makes the construction of defense projects extremely easy. In just a few hours, this desolate star system was transformed into an iron barrel by various forts and drones. Under Zero's control, the Golden Crow battleship, White Tiger frigate, and Chiyu planetary fortress opened their missile silos one after another. Boom! 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 The fire from the missile lasted for dozens of minutes. Clear inventory. The first salvo of missiles directly emptied the ammunition stocks inside these battleships and the planetary fortress. The densely packed curvature missiles disappeared directly into the visible universe after leaving a certain distance. 100C, 500C, 1000C, 2000C. Driven by the warp engine, they rushed towards the enemy ship a thousand light years away like mad dogs. The next moment, hanging above, Kwafu, in the central region of the star system, in a gradually clear spherical space-time distortion structure, neatly arranged transport ships suddenly appeared. They sailed to each starship in an orderly manner to replenish supplies. After the supplies were replenished, the transport fleet turned back and disappeared into the spherical space-time structure. A thousand light years away, powerful space-time fluctuations swept across the empty universe. In the invisible universe at the speed of light, a huge fleet is sailing towards its destination without any cover. In the center of the fleet is a large battleship with a scale of 100,000 meters. It is undoubtedly the flagship of this fleet. A piercing siren sounded in the fleet. There was obviously a little confusion in this normally moving fleet. In the direction of the fleet, a group of missiles were heading straight towards them at a speed of up to 2,000 C. The fleet did not exit the warp state. After a brief period of confusion, they quickly adjusted the formation of the fleet and launched an interception attack on the warp missile. They were deep black thin lines. These deep thin lines are not affected by the powerful fluctuations of space and time around them. They quickly broke away from the ship and faced the batch of warp missiles at extremely high speeds. A rogue planet flies quietly in the empty universe. For unknown reasons, it broke away from the shackles of the star and embarked on a long voyage alone. 
Its surface is filled with a solid atmosphere without the heat of the star. It cannot even have an atmosphere of its own. In the dark universe, it is almost impossible to observe with the naked eye, like a ghost floating in the universe. Such rogue planets are actually very common in the universe. Two batches of strong space-time fluctuations heading toward each other broke the tranquility of this star field. Immediately afterwards, there was an explosion of fire from an unknown source. These explosive fires appeared out of thin air in the dark universe, which looked very strange. A rogue planet cannot change its direction. It slowly entered the area surrounded by fire. Boom! Boom! Almost at the same time, a violent explosion appeared on the surface of the rogue planet, bringing some light to its perennially dark surface. This majestic energy generated by the annihilation of matter and antimatter not only gives it a thin layer of atmosphere, but even changes its flight trajectory. It flew to the other side of the explosion area. The originally flat surface had a large number of deep and visible potholes. Suddenly, several deep, almost invisible lines of black streak across its surface. After a while, this rogue planet seemed to have been cut by a sharp knife and turned into several irregular fragments of different sizes. These fragments were quickly overtaken by the explosion's fire and became part of the fire. In an unknown corner of the Milky Way, a rogue planet lost its life in an instant. This is just the prelude to the sixth level civilized war. Chapter 856, Space Time Trap and Space Annihilation. Two years later, it will be 4,657 years in the Earth calendar. In the past two years, human civilization and that fleet have had several over the horizon wars. Unfortunately, no substantial harm was caused. The unknown fleet lost several insignificant ordinary warships, while human civilization lost some ship-based drones and floating turrets. But that doesn't mean there are no gains. At least, human civilization can use this to find out the strength of the other party. People's Alliance Small Universe Earth Lu Yongchang carefully analyzed the summary data in the holographic projection. So far, the enemy has come up with technologies like Space Rift and Space Shield but they don't seem to have mastered the space-time trap technology because the distance is too far. We cannot accurately judge the enemy's understanding of the theory of space and time. Just judging from the speed of curvature navigation, their understanding of space and time is not as good as ours. But this cannot be used as a criterion. After all, Quafu's maximum sailing speed is only 800 C. If there are similar megastructure projects in the enemy fleet, it is understandable that the fleet can maintain a speed of 600 C. Li Yongchang pondered for a moment and then spoke again. Based on all the data, I think the opponent's strength should be at the peak of level 6. As soon as the words fell, the atmosphere in the command center suddenly became anxious. Since entering the 6th level civilization, human civilization has never had a war with a civilization of the same level. It's a level 6 peak civilization right from the start. This, if you say you are not anxious, that would be a lie. But we have a big advantage. Lu Yongchang changed the topic. Theoretically, the other party should not have mastered the micro COSM technology. On the one hand, they do not know our specific military strength. Judging from the tachyon radar alone, the opponent is likely to make a huge misjudgment. On the other hand, we have sufficient supplies to consume. As he spoke, Lu Yongchang showed an interesting smile on his face. If the enemy saw tens of thousands of large, fully equipped warships suddenly appearing in a small star system, the expression would be very exciting. Right? In the tachyon radar, the extremely intense wave peaks finally reach the area near the star system. Activate the space-time trap! When this powerful space-time fluctuation was less than one light year away from the star system, Lu Yongchan gave the order in a deep voice. Buzz! An invisible wave came from this key node in time and space. In just a few seconds, the calm space and time set off a raging tsunami. The next moment, along with a strong fluctuation in space and time. A huge fleet was forced to appear in the dark universe. The enemy ships that could not cope with it directly exited the super light curvature state. The detectors placed in this star field early transmitted the observed images back to Earth. With just one glance, Lu Yongchan frowned, and the expressions on the faces of the academicians in the command center became unnatural. The reason is simple. The construction style of these battleships looked so familiar. Each large or small battleship in the shape of a standard sphere hovers quietly in the universe. The surface of the battleship is extremely smooth, without any protrusions or unnecessary structures. They are as beautiful as drops of water falling in the vast universe. Behind these spherical battleships, a silver-white planet with a diameter of more than 5,000 kilometers is particularly conspicuous. Megastructure Project, 
Planetary Fortress. Sweeper. Lu Yongchan squeezed out a few syllables through his teeth with an ugly expression. The worst guesses came true. From the moment, he discovered those sixth-level civilizations. This speculation flashed through Lu Yongchan's mind. Under normal circumstances, level six civilizations should gather in the center of the galaxy. After all, that is the place with the most abundant supplies. Only the central region of the Milky Way can support the horrific consumption of a sixth-level civilization. During the journey that lasted tens of thousands of light years, although human civilization did not go to the galactic center, it still traveled through most of the galaxy and passed through a large number of star-gathering areas on the way. But human civilization did not encounter a sixth-level civilization there. Instead, it encountered a sixth-level civilization in a ghostly place like the edge of the galaxy. This leaves only one possibility these level 6 civilizations are driven by external forces. Or rather, all the 6th level civilizations in the Milky Way were developed into subsidiary civilizations by the Sweeper civilization. And the scene in front of me also confirmed this guess. In the picture, there was obvious confusion in the formation of this fleet. Obviously, they are very puzzled by this abnormal situation where the curvature engine cannot work properly. Take advantage of his illness and kill him. Faced with such a great opportunity, Zhao Ziji on the side did not hesitate at all and directly issued the attack order. Attention all units! Space Annihilation Device Operating at full power! All battleships! Launch Space Rift at full power! Free fire! Repeat! Free fire! The outer reaches of an unnamed star system. In the vast and dark universe, there are some spindle-shaped devices scattered irregularly. Next to these fusiform devices, there are also strange devices that resemble pyramids. These devices are so-called space annihilation weapons. Strictly speaking, it is the same weapon as the shuttle-shaped device responsible for opening the space-time trap. Usually, the two devices are used together. First, use the space-time trap to trap the enemy ship. Then, then use the time and space annihilation weapon to destroy the enemy ships inside. Flowing clouds and flowing water. All in one go. The moment the tachyon command was issued, Majestic energy began to surge in these pyramid-shaped devices, which were not small in size. The already unstable space-time ocean became even more unstable at this moment. Click! A dark and deep rift was formed in this space and time, and quickly spread to all directions. It's like a rapidly expanding crack in the glass. In just over ten minutes, a structure resembling a spider web was formed. As the power of the time and space annihilation device continues to increase, the area covered by this spider web structure is getting larger and larger. And soon it spreads around the spherical enemy ships that have not yet recovered. Buzz, perhaps sensing something unusual, deep black shields appeared around these spherical battleships. Almost at the same time, the power of the time and space annihilation device reached its maximum. Wow! The calm space and time disintegrated into countless fragments, like a piece of broken glass. The selected star field also turned into pure black at this moment. The attack successfully hit all enemy ships. Chapter 857 Fatal Combo In the vast universe, an extremely deep and dark area suddenly appeared. The starlight coming from infinite distance fell into this broken space one after another. It was like falling into a black hole. And there was no more sound. This extremely dark space covers a radius of 100 million kilometers. Since the universe is three-dimensional, a more precise description would be that it would be a spherical region of extreme darkness. The edge of the spherical area is very smooth as if it had been cut by an extremely sharp knife. Since no light can escape from it, and no light can be reflected from its surface, it gives the impression of a strange flatness to the naked eye alone. It appears flat no matter which angle it is viewed from. Standard round shape. This beautiful space-time structure did not last long. The self-repairing capabilities of space and time are most vividly displayed at this moment. Its smooth and complete edges only lasted for a few seconds before becoming rough. Then, these rough edges began to extend inwards the spherical area caused by the annihilation of space was shrinking at an extremely fast rate. The edge of an unnamed star system. The Golden Crow battleship. The White Tiger, Frigate and the Chiyu planetary fortress entered a state of war at the same time. Inside the ship, the output power of dozens of antimatter reactors surged instantly. Pure energy poured into the space rift generating device set up in the head area of the ship along the energy path. At first, it was just a small, deep crack. In the blink of an eye, it extended to both sides and became a huge crack dozens of kilometers long. The next moment, this space rift struck a relatively small spherical battleship like a bolt of lightning. When the space rift disappeared into the visible universe, 
its flying speed had exceeded 3000 c. The broken time and space gradually returned to smoothness. The deep and dark spherical area has disappeared. And the distant starlight has once again appeared in this star field. More than 9,500 black balls hovered quietly in the starry sky without any movement. Yes, the sudden and unexplained combo just now destroyed nearly 500 starships of an unknown civilization. Some are because the space shield failed to be activated in time. And some are because the power of the space shield is too low or the shield generation device is overloaded. The dark black space shield slowly disappeared under the self-healing effect of time and space. And the spherical starship inside also revealed its true appearance. There is no damage on the surface of the silver-white spherical battleship. This is normal. Facing the blow of space annihilation. The starships with external damage have turned into a pot of atomic soup. As for the interior, there is no doubt that withstanding an attack of this level is definitely a good test for the space shield generation device. Powerful space-time fluctuations came from these spherical starships. They started their warp engines and tried to leave this area. The moment space annihilation is activated, space-time trap will also automatically expire. Therefore, at the moment when space and time return to normal, there is actually an extremely short gap period. The unknown fleet discovered this gap period and then tried to forcefully enter the super light curvature state and break out of this space-time cage. But, do you think this combo is over? Along with the strong fluctuations in space and time, an array of space rifts with a speed of up to 3,000 C roared in. The number is huge, conservatively estimated to be over 20,000. Not only that, under Zero's precise control, the space-time trap device began to operate again. Some waves continued to appear on the space-time ocean that had just returned to calm. Under the influence of space-time resonance, this wave is growing at an extremely fast speed. At this moment, there are only two choices left in front of the unknown fleet. One is to forcefully enter the super-light curvature state before the space-time tsunami occurs and escape from this space-time trap. But the consequences, when the space shield cannot operate at full power, the fleet may suffer considerable casualties. Second, activate the space shield at full power to resist the attack again. The price paid is to continue to be trapped in this time and space trap. In just a moment, the unknown fleet made a choice. The space-time fluctuations generated by the work of the curvature engine began to increase rapidly. At the same time, a deep space shield once again appeared around these spherical battleships compared with the last space shield. The space shield that appeared this time appears to be much slimer. The next moment, the fleet disappeared into the visible universe. They try to force a breakthrough. Tisk! In the small universe of the People's Alliance. Zhao Zijia frowned slightly and said softly, What a pity! Zero! Close the time and space annihilation device. There is no chance to use it. According to the command center's original expectations, facing such an offensive space rift attack, the enemy ship will most likely choose to activate the space shield at full power to resist this round of space rift attack. Once they do this, they will lose the chance to escape and be trapped in the space-time trap again. At the same time, the space annihilation device completed the second round of charging and released its attack again. When space annihilation is about to end, space rift will appear again. So back and forth, once the other party makes a wrong choice, they are likely to be trapped and die in this invisible time and space trap. I didn't expect them to be so decisive. The expression on Zhao Zijia's face suddenly became serious. It seems that the other party's commander is not a good person. Lu Yongchang nodded in agreement and issued the next order. Zero. Activate the second space-time trap. Who said you can only set one trap? The second space-time trap is set at the edge of the unnamed star system. This is also the combat area arranged in advance by the command center backed by a star system. It has a steady stream of supplies and support from the small universe. The advantage is mine. In the super light universe invisible to the naked eye, dark black thin lines landed lightly on the space shields of those spherical battleships at lightning speed. Yes, once the spatial rift is sent out, it cannot change its direction. Logically speaking, as long as the unknown fleet leaves the attack area as soon as possible, it can avoid this attack. But, if you can't hold it back, You'll have to eat too much. The Academy of Sciences, which has always suffered from the fear of insufficient firepower, frantically upgraded the weapon systems of these warships after making a breakthrough in Basic Theory 500 warships blasted out the firepower of thousands of warships. This kind of super-explosive firepower must come at a price. After the first round of Space Rift attacks, these 500 warships briefly lost the ability to continue attacking. 
But does it matter? A new batch of battleships have poked their heads out of the entrance to the small universe located in the central area of the star system. Chapter 858 Four-Dimensional Jump Buzz! The moment the space rift landed lightly on the space shield, the shield load in those spherical battleships suddenly increased. Normally, a spatial rift of this level would not pose much of a threat to them. But now, having just suffered an attack of the level of space annihilation, a large amount of energy was diverted to the curvature engine. This can no longer be said to be caused by a leak in the house, and it rains all night. It is simply a knife. With just one encounter, the shield-generating devices of those smaller spherical battleships were declared to be on strike. In just a few seconds, the space shield surrounding the spherical battleship began to slowly fade away. Boom! 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 Continuous explosions of fire appeared in the star field 0.6 light-years away from the unnamed star system. Every explosion of fire means the disappearance of an enemy ship. The fire of the explosion moved quickly towards the unknown star system, forming a bright light belt in the dark universe. The idea of this fleet is clear at a glance after suffering a dumb loss as soon as they met. They tried to drag the rhythm of the war into a close combat. After all, you can't use a weapon of this scale, space annihilation, on your own people. Right? This was also expected by Lu Yongchang and Zhao Zijia. Then, under Zhao Zijia's command, the second, space-time trap, was successfully activated. The originally fast-moving unknown fleet was once again forced to appear suddenly in the visible universe. Visible to the naked eye. Stepping into the same trap for the second time caused considerable chaos in the fleet. There was also a lot of cursing in the unknown fleet. At this moment, the fleet once again lost a group of small warships. The total fleet has dropped to 6,000. Facing the 500 human warships so close at hand, the commotion quickly subsided. As long as these 500 battleships are eliminated, victory will be achieved. Not only the commander, but also the crew members thought so. As a result, they regrouped and scientists began to work quickly the space, and time around the spherical battleship began to fluctuate continuously. They are trying to crack the laws of the space-time trap. At the same time, under the command of the commander, the unknown fleet launched an attack on the nearby human fleet. 6,000 versus 500. The advantage is mine. Thick space cracks shot towards the battleships of human civilization. Faced with numerous attacks, the human warships only did one thing. Start the warp engine. On the basis of mastering the space-time trap algorithm, although the curvature engine has been greatly suppressed, it can still be used barely. In an instant, the speed of these 500 battleships soared from 0 to 0 0.5 c. The extreme maneuverability of the curvature engine was completely revealed at this moment. Under Zero's control, these giant warships, which can easily reach 80,000 to 90,000 meters, dodge space rift attacks from the enemy with great flexibility. When encountering an attack that is really impossible to dodge, a black space shield will be generated instantly and can accurately resist those space rifts that fly at extremely high speeds. This was a fantastic scene that deeply shocked the unknown fleet when they discovered that the first round of attacks was ineffective. Their offensive paused extremely briefly when it was discovered that the space weapons were ineffective. The unknown fleet decisively chose to change tactics. They gave up seemingly powerful space weapons and turned to traditional kinetic and energy weapons for attack. I have to say, this is indeed a wise decision. In this case, traditional gravity bombs and antimatter missiles have become the best choices. Gravity bombs restrain human warships, and large yield antimatter missiles consume and explode space shields in all directions. Raging gravitational waves bloom at the edge of the stellar system, and the flames of annihilation of matter and antimatter arise one after another. It was also from this moment that the 500 warships of human civilization began to suffer casualties, contained by dozens of gravity bombs. The overwhelming antimatter bomb successfully destroyed the composite shield system of a human warship. Armor made of dense hydrogen material is directly exposed to enemy ships. Direct the laser beam directly onto the surface of the dense hydrogen armor. The next moment, a beam of light similar to a material disintegration ray struck mercilessly on the battleship that had lost its shield system. The dense hydrogen armor maintained by the strong interaction force is like soap when it encounters water, instantly turning into free hydrogen atoms and dissolving into the vast universe. After a short wait, the explosion fire belonging to human civilization briefly illuminated this icy star field. It is rude to come and go without reciprocating. Naturally, human warships will not blindly avoid being beaten while waiting for the space rift device to be charged. Specially made antimatter missiles and black hole bombs were launched. They quickly approached the target enemy ship. 
facing the attack of these kinetic energy weapons. The spherical battleship once again deployed its space shield. But, something weird happened. These antimatter missiles and black hole bombs suddenly disappeared into the visible universe at the moment they were about to touch the space shield. The next moment, there was an explosion of fire inside the spherical battleship. These attacks directly passed through the shield system and outer armor and directly bombarded the interior of the spherical battleship. Four-dimensional jump. The study of the natural Klein bottle structure of the small universe allowed the Academy of Sciences to successfully master a more stable Klein bottle structure, just as Lin Yongnian proposed at the time. This directional Klein bottle structure, which allows small objects to pass through, was used by academician Yevgeny in kinetic energy weapons. Everyone uses kinetic weapons, which is fair enough. Earth. Facing an all-round encirclement and suppression that is ten times its own strength. Human warships with stronger maneuverability and stronger attack methods also appear to be somewhat powerless to resist. The moment the first, Golden Crow, battleship exploded. Lu Yong Chong and Zhao Zijia, who had basically figured out the strength of the opponent's fleet, couldn't sit still. Enemy warship explodes. Okay. Our warship exploded? No. Open the small universe port. All members of the fleet attack. And the battle is quick. Leave the opponent's flagship and planetary fortress behind. The landing combat team will set off immediately to conduct a comprehensive cleanup of the enemy's flagship and planetary fortress. Lu Yongchan gave the order with a gloomy look. I want to see what the purpose of this silent fleet is. The war has continued to this point, And the other party still has not responded to the communication requests of human civilization. Chapter 859 The front is clear and the jump is allowed. The war has gradually entered a white-hot state. But the two sides have not exchanged even a single punctuation mark of information. This is an extremely abnormal phenomenon. Human civilization has never encountered such an inexplicable war. Without any communication. The enemy came from thousands of light years away. As soon as they met. He got a big slap in the face. But the other party didn't believe this evil yet. While launching a desperate attack. He also refused all communication. Let's not talk about what the unknown civilization that was beaten thought. At least... All the academicians and command staff in the command center are confused. Who am I hitting? Who is hitting me? Why fight? Confused and confused. The movements in the hands of the People's United Fleet did not relax at all. The moment the order was confirmed, the output power of the antimatter reactor inside the small universe traction platform, Kwafu, began to increase sharply. The strength of the kite string began to increase, pulling the small universe closer to the big universe little by little. The small universe port rebuilt and reinforced by the Academy of Sciences also gradually became clear. A black sphere with dots of light shining on its surface suddenly appeared in the universe. Next moment, huge warships with various colored signal lights flashing on their surfaces one after another, drilled, out of the black sphere, and slowly sailed outside the star system. The first one to show up was the conventional fleet composed of Golden Crow, White Tiger, and Xuan Wu. Tens of thousands of warships, with a length of more than 80,000 meters appeared together. This is an extremely shocking scene. Just like a huge boulder dropped on a calm lake. Under the action of the curvature engine. Powerful fluctuations in space-time unabashedly dispersed outside the star system. Next. There are 50 Titan motherships. Although the number is far smaller than those of conventional battleships. The Titan mothership, a scale of more than 100,000 meters still gives people a great sense of shock. Is that the end? Of course not. Not only has the space-time fluctuation at the small universe port not attenuated, it has even become stronger. Five small silver-white dots appeared in this small universe port. As soon as these five small dots appeared, they enlarged at an extremely fast speed. In just an instant, they revealed themselves in full view of the universe, they were five silvery-white planets, with their surfaces covered with a layer of dense hydrogen armor. Chi Yu, Planetary Fortress Array. In just a few minutes, more than 10,000 battleships came from the small universe to the large universe. After a short wait, these more than 10,000 battleships, driven by curvature engines, unabashedly sailed to the outer reaches of the star system. The outer region of the unnamed star system. The unknown fleet is struggling to deal with a weird kinetic weapons issued by the United Fleet. These kinetic energy weapons equipped with four-dimensional jump technology and ignoring shields and armor really shocked this unknown civilization. But the situation of the war did not change significantly because of the emergence of these weapons. There is no other reason than that human civilization has too few troops. At least at this moment. There are too few warships exposed by human civilization. 
This is also the tactic that the unknown civilization is preparing to adopt to use more than 5,000 warships to forcibly destroy 499 warships of human civilization. Just as they were preparing to implement this tactic, a powerful wave of space-time came from inside the star system. The tachyon radar is almost burned out. No, not just tachyon radar. The commander of the unknown fleet looked at the sudden appearance of 10,000 warships on the radar and felt that his thinking organ was about to burn. Didn't it say there were only 500 warships? Where did this battleship come from? In the outer area of the star system. There was originally a fiery battlefield. But because of this inexplicable appearance of the fleet, there was also a moment of calm the offensive launched by the unknown fleet stopped for half a beat. The next second, this hard one piece was torn to pieces by more powerful artillery fire. Before the fleet arrives, the artillery fire goes first. The moment hundreds of thousands of space rifts and curvature missiles appeared. This inexplicable war seemed to be destined to end. The spherical battleship hovers in the universe. Thin and dense dark black threads constantly appeared around the smooth hull and quickly separated from the hull and disappeared into the visible universe. The target of these space weapons is not the warships of human civilization, but the densely packed kinetic energy weapons around them. Although the effect of space rifts on human fleets is not ideal, it is still very good at dealing with these curvature missiles whose sailing speed is limited by the space-time trap. Boom! 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 The explosion flames of the curvature missiles kept lighting up in the dim universe, illuminating the edge of the star system that should have been dim and cold like daylight. Good times don't last long. When gravity bombs and black hole bombs entered the scene, this evenly matched offensive and defensive situation took a turn. A violent white light flashed, and a large amount of energy was instantly transformed into a powerful gravitational field. With the structure of the spherical battleship itself, coupled with its own space shield, theoretically speaking, it is difficult for gravity bombs and black hole bombs to cause effective damage to it. But, who said these weapons were released against enemy warships? Under the influence of gravity bombs and black hole bombs, the flight trajectory of the space rift has greatly deviated. This also allowed a large number of warp missiles to successfully approach the enemy ship. Even with all the defensive measures in place, the unknown fleet is decreasing at an alarming rate when mobility is greatly restricted. Armor and shields are difficult to work, and active interception methods are affected. After a salvo, the number of unknown fleets had dropped to a thousand. At this time, the huge fleet that suddenly appeared also arrived at the frontal battlefield. Faced with the sudden reversal of the situation, the unknown fleet still did not respond to the continuous communication requests of human civilization. They didn't even flinch, but faced the firepower of tens of thousands of warships and took the lead in launching a charge. The big disadvantage is that he has the momentum of a great tailwind. Human civilization showed great respect for this fearless spirit and responded quickly. Second salvo of artillery fire. What? Close combat? Are you kidding me? With such a huge advantage. I can fight you in close combat? This starfield also fell into complete chaos. Gravity bombs. Black hole bombs and space rifts. These silent attacks completely disrupted the time and space of this star field. Extreme celestial bodies, like micro black holes, are constantly being annihilated and simultaneously being created. It can be said that this star field has become a place full of crises. Not to mention low-level civilization. Even human civilization at the peak of level 5 cannot escape from this chaotic star field. Huge gravitational fluctuations even began to affect two nearby stars. Their trajectory has changed slightly. According to Zero's simulation calculations, even if the war stops at this time, the two stars will continue to approach under the influence of gravity and eventually collide, forming a small supernova explosion. While issuing saturation fire coverage, the side port gates of the Golden Crow, Battleship and White Tiger destroyer quietly opened. Millions of ship-based drones swarmed out of it. Driven by the curvature engine, they mixed in the gaps of various gunfires and drove towards the target quickly. Unable to protect itself, the unknown fleet did not notice these small drones that were gradually approaching. Boom! When these carrier-based drones successfully approached the enemy's flagship and planetary fortress, violent explosions and fire broke out instantly, directly flooding the enemy's flagship and planetary fortress. Under the command of the command center, all warp missiles and gravity bombs were launched. It was detonated at the same time. The raging gravity and the aftermath of the explosion completely wiped out all kinds of attacks from enemy ships. An order was sent from the Human Alliance microcosm and received by these ship-based drones. Clear ahead. Leap aloud. Chapter 860. Seizing Control Authority. The moment the order was issued, 
the antimatter engine inside the ship-based drone began to overload. As time and space began to distort, the structures of extremely small-scale Klein bottles gradually became clear, and the hull of the carrier-based drone also began to shake violently. The consequences of overloading the engine have begun to appear. The entrance to the Klein bottle is located in a small cabin inside these drones. A humanoid war robot was instantly activated. A red light flashed through its head sensor, and it jumped into the entrance of the Klein bottle in front of it without hesitation. The next second, the flames of the explosion came from the engine room of the ship-based drone, and the leaked antimatter directly destroyed the drone. But it's not a big problem. Its mission has been accomplished, since the specific internal structure of the enemy ship is not clear. Using four-dimensional jumps in interstellar gang battles is actually quite risky, the landing point is likely to appear in some unexpected places. For example, within the deck, such as within the antimatter reactor. Therefore, the interstellar gang war using jump technology is a real saturation invasion operation. Millions of drones sent a total of more than a million war robots to different areas of the target ship. Buzz, an inexplicable fluctuation in time and space was heard inside the planetary fortress. Suddenly, a two-meter-tall war robot covered with a layer of star gold carbonine armor appeared on the deck. The short-distance single-body jump technology is still unstable, especially on such a battlefield where gravitational disturbance is extremely obvious. The stability of the jump is greatly affected. Therefore, the robot's appearance when it appeared was not pretty it hit the hard deck directly. A series of sparks even appeared under the collision between the hard armor and the deck. It quickly adjusted its posture and automatically deployed various weapon systems and sensors on its body. After confirming that there was no danger around it, it slowly stood up and looked around. This is a confined space without any trace of life. When its gaze swept across a wall, its movements paused slightly. Embedded in the wall is a robot that has stopped running. Typical jump failure case, under the influence of chaotic gravity. The jump depth data appears abnormal. It quickly scans the area where it is located and uploads all data to the optical brain terminal located on Earth. The analysis results are out. It was lucky enough to jump straight into a small, inconsequential control room. Although the specific purpose of this control room is unclear, this does not affect its execution of orders. Under Zero's control, it quickly came to a wall with various complex devices. Then it stretched out its palm and covered the port on the wall. A large number of silver-white nanorobots drilled out of the gap in the center of his palm and poured into the port. Earth. In the huge holographic projection in the command center, lines of text were flashing rapidly. The jump has been completed. Number of remaining war robots, 14311. Among the millions of war robots, only more than 14,000 have successfully completed the four-dimensional jump. This battle damage rate is terrifying. Correction. 11,132. Correction. 9,613. Before everyone could breathe a sigh of relief, the numbers in the holographic projection began to beat rapidly. It is clear. The jump landing point of these war robots was not very ideal. And they were turned into scrap by the internal defense devices as soon as they appeared. Finally, under Lu Yongchang's nervous gaze, the number stabilized at 182. 137 units survived inside the planetary fortress, and 45 units survived inside the flagship. The enemy planetary fortress port has been connected successfully, and is trying to resolve the firewall. Zero's computing power usage began to increase rapidly. The four-dimensional optical brain installed in the core area of Earth also flashes like a neon light. The parsing is successful, and the highest control authority has been successfully obtained. The ship's life support system has been shut down. Database data is being migrated. Lu Yongchang, who had been tense, subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. Zero, who has a quasi-level 7 civilization computer, did not disappoint him. In just a few minutes, control of the enemy's planetary fortress and flagship was taken over by Zero. After thinking for a short time, looking at the communication link that was still running normally, a magical idea appeared in Lu Yongchang's mind. Zero, try to attack the opponent's command center a battlefield at the edge of an unknown star system. The moment Zero successfully seized the highest control authority, the fiery battlefield suddenly fell into silence. All enemy ships stopped attacking and opened the hatches on the surface of the ship. Ship-based drones carrying war robots quickly drove towards these hatches the battlefield cleaning work began. The enemy command center has been successfully invaded, attempting to obtain higher privileges. Civilization database data is being migrated. Seeing the database data of the other party's civilization being continuously transmitted to his own side, Lu Yongchang's eyes suddenly showed a hint of joy. 
he just wanted to give it a try. But he never expected that he would succeed. How did such a civilization become a level 6 civilization? While he was thinking there, an alarm sounded in the command center. Warn! The communication link has been interrupted. Database data transfer has been interrupted. It was discovered! Lu Yongchan shrugged, with a faint smile on his face. The alarm should have been triggered when obtaining higher level permissions. Zero! Start the preliminary screening of the obtained information immediately. Prioritize searching for information related to this war. Receive. The moment the electronic synthesizer sounded, a large amount of translated information was already presented to the academicians. Chapter 861 Grazing the Milky Way The information in the holographic projection gradually became more detailed, and the atmosphere in the command center became solemn again. The joy of victory in the war was quickly diluted. According to the records obtained by Zero, this is a complex formed by several level 6 civilizations. That's why we don't call it an alliance. The reason is simple. It is a complex of subordinate civilizations and has no decision-making power of its own. It is not worthy of the title of alliance at all. If we insist on making an analogy, this civilization is a bit like those subsidiary civilizations abandoned by human civilization in the Kepler 452 star field if those subsidiary civilizations were combined together to form a huge civilization complex. As for who is the main civilization behind them, although there is no clear indication in the data, the various characteristics revealed have clearly presented the answer to Lu Yongchang and others the sweeper civilization. Like the original Botas civilization, this civilization complex was also deeply influenced by the thought stamp technology of the sweeper civilization. The absolute obedience and worship of the sweeper civilization has greatly restricted the creativity of these sixth level civilization individuals. But it has created a cannon fodder unit that is not afraid of death. This just explains the reason why this fleet launched a charge even when facing a huge disadvantage. And also explains the reason why their combat power is weak, even more extreme than the Bodha civilization. Their warships were even directly given by the sweeper civilization. Judging from the data, these spherical battleships should be obsolete products when the sweeper civilization was still at the sixth level. It's just a batch of antique equipment. Fong Su looked at the information in front of him and sighed in a low voice. No wonder their combat effectiveness is so low. Speaking of which, is the sweeper civilization so shabby? Why not make them some adaptable weapons and equipment? Regarding Fong Su's question, Lu Yongchan raised his hand and touched his nose with a strange expression on his face. Is there a possibility? Is this kind of weaponry sufficient for use in the galaxy? And, to a certain extent, the People's Federation does the same thing. Fong Su. The historical information about this civilization has not been fully translated. Lu Yongchang explained softly. But we can still determine one piece of information. In this civilization complex, there are seven different races of intelligent creatures. In common sense, these are the seven level six civilizations. Lu Yongchang sighed. After the Tenth Empire left, these are probably all the level six civilizations born in the galaxy. Theoretically, apart from them, the only remaining level 5 civilizations with the highest combat power in the galaxy are level 5 civilizations. Fong Su gasped subconsciously. Then they are. Lu Yongchan looked at the historical information about the civilization complex that was gradually presented in the holographic projection. And the look on his face became more and more serious. Herdsman, this is the name of this civilization complex. Of course, this is a paraphrase provided by Zero. Judging from its historical data, Lu Yongcha does not think there is anything wrong with this name. Herders, the objects of herding are advanced civilizations throughout the galaxy. Yes, this is the task assigned to the civilization complex by the sweeper civilization to herd the galaxy. To be more precise, their grazing targets are civilizations in the galaxy that are about to be promoted, or that have just been promoted to level 6. According to the orders of the sweeper civilization, they need to absorb all the 6th level civilizations in the Milky Way as subsidiary civilizations in order to strengthen their own strength. In this way, we can achieve full control of the galaxy. What? Not willing. Under normal circumstances, which civilization that has just been promoted to level 6 can withstand the attack of a civilization complex with a sweeper warship? At the beginning, there are only two member civilizations in Herder. Let's put them on civilization number 1 and civilization number 2. After the 10th Empire left, these two civilizations took the lead in mastering part of the theory of space and time, and were promoted to level 6 civilizations, becoming the well-deserved Earth Emperors of the galaxy. Of course, the good times didn't last long. After the Sweeper civilization arrived in the galaxy, it directly accepted them 
as subsidiary civilizations this is also a routine operation after the sweeper civilization arrives in a river system. Under the orders of the sweeper civilization, civilization 1 and 2 began to graze the galaxy when they discovered that civilization 3 had mastered the basic theory of time and space. They took the battleships given by the sweeper civilization and forcibly took them under the command of the herder and so on until today. As for how to judge civilization and master the basic time and space theory. Very simple. Mastery of curvature. In other words, the speed at which civilization can sail. Once the sailing speed exceeds 100 C, that is, the third level curvature is mastered. Their early warning system will be triggered. Over a long period of time, seven level six civilizations have appeared in the Milky Way. Due to the existence of herders, these seven sixth level civilizations eventually became affiliated civilizations of the sweeper civilization. What about us? He Bilan's confused voice came. We became a level six civilization more than 900 years ago. During this period, the fluctuations of level three curvature spread throughout the territory. In recent times, we have mastered level four curvature technology. Not to mention the fluctuations in space and time caused by this. Why haven't we encountered these herders? It's very simple. Lu Yongchang reached out and clicked on a trivial message in the holographic projection. They have received other tasks. The shepherds began to station at the galaxy bridge in the year 2600 of the Earth's calendar. Do you remember this time? He Bilan was stunned for a moment, then murmured in a low voice. The tail docking plan was successfully implemented. To be precise, it was the time when the war between the sweepers and the pastoralists had just ended. Lu Yongchang corrected. Looking at it now, it is very likely that the sweeper civilization won this small-scale war and captured some two-dimensional fragments. Whether it is studying in situ or sending two-dimensional fragments back to the parent civilization, they all need a relatively stable research environment. The shepherd also got the task of guarding the galaxy bridge. By chance, human civilization has been able to develop for thousands of years. Lu Yongcheng's eyes were deep, and he turned to look out the porthole at the rich universe. Until we launch our expedition plan, when they arrived at the edge of the galaxy bridge, the fluctuations in the curvature of the fleet's navigation caught their attention. Whether it was the command to guard the galaxy bridge or the mission to herd the galaxy, it prompted the herders to take action against us. Chapter 862 This is normal. There was silence in the Earth Command Center. Whether it was the information in the holographic projection or Lu Yongchang's words, everyone was deeply aware of a problem. The Milky Way can't stay any longer. Fang Su suddenly stood up from his seat and said to Lu Yongchang in a strong tone, We don't know whether the herders have reported our information to the sweeper civilization. If the sweepers learn of our presence, then the original tail docking plan was completely in vain. Yongchang, the fleet must set off as soon as possible. Hearing Fang Su's words, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but fell into deep thought. Although human civilization has become a quasi-level 7 civilization, for the sweeper civilization, I'm afraid it's just a giant bug. But, Academician Fong, calm down. Li Yongchang shouted in a deep voice. Things are not that bad yet. With more than 2,000 years of development and the cultural integration of a large number of subsidiary civilizations, the manufacturing style of human civilization has changed to a great extent. Theoretically, the sweeper civilization shouldn't be able to recognize us. Not to mention, with the two-dimensional debris gone, I don't think the sweepers will waste their time looking for human civilization. Lu Yongchang's words slightly calmed down some of the commotion in the command center. But, even so, he did not veto Fang Su's proposal. He thought for a moment and quickly estimated the materials available in this small universe. Zero. Clean the battlefield as quickly as possible. Open the small universe port to the maximum extent and transport the two yellow dwarf stars into the small universe as soon as possible. After the order was issued, Lu Yongchang looked at the engineering ship that was starting to get busy in the holographic projection. And a hint of worry flashed in Lu Yongchang's eyes. Escape the galaxy. Is there no sweeper civilization in the Andromeda galaxy? Judging from the strength shown by the sweeper civilization, the probability of this happening is not high. However, now, whether it is for better development or to avoid possible imminent attacks, leaving the galaxy has become the best choice for human civilization. Therefore, even though he knew that there might be an abyss ahead, Li Yongcha could only issue this order with an unknown outcome. After completing all material collection work, the fleet will set off immediately. The black hole at the center of the Milky Way, a planet with no rotation and an extremely smooth surface is suspended quietly near the black hole. The strong gravity of the black hole 
does not seem to have any effect on it. Inside the planet. Sir, there's a message from the shepherd. A light curtain composed of materialized light automatically unfolded in front of sweeper 9527. And information from the subordinate civilization, herder, was displayed on it. Cleaner 9527 raised one of his tentacles and flicked it a few times on the light screen. Um, a civilization with small cosmic technology has appeared in the Milky Way? Cleaner 9527's eyes were full of surprise. And he straightened up from his seat. Can a seventh level civilization appear in this damn place? It carefully flipped through the information in the light curtain and reviewed this. Low level. War. It looked at the light screen in front of it with some confusion. And murmured in a low voice. Why does this civilization's design style feel familiar? As it spoke. Its external memory storage device began to flash continuously. It was searching for its own memory. Soon. It found the answer. The design concepts of these battleships have some similarities. With the previously extinct human civilization. But. It was just a perished level 4 civilization. It must be just a coincidence. Right? How could a 4th level civilization develop to such an extent after such a short period of time? It shook its head and threw this incredible thought away. Cleaner 9527 waved his tentacles somewhat boredly and gave a conclusion. They are just some crude space weapons. The only ones that involve dimensions are basic short distance jump technology. It should just be a lucky 6th level civilization. This is normal. Sir. That small universe. This is not a technology that a sixth level civilization can possess. The subordinate on the side carefully reminded his boss. Cleaner 9527 glanced at the subordinate next to him. You have been to too few river systems. Due to various reasons, some small universes will briefly intersect with the large universe. Most of them are separated from the large universe. And a small part are. Forget it. What's the point of telling you this? You just need to know that this kind of situation is actually not uncommon. It's not uncommon for some level 6 civilizations to pick up small universes with smaller masses. The basic short distance jump technology is probably inspired by the overlap between the small universe and the large universe. Anyway, this is normal. Cleaner 9527 repeated it again and moved the light curtain again to see the result of the war. Suddenly, a rare look of astonishment appeared on Cleaner 9527's face. This, you actually seized control of the Shepard S flagship? Cleaner 9527's expression became serious. Are they a silicon-based civilization? It reminded me of a war. No, not a war. To be precise, a small-scale friction. The silicon-based civilization whose computing power greatly crushed the sweeper civilization once became the psychological shadow of sweeper 9527. Silicon-based civilization, you mean the tenth? The subordinate on the side asked. Yes. Cleaner 9527 waved his tentacles impatiently, and interrupted his subordinate's words. But I heard that they have left the local galaxy group long ago, and should have nothing to do with this civilization. Because he thought of some bad memories. A hint of irritation suddenly arose in his heart. Why didn't herders discover this civilization before? It's possible that they have been hiding in the small universe? The subordinate, who was afraid of getting into trouble, deliberately lowered his voice and answered hesitantly. Possible. However, the shepherd seriously neglected his duties, and even lost 10,000 battleships, which must be punished. Cleaner 9,527's tone became stern. Deduct 80%. No, 90% of the civilization contribution value. Okay. The subordinate quickly wrote down this order on the light screen in front of him, and asked again. That sixth level civilization seems to want to leave the Milky Way through the Galaxy Bridge. We have to chase it. Cleaner 9527 glared at his subordinates fiercely. What are you chasing? The two-dimensional fragments have been sent to the mother civilization. Until we get new orders, we just have to guard the nodes of the galaxy. If the pastoralists come to cause trouble again, can you shoulder this responsibility? Chapter 863. Shifting the Blame. No, no, no. Hearing the words of Cleaner 9527, the subordinate's face changed slightly. He waved his tentacles repeatedly and hurriedly denied it. Are you kidding me? How could a position like this be able to shoulder such a huge responsibility? If the pastoral faction is really allowed to destroy the mother civilization's arrangement of nodes in the galaxy. Let alone it. Not even the sweeper 9527 can bear this responsibility. Cleaner 9527 did not pay attention to the denials of his subordinates. It just stared blankly at the light curtain in front of it. With several tentacles waving unconsciously around it. It can be easily seen from the constantly flashing external memory storage device that its thinking organ is very active. 
The subordinate next to him carefully leaned aside. For fear of disturbing Cleaner 9527's thinking process. Cleaner 9527 was extremely confused. Just let this civilization go to the Andromeda Galaxy? This is just a level 6 civilization. When will the Majestic Sweeper civilization be afraid of a small 6th level civilization? In its memory, there has never been a civilization that could swagger and leave as if nothing happened after attacking the Sweeper civilization. To put it mildly, this is just something wrong with the Sweeper's Galaxy branch. To put it more seriously, this even involves the face of the Sweeper civilization. If the Mother civilization knew about this, it probably won't end well. At least it won't want to leave this remote and poor place. But here comes the problem. This civilization behaves very much like a silicon-based civilization in war. Under normal circumstances, a small level 6 silicon-based civilization is not worthy of its attention. But this is the Milky Way. According to the inference of the mother civilization, the silicon-based civilization named the Tenth Empire was most likely born in the Milky Way. In case there is any relationship between these two civilizations, his cleaner 9527 trembled slightly and quickly dismissed the original thoughts in his mind. It doesn't matter if you fight. It doesn't matter if you don't fight. Sweeper 9527 groaned secretly in his heart and became even more angry towards the shepherd. What do you think you are doing to provoke this civilization? Forget it if you provoke me. You can still report the results of the war. Don't you know that all log records of each branch will be uploaded to the parent civilization regularly? Isn't this just looking for trouble for it? The more I think about it, the angrier I get. The more I think about it when I step back, the more I lose. What did it do wrong? It just wants to stay in the black hole area of the galactic center and complete its own mission. Why let it take the blame? Defense. The angry voice of Sweeper 9527 suddenly rang out. Deduct all the herder as civilization contribution points for me. The subordinates on the side looked at Cleaner 9527 blankly and did not react for a while. Aw? Uh? Didn't you hear what I said? Cleaner 9527 looked at the subordinates beside him with an unfriendly expression. I... I understand. The subordinate hurriedly called up a light screen and changed the original order. Looking at the punishment for Herder on the light screen, Sweeper 9527 nodded with satisfaction. Then it got into trouble again. How to deal with this troublesome civilization? It raised its tentacles and unconsciously moved the light curtain in front of it. In the light curtain, there is a simulated route connecting the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. Looking at the icon of the Andromeda Galaxy, Sweeper 9527 felt his eyes light up. And an idea suddenly arose in his heart. Inform the Andromeda branch that there is a level 6 civilization that has escaped from the Milky Way under the pursuit of the Shepherd and is currently fleeing to the Andromeda Galaxy. This civilization is suspected of having a small universe of unknown origin and basic river navigation capabilities. Please make sure they intercept it. The subordinate on the side glanced at his superior in disbelief. This shit the blame? Seeing the look that Sweeper 9527 was looking at him, his subordinates quickly edited a message and sent it to the Andromeda Galaxy after confirming it was correct. After a short wait, a new light curtain automatically unfolded. Sir! Sir! The subordinate glanced at the information on the screen and looked at Cleaner 9527 with some embarrassment. The Andromeda branch has sent an inquiry. They asked us why we didn't do it ourselves. Cleaner 9527's face turned dark when he heard this. Do it yourself? If it can do it on its own, will it be the Andromeda branch's turn to do it? After pondering for a moment, it gave its answer. The pastoral faction is very likely to launch another attack on the nodes of the Milky Way. The Milky Way branch needs to be located in the galactic center area. Ask them. If the node in the galaxy is destroyed, can they shoulder this responsibility? If it can afford it, the galaxy branch can take action to solve this problem. The subordinate looked at his superior with a stiff expression. These words. Why does it sound familiar? What are you doing standing still? Cleaner 9527 glared at it. Why don't you send the message over quickly? If there is a delay, can you bear the responsibility? Subordinate. Lania Chaos Supercluster. Hydra Centaurus Supercluster. Giant Attractor. A large fleet with a dark gray surface moves quietly through this dangerous area with mixed gravity. The various powerful radiations around it and the gravitational fluctuations of extreme celestial bodies cannot affect it at all. The shape of the battleship resembles a cylinder. On the surface of these extremely smooth cylinders, there are also lines with strange shapes, which form a strange symbol. That's a symbol that evolved from a silicon atomic structure diagram. That's the Silicon Alliance logo. 
and its unique cylindrical hull further proves its identity, the leader civilization of the Silicon Alliance. The Tenth Empire. In the center of the fleet, inside a huge starship made of several superimposed cylinders. Under the orange light, a rich orange mist slowly lingered in the huge space. Suddenly, the mist quickly dispersed, revealing several huge creatures over 50 meters tall, very similar to the shape of a starship. These creatures have a cylinder-like shape. At the bottom of the cylindrical trunk that is more than 30 meters high are dozens of tentacles that are 20 meters long. Under the movement of these tentacles, these behemoths floated slowly in the orange mist. Strong electromagnetic waves echoed inside the ship. Failed again. No four-dimensional cavitation was found near the giant source. One of the cylindrical creatures raised its tentacles and pressed a few times on the tall device beside it. A projection interface similar to a holographic image appeared in the orange mist. The dimensionality enhancement experiment also failed. Although we can understand the fourth dimension through various devices, that's not the full picture after all. To complete the dimensionality increase, four-dimensional cavitation is indispensable. Chapter 864 Galaxy Frog Leap Another cylindrical creature asked its own question. What to do? The Alliance has searched all regions of the Lania Chaos Supercluster for possible four-dimensional vacuoles. But, continued the expedition, along with a new electromagnetic wave, the orange mist dispersed again, and a taller intelligent creature floated out of it. The Empire has decided to restart the Galaxy Leapfrog plan and move towards the Centauri Galaxy Cluster and the Hercules Super Galaxy Cluster. Follow the Wuxian Corona Borealis Great Wall and continue to search for four-dimensional cavitations. The Sweeper Civilization can find four-dimensional vacuoles. And so can we. The electromagnetic waves slowly dissipated and silence returned to the inside of the starship. The flow rate of the orange-yellow mist gradually slowed down until it stagnated. The tall cylindrical intelligent creatures were once again hidden in the thick mist. For a long time, following a flash of light, the space and time around the giant source of attraction experienced a strong distortion. In the violent flash of light, this huge fleet disappeared without a trace. At the same time, human civilization has also officially entered the Milky Way Andromeda Galaxy Bridge area and embarked on an expedition to the Andromeda Galaxy. In the vast universe, a small fleet of 500 starships sailed quietly in the silent darkness. The starlight coming from infinite distance was extremely dim and could not illuminate the path of this fleet at all. One year. Two years. Time passes bit by bit. For a quasi-level 7 human civilization, sailing across the river system is extremely long and boring. There is almost no change in the surrounding scenery, and only an artificial intelligence like Zero will not get tired of this boring journey. Earth Calendar Year 5303 The fleet exited the super light speed warp navigation state for the first time. Quafu's warp engine failed. Not only Quafu, but under the invisible sharp blade of time. More than 500 escorting starships also experienced more or less internal failures. Under Zero's control, the small universe port slowly opened, and engineering ships and material transport ships sailed out one after another. The temporary starship factory automatically expanded in this void, and a large number of robots and mechanical arms began repair work. After half a year of repairs and repairs, the restored Quafu once again followed the escort fleet into the super light speed curvature state. Earth calendar year 7139. This is the sixth time the fleet has exited the super light speed curvature state. It was only 191 years since the last time. The reason for exiting the super light curvature state this time was not due to the fleet's own factors in front of the fleet. A huge rogue planet was flying, fast, in the direction of Andromeda. This is the largest celestial body that the human fleet has encountered since entering the galaxy bridge. After a brief thought, Zero sent several detectors towards it. It's a gas giant planet. It also retains considerable amounts of hydrogen and helium. The temperatures inside the planet keep these hydrogen and helium in gaseous form. This is a gift from the universe to travelers. Zero did not hesitate to control Quafu to open the port of the small universe and included this planet that had been wandering for an unknown period of time into the small universe. Earth calendar year 8713. The United Fleet has escaped from the super light speed curvature state for the tenth time. Inside Earth, Lu Yongchan woke up from hibernation. This is the fourth time he has woken up. Theoretically, the human fleet will be able to reach the Andromeda galaxy the next time it wakes up. Due to the existence of the small universe, the Academy of Sciences did not completely stop research work during the more than 4,000 years of navigation. During the hibernation break, scientific researchers launched a scientific research relay race, one after another. To put it simply, it is to relay each other and carry out simple research work while awake. 
although the efficiency is very low. It is better than lasting. The original space-time theoretical model has become more and more perfect with the experience package provided by Herder. Liu Yongchang reviewed the results of the scientific research, Relay Race. An inspiration began to rise in his mind. He seemed to have touched the threshold of level 7 civilization. He recalled the original two-dimensional fragment restraint device, and the inspiration in his mind became clearer. More advanced applications in space seem to be based on dark matter, from matter to antimatter, and from antimatter to dark matter. Liu Yongchang nodded subconsciously, which was reasonable. He stood up, boarded the back deck of the robotic arm robot, and gave Zero an order. Take me to the observation deck. Earth. Observation deck. Liu Yongchang looked out the porthole. The seven stars wrapped in the Dyson Sphere run smoothly in the center of the small universe under the influence of the Grand Unified Field, forming a stable seven-star system under the action of the reaction catalytic device in the core of the star. These yellow dwarfs are rapidly releasing their own energy. In just a few thousand years, they have lost energy that could have sustained billions of years of burning. All this energy was converted into antimatter by the Dyson Sphere system and drove the normal operation of the entire human alliance fleet. Further away, the small universe port has been opened. Engineering ships and transport ships came out one after another to carry out half-year maintenance work on the star ships in the universe. During these thousands of years, Kwafu and a group of escort fleets, except for the outer armor, almost all internal devices have been replaced. So here's the problem? Are the Kwafu and escort starships now still the Kwafu and escort starships when they left the galaxy? This question suddenly flashed through Liu Yongchang's mind. He didn't know the answer, and he didn't want to delve into the answer to this question. Professor, the remaining supplies in the small universe have been reduced to the second level warning level. An electronic synthesized sound suddenly sounded, interrupting his wandering thoughts. Liu Yongchang came back to his senses and turned his gaze to the holographic projection that automatically unfolded beside him. Level 2 cordon. In other words, 40% of the materials in the small universe are left. Not a big problem. 80% of the voyage has passed, and the remaining supplies are more than enough. He raised his hand and swiped a few times on the holographic projection. The scene of the big universe appeared before his eyes. The Andromeda Galaxy, which was only the size of a light spot at the beginning, has now completely revealed its appearance in front of human civilization. It is a much larger galaxy than the Milky Way. The bright light of the star came out from it, shining across the long distance on the cold hull of the human fleet. As for the originally huge Milky Way, it has become the original Andromeda Galaxy. It became an insignificant dim speck of light. The history of the rise and fall of human civilization is all gathered in that small dim spot of light. The Milky Way Chapter Finished Chapter 865 Arrival Andromeda Galaxy Earth Calendar Year 9800 Following a strong fluctuation in space and time, a small fleet of 500 starships appeared at the edge of the Andromeda Galaxy. After 5,143 years, human civilization has finally successfully crossed the chasm between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. In the interstellar space where matter was originally extremely sparse, the particles from the Andromeda Galaxy gradually became denser. Under Zero's control, Kwafu began to slowly increase the output power, and the small universe port also opened. This will be the last repair and resupply operation before entering the Andromeda Galaxy. In the small universe of the People's Union, Electronic synthesized sounds rang out in Earth and Home Fortress. The fleet has successfully arrived at the preset destination. The voyage time is 5,143 years. The current time is 4.16 in the morning of July 16th. 9800 Earth calendar. The first batch of awakening plans is launched. The Andromeda Milky Way Galaxy Bridge Edge region. A planet with a faint blue-white light hovering quietly in the empty universe. The planet is very small with a diameter of less than 500 kilometers. By the standards of human civilization, it can only be regarded as an asteroid. The light on the surface of the planet is not strong, and is even a bit soft. Through this layer of faint blue-white light, the surface structure of the planet can be clearly observed. It is a standard smooth spherical surface, without any ridges or depressions. Strong interaction structure. Not only that, this planet does not have any rotation or revolution properties. It's an artificial planetary fortress. The design concept of this planetary fortress is quite different from the design concept of human civilization normally. The planetary fortress will expand its size as much as possible without affecting the structural strength and flexibility. The reason is simple. The larger the volume, the more weapons and equipment it can accommodate. 
and the stronger its combat effectiveness on the frontal battlefield. But the builder of the planetary fortress in front of him obviously didn't think so. In the dark and cold universe, it seems particularly compact. Inside the planetary fortress is a relatively spacious space. A humanoid intelligent creature with light cyan skin slowly raised his arm, an arm composed of slender tentacles. 9,436, which is its number. Under the control of humanoid intelligent creatures, these tentacles streak through the air. A light curtain composed of materialized light automatically appears in the area crossed by the tentacle. On the light curtain, a signal source was silently emitting a strong signal to the surroundings. The fugitive civilization from the Milky Way has finally arrived. 9,436 stretched out. And the tentacles on both sides of his body also stretched out. 9527. That lazy guy is unwilling to do such a small thing. Next time we meet, I have to teach it a lesson. On the side, another humanoid intelligent creature rolled his eyes angrily. Come on! The Andromeda galaxy is already shabby enough. I don't want to go to a ghost place like the Milky Way. Regarding the words of companion, 9,435, 9,436, smiled noncommittally and changed the topic. Having said that, the higher-ups are also cautious enough. For a small sixth-level civilization, they actually used the White Dwarf Fortress. I really don't know what they were thinking. This is such a waste. The companion slightly shook the tentacles on both sides of his body and operated on the light screen spread out in front of him. At the same time, he responded to 9,436 as complaints. It's normal. 9527 have you forgotten what that cheater did before? It's always good to be on the safe side. If the operation fails and the mother civilization is held accountable, it will be difficult for us to do business. The calculation of the four-dimensional waterway has been completed and the jump wormhole can be opened at any time. 9,436 as tentacles gently brush the light screen and continued in a tone full of emotion. Thanks to the fact that the Andromeda branch is not like the galaxy branch. There are three white dwarf fortresses in charge. So there is no big problem in using one. Otherwise, the higher-ups will still have to worry about those pastoralists. Okay, we don't need to care about the decision from above. The companion interrupted, 9,436. Get ready to open the jump wormhole. Quick victory. After completing the mission, we have to report back to the black hole area in the center of Andromeda. 9,436 shook his tentacles again and skillfully pressed several virtual buttons on the light screen beside him. In a dark and empty universe, the blue-white light on the surface of this short white fortress with a diameter of less than 500 kilometers gradually became brighter. The originally soft light actually became a bit dazzling at this moment. A twisted spherical space-time structure slowly appeared directly in front of the white dwarf fortress. Subsequently, the white dwarf fortress moved forward quickly and disappeared directly into this twisted spherical space-time structure. This starfield has once again returned to its original piece. People's Alliance Small Universe. Professor, welcome to the Andromeda Galaxy. As soon as Lu Yongchang opened his eyes, a familiar electronic synthesized sound came to his ears. He took a deep breath and stood up from the hibernation cabin. Are we here? The long hibernation made his voice a little hoarse. Yes, Professor. Zero responded softly. According to the scheduled plan, the first batch of wake-up procedures has been completed. Looking at the astonishing Earth calendar numbers in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a little dazed in his heart. It's been 9,800 years. He struggled to climb out of the hibernation cabin and subconsciously turned to look at the transparent porthole not far away. The small universe was dim. During the long journey, the energy of the seven stars was almost exhausted. Lu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a little thankful and afraid in his heart. Although the current energy consumption of the People's United Fleet is mainly due to the microcosm traction platform, Kwafu, and the production activities within the microcosm, if it were replaced by the expedition plan before obtaining the microcosm, the energy consumption would not be so terrible. But, a human fleet without a small universe would be able to carry much less supplies. Lu Yongchang made a brief calculation in his mind and came to a conclusion. If it were the original expedition plan, the combat power of the human fleet would have shrunk by at least 90%. Even more. After all, human civilization endured a great war before leaving the galaxy. Lu Yongchang was even more afraid. No wonder the original, 10th Empire, started its expedition plan only after it became a 7th level civilization. 
civilizations that have not mastered the technology of the small universe are basically unable to afford the horrific resource consumption of cross-river navigation. The consequences of a forced expedition are also easy to imagine. It's nothing more than the fleet running out of energy and turning into a pile of scrap metal. Or perhaps encountering an accident after struggling to reach the target river system because its strength is greatly weakened. Judging from the current experience of human civilization expeditions, the success rate of ordinary 6th level civilizations in river navigation is probably less than 1%. Chapter 866 White Dwarf Fortress After an hour, the first batch of awakening personnel have all woken up and returned to their jobs the latest hibernation technology does not have as many sequelae as before. As the shuttle shuttled between the starships, the slightly dim and empty small universe began to gain some life. Earth Command Center Everyone! The fleet is about to enter super light speed curvature navigation again. The target of this voyage is a small star system located on the edge of the Andromeda galaxy. Over there, the fleet will receive the most basic supplies. Lu Yong Chong reached out and opened a holographic star map and briefly introduced the next voyage plan. Preliminary estimates are that the fleet will arrive at the target star system in half a month. After completing the material replenishment, the fleet will send a large number of detectors deep into the Andromeda Galaxy to make a preliminary estimate of the density of civilization in the Andromeda Galaxy. This will directly affect the next development plan of the People's Federation. So please be careful. Before the words could be finished, the blue holographic projection in the command center had already turned into blood red. At the same time, the piercing siren also started to sound. Alarm! An abnormal space-time structure appears in front of the fleet. The electronic synthesized voice was extremely rapid. The degree of distortion of time and space, extremely high. Before anyone could react, a new alarm sounded. Alarm! Discover the technological creations of unknown civilization. One wave is not over. Another wave is rising. Alarm! The opponent has entered a super light speed curvature navigation state. The sailing speed is being calculated. Calculation completed. Current speed, 50,000 C. Looking at the three blood-red warnings that appeared in the giant holographic projection one after another, Lu Yongchan felt dizzy. An unprecedented sense of suffocation and lack of oxygen suddenly arose. He opened his mouth, but no sound came out. 50,000 C? This? What level of civilization is this? Level 7? Or 8th grade? Who are they? Why are they here? Does it have anything to do with human civilization? Countless questions burst out in Lu Yongchan's mind. In less than a second, countless thoughts flashed through Lu Yongchang's quantum brain. His eyes widened suddenly, looking at the signal source in the tachyon radar that was moving at an unprecedented speed. He roared out an order. Zero! Sound the war alarm! Forced to wake up all crew members! Open the small universe port to the maximum extent and send out all war-type starships! Lu Yongchang repeated sharply. All battleships! Including Earth! This is the most efficient operation for the human fleet to enter the 6th level civilization. Under Zero's control, Kwafu directly entered an overload state. Is the Grand Unified Field Generating Device damaged? Those are things you have to consider only after you survive. The small universe port that was originally looming expanded to its limit at the fastest speed. A total of 10, Chiyu, planetary fortresses, and 20,000 main battleships of various types appeared in the open universe in just a few seconds. Not only that, after these main battleships, a huge battleship with a scale of 200,000 meters also squeezed out of the small universe. As for the small universe, as Zero's computing power occupancy soared, countless space factories began to operate at full power, and various reserve materials were transported to the corresponding areas in an orderly manner and processed into various weapons and ammunition. Then, the transport ships lined up in a long queue, constantly traveling back and forth between the small universe and the large universe quickly replenishing the fleet's status. Surrounding these transport ships are densely packed arrays of ship-based drones and floating turrets, like a swarm of insects. After leaving the small universe, they quickly drove to the predetermined area. In just over 10 minutes, a starry sky fortress armed to the teeth appeared out of thin air at the edge of the Andromeda galaxy. Earth, command center. The atmosphere was extremely depressing. In the bright red holographic projection, the distance between the fast-moving signal source and the fleet is getting closer and closer. Contact warning! The unknown technological creation will come into contact with our fleet in 30 seconds. The blood-red numbers kept beating, and the look on Li Yongcheng's face became more solemn. The countdown did not return to zero in the end. 
but stopped at the last second when the two were about to collide. The fast-moving signal source broke away from the super-light curvature state and appeared in the visible universe. This, looking at the picture in the giant holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's voice became extremely hoarse. Planetary Fortress? A standard spherical battleship with a soft blue-white light and an extremely smooth surface hovered quietly in the vast universe. The blue-white light slightly dispelled the darkness of this empty star field and also revealed its appearance to the human fleet unabashedly. It does not bring any warmth to human civilization. On the contrary, looking at this miniature planetary fortress, everyone felt as if they had fallen into an ice hole and their whole bodies were freezing. Send an inquiry message to the other party. Lu Yongchang took a few deep breaths with difficulty. After he recovered, he issued the order in a hoarse voice. Next moment, honorable. A message with a self-interpretation system was sent towards the blue-white planet fortress. Sweeper civilization. Inside the white dwarf fortress, 9435 was shaking his tentacles and carefully looked at the light screen in front of him. The comparison results have come out. This is the sixth level civilization that escaped the galaxy. Use four-dimensional shock bombs to solve the problem quickly? Or 9436 looked at the light curtain in front of him with interest and interrupted his companion. Wait a minute. They sent a message. Saying that, 9436 quickly imported the information into the interpretation system. Complex text quickly appeared in front of the two of them. Unknown advanced civilization pays you the highest respect. We are the energet civilization from the Milky Way. We are sorry for blocking your way forward. In and out of words. The main theme is humility. There is no way. Just judging from the difference in sailing speed between the two, human civilization and the other side are not on the same level of civilization. Aren't you humble in courting death at this time? However, despite being humble, Lu Yongchang still has not forgotten his previous experience. When out and about. Use a trumpet. Chapter 867 Free Fire Looking at the information on the light screen, 9436 could not help but reveal a contemptuous smile. The original idea of a quick victory gradually faded away. This energy civilization is quite interesting. Blocking the road? How do you think they came up with such a reason? Upon hearing this, the companion, 9435, on the side couldn't help laughing. It's a bit outrageous indeed. After living for such a long time, this is the first time it has heard such a fresh reason. I changed my mind. 9436 looked at the light curtain in front of him with interest, raised his tentacles, and gently closed the launch interface of the four-dimensional shock bomb. Their arrival time in the Andromeda galaxy was much earlier than the branch's estimate. We still have plenty of time. The central black hole area is too boring. Why not? Let's have some fun with this interesting energy civilization. Regarding 9436's proposal, companion 9435 couldn't help but show a look of displeasure on his face. This isn't too good, isn't it? In case the superiors find out. 9436 shook his tentacles repeatedly and entered a line of information on the light screen in front of him. What are you afraid of? It's just a fleet of a sixth level civilization. How can it show off in front of the white dwarf fortress? As long as we finally solve this energy civilization and the honor of the sweeper civilization is not damaged, it will be fine. The companion wanted to say something more. But 9436 did not give it a chance to speak and directly pressed the virtual send button on the light screen. Tachyon message sent successfully. Looking at this prompt message, 9435, S raised tentacles drooped slightly, giving up the original idea of persuasion. Makes sense. In front of the white dwarf fortress, not to mention the sixth level civilization, even the seventh level civilization can't get the slightest benefit. The planetary fortress glowing with blue, and white light was still hovering quietly in front of the fleet without any movement. The People's Alliance fleet did not dare to make any move, but silently waited for the other party's reaction. In the Earth Command Center, the air was so thick that it seemed like it was about to drip with water. The strings in the minds of all the academicians and commanding officers were stretched to the extreme. Drop! Tachyon message detected. The familiar electronic synthesized sound sounded. And at the same time, Zero actively introduced the information into the analysis system. Like the messages sent by human civilization, this message also comes with dictionary information. The next moment, lines of information from unknown civilizations appeared on the huge holographic projection in the command center. But, when they saw the first line of text, 
Everyone in the command center turned extremely pale. This is the Andromeda branch of the Sweeper Civilization. White Dwarf Fortress Number 3. Energet Civilization. You have finally arrived in the Andromeda Galaxy. Lu Yongcheng's Adam's apple moved slightly. And drops of cold sweat slowly slid down his forehead uncontrollably. Just two sentences. But the amount of information contained is terrifying. The opponent turned out to be the Sweeper Civilization. This is the worst outcome Lu Yongcheng imagined. Bar none. Secondly, White Dwarf Fortress Number 3. That is to say, the opponent has at least two such planetary fortresses. Certainly, this information is not important to human civilization at this time. Finally, and most importantly, they knew for a long time that we were coming to the Andromeda Galaxy. Bong Su on the side murmured in the same hoarse voice. Just out of the tiger's den and into the wolf's den, Lu Yongchang's quantum brain is running rapidly, trying to find a way to survive for human civilization. While he was thinking there, Several new pieces of tachyon information appeared on the light screen. How? Don't you know the sweeper civilization? Then you should know about the herder civilization in the Milky Way. Right? That is an affiliated civilization of the Milky Way branch. An attack on an affiliated civilization is regarded as a declaration of war on the main civilization. As a level 6 civilization. You should know this rule. Right? Lu Yongchang looked at the information in the giant holographic projection with a cold sweat. He breathed a sigh of relief and at the same time, a heavy sense of despair arose spontaneously. The good news is that the other party did not recognize them as human civilization. Or in other words, the information of human civilization was not synchronized to the Andromeda branch. Similarly, the vest of the Energet civilization was not recognized the Energet civilization at that time was almost accepted as a subsidiary civilization by the sweepers. Of course, there is good news and there is bad news. Although the true identity and Vest have not been revealed. But? They still face the Sweeper Civilization head-on. Lu Yongchang tried to save this desperate situation. Dear Sweeper Civility, I'm sorry. We don't know the so-called Herder Civilization of the Milky Way. This may be a misunderstanding. The next moment, a large amount of data was transmitted to Earth. That is the specific details of the war between human civilization and the Milky Way, Wrangler. Among them, there are detailed images of the human fleet. Forget? This is information sent by the Sweeper's Galaxy branch. Now, do you remember? Lu Yongchang's eyes were full of bitterness. Although Zero took over all the warships of Herder in the later stages of the war, the data and information that had been sent were still beyond the reach of Zero. We are willing to pay adequate compensation for this. After a long silence, Lu Yongchang made a final attempt. After a short wait, a blood-red message appeared in front of everyone's eyes. The honor of the Sweeper civilization cannot be damaged. In the command center, everyone's emotions suddenly reached freezing point. Lu Yongchang took a deep breath and adjusted his mentality. This is not the first time I have dealt with the sweeper civilization. But this is the first time that human civilization collides head-on with the sweeper civilization. This is also the first time that human civilization has come into conflict with the top civilization in the universe. Everyone! Lu Yongchang cleared his throat and his voice gradually became smoother. Thanks to the sweeper civilization! Human civilization has lost too much. The solar system, the Earth, the people, starting from the year 2030 on the Earth's calendar, the sweeper civilization has been the enemy of human civilization. At this point, human civilization has no retreat. So what's the problem with the 8th level civilization? It just took a little more time to develop than us. When human civilization is still in the 2nd level of civilization, it can survive under the methods of the sweeper civilization. This battle will let the stubborn sweeper see the power of human civilization. Lu Yongchang's voice gradually became more and more passionate. And the atmosphere in the command center began to warm up. Attention all! Restart the Dandelion Project. Open the small universe port. And sow the seeds of civilization to the surrounding river systems. The flagship is ready to enter. All units are free to fire. Buy enough time for the Dandelion Plan. Chapter 868 Four Shields Hack him! Zhao Zijia's face turned slightly red. And he punched the console in front of him with a dull sound. Human civilization will only fall on the road to charge. Activate the space-time trap at full power. Activate the space annihilation device. Space rift starts charging. As before, Zhao Zijia still chose the same strategy as when fighting Herder. There is no way. Without knowing the enemy's methods, this is already the optimal solution for the human fleet today. Inside the White Dwarf Fortress of the Sweeper, 9436 waved his tentacles comfortably 
and looked at the warning coming from the light screen with a relaxed expression. Looks like these little guys are ready to give it a go. It's interesting. Don't they know how big the gap is between the 6th level civilization and the 8th level civilization? Companion, 9,435, pondered for a moment and agreed in a low voice. It's very possible. After all, it's a civilization that came from a small place. According to 9,527's nature, there is not much benefit. So it probably won't order the main fleet to deal with these level 6 civilizations. In this small place in the Milky Way, apart from the Herders and the Milky Way branch, the Energid civilization should be one of the best. Don't talk about the strength of the 8th level civilization. I estimate that they have never even seen a real 7th level civilization. 9,436, hearing this, the sarcastic smile in his eyes became a little stronger again. It looked at the data in the light curtain jokingly. A time and space trap of this level? How ignorant! As it spoke, its tentacles brushed the light curtain in front of it and quickly pressed a few buttons. Activate the four-dimensional shield and watch the show. The moment the order was given, a strong fluctuation of time and space suddenly appeared around the white dwarf fortress. Running the space-time trap at full power created quite a wave on the calm ocean of space-time in just a few seconds. What follows is even more intense fluctuations in space and time. Under the blue-white light, slender deep black cracks continued to appear in this space. Like glass about to break, these slender cracks continued to connect and spread. And the white dwarf fortress with soft light all around was still hovering quietly in the center of this space. It made no move to resist. Seem. To it. These attacks in front of it are just like the breeze blowing over the mountains. Wow. As the cracks continued to spread, the space that reached the critical point was really like a piece of glass. Shattered into countless pieces in an instant. An extremely black and smooth spherical area appeared directly in front of the People's Alliance fleet. Dark and deep. That is the hollow area formed after the space is broken. The next moment, the smooth outer edge of the spherical area began to become rough under the self-healing effect of time and space. This empty area is being repaired at an extremely fast speed. At the same time, the fleet consisting of more than 20,000 warships is ready to go. Hundreds of thousands of space rifts appeared in the vast universe. And the starlight from the distance became much dimmer. Whoosh! Under Zero's precise control, these space rifts separated from the ship at the moment before the void area was about to disappear. And disappear directly into the visible universe. Finally, the hole caused by the annihilation of space was completely repaired. The blue-white light appeared again in this star field. Inside Earth, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but tremble in his heart as he looked at the pictures in the holographic projection. From the appearance alone, there was nothing unusual about that planet fortress. Attention! The spatial rift is about to hit the target. The moment the electronic synthesis sound sounded, the blue-white planet fortress suddenly disappeared into the universe. Zero! Liu Yongchang's expression changed drastically, and he stood up suddenly. Explore the surrounding area immediately and determine the enemy's coordinates as soon as possible. The enemy's coordinates have been locked. Without any pause, the electronic synthesized voice came again. The enemy ship has not moved. Whoa, what? Liu Yongchang's pupil shrank. He raised his hand and slid it in the holographic projection in front of him. The radar showed that there was a gravitational anomaly area in the area in front of the fleet. That is where the White Dwarf Fortress is located. The mass of the White Dwarf Fortress far exceeds that of an asteroid of the same size. No, not moving? Liu Yongchang stared blankly at the picture in the holographic projection. Invisible. Invisible? Is invisibility useful? He suddenly felt that his thinking was a little difficult to turn around. Could it be that if the battleship becomes invisible, it will no longer be in this space? Before he could figure out the reason, a warning sound came from the tachyon radar. The attack has successfully reached the enemy ship area. Missed the enemy ship and caused no visible damage. In the tachyon radar, the signal sources symbolizing space rifts passed through the gravitational anomaly zone out of thin air and flew into the distance without any abnormalities. The next moment, the blue-white light appeared again. The white dwarf fortress, as smooth as a work of art, appeared in front of everyone again. In the command center, the original silence suddenly returned. TSK Liu Yongchan gritted his molars and tried his best to think about the reasons behind this magical phenomenon. Continue the attack. Zhao Zijia on the side reacted quickly. Switch to attack mode. Switch to kinetic and energy weapons to attack. If space weapons fail, use relatively primitive weapons. The missile equipped with a four-dimensional jump function took the lead and rushed towards the white dwarf fortress. 
followed closely by high-energy laser beams and material disintegration rays. The scene of 20,000 warships firing at the same time is very grand. The dim starry sky suddenly became brighter. From a distance, it was like a bright star appeared out of thin air. The white dwarf fortress still made no move, silently defying the attacks of human civilization. When the first Kermature missile approached it, the white dwarf fortress disappeared into the visible universe again. The next moment, the Kermature missile suddenly appeared behind the area where the white dwarf fortress was located. The missile disappeared for a moment. Lu Yongchang's eyes were a little bloodshot, staring at the purple high-energy laser beams in the picture. Really? When it was about to come into contact with the area where the White Dwarf Fortress was located, the high-energy laser beam disappeared into the universe out of thin air. When it appeared again, it had already arrived behind the White Dwarf Fortress. A section of laser beam that was supposed to be continuous seemed to be cut off in the middle. I see! The scene in front of him made Lu Yong Chong have a guess in his mind. Dimensional shield. To be precise, it should be four shields. They twisted the port of the four-dimensional Klein bottle into a spherical shield. Chapter 869 Dandelion What? In the chaos, Fong Su turned his head and asked Lu Yong Chong loudly, Then why did this planet fortress disappear? It's not disappearing. Lu Yong Chong corrected again. It still stays in place. But we can't see it. You also know that the entrance and exit of the Klein bottle are connected. What would happen if? And I mean if. We changed the basic architecture of the Klein bottle and integrated its inlet and outlet into a three-dimensional sphere. Fong Su's expression moved slightly, as if he had realized something. Good. Before Fong Su could speak, Lu Yongchang started asking and answering himself. All light can pass through this spherical space without any obstruction. Invisibility is just a function that comes with it. All three-dimensional attacks cannot penetrate this four-dimensional shield and attack this white dwarf fortress. It's like... Two-dimensional creatures living on paper are basically impossible to pose a threat to us. What about painting? Fong Su questioned blankly. Drawing, as a two-dimensional creature, how can it cause damage to three-dimensional objects? Drawing, haven't you noticed that the purpose of all its attacks is to turn three-dimensional objects into two-dimensional objects? Only by making a three-dimensional object two-dimensional can it launch a real attack on it. It's just that in most cases, the two-dimensionalized three-dimensional object has lost its original structure. So there is no need to draw it. In short, Lu Yongchang took a deep breath. The gap between low dimensions and high dimensions is extremely huge. Before mastering dimensional attack methods, ordinary attacks will be completely ineffective against this white dwarf fortress. Fong Su turned his head and glanced at the white dwarf fortress that once again appeared in the dark starry sky, glowing with blue and white light. And his tone became harsh. Then, what should we do? Lu Yongchang did not speak but frowned and looked at the picture in the holographic projection. The command center also returned to silence, fearing that noisy sounds would interrupt his thoughts. If the basic technology of the four-dimensional shield is the client bottle structure, then we actually have the ability to affect the shield. As he spoke, he reached out and opened a brand new holographic projection, and briefly listed a few lines of formulas describing the structure of the client bottle on it. I need a moment, Lu Yongchang whispered to Zhao Zijia. In addition, Confirm the status of the Imperial Fortress. Once the time is right, let Ten take control of the Imperial Fortress and take action. Good. Zhao Zijia quickly issued several orders. The gunfire in the holographic projection became more intense. But they did not cause any damage to enemy ships. The main thing is to win with momentum. Time passes minute by minute. The formulas and data in the holographic projection gradually became sloppy and complex. Using a large number of warp missiles, Lu Yongchang's voice was particularly clear in the quiet command center. Open the four-dimensional jump device in advance, perturbing the four-dimensional shield through these small Klein bottle structures. Theoretically, this is possible. What is feasible in theory does not mean that it is feasible in practice. The Klein bottle formed by a short-distance jump and the Klein bottle forming a four-dimensional shield are completely different products. But, this is already the only attempt that human civilization can make. According to Lu Yongchang's calculation model, Hundreds of thousands of curvature missiles formed a vast formation under zero control. Just like before, they shot towards the area where the White Dwarf Fortress is located. When they were about to reach the four-dimensional shield boundary, they simultaneously activated the short-distance jump system. In the four-dimensional space, countless small Klein bottle structures suddenly appeared on top of a super-large twisted Klein bottle structure. There is no doubt that this shakes the stability of the large Klein bottle structure. In the originally empty target star field, 
A faint blue-white light suddenly appeared the white dwarf fortress revealed part of its true appearance. But, the next moment, this faint blue-white light disappeared again. The four maintenance shield once again returned to its original stable state. Although it is only a momentary change, it still gives human civilization some hope. Continue. Zhao Zijiao looked a little excited and gave the order. Increase the number of warp missiles. If 100,000 is not enough, then 500,000. 1 million. Inside the White Dwarf Fortress, 9,436 looked at the warning message on the light screen and let out a light sigh. This human civilization. I already have some basic understanding of dimensions. As it spoke, it waved its tentacles angrily. I knew 9527 was unreliable. This is not a lucky 6th level civilization. I'm almost promoted to level 7 civilization. Companion 9435 hurriedly operated on the light screen in front of him. It's not a big problem. I have increased the output power of the 4-dimensional shield. Previous miracles were not repeated. Even though Zhao Zijia ordered a significant increase in the number of warp missiles, there was still no fluctuation in the four shields of the White Dwarf Fortress. Start, Project Dandelion. Lu Yongchang's voice came. While the other party's attention is attracted by these curvature missiles, Professor Tan has sent a message. The electronic synthesized voice interrupted Lu Yongchang's words. The Imperial Fortress has completed the supply of materials and arrived at the small universe port. It can enter the big universe at any time to launch an attack. Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment. Tell Tan to prepare for an attack. Wait until Dandelion leaves the fleet and immediately launch an attack on the White Dwarf Fortress. The artillery fire was still fierce, and there was no sign of decline. Space-time fluctuations caused by short-distance space jumps continue to appear in this star field, causing continuous and negligible impact on the four-dimensional shield. Under the cover of endless artillery fire, Kwafu, located in the central area of the fleet, appeared a bit strange. Under Zero's control, Kwafu unknowingly retreated to the rear. At the same time, small starships gradually appeared at the small universe port. These starships are streamlined and very similar in shape to shuttle ships. They are the carriers of the Dandelion Project, the Dandelion Civilization Fire Ship. In the design of the Academy of Sciences, any Dandelion Civilization Spark Ship can upgrade civilization to the third level within a hundred years after landing on a habitable planet. They lined up in a neat formation, quietly flew out of the small universe port, and came to the side away from the White Dwarf Fortress. Chapter 870 In an instant, a sudden change occurred. Boom! 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 Under Zero's remote control, all the curvature missiles self-destructed after starting short-distance jumps. The violent explosion and flames immediately flooded the star field where the White Dwarf Fortress was located. Under the cover of the explosion and fire, these civilized fireships broke away from the main fleet and scattered in all directions. According to the plan of the Academy of Sciences, the Dandelion will use the curvature engine to travel quickly to a thousand light years away and then switch to the antimatter engine for traditional acceleration. When the starship speed reaches 0.5 c, they will enter a dormant state and fly towards the target area purely relying on inertia. It's wonderful to imagine. But, the reality is very cruel. The moment the Dandelion left the main fleet, the White Dwarf Fortress, which had been staying put, moved for the first time. The originally soft blue-white light gradually became stronger, and an unknown wave spread out around it with it as the center of the ball. Wow! The calm ocean of time and space instantly overturned. The dandelion, which had just entered the superlight curvature state, reappeared in the visible universe due to a curvature engine failure. Warn! A space-time tsunami has been detected. The intensity of the tsunami has exceeded the detection range. Dandelion has exited the superluminal curvature state. The warp engine is trying to restart. Restart failed. Warning! The warp drive is damaged. Not only the dandelion, but also the curvature engines of the entire human alliance fleet were all scrapped under this wave of time and space fluctuations without warning. For a time, the command center was filled with alarm messages. Space time trap? Such similar attack methods made Lu Yong Chan couldn't help but exclaim. Looking at the detection data in the holographic projection, he felt as if his heart had skipped a beat. He had never even thought about a space time trap of this magnitude, let alone seeing it. The intensity was so high that it directly destroyed all the warp engines of the People's Alliance. The scope is so wide that it covers the vast star field with a radius of 10 light years. After being shocked, Lu Yongchang's heart sank. Dandelion Project failed. It is impossible for a civilization spark ship 
that has lost its ability to sail at faster than light speeds to escape from the sweeper civilization. Another plan failed. Professor, do you want Tan to take action? Zhao Zijia's voice was full of anxiety. If we don't use the Imperial Fortress, we may not have a chance. Wait a minute, Lu Yongchang shouted. The Imperial Fortress is the last trump card. Once it is used, we will have no way out. He glanced at the holographic projection beside him. What is shown in the projection is the operating status of several stars in this small universe. He gritted his teeth with a ruthless look on his face. Attention all! The flagship enters and escorts Kwafu to the front line of the battlefield. Fleet, prepare for impact. When Zhao Zijia heard this, a look of shock suddenly appeared on his face. Professor, which weapon are you planning to use? Such a close distance, our fleet will also be implicated. There is no way out. Lu Yongchang's eyes flashed coldly. Tell Tin that once the supernova explodes, it will immediately leave the small universe. If we let it stand in front of the human fleet, we might still have a slight chance of winning. Gemini Starburst, located at the top of the 6th level civilization technology tree, is the advanced technology of Starburst. The principle is quite simple. Takes two stars of equal mass and flings them towards the enemy. The moment two stars collide and merge, fusion in the star's core is triggered, resulting in a supernova explosion. The power is more than twice that of Starburst. It is currently the most powerful weapon in human civilization and can easily destroy an entire star system. After the relevant theoretical breakthrough, human civilization has not applied it in actual combat, nor has it conducted any experiments. It is so powerful that it will even have a considerable impact on its own fleet. Test data shows that even the radiation protection layer provided by news cannot withstand this level of attack. But it's different now. Human civilization has a ready-made bunker, the fortress left by the Tenth Empire. To a certain extent, it is a professional counterpart. Tin naturally has no objections to Liu Yongchang's proposal once something happens to human civilization. It and Tin will definitely not end well. The effect of space-time trap is still there. The fire of the antimatter engine suddenly lit up in the dim universe. The huge flagship, Earth, and the small universe traction platform, Kwafu, accompanied by the main battleship, slowly sailed towards the White Dwarf Fortress. The offensive was suspended, and the White Dwarf Fortress also closed its four shields, revealing its blue and white hull. Just like before, it was still hovering quietly in front of the People's Alliance fleet. It is like a cat that has caught a mouse, playfully watching the death struggle of human civilization. As soon as human civilization's methods are exhausted, it will wipe out human civilization in one fell swoop. As time passed slowly, the distance between the two parties became closer and closer, and Liu Yongchang's heartbeat became violent. Open the small universe port and release the stars. When Kwafu and Earth arrived at the target area, Liu Yongchang roared. Buzz. Powerful time and space fluctuations suddenly appeared in this turbulent place of time and space. A bright fireball grew from small to large and quickly squeezed out of the narrow, small universe port. Both the White Dwarf Fortress and the human fleet seemed extremely small in front of it. Under the influence of the Great Unification Field, it quickly rushed towards the tiny White Dwarf Fortress. This is not over yet. The next moment, another fireball appeared out of thin air and rushed forward at a faster speed. In just a few seconds, two huge fireballs came into contact. The Stellar Core Reaction Catalytic Device then began to operate. A dazzling light instantly appeared at the edge of the Andromeda Galaxy. Ten! Do it! There was another strong fluctuation in time and space. A dark gray, huge planet that was much smaller than the star suddenly appeared between the human fleet and the two stars. Although the scale of today's human battleships is very large, it is obviously still not enough to see in front of the ice giant. Under Zero's adjustment, the Imperial Fortress was firmly blocking the front of the human fleet. Gemini Starburst officially launched. Two stars that are very close to each other rotate towards each other, and at the same time fly quickly towards the White Dwarf Fortress in front. A huge bridge made of hot plasma appeared between the two stars, like a bright streamer. Dazzling. Time and space are violently oscillating. Boom. A supernova occurred. This violent flash of light illuminated the entire Andromeda galaxy. What follows is an unparalleled gamma ray burst. Chapter 871 Those who play with fire will burn themselves. A few minutes ago, inside the sweeper White Dwarf Fortress, 9,436, looking jokingly at the civilization fireship staying in place in the light curtain, he made a sharp comment on the behavior of human civilization. Don't overestimate your own capabilities. 
There was also a faint smile on the face of its companion. 9,435. I don't know what other methods this energy civilization has. 9,436. Checked the operating status of the four maintenance shield again. And waved his tentacles. It should be gone. Having said that, their strength has indeed surpassed that of most level 6 civilizations. No wonder the herders of the Milky Way failed miserably. Let alone the Milky Way. The herders of the Andromeda Galaxy probably won't get much benefit from the energy civilization. I'm afraid it's just the herders in the heartland. Wait. The voice of companion, 9435, suddenly rose a little higher. Interrupting, 9436, as rambling. What do they want to do? What? 9436, he cast a look at his companion in astonishment. In the light curtain, the curvature missiles that were flying all over the sky have stopped their unnecessary movements. At the same time, the fleet also began to gradually adjust its formation and two extremely large warships slowly sailed out from inside the fleet. With just one glance, it roughly guessed the purpose of the two battleships. One of them was probably the flagship of the energy civilization. The other, with a relatively strange shape, should be the traction device of the small universe. The traction mechanism was crudely made and low on power. 9,436 made a rough estimate and came to the conclusion, this traction device can pull a small universe with a diameter of one light year at most. It curled its lips, with a bit of disdain in its eyes. Can this also be called a small universe? Under the influence of the space-time trap, the movements of all battleships appear extremely slow. I guess I'm going to fight to the death. 9,436 responds skillfully to companions' inquiries. Do you know? The more powerful a civilization is, the more powerful its will to survive will be when it bursts out at this time. Once this extremely powerful will to survive is completely shattered, you must have never seen such a scene before. Its light cyan skin was slightly white, revealing the excitement in its heart. I have done this to level 4 and level 5 civilizations before, but I don't know about level 6 civilizations. Just as 9436 was trying to describe this shocking scene to his companions, an alarm suddenly appeared on the light screen in front of them. 9436 took a quick glance at the information on the screen. And then, the excited expression on its face gradually solidified. Hung, a star? This energy civilization wants to cause a supernova explosion? As expected of an individual with an 8th level civilization. He immediately understood the intentions of human civilization. Wait! It's not one star! It's two stars! Are they crazy? When a supernova explodes at this distance and at this level, aren't they themselves the first to suffer? 9436, his eyes were full of horror supernova explosion. This unreasonable attack method can be useful even in the war of an 8th level civilization. It never expected that a small 6th level civilization could bring it such a degree of surprise. Those who play with fire will burn themselves. It also didn't expect that the will of survival bloomed by the energy civilization in its dying struggle would be so brilliant. Ascend the dimension. Ascend the dimension quickly. 9436 screamed, raised his tentacles, and quickly operated on the light screen in front of him. It takes time to upgrade the dimension. The companion also realized the problem, and quickly adjusted the output power of the four-dimensional shield. It's too late. Be prepared for impact. Boom. The brilliant light engulfed the entire star field. If it were replaced by a more advanced neutron fortress, or a quark fortress and a black hole fortress, a supernova explosion of this magnitude would actually be nothing. But, this is just a white dwarf fortress a low-end combat force in the sweeper civilization. It is not a battleship that can withstand a supernova explosion at all. Of course, compared with those stars used by 8th level civilization, the mass of the yellow dwarf used by human civilization is still too small. The power of this supernova explosion is not great. However, due to its special geographical location, it still attracts some eyes from the Andromeda galaxy. The radiation and impact of the supernova swept through the white dwarf fortress like a tide. At first, under the influence of the four shields. The power of the explosion did not affect the white dwarf fortress inside. But as time went by, under the constant impact of space-time turbulence, the four-dimensional shield began to crumble. The white dwarf fortress also gradually revealed its figure. Unlike before, the white dwarf fortress at this time was glowing with a strong blue-white light. Finally, the four shields surrounding the white dwarf fortress completely dissipated, and it was truly exposed to the aftermath of the supernova explosion. It seemed to have received a great impact, and the stable blue-white light became flickering. 
the other side. Unlike the sweeper civilization, human civilization is hiding safely behind the imperial fortress, enjoying the quiet time of the years. The imperial fortress, designed by the seventh level peak civilization and specifically designed to resist supernova explosions, far outperformed the white dwarf fortress of the sweeper civilization at this time. Under the control of Tin, a simple space shield first appeared around the imperial fortress. After surviving the most violent stage of the explosion, the space shield quietly shattered. Then, the real planet fortress dared to face the power of supernova explosion, relying on specially made armor layers. The imperial fortress stood firm in the aftermath of the supernova explosion. Inside Earth, Lu Yongchan looked nervously at the various indicators in the holographic projection. When he saw that these indicators began to gradually fall back, he breathed a sigh of relief. He succeeded. The Imperial Fortress withstood more than 90% of radiation damage. The remaining radiation was absorbed by the news radiation protection layer. The human fleet that triggered the Gemini Star explosion at close range suffered almost no damage. The safety of the civilization itself has been guaranteed. And Lu Yongchang also turns his attention to the White Dwarf Fortress of the Sweeper Civilization. When he saw the unstable state of the White Dwarf Fortress, his heart moved. Isn't this the opportunity he has been waiting for? Kill it while it's sick. Lu Yongchan gave the order loudly without any hesitation. Ten! Attack now! Chapter 872 The Four-Dimensional Fortress The originally smooth surface of the Imperial Fortress quietly cracked open, revealing a terrifying muzzle. Buzz! Silent vibrations came from inside the fortress. The next second, a deep black space rift with a width exceeding the length of Earth flew straight towards the White Dwarf Fortress. That can no longer be called a space rift. It is simply a huge canyon formed by the collapse of space. Compared with this, the space rifts emanating from human civilization are like the difference between a caterpillar and an anaconda. The two are not on the same level at all. The moment it appeared, the speed of this space rift reached 10 c But it's not over yet. The shaking inside the Imperial Fortress did not stop. Time passed slowly, and a strange black light appeared at the muzzle. Uh-huh. The light flashed past, followed by the space rift and headed towards the White Dwarf Fortress. The White Dwarf Fortress of the Sweeper Civilization obviously discovered these two attacks that were unexpected and too powerful. The blue-white light on its surface flickered more and more intensely, as if something big was brewing. It was even more chaotic inside. Damn it! We were tricked! 9,436, who had just escaped from the supernova explosion, roared, They are not a level 6 civilization! Level 7! They are a level 7 civilization. Damn. Cutting energy civilization. Under the influence of the aftermath of the supernova explosion, the mobility of the White Dwarf Fortress was obviously greatly affected. Even though it had already made an evasive action, this plus version of the spatial rift still hit its side hard. Just like a kitchen knife cutting tofu. The dark black space rift easily penetrated a corner area of the White Dwarf Fortress. A piece of dense neutron armor detached directly from the ship and fell into the interstellar space, without the constraints of the strong interaction. These neutrons escape one after another, and rapidly decay into a dense mass of hydrogen and helium. What followed closely was the strange attack with a beam of black light. I hack US asterisk asterisk asterisk. Looking at the picture in the light screen, 9436 turned pale and cursed. Dark Matter Cannon! This damn energy civilization has mastered the Dark Matter Cannon! Hack you 9527! You told me this is just a level 6 civilization? Upgrade the dimension. Forcibly upgrade the dimension. It ignored the various alarms issued by the system and directly turned on the fortress dimension upgrade function manually. From the perspective of human civilization and, 10, the white dwarf fortress seemed to have given up on evasive operations at this time and just stayed in place quietly. However, the flashing frequency of the blue-white light on its surface has increased again. Wu Guang finally arrived. But it did not hit the white dwarf fortress but spread automatically in the area near the White Dwarf Fortress. Just when Li Yongchang and others were confused, a flash of light far more violent than a supernova explosion appeared in the area where the black light dissipated. Boom! This seemingly unprovoked explosion directly overwhelmed the White Dwarf Fortress that shone with blue-white light. Inside Earth, everything was quiet. Li Yongchang looked at the picture in the holographic projection and swallowed hard. He vaguely remembered that in 10's description, the Imperial Fortress seemed to be an iron SH. L that was difficult to move. Looking at the powerful explosion flash in the projection, he realized, there is no conflict between being unable to move 
and having powerful firepower. Lu Yongchang suddenly felt a little lucky in his heart. It's a good thing that I was more cautious at that time. Otherwise, human civilization may have died 800 times a long time ago. This, what kind of weapon is this? The energy added by human civilization to the imperial fortress is far less than the energy of this explosion. The two are not even of the same magnitude. The law of conservation of energy naturally cannot go wrong. Then, there must be something invisible that is converted into energy. Dark matter! An idea flashed in Li Yongchang's mind, and he murmured in a low voice. Just like his previous conjecture. The key to entering a seventh level civilization is indeed the mystery of dark matter. Time passed slowly, and the flash in the picture gradually became dim. Sure. Was it successful? Zhao Zijia's anxious voice came from the side. Lu Yongchang also temporarily put aside the inspiration in his mind, held his breath, and looked at the holographic projection. The flash finally dissipated, and the white dwarf fortress at the center of the explosion revealed its true appearance again. There was sudden silence in the command center. The white dwarf fortress in the picture is hovering quietly in the universe, except for a corner that was previously cut off by a space rift. There is no trace of damage on its surface. How can this be? Lu Yongchang exclaimed in surprise. The power of this explosion even exceeded that of a supernova. The opponent is not protected by four shields. So how can it not be damaged at all in this explosion? Attack! Keep attacking! Buzz! A space rift shot out from the muzzle again, rushing towards the motionless white dwarf fortress. Unlike before. This time, the white dwarf fortress did not make any evasive moves. The space rift also successfully hit the hull of the white dwarf fortress and passed through it. But no harm was done. It seems that the real body of the White Dwarf Fortress in front of them does not exist in this star field. What is in front of everyone's eyes is just an illusory projection. Such a magical scene, combined with the previous Four Shield Shield technology, suddenly made an astonishing guess appear in Lu Yongchang's mind. Four, four dimensional? His pupils trembled slightly, and he whispered softly. It is also very simple to verify this conjecture. Under Lu Yongchang's order, the People's Alliance fleet attacked him again. Really? Whether it is curvature missiles or various energy rays, they can only pass through this layer of projection and cannot cause substantial damage to it. The moment the suspicion was verified, both Lu Yongchang and the other commanders had a look of despair on their faces. How to fight this? A four-dimensional shield is tricky enough. Now, the entire white dwarf fortress has become a four-dimensional object. Continue to use Gemini explosion? Do not make jokes. The dark matter attack from the Imperial Fortress cannot affect the White Dwarf Fortress in this state, let alone the Twin Star Explosion. Inside the White Dwarf Fortress, 9436, the pale skin gradually returned to its original light blue color. Panting heavily, it raised its hand and slapped it hard on the light screen in front of it. Damn it! Damn energet civilization! Fire a four-dimensional shock bomb! I'm going to make these bugs pay! As the words fell, a small space-time distortion point appeared beside the White Dwarf Fortress. A spherical cannonball emerged from it and shot straight towards the human fleet without any pause. When it reached the front of the human fleet, it exploded. There was no flash. No explosion. The warp missiles responsible for intercepting them suddenly turned into countless powders that were so fine that they were invisible. As if they had been attacked by some invisible attack. From near to far. As long as it is swept by this invisible shock wave. Any three-dimensional object will turn into a pile of loose, atomic soup. Chapter 873 Silicon Ray It was extremely quiet in the, Earth, command center. No matter who it is, no one can immediately make an appropriate judgment when seeing such a strange and beyond cognition picture. Ten! This, what kind of weapon is this? Lu Yongchang, who was in the command position, opened his mouth and asked, Ten, with difficulty. A line of information from the Imperial Fortress quickly appeared in front of everyone. Preliminary judgment is that this is a high-dimensional attack launched from the four-dimensional level. And the specific principle is unknown. Lu Yongchang's heart sank. But he continued to ask. Is there a way to resist? The Empire did not fully decipher the secrets of the fourth dimension before leaving. It's over. Whether it was Lu Yongchang or the other personnel in the command center. They felt a deep chill rising from the bottom of their hearts. Lu Yongchang didn't speak. He just looked at the huge projection in front of him. In just a few words. This invisible shock wave had been transmitted to the edge of the fleet. There is no doubt that the Imperial Fortress bore the brunt of the attack. The solid dense neutron armor is melting at an extremely fast rate. One layer. Two layers. Like a pencil mark erased by an eraser. A huge hole 
with extremely neat edges appeared on the surface of the Imperial Fortress. Liu Yongcheng's eyes widened slightly, and his mind went blank as he stared at the picture in the holographic projection. The hole is spreading at an extremely fast rate. Seeing that the Imperial Fortress was about to become the first victim of this war, a piercing alarm sounded suddenly from the tachyon radar in the Earth. An extremely powerful wave of time and space appeared next to the human fleet. Immediately afterwards, a space-time distortion structure that looked like a black hole slowly emerged. A cylindrical missile with a dark gray glow on its surface emerged from it. Before Li Yongchang and others could react, the strange-looking missile hit the shock wave from the fourth dimension. Boom! Black light flashes. Under the strong fluctuations of space and time, the four-dimensional shock wave transmitted towards the human fleet quickly disappeared without a trace. This life-and-death crisis for human civilization and the Imperial Fortress quietly collapsed under the attack of this missile. Finished? No. It's not over yet. In the tachyon radar, the space-time fluctuations coming from the space-time distortion structure that looks like a black hole are getting stronger and stronger. Liu Yongchang subconsciously held his breath. And countless thoughts flashed through his quantum brain. What happened? Is there another advanced civilization getting involved? An enemy? Is it a friend? Pastoral? Still, just when Li Yongcheng's mind was filled with complicated thoughts, a silver-white, ray-shaped battleship emerged from it. The battleship is huge, even more than 7,000 kilometers in length. The hull of the ship is flat, with a long tail of unknown purpose trailing behind it, etc. This doesn't look like a battleship. When Li Yongcheng saw the ray-shaped battleship, he swung his thick tail vigorously, then suddenly opened the huge mouth part at the front end, and sprayed a stream of water toward the White Dwarf Fortress. When he saw the glowing energy body that resembled a dark matter cannon, he was completely stunned. Liu Yongchang couldn't help but raise his hand and rub his eyes. Is this a violent attack? Are you hallucinating? Is this a battleship or a creature? He quickly raised his hand to adjust the parameters of the high-precision camera, focusing on the suddenly appeared mantis-shaped battleship. The surface of the battleship has a silver-white metallic luster but it does not have a hard texture like ordinary battleships. On the contrary, when captured by a high-precision camera, this layer of silver-white material even seems to be somewhat flexible. Of course, this is most likely an illusion. Just as Liu Yongchang was carefully observing the ray-shaped battleship, the dark matter cannon coming from the mouth parts of the ray was quietly flying towards the target. Boom! When it arrived near the white dwarf fortress, it exploded. During the explosion, the stingray-shaped battleship, swung its body, and quickly arrived in front of the Imperial Fortress, carefully looking at the planet fortress with part of its SH. L missing. Looking at this beautiful movement, Liu Yongchang had to admit the fact that this behemoth, with a total length of more than 7,000 kilometers turned out to be a living thing. The flash of the explosion gradually subsided, and the four-dimensional white dwarf fortress appeared in front of everyone again. Just like before, even the dark matter cannon cannot cause damage to the four-dimensional white dwarf fortress. Silicon Ray Civilization. A wide area tachyon message came from the direction of the White Dwarf Fortress. After being translated by Zero, it was displayed on the huge holographic projection of Earth. You have crossed the line. Two short messages, but they contain a huge amount of information. Liu Yongchang's eyes flashed as he quickly analyzed the battlefield situation at this time. Silicon Ray Civilization. Although this is a free translated name, it still revealed a lot of information to Liu Yongchang. Silicon. After coming into contact with the 10th Empire, this text was no longer a simple elemental symbol, but a symbol of a powerful alliance. Is it the Silicon Alliance? Liu Yongchang couldn't help but get excited. These are thighs. Can human civilization be saved? Thinking of this, a rosy color appeared on his pale face again. In the holographic projection screen, the huge ray-like creature stopped its original movement of circling and looking around, turned around, and looked towards the cleaner white dwarf fortress. Crossing the line? Sweepers, you have crossed the line. We, the Silicon Alliance, have always maintained neutrality. Today you took the initiative to attack Alliance members. Do you want the Silicon Alliance to join the war? The ray-like creature slightly opened its huge, glowing mouth parts, and also sent out a wide-area tachyon message. Inside the Earth, Liu Yongchang stared blankly at the text information in the holographic projection. Although there was no expression on his face, there was already a storm in his heart. Neutral. Although he initially learned about the existence of the three major factions in the universe from Hua, since human civilization has never been exposed to the existence of the neutral faction, 
Liu Yongchang once thought that this was false information. I never expected that the Silicon Alliance would actually belong to the neutral faction. Liu Yongchang quickly adjusted his judgment on the strength of the Tenth Empire and the Silicon Alliance. Stay neutral between sweepers and pastoralists. It's impossible without a little bit of strength in your hands. Alliance member? Is this also a member of your alliance? The sweeper civilization obviously does not believe what Silicon Ray civilization says. If the Silicon Alliance wants to fish in troubled waters, don't use such a bad reason. The pastoral faction is not our opponent. Even if the Silicon Alliance is added, the outcome will not change at all. In response to the sweeper civilized words, the Silicon Ray just waved its thick tail in disdain. Open your eyes and see clearly. Do you recognize this logo? As he spoke, the Silicon Ray pointed the tip of its tail at a pattern on the Imperial Fortress that resembled the structure of silicon atoms. This is the home planet of the Tenth Empire, an attempt to attack the home planet of the leader of the Silicon Alliance. Sweeper Civilization Can I understand this as a declaration of war against the Silicon Alliance and the Neutral Faction? Chapter 874 Pure Blood Inside the White Dwarf Fortress 9436 and 9435 looked at the information in the light curtain and fell into silence. Their light cyan skin turned pale at this moment. Silicon Ray civilization is right. 9436 said with difficulty. Although it is different from the latest Silicon Alliance logo, the design style of both is indeed the same. Considering the opponent's strength and origin, it can basically be confirmed that this is the home star fortress of the Tenth Empire. Upon hearing this, Companion 9435 suddenly panicked. So, what should we do? What should I do? 9436 raised his tentacles and gave his companion a hard time. Of course, give up this operation. Yes, but that energy is civilized. Companion 9435 turned white with anxiety. If it's from the mother civilization, are you crazy? 9436 glared at his companion. Do you know what it means to attack the home planet of the leader civilization of the Silicon Alliance? It's nothing if the Silicon Alliance joins the war. If it offends the neutral faction behind. Just think about what the headquarters will do to us. Yes. Yes. 9435 seemed to want to say something else. What's wrong? 9436 gave it a hard time again. If you want to die, jump into the zero point furnace yourself and don't involve me. No. It's not. 9,435 sped up his tone and said what he wanted to say at once. I mean, the energy civilization shouldn't be from the Silicon Alliance. Right. Can we? Hearing this, 9,436 was stunned. Like, that makes sense. The energy civilization is only a 6th level civilization. And the planet fortress is a creation of a 7th level civilization. The design styles of the two are also very different. This is enough to prove that the energy civilization has little to do with the Tenth Empire, Home Star Fortress. What you said makes sense. Silicon Ray Civilization. This is just a misunderstanding. What we want to deal with is just the energy civilization hiding behind the fortress of the Tenth Empire's Home Star. They attack the Galaxy Herders. We can compensate for accidental damage to the Empire's Home Star Fortress. But, I hope you will not interfere with the internal affairs of the Sweeper Civilization. Looking at the words in the holographic projection, Liu Yongchang's face turned green. What are internal matters? At this moment, he can only place his hope on Tin. How did you say it in the first place? They are the seed players who have passed the basic test of the Silicon Alliance. The energy civilization is a silicon-based civilization with pure blood. He still remembers the evaluation given by Tin. Development potential cannot be assessed. For both emotional and rational reasons, we shouldn't leave them behind. Right? Just when Li Yongchang was about to send a distress message to Tin, after confirming his identity, Tin had already taken the initiative to send the evaluation document of Energy Civilization to Silicon Ray Civilization. The Silicon Ray silently looked at the tachyon information encrypted by the most primitive encryption method. The development potential of civilization cannot be assessed? The Silicon Ray glanced in surprise at the Energy Civilization, which was hiding behind the fortress of its home star when it saw the wide area tachyon broadcast that lasted a billion times. It couldn't help but sigh. This encryption method and communication band have long been abolished by the Silicon Alliance. No wonder it hasn't received the broadcast from the Empire's home star fortress. It stretched its body and made all preparations before responding. No, 
Silicon Ray Civilization. You are going too far. It has been verified that the Energet Civilization is a silicon-based civilization and has successfully passed the silicon-based alliance test project. They are also a member of the silicon-based alliance. This battlefield suddenly fell into a strange atmosphere. The Silicon Ray Civilization, the Scavenger Civilization, and the Imperial Fortress all fell silent at this moment. What? Human civilization? In this situation, can human civilization still have the right to speak? At this time, Lu Yongchang wished that the human fleet would turn into an inconspicuous interstellar dust and disappear from the sight of this group of advanced civilizations. Inside the White Dwarf Fortress, different from the quiet atmosphere outside, the inside of White Dwarf Fortress, 9436, was furious. 9527! Are you? Silicon based civilization! What a silicon based civilization! How dare you hide such important information? Damn 9527! Silicon based civilization is nothing. But the trajectory civilization from the Milky Way needs to be paid enough attention. No wonder. No wonder the Galaxy Branch didn't take action against the Energet civilization. 9,436, trembled with anger. It turns out that the Andromeda branch is supposed to take the blame. Now then, the companion on the side asked in a low voice. Now, 9,436, swung its tentacles and returned to the seat again. Retreat. Report all situations truthfully to the mother civilization. Even if he is punished, he should be punished 9,527. Time passes minute by minute. Both the Silicon Stingray Civilization and Human Civilization are stretched to the extreme at this moment. It goes without saying much about Human Civilization. As for the Silicon Ray Civilization, as a 7th level civilization, it also has not mastered the secrets of the 4th dimension. If it really comes to a fight, it is no match for the Sweeper Civilization. The wormholes just used to speed up the battlefield and the technology to counteract 4-dimensional shock bomb attacks are actually inventory devices left behind by the 10th Empire. Suddenly, the White Dwarf Fortress of the Sweeper Civilization flashed for a burst of blue-white light, and the slightly illusory projection became real and returned to the three-dimensional space. Silicon Ray Civilization breathed a sigh of relief, and its tense body relaxed a little. Without any unnecessary communication, the White Dwarf Fortress instantly disappeared into the visible universe. According to the Tachyon Radar, it is heading towards the Andromeda Galaxy at a speed of more than 30, 000 c. It's safe. Inside Earth, Lu Yongchang sat slumped in a chair, smiling bitterly and raising his hand to gently wipe the fine cold sweat on his forehead. This is probably the moment when human civilization has been closest to extinction since it left the earth. Of course, the resolution of the crisis does not mean the end of the matter. In the holographic projection, the huge silicon-based creature that looked like a ray bypassed the imperial fortress and slowly came to the front of the human fleet. Chapter 875, I Smell the Smell of Carbon-Based Life a huge creature, with a body length even exceeding the diameter of Mars, was quietly entrenched directly in front of the Earth. The size of Earth clearly reveals its identity as the flagship of civilization. Similarly, the silicon ray also completely reveals its true face to humans. The long, flexible tail is covered with sharp, spur-like structures. You can imagine the result of this tail with a length of more than 2,000 kilometers lashing the Earth. Looking at the huge glowing mouthparts in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang swallowed hard. Here comes the problem. How to disguise yourself as a silicon-based civilization in front of a silicon-based creature? Waiting online. Quite urgent. The atmosphere was so heightened that he couldn't go up and tell people that the energy civilization was actually a carbon-based civilization. Tin, was he mistaken at the time? Lu Yongchang glanced at the slightly open mouthparts again and gave up the idea of committing suicide. It seems that this silicon ray civilization has a bad temper. He doesn't want to risk himself. Zero. Lu Yongchan deliberately lowered his voice. Bring all the scientific research robots here. Control them. Halfway through his words, he suddenly got stuck. This. How to control these scientific research robots to behave like a silicon-based civilization. LV Yongchan gained wisdom out of desperation. The behavioral model is based on human beings. And the information communication method is a mixture of sound and microcurrent. From now on, we are the Energet Civilization, a combined civilization where carbon-based and silicon-based civilizations coexist. Can you understand this? Copy that, Professor. The moment the electronic synthesized sound sounded, the door of the command center quietly opened, and scientific research robots filed in in neat formation. Subsequently, 
These scientific research robots came to each console, imitating human behavior and habits, and made serious actions one after another. 4-0. This is not a difficult task. Its database contains behavioral models of tens of billions of humans. And this model data will continue to increase as the population grows, let alone imitating humans in the command center. It is no problem to directly create an illusory robot civilization. Lu Yongchan naturally planned this. Under his order, not only the command center, but also the entire fleet, including hundreds of millions of machines in this small universe, woke up at the same time and joined the ranks of humans. That alone is not enough. He first sent a message of greetings to the giant silicon-based creature lying in front of the fleet, and then hurriedly added various, basic settings, to Zero's database. The main focus is one-stop full service. Dear Silicon Ray Civilization, We are the Energet Civilization. My highest respect to you, and thank you for your help. For this level of civilization, Lu Yongchang has only one communication criterion, follow the heart. As the saying goes, you can wear a lot of clothes, but you can never wear flattery. As the saying goes, don't hit someone with a smiling face. Just praise and that's it. You can't say something good and still say something wrong. Right? That's what it says. But? Something is not quite right about the actual situation. The Silicon Ray civilization doesn't care much about these flattery words. On the contrary, the black light in its mouth became more powerful, and the spike tail was aimed at the flagship, Earth, from a distance. Energet civilization. You are not a silicon-based civilization. I smell the smell of carbon-based life in your battleship. As soon as these words came out, both parties were shocked. Needless to say, Lu Yongchan was looking at the holographic projection with a bewildered expression. Can you smell this? Are you a dog? Complaints are complaints. And he knew in his heart that this was most likely a translation problem. The original intention was probably to discover the existence of humans through some kind of detector. As for the other being who was in shock, it was naturally Tin inside the Empire's home star fortress. At this time, Tin is trying its best to explain to the Silicon Ray civilization. The content of the explanation is naturally the various performances of the Enrigid civilization during the test. It really made me cry to death. Naturally, Silicon Ray believes in 10's explanation. Therefore, the Silicon Ray at this time also fell into confusion and chaos. What is going on? Dear Silicon Ray Civilization, Energet Civilization is a civilization composed of silicon-based civilization and carbon-based civilization. We were born on different planets in the same star system. After a long period of disputes, we put aside our prejudices and worked together to become an interstellar civilization in order to ensure the authenticity of this period of history. Lu Yongchang even sent the Civilization Chronicle to the Silicon Ray Civilization. As for the source of the Chronicle, naturally, energy became civilized. Isn't this a ready-made template? We've already used vests. So it shouldn't be too much to modify the Chronicle of Civilization a little bit. Right? After receiving the information, the Silicon Ray Civilization carefully looked at this impressive Chronicle of Civilization. Can't find it. Can't find any flaw at all. Whether it is the coordinates of the star system the parameters of each planet, or the large and small events that occur within civilization. Everything looks so real. Silicon Ray's confusion became even more serious. Silicon-based civilization and carbon-based civilization form a recombinant civilization. Let alone it. The entire silicon-based civilization has never discovered such a strange thing. How to determine this? The Tenth Reich didn't mention this situation when they left. After thinking for a while, it put away its antimatter cannon and put back the tail pointed at the Energet Civilization flagship. Wait a minute. This situation is rare, and I need to discuss it with other Alliance members before making a decision. The Silicon Ray swung its body and looked around. Then, it set its sights on the flagship Earth again. For some reason, Lu Yongchang actually saw a hint of embarrassment in the ferocious-looking Silicon Ray. That. Do you still have stars? I was in such a hurry when I first came out that I forgot to take the little universe with me. The energy consumption of cross-galactic tachyon broadcasting is a bit too much. And my own energy reserves may not be enough. Lu Yongchang. 6. He was suddenly worried about the correctness of his decision to join the Silicon Alliance. More than 10 minutes later, looking at the four dim stars in front of him, with most of their energy extracted, the Silicon Ray sighed heavily. This is our last reserve of stars. Looking at the message from the energy civilization, the Silicon Ray sighed again. It's just a level 6 civilization. And it's already pretty good to be able to bring out 4 stars on the spot. It kept comforting itself in its heart. Then, it dived into one of the stars with some disgust. 
under the dull gazes of Liu Yongchang and others. A small arc-shaped spark splashed on the surface of the star. Chapter 876 Virgo Supercluster Remote Meeting Hack trough? Liu Yongchang looked at the picture in the holographic projection, and the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. Is this guy so reckless? Fang Su next to him also looked confused. What happened to this world? The original, painting, just went into the stars to avoid being hunted. Humans are two-dimensional creatures after all. But you? A silicon-based life form. Drilled directly into the star. Is it really appropriate? There is also the reason why you forget to take your little universe with you when you go out. Is this really something a seventh-level civilization can say? Just when everyone was confused, waves of turbulent waves suddenly arose on the originally calm surface of the star. At the same time, a powerful and dazzling tachyon signal wave appeared in front of the human fleet. The specific source is the selected star. The signals have been encrypted layer by layer. And Liu Yongchan cannot learn any useful information from these tachyon signals. The only thing that is known is the direction in which this tachyon signal is sent to Virgo supercluster. Along with the strong tachyon signal fluctuations, the star's brightness began to decline sharply. And its mass also dropped rapidly. It seems that there is a black hole inside the star that can swallow everything. As the mass decreases, the intensity of reactions inside the star also begins to decrease rapidly. Yellow dwarf. Red dwarf. Brown dwarf. Gas giant planet. In just 10 minutes, this star, which was already at the lowest mass limit of yellow dwarf stars, completely disappeared in front of Li Yongchun's eyes. The silver-white silicon ray quickly swung its body and swam into another star. Tachyon signals are emitted from the Andromeda galaxy and spread in all directions. It travels rapidly through the universe and is constantly received by various advanced civilizations along the way. Among them, there are many members of the sweepers and pastoralists. They don't pay attention to these signals. On the one hand, the actions of neutrals will not affect their interests. On the other hand, the possibility of deciphering these signals is very low. With a huge amount of resources consumed, almost no one will do such a thankless task. Silicon Alliance A remote meeting of Virgo supercluster members. Silicon Ray Civilization briefly introduced the situation it encountered. Obviously, the situation of the Energet Civilization caused countless members of the Silicon Alliance to exclaim. Incredible. Silicon-based and carbon-based can also get along so harmoniously. Oh my god. How do these silicon-based creatures tolerate all that damn oxygen and moisture? Wait. The home planet of the 10th Empire? They also brought the leader's home planet? Unfortunately, the Empire has already started Galactic Leapfrog and headed for the Centauri Super Galaxy Cluster. It is estimated that they will not be able to contact him in a short time. For a time, the Tachyon communication channel was filled with the surprising comments of silicon-based civilizations. The Silicon Alliance has always been a loose alliance. For silicon-based civilization, it is more like a mutual aid organization. This also happens to be in line with the philosophy of the neutral faction as long as I live a comfortable life. What does the life and death fight between the sweepers and the pastoral faction have to do with me? The Silicon Ray civilization flipped through this information helplessly, trying to get the communication channel back on track. I said, don't just watch the excitement. I don't have much energy reserves here. And I think they will be disconnected soon. Let me give you an accurate word. Can this energy civilization join the Silicon Alliance? Silicon Ray's words triggered even more heated. Discussions. Ha 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 ha. Silicon Ray. Did you forget to bring your little universe with you again? How? Are there no stars beside you? Ha ha ha. You're not outside Andromeda. Are you? The Silicon Ray. Gnashed its teeth as it flipped through the messages that came from afar and were full of ridicule. The black light in its mouth flickered, and even the waves on the surface of the star became turbulent. Everyone, be quiet. A slightly unfamiliar signal came from very far away, in order to ensure the purity of the silicon-based alliance. I do not agree with the energy civilization joining the silicon-based alliance. Silicon Ray couldn't help but panic. It knows this somewhat unfamiliar signal. An 8th level silicon based civilization from the supergiant elliptical galaxy M87 in the Virgo cluster. The supergiant elliptical galaxy M87, located in the center of the Virgo cluster, is one of the brightest radio sources in the sky. The galaxy emits a high energy plasma jet from its core that extends about 4,900 light years outward, moving at a speed close to the speed of light. Although it has just been promoted to the 8th level civilization, its strength is also one of the best in the Silicon Alliance. The words of a boss of this level basically mean that the matter has come to an end unless the Tenth Empire speaks in person. Of course, this is an almost impossible situation. The Silicon Ray sent out the last signal reluctantly, 
but they are tested on the earliest version. The moment the message was sent, the communication channel suddenly fell into silence. The Silicon Alliance's testing has undergone several reforms and changes. And of course, the difficulty is constantly decreasing. The reason is simple. Not every silicon-based civilization has such high potential. After being exposed to the dispute between the sweepers and the pastoral faction, the Tenth Empire, which joined the neutral faction, lowered the alliance's entry threshold several times in order to expand the silicon alliance. The eighth-level civilization from the M87 galaxy sent a message. Silicon Ray, please explain the test data of Enrigid civilization in detail. The amount of energy required to communicate across river systems is exaggerated. In just a few words, it consumed the energy of two entire yellow dwarf stars. Therefore, Silicon Ray civilization seizes the time and introduces it quickly. After learning that the energy civilization's test data greatly exceeded the conventional test data, the 8th level civilization fell silent again. After a long time, the messages continued to come. Theoretically, members of silicon-based civilization must be silicon-based organisms. But, tachyon communication is over. To be more precise, after all four stars were consumed, the silicon ray civilization was forced to go offline. Only a group of idle silicon-based civilizations were left chatting and talking. Silicon Ray recalled what the big boss said, and after straightening his expression, he slowly swung his body to the front of the earth, showing what he thought was a kind expression, the huge mouth part that is so close that it can swallow the human flagship in one bite, and the faint black light flickering in it. There is no doubt that it seriously frightened Li Yongchang and other crew members on the earth. Enrigid civilization. After discussion, you can join the Silicon Alliance. Silicon Alliance welcomes all potential Siliconians. Join civilizations with potential. Two lines of crystal white text appeared in front of Lu Yongchang, which barely offset the fear in Lu Yongchang's heart and made him move his hand away from the attack command. Real. Lu Yongchang moved his lips slightly and let out a heartfelt sigh. It's so exciting! Chapter 877 The True Purpose of the Sweepers? Crisis Resolved? At least, the apparent crisis of human civilization has been completely resolved. After confirming that the energy civilization had joined the Silicon Alliance, Silicon Ray's attitude improved significantly. It flew slowly around the human fleet and made one comment after another on the battleships of human civilization. Ouch! This guy is pretty good and seems to be quite filling. This is talking about Chiyu, Planetary Fortress. Um, these battleships are still a bit too small and need to be improved. This is talking about the mainstream battleships of human civilization. Similar to Golden Crow and White Tiger. When it saw the picture of Silicon-based life and carbon-based life coexisting harmoniously in the battleship. It even let out one after another admiration. Lu Yongchan was speechless as he looked at the bright white text that continued to appear in the holographic projection. He never expected that this huge creature with a seemingly ferocious appearance would actually turn out to be a talkative person. It is somewhat similar to news. A thought suddenly flashed through Lu Yongchan's mind. Maybe these huge biological civilizations all have similar personalities. The reason is also easy to guess. In their long lives, only this kind of character can enable them to endure the darkness and loneliness of the universe. On the way to the Andromeda galaxy, the human fleet had an in-depth conversation. Lu Yongchang also learned about the method used by Silicon Rays when arriving on the battlefield wormhole jump technology. Then here comes the problem. Why not use this fast and convenient traveling technology when returning to the Andromeda galaxy? When Lu Yongchang asked the Silicon Ray this question, the swaying movements of the Silicon Ray became obviously much stiffer. The device that opened the wormhole and the small universe were dropped into the Andromeda galaxy by me. Regarding Silicon Ray's answer, Lu Yongchang only gave one comment, it's really yours. After further questioning, Lu Yongchang also learned the deeper reason. Whether it is a wormhole jump device or a weapon that can partially resist four-dimensional shock bombs. In fact, it is not a technology mastered by the Silicon Ray civilization itself. They are all legacies left by the Tenth Reich. Then the Tenth Empire was promoted to level 8 civilization when it left the Andromeda Galaxy? Lu Yongchang's heart moved and he asked, After such a long time, isn't the Empire already a level 9 civilization? The Silicon Ray opened its mouth and let out a silent laugh. It's not that simple. Little guy, you think the barriers of higher civilization are too simple. Let alone the Tenth Empire. There is probably no real ninth level civilization in the entire universe. Silicon Ray's answer surprised Lu Yongchang. This, the sweeper civilization? The pastoral faction? And the neutral faction? He asked again in a hurried tone. 
Are they all 8th level civilizations? The silicon ray raised its long tail in distress and gently scratched its flat forehead. This question is a bit complicated. Let me think about how to explain it to you. Time passes bit by bit. The Milky Way Andromeda Galaxy Bridge is nearing its end. And the human fleet has successfully entered the real sphere of influence of the Andromeda Galaxy. Silicon Ray, who had been silent for a long time, finally opened his mouth to explain. Different from usual, the Silicon Ray looked extremely serious at this time. You are from the banking department. So you may not be very clear about the divisions of factions in this universe. Let me give you a brief introduction first. This universe? Lu Yongchan keenly grasped an important point in the Silicon Ray's words. Yes, this universe. There are countless large and small universes on the hyperspace membrane of five-dimensional space-time. But we cannot actively go to those universes. Silicon Ray explained vaguely and brought the topic back on track. Whether it is the neutral faction or the pastoral faction, both are alliance organizations composed of multiple civilizations. But the sweeper civilization is different. Scavenger civilization consists of one civilization and countless subsidiary civilizations. It is also currently the closest to a ninth level civilization in this universe. And it has several eighth level affiliated civilizations under its banner. The one whose strength is second only to it is probably the fifth dimensional creature in the pastoral sect. I don't know the specifics. But energy civilization. You only need to know one thing. Never participate in the war between the sweeper civilization and the pastoral faction. This is the highest principle of neutrality. Oh, by the way, the Silicon Alliance belongs to the neutral faction. And the Tenth Empire is considered one of the leaders of the neutral faction. There was already a storm in Lu Yongchang's heart. The quasi-level 9 sweeper civilization with the 8th level civilization as its affiliated civilization. The 5th dimensional creature whose strength is second only to it. And the Tenth Empire one of the leaders of the neutral faction. No matter which piece of information it is, it has greatly broadened the horizons of human civilization. Milky Way. He is really a little horned dada with limited information. Now that things have happened, Lu Yongchang also sighed like this. He pondered for a moment, organized some words, and then sent a message. I heard that the sweeper civilization wants to build a ring cosmic particle accelerator to create a new universe at the cost of destroying this universe? The movement of Silicon Ray civilization suddenly froze, and its body almost hit the flagship Earth. You? Have you ever been exposed to pastoral civilization? Silicon Ray's reaction gave Lu Yongchan a bad feeling in his heart. Seem. Has human civilization been deceived by painting? Yes. The Enlugit civilization once communicated with two-dimensional biological paintings. Lu Yongchan slightly changed the history. It was just a brief encounter. The Galaxy Cleaner Division seemed to have had a battle with it later and we don't know the specific situation. The silicon ray quickly swung its body and circled the earth several times. Its mouth part slightly opened and closed with a flickering black light. Lu Yongchang was not too panicked. After a little time of exploration, he roughly understood the behavior pattern of the silicon ray. This action should be a sign of ridicule by the silicon ray. Really? The next second, the silicon ray's response appeared in earth. Forget this message. It was just a unified rhetoric outside the pastoral party. If you think about it carefully, if the sweeper civilization really wants to destroy this universe, will the neutrals remain indifferent? In other words, will there still be so-called neutrals? Lu Yongchan was suddenly startled. And his originally chaotic thoughts suddenly became clear and clear. That makes sense. The destruction of this universe will undoubtedly be a disaster for the civilization in the universe. Although the purpose of the neutral faction is a bit shaky, when it comes to their own survival, they will not just lie there and let themselves be slaughtered. Although Silicon Ray did not say it clearly, Lu Yongchan could vaguely guess that the third most powerful being in this universe must be among the neutral faction. Chapter 878 Searching for a Double Black Hole System That Lu Yongchan had already stood up from his chair. He frowned and asked urgently, What on earth does the sweeper want to do? Silicon Ray's tone was very playful. Before this, I was quite curious about how that two-dimensional creature called a painting described pastoralism. Lu Yongchang was stunned and responded to the Silicon Ray with the original words of the painting. For the safety of this universe, they are trying to organize the dangerous behavior of the sweeper civilization. Before he finished speaking, the Silicon Ray's mouth part suddenly opened and even its huge body began to twitch slightly. It was obvious that the other party was laughing. Do you believe it? No. Of course I don't believe it. It's just... Fortunately, I have some brains. These old antiques from the pastoral school can actually say such things. I bother. From Silicon Ray's tone. 
Lu Yongchan could clearly feel the deep disdain. This? What is going on? For a time, Lu Yongchang's curiosity was raised to the highest point. After venting his anger, Silicon Ray calmed down and explained the Energet civilization in detail. It is indeed true that the Sweeper civilization produced a ring cosmic particle accelerator, but its purpose is not to destroy this universe. They tried to briefly recreate the evolution of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang by raising the energy level of particles. Promote to level 9 civilization in this way. Of course, before this, the Sweeper civilization needs to have a basic understanding of dimensions, which is what all 8th level civilizations are doing. Then the question comes, how to quickly grasp those illusory dimensions? The answer is naturally the pastoral dimensional creatures. As a result, more than one super large scale war broke out between the two sides, and they were said to be mortal enemies. That's true. Lu Yongchang suddenly realized. What do you mean? Pastoral civilization is actually a victim? Of course not. Silicon Ray sneered. Anyone can be a victim. But those old guys can't be victims. Lu Yongchang? Are you so angry? Now that you have come into contact with that two-dimensional creature called a painting, you should know how strongly the three-dimensional space assimilates other dimensions. In order to survive, that group of dimensional creatures began to try to restart the universe and restore the universe to the pastoral era when the eleven dimensions were fully stretched. Nowadays, almost all civilizations are three-dimensional creatures. Once we enter this high-dimensional space and time, what do you think will happen? Lu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart. Then why don't the neutralists stop the pastoralists' actions? After a moment's thought, he discovered the contradiction. If the universe returns to the pastoral era, wouldn't it be a good thing for the neutrals? Not a big problem. Silicon Ray responded in an indifferent tone. The superiors believe that it is impossible for the pastoralists to complete this plan. Not to mention, isn't there a sweeper civilization at the forefront? Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched. Here comes the classic statement from the centrists. If the sky falls, there will be tall people holding it up, and the sweepers and pastoralists will beat them to death. What does this have to do with my neutral faction? After joining the silicon-based civilization, you will join the neutral faction by default. As long as you don't provoke the sweepers and pastoralists, the universe is so big that you can go to any corner, just like the 10th Empire. It has left the Lania Chaos Supercluster and marched towards the Centauri Supercluster along the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. The Andromeda Galaxy has arrived, and it's time for me to leave. With that said, the Silicon Ray slowly swam away from the human fleet. By the way, your technological level is about to reach the seventh level of civilization. Friendly reminder, it would be good for you to look for two large black holes that are about to merge. Before Lu Yongchan could continue to reply, the huge Silicon Ray disappeared directly into the visible universe. Tachyon radar shows that it is flying towards the central region of the Andromeda Galaxy at a speed of more than 10, 000 c. There are several smaller star systems scattered around the edges of the sparse Andromeda Galaxy. Under Zero's control, the human fleet slowly flew towards the nearest star system. The fleet at this time was in urgent need of some time for repairs. Inside the Earth Command Center. Yong Chong, do you think Silicon Ray Civilization S words are credible? Fong Su was the first to break the silence in the command center. Lu Yong Chong nodded, then shook his head. It's hard to say. At least compared to paintings, the words of Silicon Stingray Civilization are more credible. However, there are still many doubts. The Sweeper Civilization wants to advance to the ninth level civilization. The pastoralists hope that the universe will return to the pastoral era. To a certain extent, they are also pursuing the path to advance to the ninth level civilization. What about the neutrals? Don't the neutral faction's eighth level civilization want to be promoted to the ninth level civilization? What are they doing now? What role do they play in this war? These are unknown circumstances. The exchange with Silicon Ray Civilization not only solved the confusion, but also aggravated the doubts in Lu Yongchang's heart. These advanced civilizations. What the H L are you doing? As the strength of human civilization continues to advance, things that did not need to be considered have gradually become urgent issues. By the way, there is one more thing. Fong Su glanced at the holographic projection beside him, his face full of helplessness. When that Silicon Ray civilization left. They did not take the Empire's home star with them. What the H, L? Lu Yongchang suddenly jumped up from his chair. He looked at the Empire's home star fortress that was still in this small universe. And his head suddenly grew bigger. Received tachyon information from Silicon Ray Civilization. Electronic synthesized sound interrupted the communication between the two. 
looking at the few lines of text that appeared in the holographic projection. Lu Yongchang suddenly fell into silence. The content of the message is simple. Due to the Ten Descendants, the Imperial Home Star Fortress hopes to return to the Tenth Empire. But, the Silicon Rays don't want to leave the Andromeda Galaxy. Therefore, it chose to leave the Empire's Home Star Fortress to the Energet Civilization. At the same time, it hoped that the Energet Civilization could set off as soon as possible after becoming a 7th level civilization to complete the request for the Empire's Home Star Fortress. Lu Yongchang frowned as he had a headache. No wonder, Silicon Ray Civilization left so hastily and gave an inexplicable reminder before leaving. His nerves have been on edge since the crisis broke out. The accumulated fatigue completely exploded at this moment. He raised his hand and gently rubbed his eyebrows. Forget it. We will discuss these things later. First find a star for simple trimming. In the process, try to find binary black hole systems that are about to merge. The words, Silicon Ray Civilization, said before leaving should be very true. Chapter 879 Undifferentiated Tachyon Broadcasting Decades later, Earth calendar year 9900, in the edge of the Andromeda galaxy, a small star system, as Quafu, as output power gradually increased. The small universe port gradually became clear. Then, the yellow dwarf star located in the center of the star system slowly disappeared into the universe. When the central star first disappeared, the planets still maintained their original orbits. But as time goes by, gravitational waves are gradually transmitted to each planet. These planets, from the inside to the outside, fly towards the outside of the star system in a tangential direction. The originally regular star system became chaotic at this moment. At this time, the brand new human fleet was like a sharp arrow, shot out of the chaotic star system, speeding towards the depths of the Andromeda galaxy. Different from the past, today's human fleet has marked a mark on the most conspicuous position of the ship that is the logo of the Silicon Alliance. After nearly a hundred years of rest, the human fleet once again returned to the state it was in when it left the galaxy. Five yellow dwarf stars in their young adulthood have also been stored in this small universe. The most important thing, after a hundred years of around-the-clock search, he Bilan and a group of academicians successfully found the next destination of human civilization a double black hole system. Ag-01, Ag-02. These are two large black holes located in the Andromeda galaxy. Starting hundreds of millions of years ago, these two black holes began to rush towards each other. And today, they are finally cultivating. This is the major event that is about to happen in the Andromeda galaxy that will attract the attention of advanced civilizations. Almost the entire advanced civilization in the Andromeda galaxy has focused its attention on these two black holes. The reason? Very simply, these are two massive black holes with extremely large accretion disks. A collision between the two will create a huge firework that can light up the entire Andromeda galaxy. At the same time, the gravitational wave effect caused by the merger of black holes will also directly affect the entire Andromeda galaxy and even the surrounding river systems. For most interstellar civilizations, this will be a feast a feast to peek into all kinds of magical phenomena. The two black holes are about 150,000 light years away from the human fleet. According to observations, these two black holes will approach each other and collide within 500 years. This means that human civilization must reach the double black hole area within 500 years. Fortunately, 150,000 light years is not that far. Although, Kwafu can only travel at a speed of about 800 c. But this is more than enough without any modifications. It only takes 187 years for the fleet to reach the double black hole area. However, taking into account various unexpected situations that may be encountered on the way. Under Lu Yongchang's order, the fleet set off early and sailed directly to the target area in the small universe of the People's Union. Earth. Lu Yongchang was thinking about the secrets hidden in the double black hole system when a holographic projection glowing with yellow light suddenly popped up in front of him. At the same time, Zero's electronic synthesized sound also sounded. Professor. The fleet received a tachyon broadcast from an unknown source. It comes with dictionary information. Hearing this, Lu Yongchang frowned immediately. Tachyon broadcast. The advanced technology of tachyon communication. The basic principles are similar. The only difference between the two is that the broadcast frequency is higher, consumes more energy, and covers a wider range. Tachyon broadcasting is indeed a good technology when the specific coordinates of the recipient are not certain. But... Who would send tachyon broadcasts with such fanfare? Generally, tachyon broadcasts will be released in specific frequency bands. 
and various complete encryption methods will be applied. This form of undifferentiated tachyon broadcasting made Liu Yongcheng's eyes light up the Milky Way has never seen anything like this. It's like a loudspeaker at the entrance of the village. All people with normal hearing can hear the information it broadcasts corresponding to the indiscriminate tachyon broadcast. The audience is those civilizations that have mastered tachyon communication technology and are at level 5 and above. Try to translate it. Liu Yongchang stopped what he was doing and looked at the holographic projection in front of him with interest. The 7,463rd tachyon broadcast in the Andromeda Galaxy. There are less than 500 years until the merger of the AG-01 and AG-02 binary black holes. At that time, large-scale gamma-ray bursts and gravitational wave anomalies may occur. Civilizations living within 2,000 light-years of the merger area are requested to be prepared for impact. The above information comes from neutral parties. Please convey it to each other among civilizations to avoid unnecessary casualties and losses. The following frequency bands are the civilized communication frequency bands established by the neutral faction. Broadcast completed. Estimated next broadcast time. Liu Yongchang opened his mouth slightly and stared blankly at the holographic projection in front of him. For a long time, he uttered a few words with a strange look on his face. Weather forecast? Uh-huh. The office door opened, and there was a rush of footsteps. Yong Chong, I heard that the fleet received the neutral tachyon broadcast. Before the people arrive, the sound comes first. Hearing the strong curiosity in Fang Su's voice, Liu Yong Chong rolled his eyes angrily. You are very well informed. I just finished reading the message, and you came right after me. Fang Su sneered. Turned around quickly and dragged the person waiting at the door in. I heard what he Bailin said. Facing Liu Yong Chong's explanation, he Bailin, who was being dragged tightly, Look confused. Aye. Liu Yongchang sighed helplessly and picked up the water glass on the table. It's just the right time. Everyone, sit down and analyze the information in this tachyon broadcast with me. By the way, does anyone else know about this? As he spoke, he lowered his head and blew on the water glass, taking a sip of the energy supplement in it. Since his body transformation was stuck in the middle ground, his demand for energy has begun to increase day by day. And the original tea has been replaced by Dr. Wen's special energy supplement. He Bailin and Fong Su's expressions became strange at the same time. This. Why don't you ask who else doesn't know about this? Liu Yong Cha? This interstellar version of Weather Forecast, Tachyon Broadcast has attracted the interest of countless academicians. No way. After waking up, the human fleet, in addition to facing super heavyweight opponents, was busy on the road without a stable resource supply and scientific research environment. Of course, for today's human civilization, when the basic theory has not yet been broken through, there is only hope for breakthroughs in some detailed livelihood-related technologies. These are the jobs of researchers, and academicians are too embarrassed to seize researchers' jobs. In addition, after joining the Silicon-based alliance, the near-term worries of human civilization have been properly resolved. Then, this time of traveling has become one of the most idle times in the Academy of Human Resources and Social Sciences. As the saying goes, look for grass seeds in the cracks of rocks there is nothing to do when you are free. After finally seeing something new, the group of academicians left the laboratory and rushed towards Liu Yongchang's office. First came Fang Su and He Bailin. And then came a group of idle first-level academicians. Seeing that the office was about to be filled, Liu Yongchang could only change his office location to the Earth Command Center. Chapter 880 Alcott an unnamed star system located 127 light years away from the collision area of AG01 and AG02 binary black holes. It is a binary star system with two young and energetic blue giant stars of similar mass. Surrounding these two blue giant stars are a total of more than 20 planets of different sizes. There is no doubt that this is a star system far larger than the solar system. Its excellent geographical location and structure make it one of the best viewing spots for the Andromeda Galaxy Fireworks show. The ultimate goal of the human fleet is this young star system. Of course, such a event does not only attract human civilization. As early as hundreds of years ago, before the human fleet discovered this star system, a civilization had already arrived first and seized this geomantic treasure. Inside the unnamed star system, there is an Earth-like planet rich in water resources. Battleships shaped like countless piles of mud blocks are constantly taking off and landing on this swampy planet. One after another, Layers upon layers of intelligent creatures slowly crawled in the swamp. Yes, just layers upon layers. 
Layers of tissue similar to flesh sacs are stacked irregularly to form intelligent creatures with strange shapes, large or small. The size of a single individual is between 0.5 m 2.5 m. They extend long tentacles from the inside of their bodies and evenly cover the surface of their bodies with turbid muddy water. It seems that this can bring them a good sense of comfort. They call themselves the Alcott Civilization. And their civilization's home planet is on a swamp planet. Their predecessor was a giant fungus-like creature, Alcott, on a swamp planet. It was a huge fungus covering more than a thousand square kilometers of the Earth's surface. After a long period of evolution, this giant fungus successfully evolved its nervous system and sensory system and successfully completed the evolution of its own life form it divided and differentiated into individuals of different sizes, just like bees with different statuses in a bee colony, responsible for handling different things. These subbodies separated from it have basic nervous systems and sensory systems, but they have no independent thoughts. All information will be summarized into its complex neural network for processing. In other words, Alcott, the entire civilization, it is exactly the opposite of new civilization the entire civilization is news, which is a civilization consciousness composed of countless individual consciousnesses. In this way, after going through countless hardships, Alcott successfully developed to a sixth level civilization. In order to master the secret of promotion to the seventh level civilization, they waited for hundreds of thousands of years and finally succeeded in waiting for this once in a lifetime opportunity. When the tachyon broadcast signal swept across the planet, no matter whether it was on the surface of the planet or in the battleship, they raised their heads and looked towards the sky at the same time. It's finally starting. An expectant thought flashed through, Alcott, as complicated nervous system, while he was still in the fleet flagship. Unfortunately, it's still unclear whether that rumor is true. In the small universe of the People's Union, Earth, Command Center, different from the previous atmosphere in the Command Center, the atmosphere in the Command Center was very warm at this time. Almost every academician expressed their opinions with excitement. The cause of this phenomenon is a special frequency band, an encryption method left in the tachyon broadcast. Whether we should enter this civilized communication channel released by the neutral faction is a tangled question. Human civilization is now a member of the Silicon Alliance. In theory, it is also a member of the neutral faction. Logically speaking, there should not be such worries. But, human civilization has a serious lack of understanding of neutral factions, coupled with past experiences in the galaxy. These factors still make many conservative academicians hold objections. The discussion gradually subsided, and all the academicians also turned their attention to Li Yongchang, who was sitting in the command position. The final decision fell to Li Yongchang, the chief scientist. Go in and take a look! Li Yongchang struggled for a while, and then made a final decision. The troubles caused by the sweepers and the pastoralists have basically been solved. Our energet civilization is not afraid of trouble. Fang Su who was sitting next to Lu Yongchang, suddenly twitched the corner of his mouth. Yes, this vest is completely impossible to take off. The energy civilization will always live in the hearts of human civilization. Outside the small universe, Qi Yu, the output power of the large-scale tachyon information transceiver device inside the battleship began to increase. Steadily tachyon broadcasting is not a function that ordinary tachyon information transceiver devices can play with. This can be seen from the famous scene of a silicon ray striking four stars. Signal transmission is normal. The designated frequency band has been successfully accessed. Encrypted tachyon message has been received. Warning! The message size is large. Information decryption is in progress. Zero's electronic announcement sounded in the command center. And Li Yongchang also focused all his attention on the huge projection directly in front. Coordinates. Level 5 Gila civilization. Spends a lot of money to search for a habitable planet with life. The requirements are as follows. Coordinates. Gila civilization. There is a planet here that may meet your requirements. But the mass of the planet is high. The specific parameters are as follows. Coordinates. Level 5 civilization seeks asylum. Reward. 100,000 standard units of antimatter. In an instant, an overwhelming amount of information exploded in the huge holographic projection in the command center. Almost all messages are sent by level 5 civilizations. Before mastering tachyon broadcast technology. They could only send out the general location of the civilization in order to get an accurate response from civilizations of the same level. Looking at those bright white text messages that were constantly refreshing, the expressions of all the academicians in the command center became stiff. This interstellar civilization chat group? This interest? Are you having fun? Lu Yongchang waved his hands with a headache. Zero. Block all information with low signal strength. 
The moment the words fell, the huge holographic projection instantly became refreshing. Chapter 881, 9436, Out of Sight. Out of Mind. The holographic screen was blank. Only the blue bottom screen was projected in front of the academicians. Silence? The corner of Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched slightly. And his eyes were filled with helplessness. This thing, isn't it only used by level 5 civilizations? Probably. The voice of social academic Lin Zhao came from the side. It can be seen from the behavior of Silicon Ray Civilization that Silicon-based civilizations have their own communication frequency band. Extrapolate reasonably. Civilizations at different levels should also have their own communication frequency bands. For a sixth-level civilization, the information sent by a fifth-level civilization is actually noise. This may be the main reason for this phenomenon. Of course, there may be another reason. Linzal shrugged as he said, There are too many level 5 civilizations around here. Hearing this, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but be stunned. Under normal circumstances, the further you go into a river system, the greater the probability of encountering advanced civilization, this has a lot to do with the material density of the river system. Judging from the material density civilization level model established by human civilization in the Milky Way, this material-rich land close to the interior of the Andromeda galaxy should be more in line with the development needs of a sixth-level civilization. When he turned his attention to the star map, he suddenly realized something. Ag-01 and Ag-02 double black hole regions. That location is in a relatively poor material area of the Andromeda galaxy, which is where the theoretical fifth-level civilization resides. You mean, the fifth-level civilizations that originally lived near the Ag-01 and Ag-02 double black hole areas have migrated to the surrounding star fields? Lin Zhao nodded and quickly marked out several areas in the holographic projection in front of him. Based on the effective range of tachyon communication in a fifth-level civilization, we can make a rough guess. As long as the fleet travels more than 30,000 light years toward the target area, these noises from level 5 civilizations will be left behind. If those level 6 civilizations really use this frequency band, maybe we can receive their information there. Of course, I'm personally pessimistic about it. Compared with the 5th level civilization, the 6th level civilization is qualitatively different. They may not be like the 5th level civilization. Cough. Talkative. Lu Yongchang's expression suddenly became a little weird. This, I can't say for sure. As he spoke, he waved his hand helplessly and turned off the giant holographic projection in front of him. Zero, continue to receive tachyon signals. When a tachyon broadcast with an intensity that reaches the standard is detected, alert me immediately. Fortunately, receiving tachyon information does not require much energy. And human civilization can completely stealth and receive all information along the way. In the year 10040 of the Earth's calendar, we are still less than 50,000 light years away from the Ag-01 and Ag-02 double black hole regions. The black hole region at the center of Andromeda. Relying on the symbol of the silicon-based alliance, the human fleet is traveling unabashedly in the Andromeda galaxy. At the beginning, Lu Yongchang actually had some hesitation in his heart. After all, that is the center of the river system with the highest material density. Not to mention other advanced civilizations. At least the sweeper civilization must be here. In the original plan, the human fleet needed to bypass this dangerous area until the Tachyon Broadcast Receiving Device received the first message from other advanced civilizations. Little guys from the Silicon Alliance. This is the territory of the 7th level Tinka civilization. When he saw this message, Lu Yongchang instantly felt half of his body numb. Level 7 civilization? When did the human fleet break into the home of a 7th level civilization? Before Lu Yongchang could edit the apology message. A new tachyon broadcast came again. Don't be nervous. The Tinka civilization belongs to the neutral faction. Say H, low to the silicon ray for me. By the way, help me ask it. When are you going to return the three blue giant stars that I used here last time? Lu Yongchang suddenly felt that the other half of his body was numb. The silicon stingray civilization of feelings is still a habitual offender. At the same time, he also experienced the benefits of joining the silicon alliance for the first time. There are acquaintances everywhere. This is for human civilization that wants to fish in troubled waters and develop silently. No. Isn't it paradise for energet civilization? After a brief exchange with the Tinka civilization, Lu Yongchang also gained a deeper understanding of the neutral faction. In terms of top combat power, the neutral faction cannot compete with the sweepers and pastoral faction. But the base of higher civilizations that cannot stand up to the neutral faction is so large. It doesn't matter if the base is large. 
they are still mid to high in combat powers. In addition, the neutral faction is also a relatively loose mutual aid organization. This also created a rather strange situation. Whether they are pastoralists or sweepers, they are unwilling to offend the civilization of the neutral faction for their own plans and ideas. Then, the fleet directly changed its original Dieter plan. Take a shortcut. Pass through the central black hole area of the Andromeda galaxy and head towards the target area. The Academy of Sciences also saw the charm of a big place. Along the way, the human fleet's tachyon broadcast receiving device would receive a piece of information from time to time almost all of this information came from the neutral 7th level civilization. This is a grand event that is impossible to see in the Milky Way. Based on this information, the Academy of Sciences also drew a preliminary map of the distribution of forces in the central region of the Andromeda galaxy. The neutral 7th level civilizations are scattered around the black hole in the center of Andromeda. Of course, in addition to these known spheres of influence, there is also a large area of unknown star territory around the central black hole. It is conceivable that those may be the territories of the Sweeper civilization and its affiliated civilizations. The Sweepers, or the civilization affiliated with the Sweepers, did not respond at all to the intrusion of the human fleet. Then, the human fleet sailed into the black hole area in the center of Andromeda safely and unscrupulously. Looking at the silver-white planetary fortresses near the black hole, and the huge technological creations comparable to blue giant stars. Lu Yongchang subconsciously held his breath. This is the Andromeda branch of the Sweepers. Energet Civilization. This place belongs to the territory of the Sweeper Civilization. Please leave immediately. Sweepers Andromeda Chapter 9436 Looking at the picture in the light screen. The skin color turned white, and the tentacles on both sides of the body trembled slightly. Too much. This Energet Civilization is too much. They all came to the door of their house blatantly. But, looking at the clearly visible signs on the surface of the battleship, 9436 issued a warning message and silently closed the light curtain in front of him. Out of sight, out of mind. It cannot afford to attack neutral civilizations. Chapter 882 Rumors Passing through the black hole region at the center of the Andromeda galaxy is just an insignificant episode in the entire voyage. This allowed Lu Yongchan to once again confirm the strength of the thigh behind him wouldn't he dare to attack easily without seeing a civilization as strong as the Sweeper? More than 60 years later, the Earth's calendar is 10,100 years. It is 8,000 light years away from the Ag-01 and Ag-02 binary black hole regions. In just 200 years, human civilization has almost completed its journey across the Andromeda galaxy. When Lu Yongchan discovered this, he couldn't help but feel a little dazed. Humanity today is only a quasi-level 7 civilization. It seems like this. When humans become a level 7 civilization, will the Andromeda galaxy be too narrow and crowded? No wonder the 10th Empire chose to continue the expedition. This is almost inevitable if we want to ensure the continued progress of civilization. The reason is simple. All scientific research must be based on the observation of various real phenomena. For example, the phenomenon of the merger of double black holes hides the secret of promotion to a 7th level civilization. If you want to master more profound technologies, you will inevitably need more extreme and complex, celestial events. This is also the fundamental reason why the Sweeper civilization built the Ring Cosmic Accelerator. Professor, the Tachyon broadcast has received a new signal. The frequency band is... Electronic synthesized sounds interrupted Lu Yongcheng's reverie. Looking at the bright white text appearing in the holographic projection, Lu Yongcheng's eyes flashed with surprise this frequency band. It is a universal communication band established by the neutral faction. The human fleet finally received information from level 6 civilization in this frequency band. Are the rumors true? Unclear. We just heard about it. Scattered information gradually emerged in the holographic projection. Lu Yongchan couldn't help but frown. Rumors? What rumors? He murmured quietly. After waiting for an unknown amount of time, another line of information finally appeared in the blue holographic projection. Dual black hole merger is about to happen. I hope we can share observations and research results and jointly advance to level 7 civilization. Seconded. Agree. Lu Yongchang's expression changed slightly. And a storm suddenly arose in his heart. This. Do these 6th level civilizations actually know the information revealed to him by the Silicon Ray civilization? And it's still a rumor from unknown sources? Lu Yongchang, who was used to life in the Milky Way suddenly felt alarm bells ringing in his heart. When something goes wrong, there must be a monster. Although he has witnessed with his own eyes many scenes of advanced civilizations making progress together, 
he still cannot completely believe in the grand occasion of this kind of cooperation among civilizations after experiencing countless life and death crises. Lu Yongchang's expression changed rapidly. For a moment, he thought about turning around and leaving this land of right and wrong. But, promotion to the seventh level civilization is another important threshold that cannot be bypassed for today's humans. His consciousness sank into the technology tree space, looking at the fog that had dissipated at the top of the sixth level technology tree, and the extremely bleak technology that symbolized the cornerstone of the seventh level civilization. Lu Yongchang sighed deeply. It was completely consistent with his original guess. Basic understanding of dark matter. This is the threshold technology for seventh level civilization. But today's cursor is extremely dim. And its brightness does not even reach 10%. In other words, Lu Yongchang couldn't even overclock his own quantum brain to forcefully analyze it. After exiting the technology tree space, Lu Yongchang was silent for a while. Then, he suppressed the worry in his heart. Zero. Keep moving forward. The hope of human civilization to quickly advance to the seventh level of civilization can only be pinned on these two black holes. If there is any behind-the-scenes driving force behind this incident, all we can say is that this is an unabashed conspiracy against level 6 civilization. Earth calendar year 10120. It is 127 light-years away from the collision area of AG-01 and AG-02 binary black holes, unnamed star outside the system, following a strong fluctuation in time and space. A fleet of 500 starships appeared in this relatively empty area. This strong fluctuation in time and space immediately triggered the alarm of Alcott civilization. Warning! Abnormal space-time fluctuations detected. Warning! Receive tachyon information from an unknown civilization. Warn! In the Earth Command Center. Before Lu Yongchang and others could breathe a sigh of relief. Sirens sounded one after another. Translated information also appeared quickly in the giant holographic projection unfamiliar sixth-level civilization. This is the territory of Alcott civilization. Please leave immediately. At the same time, accompanied by increasingly strong warnings, strange-shaped warships appeared around the fleet, tightly surrounding the human fleet. Faced with such an unexpected situation, Lu Yongchan quickly issued the order after being briefly stunned. Develop a defensive formation immediately. Open the small universe port and release the battleships and planetary fortresses. At the same time, he quickly edited the response tachyon information in the holographic projection in front of him. Alcott Civilization. We are the Energet Civilization under the Silicon Alliance. Please believe that we have no malicious intent. In short, let's first clarify our identity and raise the banner of the Silicon Alliance and the neutral faction. I don't know whether it was the warships that appeared out of thin air from the small universe port or the identity of the Silicon-based alliance that shocked this sixth-level civilization. Those warships that looked like disc-shaped stacks of mud stopped their surrounding actions and quickly retreated back. In the unnamed star system, Alcott's civilization, in Alcott's complex nervous system, there were waves of higher and higher nerve signals. Through the child's senses, it clearly observed the appearance of those intruders. What an ugly battleship. This is its first reaction. But the next moment, it was deeply shocked. That is, small universe technology? Is the other party a level 7 civilization? It frantically issued an order to its sub-body. Retreat. Retreat immediately. Immediately afterwards. A piece of tachyon information appeared in front of it. The moment it saw the message clearly, another bomb seemed to explode in its nerves. Silicon Alliance. The opponent is the seventh level civilization of the Silicon Alliance. Inside the civilized flagship, the bloated Alcott stepped up his orders to retreat to his subordinates. At the same time, its body was trembling slightly as it edited the response to the other party's tachyon information. Energet civilization. No. Cross it out. Dear Energet civilization, we have no intention to be your enemy. Please forgive our rude behavior. We are willing to pay some price. The main theme is humility. Chapter 883. Factionless civilization. In the small universe of the People's Union. The flagship Earth. Lu Yongchang sat in his chair and stared blankly at the information in the holographic projection. This, so discerning? The truth is that I can't handle him. After a brief pause, Lu Yongchang hurriedly sent a new message to Alcott Civilization. The message roughly explained the purpose of the Energet Civilization coming here. For the merger of two black holes? Alcott was puzzled by the content of the message sent by human civilization. Shouldn't the Energet Civilization, which has mastered the technology of the small universe, be a level 7 civilization? According to the content of the rumors, 
Some magical phenomena contained in the merger of double black holes are only useful to the 6th level civilization that is about to be promoted to the 7th level civilization. Although Alcott's complex nervous system is full of incomprehension and confusion, it still sends an invitation message to the Energet civilization waiting outside the star system. Dear Energet civilization, as compensation, I am willing to share this star system with you. Please forgive me for my previous rude behavior. Along with the message, there was also a detailed survey report on this large star system. It can be said to be full of sincerity. Later, under the dull gazes of Lu Yongchang and others, the Alcott starships, which had retreated to the edge of the unknown star system, even formed a welcoming array. This is a fairly large star system. There are a total of 24 planets of different sizes, as well as two young and energetic blue giant stars, which are enough to become a temporary stopping point for a sixth level civilization. After selecting several Earth-like planets, under Liu Yongchang's order, zero controlled battleships to dock into the orbits of those planets. During this process, the Alcott civilization wisely controlled the warships to stay away from the human fleet to avoid misunderstandings. Liu Yongchang, who was in the small universe, looked at the scenes in the holographic projection with an expression of discomfort on his face. Human civilization has never encountered such a situation. After completing the basic check-in work, Liu Yongchang once again sent a message of thanks to Alcott civilization. A large number of exchanges also allowed Liu Yongchang to learn about the other party's civilization form a mother body with high consciousness and countless child bodies with clear division of labor. This magical form of civilization immediately aroused the interest of the Academy of Sciences. Of course, the other party also expressed surprise at the energy civilization. A civilization that combines silicon and carbon. After all, Alcott had never heard of such a magical situation in the Andromeda galaxy. Affected by news, academician Mao Xingji, who has been working on biological consciousness technology, rarely left the shipboard laboratory after learning the news, and rushed to the command center with a large number of academicians and researchers. Not only researchers in biology, but also researchers in sociology were unable to sit still after hearing the news. Together they made a request to Liu Yongchang. The content of the request. Very simple. Give them a chance to research. And Liu Yongchang also fell into entanglement and confusion. After all, the other party is an independent sixth level civilization. So it is definitely inappropriate to make such a request rashly. In fact, according to the style of human civilization in the galaxy, Liu Yongchang has already given the order to take action at this time. By turning the other party into a subordinate civilization, can't we just study it casually? But the hats of the neutralists and the Silicon Alliance have become a constraint on human civilization at this time. On the other hand, the current Alcott civilization is just short of supporting human civilization. Even if he wants to take action, Liu Yongchang can't find a reason. You can't just stir up trouble when two black holes are about to merge. Right? After the two civilizations became familiar with each other, the Alcott civilization also raised questions to human civilization. Dear Energy Civilization, as a seventh level civilization, do you also need to study the phenomenon of double black hole mergers? For such a question, Liu Yongchan naturally gave a relatively vague answer. We are only a sixth level civilization, and the technology of the small universe was mastered for some special reasons. Unexpectedly, these words made Alcott feel extremely surprised and envious in his complex nerves. Is it because of the Silicon Alliance and the neutral faction? As expected of one of the three major factions, it has such rich resources. There was a strong feeling of envy in the message. Liu Yongchang was silent for a while and responded to the message sent by the other party. Alcott civilization, didn't you join the neutral faction? Yes, I am not qualified to join the neutral faction. Alcott's answer was quick. I couldn't pass the neutralist civilizing potential test. Liu Yongchang suddenly realized. The civilization potential test, as the name suggests, is similar to the Silicon Alliance test and is designed to test the development potential of civilization. In the simplest terms, neutrals don't take crap. Even if this waste becomes a level 6 civilization, it's not just me. Almost all the civilizations watching the black hole merger phenomenon are level 6 civilizations without factions. Alcott added again, Liu Yongchang, who was sitting in the command center, was stunned, and the look on his face suddenly became serious. This is a big problem. Six level civilizations without factions are concentrated in one place. If there is no problem, Liu Yongchang doesn't believe it. Finding that the energy civilization did not respond to the message, Alcott hesitated for a long time and sent it another tachyon message. 
Dear Energet Civilization, Have you heard of the rumor circulating among the 6th level civilization? At the same time, it briefly introduces the rumor content. As Silicon Ray said, the mystery of the 7th level civilization is hidden in the merger of double black holes. Facing the inquiry, Lu Yongchang was silent for a long time, and then gave an answer. Sorry, we haven't heard of it. How can it be? Alcott suddenly became anxious. Isn't it because of this rumor that you came to observe the merger of double black holes? Of course not. Lu Yongchang did not tell the truth. According to our speculation, the merger of double black holes may trigger some changes in dark matter, which is likely to be the key to entering a 7th level civilization. The moment the message was sent out, all the academicians in the command center looked sideways at Lu Yongchang. Professor, is what you said true? He Bailin's curious voice came from the side. I think it makes sense. Is it your latest research result? Hearing this, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but rolled his eyes at He Bailin. Of course it's fake. I was just guessing. He Bailin and other academicians said. Chapter 884 Double Black Holes Merge. Alcott fell silent, seeming to discern the authenticity of the message said by Lu Yongchang. That rumor? Do you know the source? Lu Yongchang asked uneasily. I am not sure not getting the answer he wanted. Alcott's response speed became much slower. But I vaguely remember that it seems to be coming from the core region of the Andromeda galaxy. Lu Yongchang was shocked. What's in the core area? Sweeper civilization. For a moment, Lu Yongchang felt like he was sitting on pins and needles. Could it be that? Is the Silicon Ray civilization trying to trick him? Any questions? Alcott seemed to be aware of the anomalies in the Energet civilization. Lu Yongchang suppressed his uneasiness pondered for a while, and expressed his suspicions to Alcott. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Alcott gave an extremely emphatic response. Due to the existence of the neutral faction, the sweeper civilization and the pastoral faction have never had a large-scale war break out within the Andromeda galaxy. At least, in my memory, never. The sweeper civilization has always been very peaceful and has never done anything like this. Lu Yongchan looked at the words in the holographic projection, smiled bitterly, and shook his head. Maybe, compared with the Andromeda galaxy, the chaotic Milky Way is a remote area full of war. The experience there may not be suitable for the Andromeda galaxy. Although he thought so in his heart, Lu Yongchang still silently issued the order to prepare for war. In the small universe with a diameter of one light year, various interstellar factories have begun to operate. The planets stored in the small universe are slowly decomposed. Under the interference of the core reaction catalytic device, the star also began to release a large amount of energy, which was converted into a large amount of antimatter by the Dyson Sphere. Everything is in order to deal with a war that may happen next. Time passes bit by bit. Earth calendar year 10309. Along with a strong wave of space-time fluctuations, reminders sounded inside the human fleet. Academicians from relevant majors of the Academy of Sciences were waiting in the shipboard laboratory number one early, and everyone turned their attention to the giant holographic projection ahead. The Ag-01 and Ag-02 double black holes have already made initial contact. The first thing to come into contact was the huge accretion disk on both sides. The gorgeous accretion disk collapsed instantly at the moment of contact, and then returned again under the gravitational pull of the two black holes. Between the two, a strip of extremely gorgeous light is formed. At this time, the brightness of the two accretion disks has increased several times compared with the original, and the activity of particles inside has also increased several times just like two small-scale river systems colliding. The moment the two black holes came into contact, they immediately lit up the dim starry sky. The resulting gamma-ray bursts and X-ray bursts even affected a small half of the Andromeda galaxy. Then, the two black holes began to slowly rotate around each other, like two lonely dancers in the endless starry sky. The distance between the two black holes suddenly becomes farther and then closer. This triggered an increasingly strong reaction in the accretion disk. As the two black holes danced, the intense gravitational waves also slowly escaped in all directions at the speed of light. Perhaps, one day, some low-level civilization far away in the galaxy will be able to receive the swan song of these two lonely dancers. The entire black hole merger process is very long. And this is the prelude to the show. The Academy of Sciences has not observed any phenomena related to dark matter. Lu Yongchang was not in a hurry. Human civilization has enough patience to watch this show and he has enough confidence to discover the secrets hidden in it. Earth calendar year 10,679. The two black holes have been dancing in the starry sky for hundreds of years, and the distance between them has gradually narrowed to the extreme. 
the gravitational waves became extremely powerful, and the surrounding space and time began to be extremely distorted. The two black holes accretion disks, which were originally distinct, have now been completely mixed together, compared with hundreds of years ago. Black holes at this time have a more conspicuous feature black hole jets. Two collimated structures that are much larger than the black holes start from the intersection of the black holes and extend in two opposite directions. Whether it is the optical band, x-ray band or radio band, these two straight light pillars can be clearly observed. Said to be a light pillar, it is actually plasma with a speed close to the speed of light. And its composition is exactly the same as the original accretion disk of the black hole. Like a small quasar. Lu Yongchan looked at the shocking picture in the holographic projection in ecstasy and murmured in a low voice. That is the magnificent energy from the universe. Even though human civilization is now a level 6 civilization. Or a quasi-level 7 civilization. Human worship still cannot survive these two black hole jets that span thousands of light years. Just when Lu Yongchan was shocked by this scene. As the two black holes continued to approach and the frequency of rotation continued to increase. A strange phenomenon occurred. The seemingly empty starry sky facing the black hole jet is slowly twisting and rotating at this moment. It's like there is a powerful invisible hand stirring wildly there. Lu Yongchang noticed this magical phenomenon immediately. He subconsciously held his breath and gestured to the researchers to observe this magical phenomenon. Inspiration surges in the quantum brain. Understood. Lu Yongchang looked excited and subconsciously stood up from his chair. He raised his hand and began to write on the holographic projection in front of him with his slightly white fingers trembling. The powerful gravity of a black hole can affect the surrounding space and time. When two massive black holes rotate around each other, they can produce an extremely powerful dragging effect on the surrounding space and time. This kind of power can even affect dark matter, coupled with the powerful energy of the black hole's jet. The originally stable and invisible dark matter was completely revealed at this moment. The biggest difficulty in the study of dark matter lies in its invisibility and stability. In interstellar space, dark matter has a very light mass and low density, but its quantity is extremely large, and it is only affected by gravity and the weak interaction force. This invisible and intangible substance directly hinders the progress of human civilization's research on dark matter. But it's different now. Under the power of the merger of double black holes, the dark matter that was originally deeply hidden finally revealed itself in front of human civilization. Huge amounts of observational data are pouring into the central computer array like crazy. Even the processing speed of zero cannot keep up with the influx of this data. So it can only temporarily store it and wait for subsequent processing. Chapter 885 Conspiracy Emerges Under the pulling force of the twin black holes, the twisting dark matter in the empty universe becomes more and more obvious. At this moment, this powerful space-time fluctuation coming from 127 light-years away obscures all clues in the starry sky, like the stars disappearing under the sun. No civilization has discovered the ripples from far to near in the ocean of space and time, even though it is about to advance to the seventh-level civilization, and even has a small part of the seventh-level technology. The human civilization is still blinded by the powerful space-time fluctuations 127 light-years away. Two black holes are spinning toward each other at extremely high speeds. The gravitational disturbance generated at this time is extremely violent and explosive. It is also at this time that the fluctuations of dark matter will be extremely noticeable. Finally, this once-in-a-lifetime dance is gradually coming to an end. The aftermath of the powerful gravitational waves began to weaken slowly like a gradually decaying bell. Some clues that were originally blocked were also exposed to the eyes of countless sixth-level civilizations at this moment. There is no doubt that human civilization was the first to sound the alarm and respond. Seeing the sudden and dense red warning messages in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's expression suddenly changed, and the rising inspiration in his mind dissipated like an ebbing tide. He was mentally prepared and immediately issued the order loudly. Sound the war alarm! All combat sequence fleets! Leave the small universe immediately! Thanks to Lu Yongchang's previous concerns and orders, Kwafu has kept the small universe port open to the maximum extent although this will consume a lot of energy. At the same time as the order was issued, the fleets, which had already been tensed up, started their engines one after another, driving the warships towards the port that connects the large and small universes. In an unnamed star system, a large number of warships appeared out of thin air near several Earth-like planets. A little further away, the Alcott civilization had not reacted until this moment. Alcott civilization. Alcott, who is located inside the civilization flagship, 
carefully observes various anomalies caused by the merger of double black holes through the senses of his daughter body. Since it had ideational differences with the energy civilization, it has greatly reduced the frequency of communication with the energy civilization. Different road non-phase plan. Until now, it does not believe that the so-called rumors are a shocking conspiracy. From leaving his home planet to reaching the sixth level civilization, Alcott has experienced too many years. In such a long life, it has never seen or even heard of such a thing. The dance of the double black holes has begun. It shakes off the distracting thoughts in its nervous system and begins to carefully analyze the data in it. Time keeps passing. When the black hole's dance was about to come to an end, it finally discovered the slowly twisting mass of dark matter. It was at this time that a strong sense of surprise appeared in its nerves. The original speculation of the energy civilization. It's actually true? The merger of binary black holes may trigger some changes in dark matter, which is likely to be the key to entering a seventh level civilization. The original words of energy civilization resurfaced in its nerves. It couldn't help but feel dazed. Just a second ago, he thought this guess was not credible. The dance of black holes comes to an end, and the twisting mass of dark matter returns to calmness again and disappears from the observation device. It let out a dull growl in annoyance it missed the best observation time. Not only that, because the observation device mainly observed the black hole merger area and did not pay attention to the space and time near the black hole jet, Alcott did not even collect much useful data. Of course, such scenes are not limited to Alcott's civilization. Among the six-level civilizations on the edge of the dual black hole merger area, the vast majority of civilizations have not discovered so-called dark matter fluctuations even now. The very few civilizations that have discovered dark matter fluctuations near black hole jets have also lost their best observation opportunities for various reasons. Alcott's nerves were filled with regret and anger as he watched the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity disappear before his eyes. The mother's anger caused the offspring to fall into instinctive panic. The alarm information from the detection device was also subconsciously ignored by it. It wasn't until the alarms got louder and louder, until the terrifying fleet of the Enrigid civilization slowly sailed towards the edge of the star system, that it suddenly discovered the terrifyingly dense alarm information in the observation device. Its huge body trembled suddenly. Its long-term peaceful life has greatly degraded its war capabilities. When it first discovered these alarm messages, its nerves even fell into a state of confusion. How so? Is what Energet said about civilization actually true? Are the sweepers really going to take action against level 6 civilization? Countless questions flashed through my nerves. It didn't wake up until it saw that the Energet battleship had successfully sailed out of the star system. It screamed in surprise and hastily issued war orders to its child body. Unnamed star outside the system. Earth hovers quietly in the protective net formed by the five Chiyu planetary fortresses. Coming! Lu Yongchang sat on the chair with a serious expression and whispered to Zhao Zijia beside him. Send the symbol of silicon Bay civilization through the tachyon signal. Okay! Zhao Zijia nodded and was about to operate the holographic projection in front of him, but was interrupted by Lu Yongchang. Etc. To be on the safe side, send a distress message to the silicon ray. Shake people. During the transmission of tachyon information, a strong distortion suddenly appeared in the empty universe outside the stellar system. When the distortion gradually calmed down, silver-white spherical battleships suddenly appeared in the dark universe. Among these spherical battleships, there is also a familiar planet fortress judging from its size. It should be the white dwarf fortress that human civilization has encountered before. Civilization of Sweepers Looking at this familiar look, Lu Yongchang's face changed slightly, and he murmured in a low voice. Really? The sweeper is still the same sweeper. In a galaxy without constraints, they can unscrupulously adopt other low-level civilizations as subordinate civilizations. In the Andromeda galaxy, they are restricted by neutral factions. But even so, they still have not given up their usual style. Professor, the tachyon message has been successfully sent. Zhao Zijia's tone was urgent. The silicon ray has responded and is heading this way. So we don't need to worry too much. Then... Zhao Zijia's voice paused slightly. It said, Never take the initiative to attack the sweeper civilization. Lu Yongchang nodded slightly and said nothing. He stared expressionlessly at the sweeper fleet in the holographic projection. And the string in his heart was stretched to the extreme. Not only him, but the entire human fleet. Everyone tightened their heartstrings. Chapter 886 Whoever strikes first is the dog. Sweeper fleet. White Dwarf Fortress. 9436 looked at the information in the light screen with a dull expression. 
and his originally light cyan body color slowly turned darker. It can be called green and dripping. Why is it again? 9,436 raised the tentacle on his side and knocked hard on the light screen in front of him. Why is this energy civilization still lingering? We finally managed to get these two black holes to collide without anyone noticing. Why are they coming here to join in the fun? Obviously, 9,436, who has encountered the energy civilization many times, has a slightly turbulent mentality. Ahem. I think this is quite normal. The companion, 9,435, on the side comforted, 9,436, in a low voice. The Energet civilization has always been a 6th level civilization that will be promoted to the 7th level. The Silicon Ray will definitely tell the new members of the Silicon-based alliance about the merger of the two black holes. 9,436, suddenly stunned. At this time, it remembered that the Energet civilization was just a small 6th level civilization. Their courage is not what a 6th level civilization should be. Thinking of the scene where the energy civilization kicked open the door and broke into its own house. 9,436 sighed helplessly. Forget it. Prepare to retreat. Change to the next target star system. According to the information from the mother civilization, the pastoralists may soon launch an attack on the Andromeda known as revenge for the incident in the Milky Way. Before that, we have to expand herders as quickly as possible. Under the order of 9,436, the sweeper fleet stopped advancing towards the star system and began to slowly withdraw back. Looking at the gradually retreating sweeper fleet, Lu Yongchang slowly breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, the sweeper civilization is not crazy enough to attack the neutral members. Tell Silicon Ray. Already, before the words could be finished, a fleet with a somewhat chaotic formation rushed out from the star system behind them. Lu Yongchang's voice suddenly stopped. The sweeper civilization that was about to leave was like a shark that smelled fishy smell and suddenly stopped the curvature engine that was about to enter the curvature state. Energet civilization. We have no intention of being your enemy. We only want that factionless civilization. Please leave immediately to avoid casualties in the war. The sweeper civilization took the lead in sending tachyon messages that contained threats to human civilization. All fleets. Retreat immediately. Lu Yongchang calmly issued the order to retreat. To turn against the sweeper civilization for the sake of a civilization that they only met once? He would only make such a choice if he lost his mind. Dear Energet Civilization, Please help me. The message sent by the Sweeper Civilization was not encrypted in any way, and there was no doubt that it was intercepted by the Alcott Civilization. At a time when civilization was on the verge of survival, Alcott put down all his dignity as a level 6 civilization. Lu Yongchang slowly shook his head and disowned him. Sorry! We can't compete with the Sweeper Civilization. During the exchange, the fleet of human civilization had slowly sailed away from this unknown star system under Zero's control. The merger of binary black holes produced a large amount of observational data and ideas in the mind to process. Today, Lu Yongchang just wants to find a quiet corner to hide. It will not be until humans become a 7th level civilization and have enough combat power to protect themselves that they can go to wider star fields to pursue more profound knowledge. Seeing that the only hope was about to disappear, Alcott civilization made a final attempt. I'm willing to pay any price, including becoming your affiliated civilization. The moment the news appeared in the holographic projection, countless scientific researchers in the command center looked at Lu Yong Chong, especially the academicians in biology and sociology. Their eyes are extremely eager. What great research material! Biological consciousness technology requires research objects of this level. Lu Yong Chong struggled for a moment. Considering the strength of the sweeper civilization, he decided to give up this rare opportunity. Just as he was about to continue to order the retreat, an encrypted tachyon message appeared in the holographic projection. Little guy, wait a minute. I'll be there soon. The Silicon Ray civilization is coming. When he saw this message, Lu Yongchang felt his eyes suddenly light up. Is this the feeling of having a backer? Although the Silicon Ray civilization is not very reliable, at this moment, he still has some confidence in his heart to compete with the scavenger civilization. Feel sorry. Lu Yongchang issued an order to stop the retreat and sent a message to the sweeper civilization. The Alcott civilization is a subsidiary civilization of Energet. Taking action against a subordinate civilization is regarded as a declaration of war against the main civilization. Scavenger civilization. Are you ready to declare war on the neutrals? Inside the White Dwarf Fortress. Looking at the retreating Energet civilization. 9436 
breathed a sigh of relief. Seeing that it was about to complete a task target, its mood improved a lot. This energy civilization is actually pretty good. It cheerfully said to its companion, Unlike that silicon ray, this is a living iron-headed baby. Ding. Before the words could even be finished, a message appeared in the light curtain in front of it. Those few lines of text directly cut off its laughter in the vocal organs. I take back what I just said. 9,436, the skin color gradually turned white, and the tone of voice became deeper. Declare war on neutrals. 9,436, the tentacles trembled and the expression became distorted. You know how to pull off the tiger's skin to pull the flag. Isn't it just to build a non-faction civilization? Why does it get to this level? This energy civilization is simply more difficult to deal with than that silicon-based stingray. The companion, 9,435, on the side did not speak, but silently watched the tentacles dancing rapidly beside, 9,436. In the light curtain, complex words appeared one after another. Energy is civilized. Don't push yourself too far. Don't try to provoke the bottom line of sweeper civilization. Lu Yongchan calmly read the short essay from the sweeper civilization and then sneered. He thought of the silicon ray's reminder. Never take the initiative to start a civil fight with the sweeper. Read. If you have the ability, take action first. Whoever strikes first is the dog. At the same time, Lu Yongchan passed on the still warm and fresh affiliated civilization agreement to the sweeper civilization. Inside the white dwarf fortress. 9,436. The flying speed of the tentacles increased again, looking at the sweeper fleet that was stagnant and motionless. Lu Yongchang raised the corners of his mouth and felt calm in his heart. Chapter 887. All victims. No witnesses. Sure enough, there was a reason for the silicon ray's reminder. At least, under the current situation, the sweepers are unwilling to provoke the neutrals. In this way, the two sides fell into a stalemate. 9,436, it's hard to swallow this breath. When will the majestic sweeper civilization be threatened by a sixth level civilization? According to regulations, it cannot take action against the Enrigid civilization. But this does not prevent it from saying harsh words. Enrigid civilization, I remember you. I hope you can always hide under the protective wings of the neutral faction. Liu Yongcheng's reaction to such harsh and bluffing words was naturally very indifferent. Just kidding. I have never seen anything like this in human civilization. Not to mention that it is about to become a 7th level civilization now. When it was still a 4th level civilization, humans could survive in the cracks between the sweepers and the pastoralists. Not to mention, the other party also called the wrong name and identified the wrong person. Again, what does the energy civilization do have to do with our human civilization? As for the Alcott fleet, it has quietly retreated into the unknown star system. Can't afford to offend can't afford to offend. Time passes minute by minute. Perhaps unwilling to leave. Or perhaps in order to put pressure on the energy civilization. The sweeper fleet gradually shortened the distance to the unknown star system. Lu Yongchang, who had made contact with the silicon ray civilization, naturally would not accept the sweeper fleet's tactics no matter how the other party behaved. The human fleet was like an iron-headed boy, blocking the front of the sweeper fleet. Even in order to show his determination, Liu Yongchang ordered the defensive worship control by the Eugene people to turn off all shield systems. The main theme is fearlessness as long as you dare to fight. I will dare to die for you. In the White Dwarf Fortress, 9,436, as tentacles trembled slightly while looking at the light screen. It has been to so many river systems. But it has never seen such an arrogant sixth level civilization. No. Why should he? 9,436, shouted angrily. Not to mention the energy civilization. Even the leader of the Silicon Alliance, the Tenth Empire, would not dare to do this in front of the sweeper civilization. Arrogant. Right. Companion, 9,435, sighed and comforted again. Forget it. The mother civilization seems to have some plans recently. And it is strictly forbidden to conflict with the neutral faction. Let's not make ourselves uncomfortable in this stall. Then, just retreat like this? 9,436, as face was filled with the word grievance. Just as they were discussing what to do next, a warning message flashed across the light curtain. Okay, someone from neutrality is here. 9,435, released the tentacles that were holding his companion, and laid down on his seat helplessly. You should think about how to deal with it first. 9,436, next to the unnamed star system. The area between the sweeper fleet and the human fleet. 
along with a powerful fluctuation in space and time. A huge silver ray appeared in the visible universe. Unlike the last time, this time the silicon ray did not use a wormhole to travel. As soon as it appeared, the silicon ray raised its tail and slightly opened its big, glowing mouth, aiming at the sweeper fleet in the distance. Sweeper, I need an explanation. Inside the white dwarf fortress of the sweeper, 9436 looked at the light curtain in annoyance. How did the silicon ray civilization come about? Now it's better. The two iron-headed boys met together. Although he was extremely troubled in his heart. At this moment, 9436, as the civilized face of the sweeper, still had a very tough tone. Scavengers do things in a civilized manner and do not need to explain themselves to other civilizations. The black light in the silicon ray's mouth gradually became stronger and it looked like it was about to attack. This black hole merger incident is your fault. Right? Taking action against factionless civilization is what you do. Right? Violating the previous agreement. Do you think the neutrals dare not join the war? Do you want to start a war? To Silicon Ray's question, 9436 quickly responded, Is there any evidence? The body of the Silicon Ray stiffened suddenly, and the bright black light in its mouth became dim. Seemingly, it seems there is really no evidence, let alone the black hole merger incident. The other members of the neutral faction did not notice anything strange at all. As for taking action against factionless civilization, by the time the neutralists discovered it, it was already too late. The sweeper Andromeda branch almost came out in full force. And with lightning speed, the non-sectarian sixth level civilization that was watching this fireworks show was accepted as a subordinate civilization. At the scene, there were only victims and no witnesses. Those sixth level civilizations that have become subsidiary civilizations? Do you really think that the sweeper's ideological stamp is a joke? What? Energet civilization and Alcott civilization? We were just passing by for a chat. Is there any evidence that the sweepers did something to them? Just when the silicon ray civilization was speechless, a powerful wave of time and space came from near the sweeper fleet. A twisted wormhole structure appeared behind the fleet. Then, under the fearful gaze of the silicon ray civilization, the white dwarf fortress escorted the spherical battleships into the wormhole one after another. Energet civilization, I remember you. Before leaving, 9436 did not forget to say a harsh word. In the aftershock of the final gravitational waves of the twin black holes, the wormhole created by the sweeper civilization slowly dissipated. It was only at this moment that the silicon ray relaxed its tense nerves and canceled the dark matter cannon that was ready to go. It turned around and looked at the energy civilization behind it, raised its tail and scratched its head, causing a series of bright sparks. I said, you are also a little too courageous. You dare to mess with the sweepers. Okay now. Are you remembered? In the small universe of the People's Union. Lu Yongchang scratched his head in embarrassment as he watched the words coming from the silicon ray in the holographic projection. And quickly changed the topic. You just said that the merger of the two black holes was the work of the sweeper civilization. And that agreement. What does that mean? The huge silicon ray swings its body tiredly and flies towards the unknown star system. There are no indigenous people in this star system. Right? I'm too tired from traveling. I'll replenish my energy first. I'll explain the details to you later. You didn't bring little Cosmos with you? What words? What are you talking about? Why do you accuse someone of their innocence out of thin air? Immediately afterwards, there were some difficult words. Looking at the series of untranslatable mutterings in the holographic projection and the silicon ray diving into the blue giant star, Lu Yongchang shook his head helplessly. Chapter 888 The Broken Balance The size of a blue giant star is unmatched by a yellow dwarf star. After the two blue giant stars disappeared, the silicon ray energetically circled slowly around the human fleet. And from time to time it would, gently, tap the Chiyu fortress with its wide, flat pectoral fins. It seems that it is very fond of these silver-white planet fortresses. On the other side, the Alcott fleet has already entered the small universe of the United Nations in despair according to the agreement. They need to obey all arrangements of human civilization, including ideological stamp. After the third-party civilization left, Silicon Ray began to explain to the Energet civilization. The sweepers may have tampered with that star field in high-dimensional space. Whether it is the surrounding star systems or the trajectory of the black hole, the neutrals are not aware of the problem. Silicon Ray's tone was a little low. I just received a message. Not only the Andromeda galaxy, but also similar battle reports came from the surrounding river systems. 
It is not difficult to guess that this is a huge plan that has lasted for a long time. A large number of non-factional civilizations were forcibly captured and became subordinate civilizations of the sweepers. We underestimated sweepers. We used to think that the sweepers would be restricted by the original agreement. But now it seems. Why? Protocol? Yes. The agreement between neutrals and sweepers. What do you think is the fundamental reason why neutralists can maintain absolute neutrality? Liu Yongchang's eyes moved, and he keenly captured the key points. Strength? Good. The neutral faction's comprehensive strength is just at the balance node, which will neither make the pastoral faction feel threatened nor affect the sweeper's plan. It is also true that neutrality has a fatal attraction for many advanced civilizations no one wants a war. But? Once the number of advanced civilizations exceeds the limit, it is very likely to attract a joint attack from the pastoralists and sweepers. Liu Yongchang suddenly realized. This is a foreseeable situation. During the fight between the two sides, no one wants to see the unbridled growth of third-party forces. Therefore, a long time ago, the neutralists signed an agreement with the sweepers and pastoralists. While ensuring that the number of neutral faction members does not exceed the threshold, sweepers cannot attack non-faction higher civilizations at will. To a certain extent, this is also the limit of the civilization of pastoral party sweepers. As for those old antiques of the pastoral school, they are very pure. Only dimensional creatures. And their overall strength will not change much. Lu Yongchang understood. The interstellar version has three pillars. Right? Thinking about it. This is also the fundamental reason why Alcott civilization failed the potential test. He took a deep breath and felt a slight sense of uneasiness in his heart. Now that the sweepers have unilaterally torn up this agreement, what are the neutrals going to do? The balance has been initially broken. Isn't it easy to guess what will happen next? The silicon ray fell silent. I, I am not sure as well. The neutral faction is not unified within itself. And it is difficult to reach a consensus on this kind of matter in a short period of time. High probability. Just pretend that nothing happened. Of course, hardline members will certainly plan accordingly. Is the silicon alliance hardliners? Liu Yongchang asked eagerly. The answer to this question will be directly related to the next plan of human civilization. It's hard to tell. There are hardline members, and there are members who advocate peaceful development. Silicon Ray's answer was vague. But Liu Yongchang has already got the answer he wants. The swimming movements of the Silicon Ray gradually slowed down. Obviously, it did not adapt to this sudden change. It raised its tail again and scratched its head vigorously. Why is this happening? Is it possible that the sweeper civilization has the confidence to face attacks from two forces at the same time? Looking at the bright white text in the holographic projection, Liu Yongchan felt his heart skip a beat. He suddenly thought of a major event in the history of human civilization. Drawing of 2D fragments and Proxima Centauri tail plan. According to Silicon Ray, studying dimensions is what all 8th level civilizations are doing. If the two-dimensional Proxima Centauri is obtained by the sweeper civilization, it can then master two-dimensional technology. All this seems to make sense. At this time, Liu Yongchang felt a strong chill rising behind his back. I'm the one behind the scenes? At this moment, Liu Yongchang suddenly felt the fate, or the vast power of cause and effect. Unstoppable. Even undetectable. Brat? Scared? The information of the Silicon Ray civilization flashed in the holographic projection. Waking up the frightened Li Yongchang. Feel sorry. We need to discuss the next countermeasures within the civilization. Lu Yongchang responded like this. Are there any results? Lu Yongchang has already made a decision. We decided to leave the Andromeda Galaxy after being promoted to level 7 civilization. On the one hand, the balance of the three pillars has been broken, and troubled times are coming. There was also a sense of urgency in his heart. A 7th level civilization has no ability to protect itself. The banner of the neutral faction will expire sooner or later. It is better to rely on this banner to develop technology as quickly as possible while the neutral faction and the Silicon Alliance still have some power. On the other hand, the vest of energy civilization has become a bit difficult to survive in the Andromeda galaxy. Didn't you hear the harsh words from the sweepers Andromeda branch? Once a war breaks out, who knows what kind of attacks they will receive. Leaving the Andromeda galaxy? The huge silicon ray docked near Earth. And its tone became much heavier. The communication channel also fell into silence. For a long time, the Silicon Ray civilization once again sent Tachyon information. I hate war. When you decide to leave, you can call me. Hope. We can find a safe corner. After saying that, the Silicon Ray vigorously swung its pectoral fins and flew towards the empty space in the distance. 
Lu Yongchan looked at the retreating figure of the silicon ray with some confusion. After a brief period of confusion, he came back to his senses and regained his original calmness. The fleet set sail. Go to the outer area of Andromeda and look for a star field with relatively rich resources. Zero. Wake up all members of the Academy of Sciences immediately. From now on, all vacation plans will be postponed. Human civilization must become a level 7 civilization as soon as possible. Andromeda's central black hole region, next to the huge technological creation comparable to the size of the blue star, spherical battleships are forming a regular formation. In front of these spherical battleships, three relatively large planet fortresses are parked around a smaller planet fortress, like stars over the moon. Three, white dwarf fortress, and one, neutron fortress. This is the most powerful force of the Andromeda chapter of the sweepers. Chapter 889 promoted to level 7. The black hole region at the center of Andromeda. In one of the white dwarf fortresses, 9436 and his companion, 9435, were staring intently at the light curtain in front of them. In the light curtain, the white area tachyon broadcast information from the mother civilization is being displayed. 9436, the tentacles on both sides of the body swing slowly and unconsciously and the slightly whitish color of the body fully reveals the horror in its heart. Crazy! Is Mother Civilization crazy? Didn't conflicts with neutral factions just be banned some time ago? Why now? In this mission, all branches give priority to resisting any attacks that may be carried out by the Pastoral Party's Ring Universe Accelerator components. During the execution of the mission, any abnormal behavior by the neutral faction will be regarded as a provocation against us, and unlimited counterattacks are allowed. What follows is no longer important. Mother Civilization, are you ready to completely tear up the agreement? This, isn't the Mother Civilization afraid that the Neutral Faction and the Pastoral Faction will unite? It couldn't believe the information it saw with its own eyes, and couldn't figure out the reason. Just like 9436, even its immediate boss, the head of the Sweeper Andromeda branch, looked confused at this time. What happened to the Mother Civilization? And why did it suddenly become so hard headed? The picture in the light curtain changed again. Looking at the information in it, 9436 and the other members of the Andromeda branch subconsciously held their breath at this moment. Outside the Andromeda galaxy, there is a sparse material zone between galaxies, along with a powerful wave of space-time. A spherical distorted space-time structure appeared in this deserted area. Then, a long, seemingly endless filament emerged from it. In this dark star field with almost no light, this filament with no length or width appears extremely hidden. What follows is a spherical-like structure that is constantly twisting. It is like a gray shadow, constantly twisting in this dark space. The wormhole slowly dissipated, and time and space return to calm again. Tachyon signals are transmitted rapidly in this silent space. At that time, it was just the two of us. The threads sway slowly and gather into a complex ball-like structure. Of course not. The shades of gray also fluctuated, the Andromeda branch of the sweepers is not like the Milky Way. Membrane will not let us die. He must have other plans. The tachyon fluctuations gradually dissipated, and the original silence returned to the cosmic space. The threads and shadows also returned to calmness, as if waiting for something. Silk, get ready. They are coming. Suddenly, the spherical shadow twisted again and sent out a tachyon message. The message had just been sent. And before, C could respond. Dozens of powerful space-time fluctuations appeared extremely suddenly in the star field. Every fluctuation in space and time means a wormhole structure. Under the gaze of, C and, sure, a dimensional creature from the distant starry sky emerged from it. A thread-like one-dimensional creature similar to, silk. And a shadow-like four-dimensional creature similar to, sure. And, a paper-like two-dimensional creature that resembles a painting. The silence that had lasted for many years in this uninhabited land was completely broken at this moment looking at their tribesmen who had come from afar. C, and, sure, also felt excited. Dimensional creatures are relatively rare. Therefore, under normal circumstances, there are only a few dimensional creatures in a vast star field. C, and, sure, haven't seen the scene of dozens of dimensional creatures gathering together for who knows how long. Earth calendar 11,000 years. In the outer region of the Andromeda galaxy, a star system whose main star is a blue giant. Quafu escorted by hundreds of starships, hovered quietly next to the blue giant star. In the small universe, the theoretical research on dark matter led by Lu Yongchang has reached the final step. Under the gaze of all the academicians, 
he slowly lowered his right hand. Liu Yongchang took a step back slightly and carefully looked at the holographic projection in front of him. Among them are dense and extremely complex formulas and calculations. At this moment, a bright green light flashed in his eyes that was difficult for others to detect. The next moment, his consciousness entered the technology tree space uncontrollably. A drastic change is taking place in the technology tree space. The fog that originally shrouded the top of the sixth level technology tree quickly dissipated. And the dim cursor symbolizing the cornerstone technology of the seventh level civilization was like an exploding supernova, becoming brighter at an extremely fast speed. It lights up the entire tech tree space. The technology tree slowly moved up, and new dim cursors appeared in front of Li Yongchang's eyes one by one. At this point, human civilization has successfully promoted to level seven civilization. Although he had expected this scene, when he actually saw the scene, Liu Yongchang still felt a touch of joy in his heart. His eyes crossed the bright white technology branches and looked towards the background behind them when the technology tree itself changed. The model background of the technology tree space also changed a bit. It showed more details to Liu Yongchang. The increasingly clear modeled spots made him frown again. Why does it feel familiar? Liu Yongchang's conscious body murmured to himself. Before he could figure out the mystery, his conscious body was kicked out of the technology tree space. The next moment, an unknown source of energy erupted from his mind, sweeping through his body like a tsunami, under the control of the technology tree system. The majestic pure energy has no impact on surrounding objects at all. Even Fang Su, who was standing next to Liu Yongchang, didn't notice anything unusual about him. This energy comes and goes just as quickly. In just a short moment, after sweeping around, it returned to the depths of Liu Yongchang's brain. Chapter 8 9500 Years Observed from the outside, Liu Yongchang's body has not changed much. The face is still the same. The body is still the same. And even the dust on the surface of the body remains the same as it was a second ago. But there is no doubt that there must have been great changes within it. Just when the energy returned to the depths of his brain, Liu Yongchang suddenly felt sober. Different from the sense of mental clarity felt when the brain is quantized. This change is all round. The reason is easy to understand this transformation of the technology tree system is based on the previous transformation and is a transformation of the whole body. If the original quantum brain was a CPU whose power was greatly limited due to power supply problems, then the current quantum brain has gradually grown into a full blood CPU. Cough. Facing everyone's gaze, Liu Yongchang cleared his throat and announced softly in a slightly calm tone. Everyone, the dark matter theory has made a breakthrough and human civilization has officially become a level 7 civilization. The breakthrough in the basic theory of dark matter has allowed the academicians of the Academy of Sciences to once again enter a state of all-round scientific research. Applications based on dark matter and dark energy have been proposed one by one. Considering the current turbulent situation in the universe, as chief scientist, Liu Yongchang prioritized his energy on weapons research. Dark matter cannon. Liu Yongchang stood in front of the team led by two academicians, Wilson and Yevgeny raised his hand, and gently tapped the holographic image beside him. In the image, there is a picture of the Imperial Fortress launching a dark matter cannon attack. An inconspicuous beam of light emitting black light can actually cause such a large-scale and powerful explosion. Even though Liu Yongchan now roughly understood the principle, a hint of horror still flashed through his heart. Judging from the picture effects, it should be an energy weapon. The principle of action is not difficult to understand. By activating dark matter near the target, and converting it into energy. Liu Yongchang shrugged. It's that simple and crude. What we are currently doing is studying the conversion of dark matter and energy. In layman's terms, it's how to convert stable dark matter into energy. There are many research projects being carried out simultaneously with Liu Yongchang and others. Among them, several key projects that receive a large amount of resources are basically related to the theory of space and time. Further development of space weapons. Dark matter collection and storage technology and the most important small universe technology and jump technology. Earth calendar year 11,500. This liver exploding research work lasted for 500 years with the auxiliary role of the technology tree and the near-complete quantum brain. Liu Yongchang showed the entire Academy of Sciences the power of killing in the past 500 years. Dark matter collection technology and dark matter energy conversion device? It took one year to easily complete a theoretical breakthrough three years to successfully manufacture a laboratory prototype, and five years to launch a large-scale finished machine. More powerful space rift and space annihilation weapons? Not to mention this. 
The breakthrough in dark matter theory has directly led to the advancement of space-time theory and has also given human civilization greater control over three-dimensional space. Under the leadership of Li Yongchang, the scientific research team of Yi Bailin and Lin Yongnian worked while the iron was hot and completed the theoretical deduction of small universe cutting technology. In addition, the jump technology that has been tried and tested on the battlefield has also made great progress thanks to the advancement of space-time theory. Among them, the biggest change is the restriction on jumping individuals. From small robots to large battleships, the jump distance has also increased significantly to hundreds of millions of kilometers. In other words, within a range of 100 million kilometers, the speed of human warships will far exceed the speed of curvature navigation. This can almost be called the prototype of wormhole technology. This complete jump technology has greatly changed the way human fleets fight. Of course, breakthroughs in various basic theories also led to breakthroughs in four-dimensional optical brain technology Lu Yongchang made substantial improvements based on the optical brain architecture of the 10th empire. During the 500 years, Lu Yongchang spent at least more than 200 years on mass energy mutual conversion technology. This is the basic guarantee for a 7th level civilization to easily cross the river system. Whether it is a galaxy bridge with sparse matter or an empty universe scattered with a large amount of dark matter. After mastering dark matter energy conversion technology and mass energy mutual conversion technology, you can easily obtain the materials needed for civilization with the help of the grand unified field directly constructs macroscopic matter from the microscopic particle level. It can be called a creation of the void. Of course, this does not mean that level 7 civilizations are no longer troubled by energy and material problems. Although the total amount of dark matter in the universe is large, its density is too sparse. Even a 7th level civilization can only meet its basic needs through long-term collection work during the navigation of the river system. In order to improve the combat effectiveness of human civilization as soon as possible, when the new generation of curvature engine technology and dense neutron material technology mature, a new round of shipbuilding projects will be on the agenda a hundred years ago. White Dwarf Star Battleship Compared with Stellar Class Battleships the size of most battleships has not changed much. The size of the main battleships remains at the 100,000 meter level. The scales of the secondary flagship, Titan Mothership, and flagship, Earth, have slightly changed. Titan Mothership has reached a scale of 200,000 meters, while Earth has reached an astonishing 300,000 meters. Rice. Zero's computing power has increased significantly, making the shipbuilding project much faster than before. It only took a hundred years for human civilization to build a small-scale white dwarf star battleship array. The simulated military exercise showed that this small-scale detachment consisting of only more than 500 warships directly crushed the original array of 20,000 stellar-class warships in terms of combat power. In the small universe of the People's Union, all factories are operating non-stop. Not just factories. Tens of billions of hibernating humans have long since awakened and are engaged in different construction tasks based on their professional skills. The entire small universe is filled with a sense of urgency. Faster. Faster. Before the situation is completely chaotic. Human civilization must seize every minute and every second to develop its own strength. Institute of Space and Time. Academy of Sciences. After conducting hundreds of simulation experiments, Lu Yongchang, who was sure that there would be no accidents, issued the order that all academicians had been waiting for. The small universe cutting experiment will be carried out in one month. This cutting target, a small universe with a diameter of 10 light years. Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment, as if he had made some determination, and spoke again. Send Tachyon information to the Silicon Ray. Tell it we're ready to go. On the one hand, for human civilization, the journey after leaving the Andromeda galaxy is too long and too dangerous. Therefore, it is still very good to hook up a Silicon Ray and make an interstellar voyage partner. On the other hand, compared to Silicon Rays, Human civilization is less like members of the Silicon Alliance. Pulling on the Silicon Ray is also convenient for pulling on the tiger's skin to pull the flag. Chapter 891 Small Universe Cutting Experiment One month later, hundreds of small starships less than 5,000 meters in size sailed out of the small universe port. They are the main starships of the small universe cutting plan, space cutting ships. Following closely behind is a giant structure project that is several times larger than Kwafu. It is the key device of this small universe cutting experiment, the White Dwarf Star Small Universe Traction Device. That is the second generation, Kwafu. It can hold the newly cut small universe to prevent it from completely breaking away from the large universe. Under Zero's control, these starships quickly entered a state of warp navigation. 
in order to avoid unknown impacts on the area where human civilization is located. Their destination is a relatively dense area of the star system 1,000 light years away. According to detection, there are five star systems of different sizes within the selected 10 light year area. These five star systems were selected by the Academy of Sciences as indigenous members of the small universe because they have relatively rich resource types. Of course, abundant resources also have certain drawbacks. Three of the star systems have already given birth to primitive life forms with a high degree of intelligence. There is no doubt that no one cares about the opinions of these beings. They don't even have the means to observe the stars. And it's hard for them to even discover what they've been through. It's another month. The space cutting ship and the white dwarf star Kwafu, which reached a speed of 10 c successfully arrived at the target area. Cutting up the microcosm is a delicate job. Just like space time trap and space annihilation. The cutting of a large range of space must also be carried out at key space time nodes. For this selected spherical space with a diameter of 10 light years, Lu Yongchang and a group of academicians conducted countless calculations. There are 493 space time nodes in total. It exactly corresponds to 493 space cutting ships. People's Union Small Universe, Space Time Research Center. Academicians such as Yi Bailin and Lin Yongyun had nervous expressions on their faces. The four words, restless, are clearly expressed. After all, this is the first experiment of human civilization to cut up the small universe. Only Li Yongchang is out of place. At this time, he was sitting in his seat, looking at the picture in the holographic projection with a calm expression. Without it, only believe in yourself. He is completely sure of the results of his calculations. Professor, a total of 493 space-cutting ships have arrived at the predetermined node and have completed their self-inspection work. He Bailin's voice was short clearly showing his inner tension. Lu Yongchang did not respond immediately. He lowered his head and checked the various data again in the holographic projection in front of him to make sure there were no errors before saying softly, Start cutting! Target star field. The moment the order was issued, the antimatter reactors inside the space cutting ship began to increase their output power. Even if it becomes a level 6 civilization and possesses dark matter energy interconversion technology, antimatter reactors are still a good choice for small star ships with low range requirements. As for large starships with high range requirements, a dark matter reactor is added to the antimatter reactor. Pure energy flows into the space cutting device along the energy path. This is a device based on space rifts and space shields it can produce more stable, controllable, and stronger space rifts. Deep black appeared from the front end of the space cutting ship and quickly spread to the surroundings. It's like an expanding black film. In the end, they successfully envelop this spherical space 10 light years in diameter. In a sense, this is like an enhanced version of the space shield. However, its power is much greater than the space shield. Coupled with the amplification effect of the special space-time node, the depth of the crack it generates far exceeds that of the space shield. At this point, the first step of cutting the small universe has been successfully completed. At this moment, this 10 light year area cannot be called a small universe. The reason is also very simple. Just like a space shield, once the space cutting ship stops working, this film blocking the two spaces will quickly dissipate. If you want to make this small universe completely independent, you need the help of the white dwarf star Kwafu in the space time research center. Lu Yongchang also issued the second order at the right time. The antimatter reactor and dark matter reactor inside the white dwarf star Kwafu, which had been waiting for a long time, started working at the same time, infused with a large amount of energy. A powerful unified field appeared near Kwafu. The large universe is filled with dark matter. And the small universe originating from the large universe is no exception. The target of the grand unified field is the dark matter in the small universe. By pushing these dark matter, it drives the movement of the small universe itself, causing it to break away from the big universe. When it successfully breaks away from the big universe, Kwafu will quickly change the direction of the unified field, changing the original push force into a pull force thereby firmly pulling the small universe near the big universe. Two months ago, 5,000 light years away, a powerful wave of time and space flashed across the vast starry sky. Suddenly, the fluctuations in space and time quickly subsided, and a huge silver-white life form appeared in the visible universe. Yes, it's the Silicon Ray civilization. After leaving the Energet civilization, the Silicon Ray rushed to its home non-stop. To be precise, it is the star field where its small universe is located for the next voyage across the river system. Theoretically, 
it should fill its somewhat empty small universe as soon as possible. But in its expectation, it will take at least a thousand years for the energy civilization to successfully advance to the seventh level civilization and complete the corresponding material reserves. Therefore, after getting the little universe, it was not in a hurry at all, and even took advantage of the last peaceful time to take the little universe around. By the way, some pleasing to the eye, star systems are stuffed inside. It should be the last memorial to the Andromeda galaxy. Until just now, it suddenly received a tachyon message from the Energet civilization. What? Have you successfully promoted to level 7 civilization? Have you made preparations for all the river voyages? Are you kidding me? The moment the silicon ray received the message, the entire fish was stunned. Chapter 892 The action begins. Regarding the information sent by the Energet civilization, there is no doubt that the silicon ray does not believe even a single punctuation mark. How much time has passed? It has not been 1,000 years since the merger of the two black holes ended. What tricks can be developed? Estimate. At most, the research work on the basic theory of dark matter has been completed. Right? Too urgent. These little guys are so impatient. Silicon Ray couldn't help but murmur in his heart. After hesitating for a moment, it sent a tachyon message to the Energet civilization. Energet civilization. Before setting off, I must give you a warning. Sailing across the river system is not such an easy and simple matter. There is a galaxy bridge between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. And the distance is not too far. So you were able to reach the Andromeda Galaxy safely and fortunately. There is no galaxy bridge structure between most river systems. In order to let the Energet civilization understand the dangers of sailing across the river system, the Silicon Ray persuaded them, sincerely. Before you master the basic technology of a 7th level civilization, I do not recommend that you rashly embark on a cross-river voyage. Not long after the message was sent, the Energet civilization sent another tachyon message. Thanks for reminding. The Energet civilization has made all preparations for the voyage and is ready to set off at any time. Silicon Ray? The long talk about emotions just now was all about talking to a cow. Right? It swung its long tail vigorously. And a faint black light shone in its slightly open mouth parts. This Energet civilization. Why didn't you listen to the advice? Even though it was angry and irritable. It did not forget to include a nearby star system into its own small universe. Didn't the Energet civilization understand the dangers of crossing river systems? The silicon ray sighed silently and calculated silently. It seems that the material reserve target of the small universe has to be doubled by then. It will probably have to provide materials to the Energet civilization. Difficult. Too difficult. Thinking like this, it swung its pectoral fins and its huge body disappeared into the visible universe again, while it accelerated towards the coordinate point given by the Energet civilization. It collected star systems of suitable size along the way. There are still 1,200 light years away from the coordinate point of the Energet civilization. The silicon ray skillfully sends the nearby star system into the small universe port. There are now a total of 974 medium and large-scale star systems in this small universe. That should be enough. Right? Since the size of the Energet civilization's fleet at this time was unclear, Silicon Ray did not have much confidence in its own estimation. It raised its tail and scratched its head gently. Sparks flew. Forget it. I can't figure it out. It swings its pectoral fins again, preparing to continue entering the superliminal curvature state. But in the next moment, the space-time fluctuations that had just begun to increase dissipated in an instant, cooling down as quickly as a charcoal fire poured with a basin of ice water. The huge body of the silicon ray hovers somewhat stiffly in the universe. There was a look of uncertainty in its small eyes. Just now, it felt a strange fluctuation in time and space. As someone who has experienced it, he naturally understands the meaning of this fluctuation there is a civilization cutting up the small universe, thinking that not far away was the territory of the energet civilization. The look of surprise in the eyes of the silicon ray became more intense. Isn't it? The tail of the silicon ray kept scratching on its head and its core of thinking was somewhat unable to turn around. Is the energy civilization developing so fast? Does this mean you have mastered the technology of the small universe? Is there another 7th level civilization in this star field? There are two level 7 civilizations in just a thousand light years? This possibility is too low. Right? The puzzling silicon ray gave up thinking. He quickly moved his pectoral fins. And the space and time near his body began to fluctuate violently. Seeing is believing. And he decided to go and see for himself. In the small universe of the People's Union, the Space-Time Research Center, the small universe cutting experiment has reached the most critical step. 
all the academicians, including Li Yongchang, had their hearts in their throats. Under the combined effect of the grand unified field and the nature of the small universe itself, it successfully broke away from the shackles of the large universe. A small universe with a diameter of 10 light years was completely formed at this moment. The white dwarf star, Kwafu, also began the next operation capturing and pulling the small universe. At the same time, a dark area with a diameter of 10 light years suddenly appeared in the universe. That is the black area that no light can penetrate. This magical scene did not last long. The self-healing effect of space and time begins to take effect for the vast universe. A gap of 10 light years in diameter is not worth mentioning at all. It's like a small epidermal cell falling off the human body. After just a few minutes, the largest, black area, created by human civilization began to shrink at a speed visible to the naked eye. About half an hour later, this 10 light year, black domain, completely disappeared from the eyes of human civilization, and the distant starlight once again entered the lens of the high-definition camera. Space and time can be restored, but matter cannot. At this moment, this spherical area with a diameter of 10 light years is even more empty than the vacuum zone between the river systems. Not to mention the original star systems. There aren't even many matter particles inside them. Warn! The piercing siren broke the smile that had just appeared on Lu Yongcheng's face. High intensity space time fluctuations detected. Sailing speed 10,000 C. Identity unknown. The fleet has entered level 1 combat readiness. In the holographic projection that quietly turned into blood red, the white text was particularly dazzling. Zero. Send a tachyon message to the other party immediately and ask for the other party's identity information. Li Yongchang didn't panic much. At the same time, inform the other party of our identities. The current situation is not completely chaotic yet, and the names of the neutral faction and the Silicon Alliance are still very useful. Five-dimensional space-time. Hyperspace membrane. A small bubble squeezed out with difficulty from the bright big bubble. Immediately afterwards, a thin line, composed of gravity slowly, wound around its surface. Naturally, the movements on the cosmic bubble cannot be hidden from him, who lives on the hyperspace membrane. He opened his eyes again and looked at this remote corner. Another brand new kite. He suddenly remembered the mini kite from some time ago. In his memory, the mini kite also appeared in this area. Just when he became interested and prepared to take a closer look, a signal came along the cosmic bubble and fell directly onto the hyperspace membrane in contact with the cosmic bubble. Membrane. The Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster branch has completed its assembly and is ready to attack the target at any time. With the war approaching, he withdrew his gaze and gave up his fleeting interest. After thinking briefly, he sent an extremely simple signal. The action begins. The goal of this operation, destroy all the ring cosmic accelerator nodes of the sweeper civilization in the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster. Chapter 893 Departure, M87 Galaxy. Looking at the tachyon information transmitted back, Lu Yongchang's tense nerves instantly relaxed and the fleet's first-level combat readiness was also lifted. The unknown object rushing straight towards the small universe-cutting experiment area turned out to be the Silicon Ray civilization. Just a false alarm. After relaxing his mind, Lu Yongchang also had some doubts in his heart. If he remembered correctly, the coordinate point they gave at that time was not the experimental area. This Silicon Ray. Why did you go there so well? A false alarm is a trivial matter. But if it affects the small universe-cutting experiment, it is a big deal. Lu Yongchang, who knew the character of Silicon Ray well, did not hesitate and asked the question directly to Silicon Ray. Then, have you mastered the small universe technology? Didn't you just advance to level 7 civilization? What? A small universe 10 light years in diameter? Be good. This is bigger than my little universe. What? Dense neutron armor? Dark matter cannon? Mass energy mutual conversion technology? Unlike Lu Yongchang. Silicon Ray felt that the core of his thinking was about to burn out. What? 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 What are these? Let's not talk about the small universe technology. The mass energy mutual conversion technology. Shouldn't that thing be one of the most cutting edge technologies of the seventh level civilization? Even it has just mastered this technology. During this period of time, it has been searching everywhere for suitable star systems. What is its purpose? For a moment, the Silicon Ray felt like it had traveled through time. Wasn't it just over 800 years ago? How does it feel like it has followed you for 8,000 years? No. The same for 80,000 years? In shock, the silicon ray fell out of the super-light curvature state. It hovered in the empty universe. 
its long tail scratching out a series of bright sparks on its hard forehead. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out at all. Is this the value of civilization's potential beyond the scope of assessment? When the white dwarf star, Kwafu, returned with his small universe, human civilization also began to move. As for the small universe that was originally picked up, after Kwafu shut down, it was completely free in the five-dimensional space and time. This mini cosmic bubble is slowly breaking away from the gravitational constraints of the large cosmic bubble and drifting towards the boundless and bizarre five-dimensional space and time. One day, this small universe may fall into the hyperspace membrane again with its abandoned debris and come into contact with other large cosmic bubbles. Of course, this is not something that today's human civilization needs to take into account. There was zero help and the move was not a waste of time or energy. After completing the move, Lu Yongchum also sent a tachyon message to the Silicon Ray waiting not far away. Silicon Ray! It's time to go! Where are you going? Lu Yongchong had already thought of the answer to this question raised by Silicon Ray. M87 Galaxy! Lu Yongchong replied in a deep voice. It is 54 million light years away from the Andromeda Galaxy. At the current sailing speed of human civilization, it will take at least 5,000 years to sail. There are two main reasons for choosing this galaxy. First, it is the central galaxy of the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, and its size far exceeds the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way. A huge galaxy, coupled with a quasar structure in the center of the galaxy. There is no doubt that it can fully meet the needs of the continued development of human civilization. Second, according to the Silicon Alliance information provided by the Silicon Ray Civilization, there is an 8th level civilization belonging to the Silicon Alliance in the M87 galaxy. Troubled times are approaching. And Li Yongchang also needs to find a way for human civilization to survive. Or to find a strong enough backer. The 8th level silicon-based civilization in the M87 galaxy is a good choice. M87 galaxy? The silicon ray turned around a few times in confusion. Is this too far? It prefers to find a small corner that neither sweepers nor pastoralists would like to live in. At worst, we just have to tighten our belts and get by. If the 7th level civilization was not able to survive for a long time, outside the river system. It would even want to hide directly in the open space between the river systems. Lu Yongchan looked at the words in the holographic projection helplessly. This silicon ray's thoughts are almost spilling out of the projection. Sorry! This is the final conclusion reached by our civilization's internal discussion. Lu Yongchan directly exposed its little thinking. When the war comes, even those small and pitiful river systems may not be safe zones. All right, all right. Silicon ray scratched his head a little irritably. I'll just go with you. After receiving Silicon Ray's affirmative answer, Lu Yongchang raised his eyebrows and showed a faint smile on his face. The next moment, the Silicon Ray began to chatter again, little guys, I have to remind you, there is no galaxy bridge between the Andromeda Galaxy and the M87 Galaxy, and the distance is also very far. Before leaving, we have to prepare as many supplies as possible. I suggest that we first sail towards the edge of Andromeda using a curvature sail and collect suitable star systems along the way. After arriving at the edge of the Andromeda Galaxy, I can use the wormhole device left by the Empire to open the wormhole. Although this device is a bit old, it can still shorten our journey a lot of time. Lu Yongchang does not dislike Silicon Ray's nagging. Not to mention Lu Yongchang. The academicians in the command center also looked at the large texts that kept appearing on the projection with smiles in their eyes. Human civilization sets sail again. It was different from the previous voyage across the river system. After mastering the gravitational shielding technology, the number of celestial bodies placed in the small universe has increased exponentially. In addition, the volume of the small universe has increased dramatically. Even facing a journey of 54 million light years, human civilization does not lack resources. Therefore, human civilization will not all enter a state of hibernation as before. And the Academy of Sciences will even continue to carry out various scientific research activities with low energy consumption. Of course, Considering lifespan issues, most of the voyage will still be spent in hibernation. Just as human civilization and silicon ray civilization were advancing towards the edge of the Andromeda galaxy, a sudden fluctuation of space and time occurred in the outer area of Andromeda. A massive wormhole appears on the Andromeda Milky Way galaxy bridge, different from ordinary wormholes. This wormhole jointly opened by time and other four-dimensional creatures not only has good stability, but at the same time, it will not cause strong fluctuations in space and time. The space-time fluctuations caused by it are quite obscure. At best, they are equivalent to the space-time fluctuations caused by a sixth-level civilization starship traveling at superlight speed. 
Therefore, it did not attract any civilized attention. Unknowingly, dozens of dimensional creatures of different races followed the galaxy bridge and quietly entered the Andromeda galaxy. Chapter 894 Time and Space Extension Technology Two years after setting sail, the year is 11,502 in the Earth calendar. For a human civilization that has mastered level 4 curvature and has a sailing speed of 10 c the Andromeda galaxy is indeed a bit small. In just two years, human civilization and silicon ray civilization have traveled more than 10,000 light years across the star field. In this process, the brand new small universe of human civilization has gradually filled up a total of 1,500 medium and large scale star systems. This is the confidence for human civilization to span 54 million light years. The long journey has not really begun yet, and the fleet has not yet left the Andromeda galaxy. But the scientific research progress of the Humanities Academy has already made a remarkable breakthrough. In order to ensure the stability of the small universe itself and the dense celestial bodies in the small universe, many scientific research projects within the Academy of Sciences have come to a standstill. This is not difficult to understand. Not to mention the seventh level civilization. Even the cutting edge technology of the fifth and sixth level civilizations will create good news. After being promoted to a seventh level civilization, the research on dark matter and space-time is not a fuel-saving lamp. Let's just talk about dark matter cannons. With the power to destroy a large-scale star system at every turn, can that thing be played in a small universe? How is this different from lighting a nuclear bomb at home? Because of this, according to Li Yongchang's order, the research objects during the voyage were mainly theories and branch technologies. 500 years of explosive research have almost allowed human civilization to light up the backbone of the seventh-level technology tree. Today's technology tree is like a bare trunk not to mention leaves, and there are not even many branches. Root. In order to eliminate the fog at the top of the 7th level technology tree as soon as possible and advance to the 8th level civilization, research work on various details has also been put on the agenda. As chief scientist, Lu Yongchang is responsible for a basic application based on a new space-time theory. The application of space-time extension technology in the space inside the starship, similar to the concepts of Sumeru and mustard seed proposed in the Earth age. Nashumi and Jiezi can be said to be a mythical concept for previous human civilizations. But now, with the power of technology, it has become a reality. Time and space extension technology, located on the top branch of the seventh level technology tree, based on the latest four dimensional space time theory affecting the three dimensional space through high dimensional space time. The three dimensional space will extend to a certain extent. Although it is a branch technology, its importance is no less than that of the main technology. Just imagine, a miniature starship that is only 10 meters or even 1 meter in size has a volume of the Earth inside. What a scene! On the premise of ensuring high mobility and high concealment, it also has extremely terrifying ammunition and material capacity. Of course, the above is just Lu Yongchang's imagination. The reality is that, with the efforts of Lu Yongchang, the laboratory has successfully achieved a breakthrough from 0 to 1 placing 1.0001 cubic meters of objects in 1 cubic meter of space. This extra 0.0001 cubic meters is the space for expansion. It's very shabby, but it's a qualitative breakthrough. In the Earth Space Laboratory, Lu Yongchang frowned slightly and looked thoughtfully at the complicated data in the holographic projection. After completing the basic analysis of this technology, a question that had troubled him for many years was answered. The sweeper civilization's warships have an abnormal size issue, whether it is an ordinary battleship or a planetary fortress. The size of the sweeper civilization starships is far smaller than expected. In previous head-on confrontations, as an 8th level civilization, the average size of the sweeper battleships was only one-third of that of the People's Alliance battleships. Theoretically, this would significantly reduce the combat performance of the sweeper warship. It seems now, everything is a misunderstanding. The sweeper civilization that has mastered the four-dimensional theory must have mastered extremely sophisticated space-time extension technology. Thinking of this, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but have a guess in his mind. In the fleet of the sweeper civilization, an extremely strange scene may occur among warships of the same category. The smaller the size, the stronger the combat power. Just the opposite of the cognition of human civilization. Only, due to theoretical limitations, after the initial breakthrough, the research progress of space-time extension technology gradually slowed down. The four-dimensional theory is, after all, a huge threshold thinking of the insurmountable dimensional barrier. The sadness on Lu Yongchang's face suddenly increased. 
without truly seeing the four-dimensional space. Any imagination of three-dimensional creatures is feeble. Professor, Academicians Mao Xingji and Lu Siyuan sent messages. The message priority is level two. Please check it as soon as possible. Zero's electronic synthesized sound suddenly sounded, interrupting Lu Yongchong's thoughts. He subconsciously raised his head and looked at the holographic projection in front of him. Sure enough, a yellow message was slowly flashing in the blue projection. Mao Xingji! Lu Yongchang murmured in a low voice, stretched out his hand and touched the projection. Speaking of which, I haven't heard the sound from the biology laboratory for a long time, and I don't know what Mao Xingji and the others are doing. The sound stopped suddenly. His! There was a look of shock on his face, and he took a sharp breath. Heck! The next second, Lu Yongchang quickly stood up from his seat and ran towards the laboratory door. Zero! Speak to Lin Yongyan and the others for me. I have to go to the biology laboratory. As soon as he finished speaking, he jumped onto the robotic arm robot at the entrance of the laboratory. Under Zero's control, the robot quickly carried Lu Yongchan toward the biological laboratory. A few minutes later, the door of the biology laboratory suddenly opened, and Lu Yongchan rushed into the laboratory panting. Where is academician Mao Jingji? Lu Yongchan casually grabbed a passing researcher and asked eagerly. Take me to him quickly. Lu. Chief Lu? The young researcher who was captured was full of surprise. Obviously, he did not expect to have such close contact with the chief scientist of the Academy of Sciences. The young researcher was surprised and delighted by Lu Yongchang's arrival. He stammered. Mao. Academician Mao is here. In experimental cabin number one. One. I will take you there right away. Seeing Lu Yongchang's anxious expression, the researcher didn't dare to talk nonsense and trotted all the way towards the number one experimental cabin. Lu Yongchang stepped forward and directly followed the researcher. Lu Yongchang looked solemn, and the atmosphere between the two gradually became heavier. The young researcher even complained secretly in his heart. Suddenly, Lu Yongchang broke the heavy atmosphere between the two and asked in a deep voice, What projects are the lab working on recently? After the consciousness research work of New Civilization hit a bottleneck, Academician Mao Jingji has been trying to study the hive consciousness of Alcott civilization. The researcher answered cautiously, I don't know the specific content. Lu Yongchan did not speak, but quickened his pace again. Chief Lu, we are here. The rapid footsteps suddenly stopped, and the researcher's gasping sound came from the side. Hard work. Lu Yongchan nodded to him and walked toward the closed door in front of him. What happened today? Don't tell anyone else yet. The researcher looked solemn and nodded hurriedly. Okay, you can go back. Hearing these words, the researcher breathed a sigh of relief and left the number one experimental cabin at a trot without looking back. Chapter 895 The Zerg is left behind. Uh, the door of experimental cabin number one opened quietly, and the scene inside the experimental cabin appeared in front of Lu Yong Chong. Dozens of five meter long abandoned giant insects stayed quietly in a huge, fully transparent isolation cabin. Different from the deep black body color in the past. The missing giant insect now has a silvery white metallic luster all over its body. Lu Yongchan took a closer look and took a breath again. That silver white thing is actually an exoskeleton armor. Even Lu Yongchan couldn't help but curse in his heart at this time. Mao Jingji. Lu Yongchan stepped into the experimental cabin and shouted loudly. What on earth are you doing? Hey, professor. Are you here? A slightly younger voice came from the side. Academician Mao is still discussing the modification plan of the exoskeleton armor with Academician Zhu Ziwen. Let me take you there. Lu Yongchang's expression froze. Does this thing have anything to do with Zhu Ziwen? Also, such a fitting. Exoskeleton armor would not be possible without Zhu Ziwen's participation. Lu Ziwen? Lu Yongchang sighed softly. You guys really gave me a surprise. Lu Ziwen smiled and scratched his head and led Lu Yongchang towards the depths of the experimental cabin. When passing the isolation cabin, Lu Yongchang took a close look at the dozens of giant lost insects inside. Unlike ordinary forsaken giant insects, the eyes of these forsaken giant insects shine with the light of wisdom. Even when they saw Lu Yongchang, they bowed their heads slightly to greet him. Seeing this scene, Lu Yongchang suddenly felt his scalp numb. This, do they know me? A normal person would doubt his life the moment he sees a five meter long giant centipede wearing a sophisticated exoskeleton armor bowing his head to him. Right. Professor. This is normal. Lu Siyuan smiled and explained to Lu Yongchang. They are controlled by Nusi. To be precise, Nusi is greeting you now. The corners of Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched sharply. 
Is there anything about Nuss involved? You guys really gave me a big surprise. He sighed heavily and repeated it again. After bypassing several partitions, Lu Yong Chang finally saw Mao Xingji and heard the heated discussion between him and Zhu Ziwen. No, the dark matter cannon is too powerful. The trunks of these giant lost insects may not be strong enough to support such a powerful weapon. Mao Xingji's voice came. Immediately afterwards, there was Zhu Ziwen's voice. That's your problem to solve. The short distance jump function has been successfully incorporated into the new exoskeleton armor. For those warships with high level civilizations, dark matter cannons are the best choice. Mao Jingji was silent for a while. Then, let me try again. Lu Yong Chan on the side was frightened when he heard this. It's only been a few years since we last saw each other, and the biology laboratory is already doing this kind of extravagant work. Personal dark matter cannon? You guys really dare to think. Cough. He coughed hard. The voices of Mao Jingji and Zhu Ziwen suddenly stopped talking. Then, Professor, you are finally here. Mao Jingji was the first to greet him. Come on. Let me take you to see the latest research results in the biological laboratory first. Lu Yong Chang. Ten minutes later, during the study of the Alcott civilization, we deciphered the mystery of the hive mind and integrated its genes into the forsaken giant insect. Considering the low intelligence of the forsaken giant worm, we modified news to a certain extent, allowing it to serve as the mother body of the forsaken giant worm. This is a very easy thing for us. Mao Xingji moved the holographic projection in front of him excitedly, explaining the mystery to Li Yong Chang beside him. Considering that the physical fitness of giant worms is too fragile, we have also modified the genes of these giant worms to a certain extent. But they are carbon-based organisms after all and are not suitable for interstellar combat. Then, you put an exoskeleton armor on it, or an exoskeleton armor with a jump function. Lu Yongchan nodded repeatedly and said with approval, It is indeed a good idea. That's right. Mao Xingji became more and more excited. Professor, you can just imagine it. Under the command of Nuss, these giant insects wearing exoskeleton armor rushed into the interior of the enemy warship through the jump function. They will be the indispensable main force on the future battlefield. It's a pity. Due to the physical fitness of the giant insect, powerful weapons like dark matter cannons are still unable to be used. Mao Jingji shook his head in frustration. They are carbon-based organisms after all, and the upper limit of genetic modification has been set. Lu Yongcha chuckled. Why do you have to be restricted by carbon-based thinking? As soon as he finished speaking, Mao Jingji froze on the spot. What do you mean? Mao Jingji asked in disbelief. Semi-silicon-based life form. Lu Yongchan cast his profound gaze at the side window. His eyes seemed to have passed through the barrier between the small universe and the large universe. Looking at the silicon rays swimming near the human fleet. And said softly, You can exchange knowledge about silicon base with the silicon rays. It shouldn't say no. Also, I recommend adding nanopods to every exoskeleton armor. Lu Yongchan withdrew his gaze and raised his hand to write on the holographic projection. Imitate the breeding methods of the Alcott civilization and build a large-scale breeding and transformation assembly line. The breeding and transformation materials are collected by each giant insect on its own. In this way, Lu Yongchang's eyes flashed. The role of these giant insects will no longer be limited to starship landing battles. They can even rely on their numerical advantage to pose a threat to the main battleships of advanced civilizations. From now on, they can also have a brand new name. Facing the shocked eyes of Mao Jingji and others, Lu Yongchang said word by word, Forsaken Zerg. Chapter 896 Encounter. In the Biological Laboratory. After Lu Yongchang proposed the concept of the lost Zerg, Mao Jingji and others once again engaged in busy research work. It is extremely difficult to transform a carbon-based life form living on the surface of the planet into a semi-silicon-based life form that can travel across the stars. Even though human civilization has now become a level 7 civilization, this research still poses considerable challenges. As for Lu Yongchang, after confirming the basic research plan for the Forsaken Zerg, he returned to the Space-Time Research Center to continue his unfinished research work. In this way, two years flew by. Earth calendar year 11702. The fleet also gradually approached the edge of the galaxy. In the empty and dark universe, the silicon rays and the human fleets have left the super-light curvature state one after another hundreds of years of navigation have almost exhausted their own fuel. Two twisted space-time structures slowly emerged in the universe which were the ports of the small universe. Transport ships sailed out of the small universe port of human civilization in neat formations, bringing necessary materials 
and energy to the 500 escort warships staying in the outside world. In contrast, silicon rays are less troublesome. It directly took out a blue giant emitting intense radiation from its own small universe, and then plunged into it. With increasingly intense fluctuations, the energy inside the star quickly flowed into the body of the silicon ray, relieving it from the fatigue of the journey, just like the maintenance and repair work of the human fleet. Absorbing a blue giant star also takes a lot of time. The silicon ray is obviously not prepared to dive inside the blue giant for such a long time. As a small wave emerged on the surface of the blue giant star, enough to swallow up the earth, the silicon ray poked its head out of it. It curiously cast its eyes at the energet fleet on the side. Under the watchful eye of the silicon ray, a silicon-based energet walked out of these transport ships and performed maintenance and repair work on the escort warships from the outside extremely efficiently. Looking at the busy and harmonious scene, Silicon Ray couldn't help but reveal a hint of envy and joy in his eyes. From the moment it was born, it was a fish, alone. For it, the life among the same race can only exist like a mirror in the mirror. A faint memory slowly emerged in the core of Silicon Ray's mind. More than 100,000 years ago, when the Tenth Empire arrived in the Andromeda Galaxy, at that time, it was still in the sixth level of civilization and learned for the first time that there were other silicon-based organisms in the universe. This is like a ray of light penetrating the darkness, directly illuminating its fish, life. Only, good times don't last long. When Silicon Ray joined the silicon-based alliance and successfully promoted to the seventh level civilization, the Tenth Empire decided to continue the expedition. Faced with the olive branch offered by the Tenth Empire, Silicon Ray chose to stay in the Andromeda Galaxy. It was this choice that brought him back to his original lonely life. Until 80,000 years ago, the Silicon Alliance merged into the Neutral Faction, and the Tenth Empire also became one of the leaders of the Neutral Faction. Only then did it take a small step outside the Lonely World. When the news reached the Andromeda Galaxy, many Neutral Faction civilizations all expressed varying degrees of goodwill towards it. But, none of them are Silicon-based organisms. The huge difference in the basis of life makes it difficult to integrate into those neutral civilizations. In this way, it continued to endure a lonely life for 80,000 years, until the emergence of Energet civilization. Only when this is officially the case will it change its original bad attitude and rely on the devices left behind by the Tenth Empire to directly confront the Sweeper civilization. Watching the Energet civilization grow step by step and become a level 7 civilization in a very short period of time, Silicon Ray's heart was filled with joy. This is a civilization full of vitality and vitality. It even makes the Silicon Ray's long dormant mind come alive. Only, the good times still don't last long. Like the Tenth Empire, the Energet civilization also embarked on the path of expedition. Although there are many external factors behind it, Silicon Ray is not surprised by this result. This may be the common denominator of all dynamic civilizations. The Silicon Ray, which had experienced the previous lesson, also thought about it silently for hundreds of years. Finally, it made a decision this time. It must embark on the expedition together. It no longer wants to endure the lonely life of being a fish, alone. A strong fluctuation in time and space interrupted the memory of the Silicon Ray. At the same time, it also attracted the attention of human civilization that had just completed the supply of materials. Little guy, pay attention. Someone seems to be coming. Feeling the ultra-high speed of nearly 50, 000 c the spirit of the silicon ray suddenly became tense. It opened its mouth parts slightly, and the dark matter cannon inside shone with a faint black light. In the small universe of the People's Union, the moment the alarm sounded, one after another the academicians put down their work and rushed towards the Earth's command center. Liu Yongchang's face became serious when he looked at the tachyon communication from the silicon ray civilization. The speed of 50, 000 c already belongs to the category of fifth level curvature. There is no doubt that the visitor belongs to the 8th level civilization. At this critical moment, this unannounced behavior directly set off the danger alarm in Liu Yongchang's mind. Could it be a sweeper? Had they decided to break up with the neutrals? Liu Yongchang immediately had this conjecture in his mind. While thinking, he clicked a few times on the holographic projection in front of him and sent a tachyon message with a dictionary attached to the direction of the signal source. Same as usual. First identify yourself. Raise the banner of the Silicon Alliance and the Neutrality Faction. And then ask the other party's purpose. Like human civilization, Silicon Rays also send inquiries to each other. After a short wait, a tachyon message appeared in front of the Silicon Ray and human civilization. Silicon Ray, I know you. 
although the seventh level civilization cannot be called a top existence. It can be regarded as the top civilization in the Andromeda galaxy. Therefore, the content of the information did not surprise Lu Yongchang. But the dictionary that came with the message made Li Yongchang's expression suddenly change. That is a dictionary information that has existed in the database of human civilization for a long time. Not the dictionary of sweeper civilization. Nor the universal dictionary of the Silicon Alliance. But the dictionary information used in painting. The other party is a pastoralist. Lu Yongchang subconsciously held his breath. No need to worry. Little one. The other party is a pastoral civilization. And they will not conflict with the Silicon Alliance. The message from Silicon Ray was full of confidence. Looking at the bright white text in the projection, Lu Yongchang's face suddenly showed a bitter smile that was uglier than crying. Things are getting serious. Compared with the sweeper civilization, he is actually more fearful of the pastoralists. After all, human civilization still has the life of a two-dimensional creature in its hands. If this is discovered, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but shudder. Chapter 897 Silicon Ray Long time no see. Why are there pastoralists in the Andromeda galaxy? Lu Yongchang asked Silicon Ray. According to Silicon Ray, there are no traces of pastoral civilization activities in the Andromeda galaxy, in a galaxy. There are often only sweeper civilizations and pastoral civilizations. I am not sure as well. The Silicon Ray responded quickly. It was obvious that it was a little nervous in the face of this abnormal situation. What kind of mission could it be? Don't worry. The neutralists and the pastoralists have always been in harmony with each other. Rather than comforting Inrajit civilization, it is better to say that he is comforting himself. The seventh level civilization seems powerful, but in front of dimensional creatures, it is actually not much different from the lower level civilization. Without dimensional attack methods, the opponent is inherently invincible. When he saw this message, Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched sharply. Task? Don't worry. They should only be worried if they are really on a mission. The speed of 50,000 C is really too fast. During the conversation between human civilization and the Silicon Ray, the signal source has arrived in front of us. The fluctuations in space and time slowly dissipated. And an ever-twisting sphere-like gray shadow structure appeared in front of the human fleet and the Silicon Ray civilization. Then, a group of thin, dense, and constantly twisting threads slowly emerged in the universe. Two-dimensional creatures, Lu Yongchang's pupils were slightly dilated and his heartbeat was beating violently as he looked at the picture in the holographic projection. The identity of dimensional creatures is highly identifiable, and their race can be confirmed just by their appearance. One-dimensional creature. Lu Yongchang's voice was a little difficult. There is another. He said to himself with some uncertainty. It should be a four-dimensional creature. Right. At this time, under his order, the entire fleet of human civilization entered a state of silence. The main theme is an ostrich mentality. Can't see me? Can't see me. Silicon Ray. Long time no see. A tachyon message appeared in the projection. Do you remember me? At that time, you seem to be just a small sixth level civilization. Um, Energet civilization? Is that a new member of the Silicon Alliance behind you? The thread ball kept twisting, unexpectedly. Another seventh level silicon based civilization appeared in the Andromeda galaxy in such a short period of time. The Silicon Ray didn't want to pay attention to the thread ball's words. Silk. Hour. It moved its pectoral fins forward, faced the two dimensional creatures, and sent out a tachyon message. Why are you in the Andromeda Galaxy? Isn't the Andromeda Galaxy the territory of the sweepers? While the message was being sent, the dark matter cannon in the Silicon Ray's mouth was even flashing. The huge messy thread twisted slowly, and a tachyon message was transmitted. Silicon Ray. Relax. We bear no ill will toward the neutrals and the Silicon Alliance. Hearing this, the Silicon Ray stayed where it was quietly and the black light in its mouth dimmed slightly. What do you want to do? The sphere-like shadow structure floats a few times. Silicon Ray. This is an internal matter of the pastoral school. Lu Yongchang, who was always paying attention to this conversation, couldn't help but feel his heart sink. The guess came true. Although the reason behind it is not clear. The pastoralists are indeed ready to take action against the sweepers. Are you planning to leave the Andromeda galaxy? The fourth dimensional creature sent a message again. Silicon Ray responded in a bad tone. This is an internal matter of the Silicon Alliance. Seeing that the atmosphere between the two parties gradually became tense, Li Yongchang suddenly felt his scalp numb. After a stalemate for a while, the four-dimensional creature took a step back. It can only be said that these two-dimensional creatures are unwilling to waste energy on them. Or in other words, they are unwilling to affect their own plans 
for the sake of two members of the Silicon Alliance. No matter what you want to do next. Only one thing is. You cannot leave the Andromeda Galaxy until our plan is completed. The black light in the mouth parts of the Silicon Ray suddenly became stronger. Are you threatening me? Of course not a threat. This is just a small cooperation. Silicon Ray. You and the seventh level civilization behind you are no match for us. You will agree to this cooperation. Right? At the same time as the tachyon information was sent out. The shadow area of the spherical sphere rapidly increased several times. And the originally curled thread gradually expanded. The meaning behind it is very obvious. Once the answers from the silicon rays and the energet, civilization failed to satisfy them. A war will break out. After a short wait, silicon ray, who had finished communicating with Lu Yongchang, silently took a step back. I promise you, we do not want to get involved in the previous dispute between you and the sweepers. Before your plan is completed, the energet civilization and I will stay in the Andromeda galaxy. Wise choice. The thread ball returned to its curled state again. Come with us. To show your sincerity, you will be placed at the edge of the Andromeda galaxy. After the plan is completed, you can leave directly. One month later, silicon rays and human civilization were escorted by two dimensional creatures and came to the edge of the Andromeda galaxy. The contract is made. Don't think about breaking it. When the fourth dimensional creature turned to leave, it sent them a final warning. In the small universe of the People's Union, Lu Yongchang looked at the endless peripheral area of the river system in the holographic projection and took a deep breath. Little guy. We can only wait for the pastoralists to complete their plan before leaving. The silicon ray's tachyon information appeared in front of him. After Lu Yongchang considered it carefully, he asked in a low voice. If, I mean if, can we escape using the wormhole device left by the Empire? Impossible. Let's not talk about whether this time and space has its hands and feet. Even if we run, we can't outrun it. Every four-dimensional creature grew up playing in wormholes. If it detects the fluctuation of us opening the wormhole, we may die ugly. Lu Yongchang leaned hard on his seat and stared blankly at the ceiling of the command center. Have to. You can't run away. You can't fight. All we can do is wait. This feeling of being controlled by other civilizations is really uncomfortable. Fortunately, those two-dimensional creatures just want to ensure the successful implementation of their own plans and have no ill intentions towards silicon-based civilization. Otherwise, at this moment, Lu Yongchang's desire for dimension technology reached its peak. He sighed softly, stood up, and walked outside the command center. Zero. Always monitor the status of the black hole region in the center of the Andromeda galaxy. If something unusual happens, notify me immediately. Chapter 898. Looking through the timeline. Pastoral. As the obscure space-time fluctuations slowly dissipate, Sure, and, see, as figures reappeared in the empty universe. At this time, they have passed through the wormhole and arrived at the so-called assembly area, a spar star zone 10,000 light years away from the central black hole of the Andromeda galaxy. When? Just leave them at the edge of the galaxy. Is it true that nothing will happen? Just after leaving the wormhole, Silk asked Sure, if they inform the sweepers of our existence. The gray sphere-like structure floated slowly. Sure, denied without hesitation. Impossible. You also know the temperament of the silicon ray. It is impossible for it to do such a thankless thing. Not to mention, according to the information we have, the relationship between the sweepers and the neutrals is not very good now. Silk was silent for a while, and the twisting of the silk thread became more and more complicated. You should know that I'm not worried about silicon rays. I'm worried about the seventh level civilization behind it. Energet civilization? Sure said with some hesitation. Should it be impossible? It is also a member of the Silicon Alliance. Under the supervision of Silicon Ray, it has no reason to do such a thing. I don't know why, but I always feel that the battleship style of the energy civilization looks a bit familiar. C once again dropped a bombshell. L. I seem to have seen them in the galaxy. This time, sure, fell into complete silence. The encounter of the Milky Way has become an unmentionable scar in their hearts. Forget about the death of painting. Even the two-dimensional fragments fell into the hands of the sweeper civilization. It's so embarrassing. Under, C, S reminder. Sure, began to recall the painful past in her heart. Suddenly, it seemed to have thought of something. And the fluctuation amplitude of the gray shadow structure instantly increased. You mean, that level 4 civilization that was two-dimensionalized by two-dimensional fragments? Yes. C, gave an affirmative reply. If I remember correctly, their name seems to be human civilization. You put it that way, 
The battleship style is indeed somewhat similar. But, this must be a coincidence. Right. The gray shadow structure fluctuates violently, clearly showing the surprise and doubt in Sher's heart. How much time has passed? Sher questioned. Promoting from a fourth level civilization to a seventh level civilization, how is this possible? C suddenly fell into deep thought. That seems to be the case. In less than 10,000 years, it has developed from a fourth level civilization to a seventh level civilization, and even traveled from the Milky Way to the Andromeda Galaxy. Even the level 3 artificial intelligence in ancient times did not develop so fast. But even so, it still whispered, To be on the safe side, you'd better take a look. Regarding C.S. request, Sure felt very helpless. Flipping through the timeline is not an easy task. The war is imminent, and it does not want to consume too much of its own energy. But C.S. guess was like a thorn piercing deeply into its heart. Then, after a brief silence, it turned its attention to the winding timeline that flowed like a long, rolling river. The four-dimensional space, plus the one-dimensional time, constitute the five-dimensional space-time. Sure, swings his body, and travels easily through the five-dimensional time and space. Time, in time as view, is a meandering river that only flows forward. This boundless river has no source or destination. From the time perspective, the upper reaches of the river are determined. But the downstream of the river is constantly changing countless tributaries spread out, and each branch may form the main trunk of the river. It cannot see any tributary clearly, and can only intuitively feel the existence of countless tributaries. All four-dimensional creatures are the same, they can only browse the timeline of what has already happened. However, compared with three-dimensional creatures, this is already a qualitative improvement. Three-dimensional creatures living in three-dimensional space cannot even detect the existence of that extra one-dimensional time. It continuously extracts the vacuum zero-point energy in the universe and searches for the energy civilization in this endless river. This is an extremely laborious job. No fourth-dimensional creature is willing to do such a thankless job if it is not necessary. Found it since he had just come into contact with the Energet civilization. Sure, quickly found the light spot corresponding to the Energet civilization in the long river of time. The light spot is colorful, like a piece of gravel shining with neon colors. It cautiously approached the body, and carefully looked at the gravel wrapped in infinite energy. The power of time is extremely terrifying. The danger of the long river of time is extremely high so far. All four-dimensional creatures that have rashly come into contact with it have died from the power of time. It studied the gravel carefully. The small size of the gravel means that the energy civilization did not exist very long. At that time, a bad premonition suddenly occurred in my heart. And my expression suddenly became serious. It stretched out its tentacles and gently touched the gravel shining with colorful light from afar. The pure energy from zero-point energy slowly stirred the gravel. And a picture appeared in front of, sure. Sure, struggled to move the progress bar. The scene quickly regressed promoted to the seventh level civilization. The Silicon Ray civilization came to the rescue, encountered the Sweeper civilization, and arrived in the Andromeda galaxy. As the progress bar continues to move forward, the battleship style of the energy civilization becomes more and more familiar to, sure. Well, the picture is broken, and the shining gravel continues to flow forward with a long river of time. The final picture stays at the edge of the Milky Way, when his complexion changed drastically. It quickly left the long river of time and returned to, see. It's him. The spherical shadow fluctuated violently. He comes from the Milky Way. Energy civilization is human civilization. At this moment, both, sure and see, felt a deep sense of horror in their hearts. In less than 10,000 years, it was promoted from a fourth level civilization to a seventh level civilization. What does such an enemy mean? Damn it. The thread in the universe twisted violently. Quick. Open the wormhole. They haven't left the Andromeda galaxy yet. We still have time. Sure, didn't say any more nonsense and went straight to creating a wormhole. At the moment when the wormhole was about to take shape, a tachyon communication came. Attack orders. The pastoral faction, which completed its final assembly, issued an attack order. Damn! Sure, cursed angrily and canceled the wormhole that was about to take shape. Our? Seeing the wormhole fluctuations gradually dissipating. C exclaimed. You? Attack the sweeper civilization first. Sure said in a low tone. Don't forget. We are guilty now. You run away from the battle. Don't you want to live? After saying that, Sure directly followed the surrounding tribesmen and rushed towards the central black hole area of the Andromeda galaxy. 
looking at Sher S. back going away. See, S. expression became increasingly ugly. Damn. Damn. Can't we attack two years later? Although she kept cursing in her heart. C. Still kept up with Sher S. pace. At this moment, an extremely strong space-time fluctuation suddenly appeared in the central black hole area of the Andromeda galaxy. Chapter 899 War Breaks Out Earth Calendar Year 11707 Human civilization and silicon ray civilization have been waiting in vain on the edge of this empty river system for five years. Five years. Five whole years. Do you know how humans have lived in the past five years? After five years of house arrest, while being frightened, the development of the Academy of Sciences also came to a standstill. The reason is simple. On the basis of not knowing the backup of the pastoralist civilization, no one wants to expose human civilization to the life and death enemy of the pastoralist. Five years. This is five years. Even if wormhole technology is not included, the fleet can sail a full 50,000 light years just by sailing at super light speed curvature. Every time he thought about this, Lu Yongchang felt like there were ants crawling on his body. A few days ago, he had made a decision. After arriving in the M87 galaxy, we will find an opportunity to break through to the 8th level civilization by observing the quasar structure in the central area of the galaxy. And now, human civilization is actually forced to stay on the edge of the Andromeda galaxy. Lu Yongchang, who was suffering internally, could only pay close attention to the movements in the black hole area in the center of the Andromeda galaxy. This pastoral, he murmured in a low voice. It's so annoying. Why don't we just have a fight? Can't we just rush over and do it? Is there any need to waste time like this? Just as he was sighing, a red warning message popped up in the holographic projection. Warn! Abnormal space-time fluctuations in the target area have been detected. The black hole region at the center of Andromeda. Alarm sounded throughout every facility in the sweeper's Andromeda branch. It's pastoral style. The information about the mother civilization is indeed correct. Looking at the alarm message in the light curtain, 9,436 waved the tentacles on both sides of his body. They really attacked us. Attack! I want the pastoralist gadgets to taste the new weapons of the mother civilization. 9,436 as voice was full of excitement and excitement. Be careful. Companion 9,435 reminded him with a serious expression. There are a lot of dimensional creatures coming this time. One after another. The silver-white spherical battleships quickly left the huge technological creation that was comparable in size to a blue giant star and headed in the direction of the fluctuations in time and space. Following closely behind are three white dwarf fortresses and one neutron fortress. Enemies are extremely jealous when they meet. As soon as the horn of war blew, the war entered a fierce stage. The Andromeda branch of sweepers comes out in full force. A space rift stretching for dozens of light years appeared first on the battlefield. Theoretically, these space rifts can cause harm to one-dimensional and two-dimensional creatures, but cannot affect four-dimensional creatures. But in reality, the originally entangled silk threads have completely unfolded, and the two-dimensional creature like a canvas has begun to stretch out. These low-dimensional creatures shuttle between these huge space rifts extremely smoothly, quickly approaching the oncoming spherical battleship. The four-dimensional shield can effectively block attacks from low-dimensional creatures. Therefore, the sweeper warship did not care about the approach of these low-dimensional creatures. But at the moment when the two sides were about to come into contact, these low-dimensional creatures took the initiative to break part of their bodies. This is a scene that has never appeared in previous wars. The assimilation effect of three-dimensional space then begins to appear. One-dimensional filaments and two-dimensional planes are beginning to jump to the third dimension. Ascending dimension absorbs energy. Before the sweeper warship could react, the energy used to maintain the four shields was completely sucked dry at this moment. Without the protection of the four-dimensional shield, the low-dimensional creatures rushed towards those spherical battleships. The moment the two came into contact with each other, a violent flash of light appeared on the battlefield. Dimensionality reduction releases energy. At this moment, a supernova seemed to be exploding on the battlefield. The light quickly dimmed, and in the area where the spherical battleship was originally located, there was only a complex mass of silver-white thin lines this was the one-dimensional sweeper battleship. These one-dimensional filaments contain all the information about the sweeper warship. Not only that, in addition to a large number of silver-white thread balls, a large number of canvases also appeared on the battlefield. That's a two-dimensional sweeper battleship. At the moment of dimensionality reduction, these sweeper warships were completely destroyed three-dimensional structures cannot exist in a low-dimensional world. Those are huge silk threads and canvases that are more than one light-year in length. 
under the light of the central black hole's accretion disk. They shine silvery white. It happened so suddenly that the surrounding sweeper warships had no time to slow down and crashed into this mass of thin lines and canvas. A chain reaction ensues. The dimension-enhancing effect quickly absorbs the energy of the battleship and destroys the opponent's four-dimensional shield. Then, it's a new attack. When these low-dimensional objects ascended back to the third dimension, dense quark fog appeared on the battlefield after experiencing several dimensional changes. The toughest armor and structures became the most primitive particle structures. Scenes like this happen in every corner of the battlefield. In just one encounter, the sweepers lost more than one-tenth of their warships. Although they are just some basic battleships, they are enough to make the person in charge of the Andromeda branch feel heartbroken. Four-dimensional shock bomb. Release the four-dimensional shock bomb immediately. Attacks from higher dimensions can easily attack lower dimensional beings. But this is limited to attacks with high enough intensity, such as space rifts and dark matter cannons. In addition, there is another necessary condition your attack must destroy the opponent's core. This is also the reason why dimensional creatures are difficult to kill. Once the core is not destroyed and the opponent successfully escapes, finding low-dimensional organisms in three-dimensional space is not an easy task. At that time, the Sweeper's Galaxy branch spent a lot of energy looking for paintings. Normally, in the experience of the Sweeper civilization, in three-dimensional space, the most effective attack method against one- and two-dimensional creatures is space annihilation. However, Considering that space annihilation has many restrictions and cannot cause harm to four-dimensional creatures, four-dimensional shock bombs and large-scale dark matter cannons have become a versatile weapon against the pastoralists. Chapter 900 Whale Falling Encrypted tachyon information is transmitted in the central black hole region of Andromeda. After receiving the order from the branch leader, spherical cannonballs with black light appeared on the battlefield. The moment they appeared, they caused strong fluctuations in space and time. These shimmering cannonballs quickly move to the middle area of the battlefield. Then, exploded with a bang. There is no explosive fire in the three-dimensional space. These four-dimensional shock bombs detonated at the same time and influenced each other to form a space-time tsunami. Just like a depth charge dropped into the ocean, it won't form much waves on the water, but the interior of the ocean will be turned upside down by it. The fluctuations from the fourth dimension quickly spread around. When it was about to come into contact with the sweeper warship, Four-dimensional shields were regenerated, easily blocking it from the warship. On the other hand, the pastoralists were not so lucky. The low-dimensional creatures that bear the brunt have no ability to block this attack from the fourth dimension. Invisible fluctuations swept away. One-dimensional creatures, those completely extended silk threads, quickly curled up and began to become flattened under the violent vibrations of the four-dimensional space. They are gradually emerging into a second dimension. Of course, in addition to one-dimensional creatures, two-dimensional creatures also have similar situations. First, layers of wrinkles appeared on their surfaces. And then, their flat bodies inexplicably became somewhat three-dimensional, a sign that the third dimension was about to appear. The structure of one's own dimension has been damaged. And there is no doubt that the core has also been damaged. But this is not fatal enough. Once the aftermath of the four-dimensional shock bomb disappears, they can rely on their own power to repair their own dimensional structure again. As for those four-dimensional creatures, those spherical shadows are constantly distorting. Obviously, they are not very vulnerable to the attack of four-dimensional shock bombs. Although the four-dimensional shock bombs could not cause much damage to them, they missed the best rescue opportunity. The sweeper civilization obviously would not let such a golden opportunity pass. Take advantage of his illness and kill him. The black light flickered on every surviving sweeper warship and shot directly towards the areas where low-dimensional creatures gathered. Dark matter cannon. That little bit of black light was like a match lighting a dry wood pile. Dark matter, which was originally stable in nature, was quickly excited and converted into majestic energy. This is a chain reaction similar to a nuclear reaction. Because of this, the power of the dark matter cannon is so powerful. Boom. In an instant, the entire area of a thousand light years was engulfed in the flames of the explosion. True fire coverage and indiscriminate attack. High intensity attacks in high dimensional space and time can affect these dimensional creatures. There is no doubt that a dark matter attack of this magnitude is certainly within the realm of possibility. The low dimensional creatures that were already shaking under the attack of the four dimensional shock bomb were completely torn apart by this sudden storm like attack. Even so, these low dimensional creatures did not give up their attack. They flew frantically towards the battleship of the sweeper civilization dragging the sweeper battleship into the water at the cost of their own death. 
a ball of twisted silk thread, was directly broken into countless pieces under the light of the explosion. Under the influence of three-dimensional space, these broken one-dimensional threads quickly extend into two-dimensional fragments with larger or smaller areas. But this is not the end. The dimensionality effect continues. Large tracts of quark fog appeared in the empty universe and combined with each other in an extremely short period of time to form large amounts of hydrogen and helium. The appearance of hydrogen and helium seemed to be a signal, revealing the complex changes in the three-dimensional space under the high-intensity bombardment of the dark matter cannon. Different types of heavy atoms appeared in this star field. Under the impact of the dark matter cannon, these discrete heavy atoms quickly flew away in all directions. When a whale falls, all things come into being. This is about a whale carcass that can feed many creatures in the ocean. Similarly, the death of a dimensional creature can also create an extremely sumptuous dinner. Not to mention the number of dead dimensional creatures. At least 10. It is not difficult to imagine that one day in the future, these heavy atoms will be captured by the gravity of planets and slowly fall to the surface of the planets. Even one day, these heavy atoms will be exploited and utilized by other civilizations. Silk! The aftermath of the four-dimensional shock bomb had just dissipated, and in the explosion flames of the dark matter cannon, as saw the thread that was slowly breaking, it rushed forward quickly, using itself as a barrier to block the aftermath of the four-dimensional shock bomb for Silk. Good luck. The core of C, who is on the edge, is not completely broken. Looking at the Silk with only half of its body left, struggling to maintain its own dimensional structure, Sure quickly withdrew to the rear. C. Your mission is over. Retreat immediately. Schur said as he opened a small wormhole for it. According to the pastoralist plan, the main function of low-dimensional creatures is to attack the sweeper warships. As for the task of destroying the Ring Universe Accelerator node that belongs to four-dimensional creatures. Therefore, C. didn't say any more nonsense. Went straight into the wormhole and left this land of right and wrong. Sure, who was swimming in the four-dimensional space, shook his dizzy head vigorously. Compared with ancient times, the power of the sweeper's four-dimensional shock bombs has increased dozens of times. Even it felt a bit uncomfortable its core was constantly vibrating under the influence of the aftermath. Chaotic tachyon fluctuations passed through the pastoralist camp. Under the desperate attack of one-dimensional and two-dimensional creatures, the sweeper fleet also suffered great damage. Ordinary warships were not only completely wiped out, but at least they lost their combat capabilities. This can be regarded as achieving the initial strategic goal of the pastoral sect. Looking at the three white dwarf fortresses and one neutron fortress that were still in intact condition. Sure, S heart suddenly became heavy. Next, is the real war. According to the command of the Tachyon information, it braved the aftermath of the four-dimensional shock bomb and rushed towards the sweeper fleet along with the other four-dimensional creatures. Of course, the sweepers will not let the other party slaughter them. Along with a strange wave coming from the direction of the sweeper fleet, the figures of the four planet fortresses became strange. Just like time, they have also become strangely shaped great projections in three-dimensional space. They have successfully upgraded themselves without mastering higher dimensions. Only by upgrading oneself can we have a chance to truly obliterate four-dimensional creatures. Chapter 901 Two Dimensions and Five Dimensions The battlefield has moved from three dimensions to four dimensions. As a native, there is no doubt that, sure, has full home field advantage. But the Sweeper's White Dwarf Fortress and Neutron Fortress are not vegetarian either. After the dimensionality upgrade, the Sweeper Civilization's attack method switched from three dimensions to four dimensions. Four-dimensional shock bombs and four-dimensional space rifts. As well as the most primitive general-purpose kinetic energy weapon firing four-dimensional artillery SH. LS directly is also a good attack plan. But the war situation still fell into a stalemate. The reason is simple. The biggest difference between four-dimensional space and three-dimensional space is that it has a fourth direction. The sweeper civilization needs to perform a lot of calculations to solve the problem of coordinate conversion. But the four-dimensional creatures, who are aborigines, are different. They have an innate ability to recognize the fourth direction. This point appears to be very strange in the three-dimensional space. The opponent obviously does not make any moves. But the sweeper's attack does not hit it. Suddenly, the neutron fortress that had been staying in place started to move. Unlike the White Dwarf Fortress, which can only launch conventional attacks, the Neutron Fortress has a unique weapon that no one else can match itself. Almost the entire SH. L is composed of dense neutrons. To a certain extent, its structural strength is even more exaggerated than that of a neutron star. After all, 
The outer regions of neutron stars are not actually dense neutron structures. Looking at the silver-white planet fortress that began to accelerate gradually, all the four-dimensional creatures became serious. Uh-huh. The neutron fortress, which completed the coordinate analysis work, disappeared directly. The next moment, it appeared directly next to a four-dimensional creature and hit it hard. This scene directly scared those four-dimensional creatures. Since they are four-dimensional structures themselves, four-dimensional jumps in three-dimensional space cannot be used on them. In the same way, normally, the neutron fortress that has been upgraded cannot use the four-dimensional jump. But that neutron fortress showed a function similar to a four-dimensional jump. There is only one possibility. That's not a four-dimensional jump, but a five-dimensional jump. Only five-dimensional transitions can accommodate four-dimensional objects. Thinking of this, sure, as expression quickly became ugly. One force can bring down ten. The structural strength that exceeds that of ordinary neutron stars, whether in three-dimensional or four-dimensional space, is an astounding existence. The moment the two collided, the unlucky four-dimensional creature let out a howl. Immediately afterwards, the majestic gravity suddenly appeared on the neutron fortress. The mass of dense neutron materials is extremely exaggerated, which also brings extremely powerful gravitational effects to it. Normally, neutron fortress has a gravitational shielding function. But at this moment, it directly lifted the original gravitational shield and directly displayed its powerful gravity comparable to that of a neutron star. Gravity is an alternative existence after all. Even four-dimensional creatures cannot escape the shackles of gravity. Being in such close contact with the gravitational force of a neutron star would be a disaster for that unlucky four-dimensional creature. Its body was quickly stretched, torn apart, and fell towards the surface of the neutron fortress. Under the influence of gravity acceleration, when the wreckage came into contact with the surface of the neutron fortress, the speed of the wreckage even exceeded 0.2 c. Bang! A violent explosion occurred on the surface of the neutron fortress. But it did not have any impact on it. The SH. L made of dense neutron structure does not even have a slight bulge. As for that unfortunate fourth dimensional creature, after abandoning 30% of its body, it successfully escaped from the neutron star. But the neutron fortress did not give up. Under the control of its insiders, it disappeared into the universe again. With its five dimensional jump, it crashed into the unlucky four dimensional creature again. Bang! Another impact. This impact directly tore apart all the protective barriers on the surface of that four dimensional creature. At the same time, a silver white object that looked like a piece of paper was launched towards the four dimensional creature. Two, two dimensional fragments. The four dimensional creature let out a cry of surprise and struggled to escape. But it was too late. The two dimensional fragments successfully collided with the body of the four dimensional creature. The two dimensional fragments that have been transformed and strengthened by the sweeper civilization have more powerful dimensionality reduction functions. In the central black hole area of Andromeda, complex and huge three-dimensional structures suddenly appeared out of thin air. This is the corpse of a fourth-dimensional creature. Things happen so fast that no four-dimensional creature could react. Damn it! Schur swung his body quickly, away from the neutron fortress. When did the sweeper master the two-dimensional and five-dimensional things? No one has an answer. The tachyon communication frequency band is filled with frightening information. The information is wrong. The information is wrong. Report immediately. Sweepers already have a certain understanding of two dimensions and five dimensions. Retreat. Retreat immediately. No. Our mission is not finished yet. While the four-dimensional creatures were still arguing, the neutron fortress disappeared into the universe again. Boom. 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 Along with the collisions without warning. A large number of complex three-dimensional structures appeared on the battlefield like rain. Every three-dimensional structure is part of the remains of those four-dimensional creatures. Bypass the neutron fortress and directly implement the final plan. For the pastoral times, watching the war become one-sided, an encrypted tachyon message appeared in the minds of all remaining four-dimensional creatures. When my heart sank, finally got to this point, it subconsciously turned its head and glanced at the position where Silk left and then followed the other six four-dimensional creatures with complicated emotions and rushed towards the central black hole of Andromeda. They no longer paid attention to the neutron fortress attacks on them, and even gave up any defensive measures. At this time, neutron fortress also exposed its biggest flaw. The five-dimensional jump technology is only a semi-finished product. The jump distance is very short, and it is impossible to catch up with the four-dimensional creatures that are escaping with all their strength. Although it is unclear what these four-dimensional creatures want to do, watching them approach the central black hole, 
The sweeper fleet also fell into madness. But? It's too late. When they were about to reach the black holes of End Horizon, seven four-dimensional creatures detonated their cores at the same time. The four-dimensional creatures that have lost their core begin to reduce their dimensions at the same time under the assimilation effect of the three-dimensional space. Endless energy and matter burst out near the black hole. At this moment, the black hole area in the center of the Andromeda galaxy seems to have had a devastating river collision. The originally stable black hole is transforming into a quasar at an extremely fast speed. Under the careful calculations of the four-dimensional creatures, the two black hole jets emitted by the soon-to-be-formed quasar will just sweep through the ring cosmic accelerator node built nearby by the sweeper civilization. Not only that, they will sweep over 80% of the Andromeda galaxy. It is no exaggeration to say that this will directly destroy the entire Andromeda galaxy. Chapter 902, Wormhole Travel The Fringe Region of the Andromeda Galaxy Warn! Abnormal space-time fluctuations in the target area have been detected. When the information from the ultra-long distance detection device appeared in the holographic projection, Lu Yongcheng's spirit suddenly cheered up. It finally begins! Looking at the complex data that fluctuated extremely fast in the projection, Lu Yongchang gradually restored the general process of this war in his mind. The extremely large-scale dark matter cannon and space weapon attacks directly turned the central area of the Andromeda galaxy into a dead zone that no one can enter. As for the various abnormal data that appeared during the dimensional attack, Lu Yongchang's eyes became brighter. This is an observation opportunity delivered to your doorstep. Under normal circumstances, where can human civilization find such scenes of rapid fluctuations in dimensions? Time passed little by little and the battle gradually became more intense. As rays of light that far exceeded the brightness of the black hole accretion disk of the river system frequently erupted on the battlefield, the time and space in the central area of the river system began to become extremely chaotic. Silicon Ray! We should prepare to retreat! Lu Yongchang sent a tachyon message to the Silicon Rays waiting next to the human fleet. Now? Not yet. Regarding Lu Yongchang's proposal, the upright Silicon Ray responded in a daze. Leaving now is a violation of our contract with Sure. Just in case. Lu Yongchan rolled his eyes angrily. How long has it been since? Are you still thinking about that La Shizhi contract? Everyone is already beating their brains out in the middle of the river system. Who has time to take care of your 7th level civilization? No wonder the pastoral party silicon rays were not prepared at all. Such a temperament. No need at all. As Lu Yongchan said. It is easy to fish in muddy waters. At this time. The pastoralists simply cannot take care of the silicon ray and energy civilizations far away on the edge of the river system. When no one was paying attention, the persuaded silicon ray followed the energy fleet and embarked on a journey again, flying towards the outside of the Andromeda galaxy. 20,000 light years after leaving the Andromeda galaxy, the silicon ray was finally relieved to see nothing strange. After repeated confirmation, it sent a tachyon message to the energy fleet. Little guys, the wormhole device is ready for use. Inside Earth, looking at this line of text, after a brief moment of confusion, Lu Yongchang's face instantly showed an expression of excitement. Wormhole. This is the technology of an eighth level civilization. Through the natural Klein bottle structure, human civilization has initially understood some properties of the four dimensional space. As an advanced technology of jump technology, the high dimensional information contained in wormholes is undoubtedly richer. Therefore, for Lu Yongchang, who urgently needs to understand high-dimensional space. These words from the silicon ray are like the rain after a long drought. Good! Lu Yongchang suppressed the excitement in his heart and responded hurriedly. Energy civilization has made all preparations for shuttle. The next moment, the human fleet also exited the super-light curvature state, 20,000 light-years away from the Andromeda galaxy. This is a truly barren interstellar region. But, the vacuum is not empty even in the barren areas between river systems. There are still extremely few basic particles. Along with a wave of time and space fluctuations, the huge body of the silicon ray appeared first in this dark and empty area. After exiting the super-light curvature state, the silicon ray opened the small universe port and took out a cylindrical dark gray device. The cylinder is completely natural, without any trace of splicing on the surface. Its surface is engraved with complex patterns the most conspicuous of which is the logo symbolizing the silicon-based alliance. Sitting in the command center of the Earth, Lu Yongchang looked at this clear sign with a complicated expression. The Tenth Empire! He glanced at the chaotic data projected on his side. The war in the central area of Andromeda has not yet come to an end, and is even getting more intense, although the specific casualties on both sides are not known. 
judging from various indirect observation data. The losses on both sides will not be too small. The chaos in the Andromeda galaxy will only be the prelude to the strife, which once again aggravates Lu Yongchang's clinging thoughts. Just when Lu Yongchang's thoughts were confused, the silicon ray in the holographic projection finally made a new move. It slowly approached the dark gray cylinder and carefully placed its long tail in a depression covered by patterns. The next moment, pure energy flowed into the dark gray cylinder along the tail of the silicon ray. Suddenly, a black light appeared from the front of the dark gray cylinder and shot towards the starry sky directly in front. Then, a black spherical space-time distortion structure slowly appeared directly in front of the silicon ray. When it first appeared, this twisted structure was not very stable, and there were even signs of collapse. After a short wait, with the continuous injection of the black light, it became stable. It is a space-time structure that is very similar to the small universe port. But obviously, the technology contained in it is far higher than that of the small universe port. Follow me closely. The danger inside the wormhole is very high. Quick! This wormhole won't last long. After the silicon ray sent out a tachyon message, he put away the dark gray cylindrical device and plunged into it. Naturally, the human fleet did not hesitate at all. Under Lu Yongchang's order, it followed the silicon ray and sailed into the wormhole. Lu Yongchang suddenly widened his eyes. In order to experience the wormhole personally and to collect more first-hand observation data, he even ordered the Earth to leave the Renlian small universe. Outside the porthole, there is a strange space shape like a tunnel. The twisted light continues to spread at the edge of the tunnel, like a slowly flowing meandering river. The tunnel is not spacious. It can even be called narrow. At the edge of the tunnel, there is a structure similar to a protective film. Apparently, it exists to protect the objects within this tunnel. From the moment it entered the wormhole, countless detectors set up on the starship began operating at full power. Endless observation data is like a raging river, pouring into the central computer array in the Earth. Even the four-dimensional optical brain array, which has been improved and updated several times, is experiencing some lag at this moment. The tunnel is not long. At best, it's only 10 billion kilometers. For a seventh-level civilization, this is an extremely short distance. Following the progress of the silicon ray, Lu Yongchang saw the end of this bizarre tunnel in just a day's moment. It was a port that resembled a ring and shone with a strange light. Uh-huh. Before Lu Yongchang could think of anything, the fleet rushed out of this magical port. He subconsciously looked behind him through the porthole. The ring-shaped port has disappeared, replaced by a black spherical space-time distortion structure, just like the entrance to a wormhole. To be precise, in three-dimensional space, it is both an exit and an entrance. Chapter 903 Millions of Light Years Outside the porthole, it was still dark. Starlight from infinite distance is dotted like gems in this dark curtain. Looking at the outside scenery, which was almost unchanged from before, Li Yongchang couldn't help but have a little misunderstanding in his heart. Wormhole travel failed? The fleet is still standing still and not moving? The next second, Ling, who had completed the fleet positioning work again, Dispel the slightest illusion in Lu Yongchang's heart. This wormhole journey allowed the human fleet to span a full one million light years. After learning this information, Lu Yongchang suddenly felt in a trance. Too fast. The actual distance traveled by the fleet is only 10 billion kilometers. But in a three dimensional universe, it spans a full one million light years. One million light years. The human fleet needs to travel non stop for 100 years. Suddenly, Lu Yongchang remembered something. He quickly withdrew his gaze and looked eagerly at the holographic projection in front of him. After seeing that all the observation data had been stored in the pre-prepared optical hard disk array, he breathed a sigh of relief. This is a treasure. Next, most theoretical research work of the Academy of Sciences will rely on these precious observational data. A dazzling light flashed outside the porthole, attracting Lu Yongchang's attention. When he turned his head and saw clearly the scene outside the porthole, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch slightly. The silicon ray took out three blue giant stars at once and was taking a bath in the blue giant stars. It seems that opening the wormhole is quite expensive. Silicon ray, can the wormhole device still be used? Lu Yongchang asked the silicon ray that was immersed in the star bath. Of course. But this thing is the first batch of wormhole devices manufactured by the Empire. The model is too old. The activation interval is a little long and the shuttle distance is a little short. Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched again. A single travel distance exceeds one million light years. Do you call this short? The distance between Andromeda and the Milky Way is 2.54 million light years. 
It took them more than 5,000 years to complete this long journey. Lu Yongchang suddenly felt countless emotions in his heart. After all, his vision was too narrow. How long is the interval between starts? Perhaps? About 50 years. It is an old model after all. And shortening it any longer may cause some damage to its internal structure. 50 years. Li Yongchang whispered to himself. Including the normal navigation of the fleet. The original 1.5 million light year voyage can now be completed in only 50 years. As long as 1800 years. We will reach the M87 galaxy in 1800 years. Cough. Still have a question. It's in terms of energy consumption. The message sent by the silicon ray was full of embarrassment. The energy consumption of the wormhole device is very large. If it is activated every 50 years, my little universe may not have that many star reserves. This familiar style made Lu Yongchan laugh. Yes, it's back to its original appearance. Don't worry. There are many star reserves in this small universe of energy civilization. At the end, Lu Yongchan added, It's enough. Just as the atmosphere in the command center gradually became cheerful, a red warning message appeared in front of all academicians. Warn! Energy bursts of unknown intensity and space-time fluctuations are detected. Warning! The first echelon ultralong distance detector signal has been lost. The smile on Lu Yongcheng's face disappeared instantly. And he quickly looked through the observation data that was refreshing like a waterfall in the holographic projection. The location of space-time fluctuations and energy explosions is without any surprise. The Andromeda Galaxy. What was unexpected was the intensity of this space-time fluctuation and energy burst. After some rough calculations, Lu Yongchang came to a result that he himself could not believe. If there are no problems with the observation data of the ultralong distance detector, the energy erupted from the core region of Andromeda at that moment even exceeded the energy produced by the direct collision of two Andromeda galaxies. Not to mention human civilization. Even the silicon ray that was enjoying the star bath had a small head drilled out and looked at the Andromeda Galaxy 1.02 million light years away with a confused look on its face. What happened? Silicon Ray Doubt.jpg. Lu Yongchang quickly analyzed the data returned by the first tier detectors that unfortunately died in action, trying to find some clues from them. A few minutes later, with Zero's auxiliary data processing, Lu Yongchang gradually mastered a little information. Crazy! Are the pastoralists and sweepers completely crazy? What happened to the Andromeda galaxy? Because the distance between the two was too far. The silicon ray, which had not arranged a detector in advance, was in a state of confusion. Lu Yongchan was silent for a while, organized some words, and then responded. There seems to be an extremely large-scale energy release near the central black hole of the Andromeda galaxy. At the same time, a large amount of matter also appeared out of thin air. According to our calculations, a large-scale quasar structure will appear in the core of the Andromeda galaxy, and the length of its black hole jet will reach 200,000 light-years. I don't know whether it's a coincidence or intentional, but the direction of these two black hole jets happens to sweep across most of the Andromeda galaxy. Speaking of this, Li Yongchang took a deep breath and gave his final conclusion. Andromeda is finished. Completely finished. The words fell. There was a long silence in the Tachyon channel. After an unknown amount of time, when the light of the blue giant star where the silicon ray was located gradually dimmed to the extreme, it suddenly moved, plunged into the second blue giant star, and sent out a tachyon message. This is a phenomenon caused by the death of a large number of four-dimensional creatures. Although the specific process is not clear, the pastoral faction should have achieved its goal in this war. The ring cosmic accelerator node deployed by the sweepers in the Andromeda galaxy may not be preserved. The rest of the edge of the Andromeda galaxy, C, struggled to get out of the wormhole and appeared next to a blue giant star. It's deeply traumatized to the core. The top priority now is to find enough energy to repair the core and stabilize its own dimensional structure. As for the previous weird human civilization, it's too late to make plans when time comes back as long as time is around. It's impossible for them to run away. Just as it was contemplating its next plan, a violent wave of space-time and dimensional fluctuations came from the center of the Andromeda galaxy. C stared blankly at the central area of the Andromeda galaxy. This is... Final plan? Time died? For a moment. It couldn't believe its senses. Chapter 9 Oh for the giant attractor of Lania Chaos Supercluster. I'm afraid it's not just time. In this extremely short, small-scale conflict, a large number of dimensional creatures died. It is conservatively estimated that the members of the pastoral faction who have successfully left the core area of Andromeda are only a few lucky one- and two-dimensional creatures. See, 
couldn't believe his guests more and more. The sweepers and the pastoral civilization are old enemies. And the friction and disputes between the two have lasted for an unknown amount of time. So far, this is the first time that both sides have suffered such heavy casualties in a small-scale conflict. Wide area tachyon broadcasts came from infinity. And, Silk, subconsciously read the broadcasts sent by members of the pastoral faction. Lanya Chaos Supercluster Branch. The Virgo Galaxy Cluster Milky Way has been breached, and the Ring Cosmic Accelerator Node has been successfully destroyed. Lanya Chaos Supercluster Division. Virgo Galaxy Cluster Large Magellanic Cloud has been breached. This is a piece of battle report information covering the entire Lanya Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster. While the large galaxies are still in a state of anxiety, the small galaxies have been completely conquered by the pastoralists. Silk, read the tachyon broadcasts one after another. And the sadness in his heart gradually became calmer. It calmed down and sent an encrypted wide area tachyon broadcast to the infinite starry sky. Lania Chaos Supercluster Division. Virgo Galaxy Cluster Andromeda Galaxy has been breached. Pastoral Faction. Great Victory. Although this great victory is based on the lives of a large number of dimensional creatures. There is no doubt that this will greatly delay the sweeper civilization's plan to accelerate the universe. The moment the broadcast came out, C did not hesitate and dived directly into the blue giant star in front of her. The young, hot star is dimming at a rate visible to the naked eye. Although it has the ability to extract vacuum zero-point energy, in this case, it is undoubtedly faster and more convenient to directly capture the energy of the star. The long silk thread slowly pulled away from the dim planet, and disappeared into the visible universe under a strong fluctuation of time and space. It needs to repair its core as soon as possible. Then, go catch up with the human civilization wearing the vest of energy civilization. They are growing so fast. It was so fast that, C, felt a trace of panic in her heart. It has a premonition. Although the current human civilization is still a small 7th level civilization, if they are allowed to continue to develop, the pastoral sex, annihilation plan, may be affected in unpredictable ways. C is not the kind of fool who acts alone. After recovering a little, C directly broadcasts the situation of human civilization in the form of wide area tachyon broadcast. The giant attractor region of the Lania Chaos supercluster. A large piece of technological creation hovers quietly in this dangerous area with intricate gravity. This is a magnificent building composed of numerous spherical and hemispherical structures. The silver white building covers an empty star field that exceeds a thousand light years. Small planet class battleships docked on its surface. Looking carefully, the neutron fortress sitting in the Andromeda galaxy is just the backbone of the army. Quark fortress, or black hole fortress, is the high-end combat power here. As for the white dwarf fortress, that's almost like cannon fodder. In order to withstand the extreme environment near the giant attraction source, the materials of this magnificent building even went so far as to adopt a dense quark structure. Under the control of superb technology, this building with astonishing mass showed no sign of collapsing into a super large black hole. Instead, it existed steadily and quietly in this giant attractor area that was extremely rich in matter. Sweeper Lania Chaos Supercluster Chapter Its main task is to coordinate and manage the ring cosmic acceleration node device within the entire Lania Chaos Supercluster and to resist the invasion and sabotage of the pastoralists. At this moment, the Lania Chaos Supercluster branch seems extremely busy. Under the fluctuations of time and space, a large number of planetary fortresses rise and fall on them. The atmosphere inside the building is more tense than outside. Andromeda has fallen! The node has lost contact! The galaxy has fallen! Along with reporting information one after another, in the huge light curtain, the edge of a feather-like structure flashed with dots of red light. The main area is not endangered, and the situation is not particularly serious. But this is already the biggest loss suffered by the sweeper civilization in nearly a million years. Countless ring universe accelerator nodes have been destroyed. Which will greatly delay the acceleration plan of the parent civilization. Damn pastoral. The leader of the Lania Chaos Supercluster chapter of the sweepers waved his tentacles angrily. Continue to send support troops. Let these pastoral worms know the strength of the sweepers. Yeah. Calm down. We should give priority to protecting the main nodes. A reminder came from the side. The branch nodes are rebuilt very quickly. As long as the main nodes are not affected, the mother civilization will not care too much. Of the bluish-white skin color of Asia gradually returned to light cyan. And the tentacles waving in the air slowly dropped down. You're right. Let Quark Fortress and Black Hole Fortress protect the main nodes. Neutron Fortress goes to support the branch nodes. And this chaotic war must be ended as soon as possible. 
The construction progress of the Ring Universe Accelerator has exceeded 99%, and the Mother Civilization will soon order the Accelerator to be started. Wait until the Mother Civilization successfully advances to the ninth level Civilization, and then we can settle the score with the Pastoral Sect. After 1,800 years, it will be 13,500 years in the Earth calendar, along with a familiar buzzing sound. Lu Yongchang slowly opened his eyes. After several improvements and developments, hibernation technology has become more mature. The original light yellow hibernation liquid was replaced by a milky white mist, and the habitual, cabin cough, phenomenon of hibernators was completely reduced to history. After a brief daze, his eyes quickly became alert. Zero! Are we there yet? Electronically synthesized sounds were heard, and a holographic projection automatically appeared in front of him. Yes, Professor. The fleet is about to arrive in the M87 galaxy and is currently executing the first batch of awakening plans. Lu Yongchang quickly stood up from the hibernation cabin and walked towards the porthole on the side. Outside the porthole, the M87 galaxy has become extremely clear. That is a huge galaxy several times larger than the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy. Unlike the disc-shaped spiral galaxy like the Milky Way, M87 is a huge elliptical galaxy. It hardly has any special shape. Observed with the naked eye, the M87 galaxy is more like a huge light cluster composed of countless stars. The farther inward, the higher the density of stars, and the brighter the light cluster. In the center of the M87 galaxy, there is also a huge quasar structure. Two high-energy plasma jets extending 4,900 light-years outward are spitting out massive amounts of matter nonstop. Chapter 905 Sekar Civilization Silicon Ray We're almost there! Lu Yongchang sent a tachyon message to the Silicon Rays accompanying him. In order not to be noticed, during the journey in 1800, Zero was responsible for almost all interactions with the Silicon Rays. Of course, the awakened duty personnel will also check every message sent multiple times to avoid unexpected situations. Yeah, almost there. In the holographic projection, the silicon ray swings its pectoral fins, skillfully catching the blue giant star that flies out from the People's Union's small universe and plunges into it. The Sekar civilization has received the tachyon broadcast I sent and responded. Lu Yongchang's eyes moved slightly. During their journey in 1800, silicon ray also briefly introduced them to the 8th level silicon-based civilization. Sekar civilization located in the M87 galaxy. It was promoted to the 8th level civilization 20,000 years ago, and it can be regarded as a very young 8th level civilization. In terms of strength, according to Silicon Ray, the opponent's technological strength is very good and ranks high in the Silicon Alliance. As for actual combat power, I don't know why. Silicon Ray didn't elaborate. A bad news. The message from Silicon Ray continued to come. The pastoralists are determined to fight against the sweeper civilization this time and the M87 galaxy is now in a state of chaos. When Lu Yongchang saw this message, his heart sank. Our supplies have reached the cordon. No matter how chaotic the interior of the M87 galaxy is, we must go in. Lu Yongchang's expression was very serious. At this moment, he was even ready to be involved in the war. But, the silicon ray in the projection raised its tail and scratched its head and responded very easily. I know you are in a hurry, but don't be anxious yet. I haven't finished speaking yet. There is also good news. As of now, because the Sekar civilization is an 8th level civilization, the pastoralists and sweepers have not taken action against the neutral faction. So, Sekar civilization can protect us. Lu Yongchang suddenly breathed a sigh of relief, and his heart suddenly relaxed. What followed was a deep sense of helplessness. In the past 1800 years, who taught the Silicon Ray to talk like this? The other side? Fong Su who had just gotten up from the hibernation cabin, sneezed several times. He looked at the milky white fog gradually dissipating in the hibernation cabin with a suspicious look on his face. Have you ever heard of anyone being allergic to this stuff? Is he the lucky one? With a stern look on his face, he quickly called up the monitoring data of the hibernation cabin and checked it carefully. Good health. Nothing unusual. It appeared to be an accident. He shrugged and turned off the holographic projection in front of him with a nonchalant wave of his hand. Time passes gradually. As the light of the M87 galaxy gradually became brighter and the density of the surrounding matter began to gradually increase, a wave of space-time fluctuations came from directly in front of the fleet. A wormhole structure is gradually taking shape. Looking at the data fluctuations presented in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. 
The scale and stability of the wormhole in front of me even exceeds the wormhole opened with the first generation device of the 10th Empire. Silicon Ray was really right. From this aspect alone, the technical level of the Sekar civilization is indeed quite good. Under the watch of the Silicon Rays and the human fleet, the wormhole gradually stabilized. Then, a dozen, lump, starships with strange shapes slowly sailed out from it. Lu Yongcheng's eyes suddenly widened. Judging from the scale, they should be the same model of starship. But, the appearance and structure of each starship are very different. This strange scene far exceeded Lu Yongcheng's imagination. He couldn't understand this alternative starship style. Theoretically speaking, for the needs of war, starships are generally standardized. Irregular shaped starships with different shapes, like the Sekar civilization will greatly increase the difficulty of maintenance and manufacturing. Before Lu Yongchan could figure out the reason, the Tachyon broadcast came. Looking at the large pile of strange shaped, living bodies, in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang suddenly fell into silence. He turned his head and glanced at the silicon ray in the holographic projection. He suddenly felt that the appearance of the silicon ray was quite pleasing to the eye. This thing. Fong Su's eyes twitched slightly, and he lowered his voice and said, Why does it feel a bit like a sponge-like creature on the earth? Lu Yongchang was stunned for a moment, then nodded in agreement. Don't say it. Don't say it. The universe is full of wonders. Fungal organisms can develop civilizations. So what if there is one more sponge civilization? Lu Yongchan silently comforted himself in his heart. Of course, this does not mean that he can accept this extremely chaotic look. Only, people under the eaves have to bow their heads. What the H, L? What the H, L is this? Just as Lu Yongchan was struggling there, Lu Siyuan's voice came from behind. He subconsciously looked up at the holographic projection. I saw a slender, translucent thread-like object slowly protruding from the body of the creature whose organs could not be distinguished. This translucent thread-like object pierced directly into the console in front of it. Next moment, the linear object began to flicker with light. At the same time, Zero also received pieces of tachyon information. Silicon Ray. First time meeting. H. Low. Energet Civilization. First meeting. H. Low. This familiar scene immediately touched some memories in Lu Yongchang's mind. Light. Fiber optic communication? Lu Yongchang's eyes widened again. His lips moved slightly. And he sighed. I'm going to die. Forget about electrical signals and electromagnetic wave signals. How come the physical optical fiber communication is even implemented? Secor civilization. Energet civilization greets you. Seeing that Silicon Ray was already chatting with the other party, Lu Yongchan quickly recovered from the shock and sent A.H. Low message to the other party. Energet civilization. I know you guys. Very. After the sponge-like creature was silent for a while, it gave an adjective. A very interesting little guy. This is the first time I have seen an alliance-style civilization composed of silicon-based and carbon-based organisms. Interesting. Very interesting. Lu Yongchang's eyes twitched again. These words. How should he answer it? In the end, Silicon Ray helped him out. Dear Sekar Civilization, Our material reserves are seriously insufficient. In simple words. I'm hungry. Obviously, the Sekar Civilization did not expect that the Silicon Ray would do such a thing. Follow me. The neutral civilizations in the M87 galaxy are all concentrated in the same area. And the star density, there should be much higher than the Andromeda galaxy. The war between the sweepers and the pastoralists intentionally avoids this area. You will be safe. Chapter 906 Racial Characteristics Looking at the bright white text appearing in the holographic projection, the corner of Lu Yongchang's mouth twitched slightly. Rest assured, he really couldn't let go of this. Unlike the pastoralists, Human civilization can be said to have completely offended the two major factions, the sweepers and the pastoralists. Um, if deception can be considered an offense, strictly speaking, human civilization should also have offended the Silicon Alliance and neutral factions by now. A layer of fine beads of sweat suddenly appeared on Lu Yongchang's forehead. I thought that leaving the Andromeda Galaxy would bring me to a place where peace could develop. How does it feel? Is this ghost place more dangerous than the Andromeda Galaxy? Having said that, the human fleet still chose to follow the Sekar civilization into the M87 nebula. Of course, there is the factor that the resource reserves of the small universe are about to be exhausted. But the most important point is, perhaps it was because they discovered the silicon ray that neither the Energet civilization spoke. The Sekar civilization, which had long heard about the silicon ray's character, sent another tachyon message. Silicon ray. Energet civilization. I have to tell you a piece of information. Not only the Virgo galaxy cluster, 
but according to the information I currently have, the entire Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster has fallen into war. This time pastoralism is serious. Lu Yongchang's heart sank. The entire Lania Chaos Supercluster was at war. As of Bumpkin, who had just stepped out of the Andromeda Galaxy, he couldn't even imagine a war of this level in his mind. Along with a wave of space-time fluctuations, the wormhole structure appeared again. The fleet of Sekker Civilization slowly sailed towards the wormhole. After stagnating for a moment, the human fleet and the Silicon Ray also followed its pace and slowly entered it. M87 Galaxy A gathering place for neutral civilization. It is 50,000 light years away from the central quasar structure in the galaxy. The density of stars is even greater than in the central region of the Andromeda Galaxy. In the space-time fluctuations caused by the wormhole structure, two fleets with completely different styles and a huge silicon-based stingray appeared in this rich material, land, inside, earth. Looking at the various basic observation data flashing rapidly in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but reveal a hint of surprise in his eyes. Although it is 50,000 light years away, the strong energy fluctuations and space-time fluctuations of the quasar structure are still as conspicuous as a bright light in the dark night. This is the extreme celestial phenomenon that human civilization urgently needs. Just as Lu Yongchang's attention was focused on quasars, the Sekker civilization sent Tachyon information again. It was a star map. Judging from the basic outline, it should be a detailed star map of the M87 galaxy. Among them, an area occupying less than one-tenth of the entire star map was specially marked. This marked area is the current sphere of influence of the neutral faction. As long as you don't leave this area, the sweepers and pastoralists will not attack you. After hearing this, Lu Yongchang's heart not only did not feel happy at all, but also became heavier. As strong as the neutral faction, they can only have less than 10% of the safe area now. It is conceivable how far the war within the M87 galaxy has progressed. I'm afraid it's not inferior to the Andromeda galaxy. With a heavy heart, he carefully looked at the star map. Dear Sekker Civilization, can we go to the side closer to the central quasar of the M87 galaxy? Sekker Civilization was silent for a while. Sure, there are many mysteries contained in the structure of quasars. I hope you can gain something. However, I have to warn you. The quasar area is the main battlefield for the sweepers and pastoralists. And areas close to quasar structures are not safe. Dear Sekker Civilization, thank you for the reminder. Lu Yongchang expressed his gratitude to Sekker Civilization but still did not change his decision. When he learned that the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster was in war, Lu Yongchang's sense of urgency became more serious. The seventh level civilization is still too weak. In the dispute between the sweepers and the pastoralists, I am afraid that only the eighth level civilization has the ability to protect itself. The accumulation of technology to break through the eighth level civilization must be completed as soon as possible. After briefly explaining various precautions, the Sekker fleet opened the wormhole again. Under Lu Yongchang's gaze, they left the area without hesitation. This scene further aggravated Lu Yongchang's confusion. It seems, they don't seem to want to have much to do with the silicon rays and the energy civilization. After waiting for a while, Lu Yongchang couldn't restrain his confusion and sent a tachyon message to the silicon ray. Silicon ray! This sector civilization doesn't seem to welcome our arrival? Silicon ray's response came quickly. How come? This is already the most enthusiastic welcome ceremony of Sekker civilization. Lu Yongchang. He subconsciously raised his hand and picked out his ears. Did he hear wrongly? A dozen strange-looking starships were sent to greet them. And then, they were randomly thrown into a corner. Is this the warmest welcome? Sekker has always had this temperament. Even when it came to the Tenth Empire, he looked indifferent. The silicon ray waved its large pectoral fins and flew slowly towards the nearest star system. This has something to do with their racial characteristics. You can't blame them. Racial identity? You should have noticed that the way Sekker individuals transmit information is very different from ours. Lu Yongchan nodded. Yes. In our civilization, this method of transmitting information with the help of optical signals is called optical fiber communication. Optical fiber. An app name indeed. Approaching the star system. The silicon ray slowed down its progress slightly. After a moment of silence, he said shockingly, those translucent ones. The optical fiber is actually the skeleton of the Sekker individual. From its birth to becoming an 8th level civilization, individuals of Sekker civilization have never liked to move. Normally, they will stay quietly with their tribesmen, relying on the bones connected to each other to transmit messages. A large number of Sekker individuals are connected together with their own special structure. They can even form a computer with good performance. 
Hack! Lu Yongcheng's eyes widened. Just imagine. While the newly intelligent humans were still trying to make stone tools to hunt animals. The newly intelligent Sekar civilization had already formed supercomputers on its own. Each individual is a computing unit of this computer. And information transmission between each unit uses optical fiber communication technology. Is this hacking cheating? Even Li Yongchang couldn't help but sigh. The advantages of this racial characteristic at the beginning of the development of civilization were beyond his imagination. He couldn't help but fall into reverie. If human civilization had such high information transmission efficiency and mature computer technology in the Stone Age, it would be impossible. How long will it take for humans to leave their home planet? Chapter 907, Art. But there is a cost. Before Li Yongchan could reach a conclusion, Silicon Ray sent another tachyon message. I heard that millions of years ago, the Sekar civilization, which had not yet left its home star, fell into ruin. As for the reason, civilized individuals are addicted to the virtual world they have made up and are unwilling to have any contact with the outside world. Metaverse? Lu Yongchang suddenly remembered a concept proposed by human civilization in the Earth era and murmured in a low voice. Really? Based on the conditions of the Sekar civilization, it can fully rely on its own supercomputer to realize the metaverse in the true sense. Suddenly, Lu Yongchang thought of the orange cursor that once appeared in the technology tree space. For the Sekar civilization at that time, this virtual world technology similar to the metaverse should be the so-called dangerous technology. Right? Of course. They barely got out of this state and put various limitations on virtual world technology. Since then, the development of Sekar civilization has gradually gotten on the right track. Lu Yongchang was slightly shocked. Rely on your own strength to escape from the civilizational death spiral created by dangerous technology. This Sekar civilization is a ruthless character. But? The starship shape of Sekar civilization. Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment and asked again. Won't this affect their war strength? Of course. Then why? As an instinctive behavior of civilized individuals, virtual world technology cannot be completely banned, but can only be restricted. Therefore, the development speed of Sekar civilization is not very fast. On the other hand, under the influence of virtual reality technology, the Sekar civilization is unwilling to contact other civilizations. They only want to live in their own world. In addition, the M87 galaxy is relatively rich in resources. In short, under the combined interference of many factors, the Sekar civilization was not affected by too many wars during the development of civilization. War has also been placed last among the needs of civilization. In their minds, war is far less important than science and art. Art? Lu Yongchang had a look of surprise on his face. He can still understand science. After all, it is impossible to develop to an eighth-level civilization without a desire for knowledge. But art, isn't this thing an internal medicine for civilization? In the era of escape from human civilization, art is even the most inconspicuous thing. It was not until human civilization gradually became stronger and stimulated by the culture of a large number of subsidiary civilizations that art began to sprout for the second time. Yes, art. They regard their starships as civilization's pinnacle works of art. This is also true. Each starship has its own unique shape. Silicon Ray's tone was also a little helpless. So, in the silicon-based alliance, the technological level of Sekar civilization is considered top-notch. But real combat power. It's hard to describe in a word. Of course, even so, as an eighth-level civilization, it is still the top existence in the universe. The corners of Lu Yongchang's eyes twitched slightly. This piece of stuff. Can it also be called a work of art? But when he thought about what Sekar civilized individuals looked like, he couldn't help but fall silent. Okay. He takes back what he said earlier. This bunch of starships might really be called works of art. After completing the supply work of the small universe, the human fleet moved towards its target area in order to better observe the quasar. The fleet needed to get as close to it as possible. Of course, within the safe zone of the neutralists, Lu Yongchang did not want human civilization to get involved in the war between the two giants. As for the Silicon Ray, after learning about the plans of the Inrigit civilization, he followed the fleet without hesitation and flew to the other side of the neutral faction safe area. While on the way, the fleet received welcome tachyon broadcasts from numerous neutral civilizations. But as they get closer to the quasar structure, the number of tachyon broadcasts begins to decrease dramatically. Obviously, these neutral civilizations are not willing to live in this extremely dangerous area. 200 years of ordinary time passed by in a flash. Earth calendar year 13,750. In the M87 galaxy, 
The sweepers and the pastoralists completely fought for real. The neutron fortress and the four-dimensional creatures were fighting like dumplings in the quasar area in the center of the river system. This directly created a scene that human civilization has dreamed of the activity of quasars has become more and more intense. In just 200 years, the activity intensity of quasars has increased several times. The most obvious change brought about by this is the two high-energy plasma jets traveling in opposite directions compared with 200 years ago. Their length extends outward by nearly 200 light years. But that's not their limit. According to Liu Yongcheng's calculations, even if the war stops at this time, as time goes by, the high-energy plasma jet that originally spanned 4,900 light years will gradually extend to 20,000 light years. Unlike other areas in the M87 galaxy, the area where neutralists gather focuses on a calm and peaceful place. 200 years of peaceful development allowed Liu Yongchan to start solving a large number of backlogged research projects in the Academy of Sciences. In his mind, the originally bare technology tree finally became fuller. But just like when advancing to the 7th level civilization, the cornerstone technology that symbolizes the 8th level civilization is still shrouded in fog. In his anxiety, Lu Yongchan could only continue to focus on the quasar structure in the center of the river system. He still remembered what the Sekar civilization said before leaving, there are many mysteries contained in the structure of quasars. Just like the original Silicon Ray civilization, the Sekar civilization also gave the Energet civilization a kind reminder. As Silicon Ray said, they are both silicon-based civilizations, and the Sekar civilization has great goodwill towards them. In the past 200 years, the Sekar civilization even sent several strange-looking starships to guard them from a distance. Only this social terrorist civilization obviously doesn't know how to get along with other civilizations in 200 years. The two sides have not even exchanged more than 10 sentences. Everything is moving in a good direction. Except for the highest research project of the Academy of Sciences until now. Liu Yongchang has not discovered the mystery hidden in this violent fluctuation of time and space. He could only lock himself in the office and check the complicated observation data over and over again. In the holographic projection beside him, he had modified the complex formulas and calculations countless times. Not only him, but every first-level academician of the Academy of Sciences is in a similar state. Chapter 908, Vacuum Zero Point Energy The central region of the M87 galaxy, 100,000 light-years away from the neutralist safe zone, there was a wave of space-time fluctuations and a dozen twisted spherical-like gray shadow structures appeared in the visible universe. The gray shadow structure floats slowly. An encrypted tachyon information is transmitted to the surroundings. Quark Fortress has been destroyed, and the Sweeper M87 division has fallen into decline. But we also paid a heavy price. For the successful implementation of the Annihilation Plan, this price is acceptable. After a long silence, new tachyon information continued to arrive. Not long ago, the starship of the Sekar civilization left the safe area. Leave the safe area? Where did they go? According to our investigation, those starships briefly left the M87 galaxy. Leave the M87 galaxy. Could it be that the Silicon Alliance is doing something small? Some time ago, a high-priority assistance message came from Andromeda. Could it be related to this matter? Possible. Just to be on the safe side. Go check it out. However, the war with the sweepers is not over yet. We. We have established a large enough advantage. Not to mention, reinforcements from the surrounding small galaxies are constantly arriving. So nothing will happen. The time and space that had just returned to calm began to fluctuate again. Those dozen gray shadow structures disappeared into the visible universe again. The other side, the United Fleet, inside the small universe, sitting in the office, Lu Yongchang is still repeating the boring data verification work. No idea. Within the quasar structure, there are no phenomena related to dimensional changes at all. Lu Yongchan frowned, with a rare expression of frustration on his face. Could it be that there is a deviation in the research direction? The cornerstone technology of the 8th level civilization is not dimensional technology. After experiencing countless failures, he couldn't help but have this idea in his mind. As time passed, this thought became more and more important. Wrong. It must be the wrong direction. Lu Yongchan stood up subconsciously, waved his hand and, through the holographic projections filled with calculations stacked in the office into the corner. He needs to change his thinking direction. This is easier said than done. Very difficult. Brand new holographic projections unfold one after another. And hundreds of years of observation data continue to emerge in them. Liu Yongchang raised his hand and started calculating again in front of him. At first, his movement seemed very stiff and slow. This is normal. 
It is not easy to change the direction of thinking after a long period of thinking inertia. But as time goes by, the movements in his hands are becoming smoother. A little more. A murmur with some doubt and confusion sounded in the office. The blue light of the holographic projection shines on Lu Yongcheng's face. His face was haggard. But his eyes were bursting with unprecedented excitement. A little more. Lu Yongcheng repeated again in a low and hoarse voice. This time, his voice was extremely sure. And the original hesitation and confusion had completely dissipated. Just now, during the data verification process, Lu Yongcheng suddenly discovered an extremely exaggerated error. The energy released in the quasar jet is a full 5% more than the theoretical situation. Moreover, as the mass of the quasar increases, the magnitude of the increase in error also increases rapidly. This can no longer be said to be an error. This is simply a revolutionary discovery. As for why it was not discovered before. On the one hand, under the inertia of past thinking, just like studying the collision of double black holes, everyone's attention has been focused on the changes in space and time around the quasar structure. On the other hand, due to the battle between the sweepers and pastoralists near the quasar, the mass of the quasar has been growing, which has greatly affected the research process. Part of the increased mass is the wreckage of the sweeper battleship, and the other part is the large amount of three-dimensional matter released by the dimensional creatures when they return to the third dimension. Lu Yongchang must calculate this part of the irregularly growing mass. This can be done through the observation and calculation of the surrounding space-time distortion. Looking at the two curves that were growing apart in front of him, Lu Yongchang took a deep breath and calmed down his inner excitement. The mysteries contained in quasars have been revealed to him. Only, where does this energy generated out of thin air come from? This is a quasar. Now, the energy it emits every second is even enough to destroy a galaxy. How could such majestic energy appear in the universe so quietly? For a moment, Lu Yongchang even suspected that there was something wrong with the law of conservation of energy. Just as Lu Yongchang was about to continue studying the mystery, a slight fluctuation came from the depths of his mind. There are changes in the technology tree. Technology tree space. The first thing that caught the eye was the modeled and weird background space. Although there was no text in it, and it had nothing to do with the technology tree itself, his intuition told him that the modeled background space definitely contained an extremely large amount of information. Just like a picture of blue sky and white clouds, the amount of information contained behind it is unimaginable. The purpose of entering the technology tree space this time was not this background structure. Therefore, Lu Yongcheng's eyes only stayed on this model background for a short moment. He raised his head and looked towards the top of the technology tree. Deep joy arose in his heart. The fog at the top of the technology tree still dissipates. The cornerstone technology that symbolizes the 8th level civilization is shining with a faint light, barely illuminating the dim technology trees around it. Endless energy. Preliminary mastery of vacuum zero point energy. Lu Yongchang subconsciously held his breath. Vacuum zero point energy. It turns out to be vacuum zero point energy. As early as the age of the earth. This most ideal endless energy source was proposed. If the vacuum is compared to the undulating sea of energy, then the positive and negative particles are the ripples on the sea of energy. Even in an empty vacuum, pairs of virtual particles and virtual photons are constantly generated. To put it simply, in the vacuum, a pair of positrons and negative electrons will suddenly appear. Then, the pair of positrons and negative electrons will annihilate each other to form virtual photons. The virtual photons will continue to generate positrons and negative electrons. And so on. This is the vacuum fluctuation phenomenon realized by the Casimir effect. Casimir effect experiment place two parallel uncharged metal plates in a vacuum. According to classical mechanics, there cannot be any force between the two plates except universal gravitation. But at a gap of 10 nanometers, the Casimir effect it can generate a pressure of 1 atmosphere and 100 and 1.3 kilopascals. The phenomenon of vacuum fluctuations also proves the existence of vacuum zero-point energy. Since there has not been much progress in research in this area, it has been gradually abandoned and forgotten by the Academy of Sciences. Chapter 909, Hua Bei. The brightness of the cursor is not even half of the normal level, but it exceeds the most basic bottom line. This means he can parse it directly using the overclocking feature. Any hesitation is disrespectful to science. After Lu Yongchang discovered this information, he did not hesitate to focus all his attention on the dim cursor at the top of the technology tree. In the completely quantized brain, inspiration begins to rise rapidly. After all, it is the cornerstone technology of the 8th level civilization. Even if its brightness is close to 
The difficulty of analysis is far beyond Lu Yongcheng's imagination. Even this body, which has been transformed several times and is between the quantum state and the normal state, is somewhat unable to bear the loss of the quantum brain. But, obviously, Lu Yongcheng cannot give up such an opportunity. He suppressed the dizziness in his mind and maintained this state of inspiration. More than an hour later, Lu Yongcheng, who was sitting on the chair, slowly opened his eyes. Although he was very tired, there was still a touch of excitement in his eyes. He raised his hand with difficulty and recorded all his inspirations in the holographic projection in front of him. Lines of theories and equations describing the zero-point energy of vacuum appear continuously in it. After several days of theoretical sorting and rest, Lu Yongchang stood in front of a group of academicians in high spirits. On his right side were holographic images filled with characters. Everyone! The above is the basic theory of vacuum zero-point energy. It is basically certain that the source of the unknown energy released by quasars is vacuum zero-point energy. In the extreme environment near the quasar, this energy is retained briefly. The more massive the quasar, the more obvious this phenomenon is. Of course, as time goes by, this extra energy will return to the universe itself. As soon as the words fell, the space-time research center fell into silence. The expressions on the faces of the academicians varied. Surprised? Curious? Of course, there is still more confusion and confusion. The academicians frowned slightly and carefully watched the steps in the holographic projection, trying to follow the ideas displayed by Lu Yongchang. There is no way. The gap between carbon-based brain and quantum-state brain is really too big. Lu Yongchang naturally knew this and was used to this situation. He sat down on his chair leisurely, picked up the teacup, and the old god was waiting on the ground. It is a good time to think about the application of vacuum zero-point energy. From theory to application, there is a big gap between the two. I do not know how long it has been. It's really an ideal endless energy source. A slight sigh came from not far away. Lu Yongchang looked in the direction of the sound and met the eyes of Lin Yongyin and he bite in looking at him. He smiled and nodded. Indeed, this is an ideal energy source. If we master the zero-point energy of vacuum, even if we are in an empty vacuum, human civilization can still continuously extract a large amount of energy from the surrounding space. Then the energy is directly converted into matter with the help of a mass energy interconversion device. And so on. Wouldn't this energy drawn out of thin air violate the law of conservation of energy? Tao Yuda's voice also came from beside him. Isn't this a perpetual motion machine? As the basic law of the universe, the status of the law of conservation of energy is unparalleled. To put it simply, if the law of conservation of energy is overturned, then the science that human civilization has developed so far will be a bunch of nonsense. Therefore, after hearing this question, Lu Yongchang's face became a little more serious. He put down the teacup in his hand and stood up again. Theoretically, this does not violate the law of conservation of energy. Under normal circumstances, the particle pairs formed by quantum fluctuations will quickly annihilate and return energy to the universe. But if we capture this energy or borrow it for use, there's no question that this would have huge consequences for the universe itself. As he spoke, Lu Yongchang raised his hand and wrote a line of calculations on the holographic projection beside him. The force driving the expansion of the universe is dark energy, which accounts for 68.3% of the total mass energy of the universe. Previously, based on the quantum cosmological equations, the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, the de Broglie-Bohm quantum orbital theory, and the Friedman equation with quantum modifications, we came to a conclusion, the source of dark energy is not zero-point energy in a vacuum. Simply put, when the universe is small, zero-point energy can effectively promote the accelerated growth of the universe. But when the universe expands to a certain limit, zero-point energy cannot provide sufficient support for the accelerated expansion of the universe. But the premise of this conclusion is the bubble of this universe. This conclusion becomes problematic once the rest of the cosmic bubble, the hyperspace brain, and even the fifth dimension are taken into account. Based on the latest space-time theory, I revised it. The source of dark energy is not all vacuum zero-point energy. The vacuum zero-point energy only plays a small role in it. If the vacuum zero-point can be greatly extracted. Lu Yongchang's voice paused slightly. It's like extracting groundwater from the planet's surface. Once the groundwater is extracted excessively, the ground will collapse. One day, the universe will stop expanding or even collapse. Perhaps, at the moment of complete universe collapse, all this borrowed energy will be paid back to our universe. Amid the worried exclamations from the academicians, Lu Yongchang smiled relaxedly. That's not something we're thinking about right now. As of now, 
the universe is still expanding. And we want to make the universe collapse. It's still very early. Maybe there will be no human civilization at that time. For example, you can think of the zero-point energy of vacuum as a super long-term Huabe with almost no limit. Tao Yuda suddenly interrupted Lu Yongchang's words. But, if there are more civilizations using zero-point energy, the collapse of the universe will accelerate rapidly. Right? There was sudden silence in the laboratory. Lu Yongchang's face also turned slightly gloomy. That's right. As time goes by, the number of advanced civilizations gradually increases, and the extraction speed of zero-point energy will only continue to increase. This means, all advanced civilizations use it. Lu Yongchang slowly sat on the chair and murmured in a low voice. We can't escape either. Upon hearing this, Tao Yuda's expression suddenly changed. A chill rose from behind him. Yes. Faced with this almost costless and almost infinite energy, no civilization can resist its temptation. Get ready to start studying the application of vacuum zero-point energy. Everything. Let's wait until we survive. Lu Yongchang said in a low voice. Chapter 910, Coming to the Door. In the technology tree, the brightness of the technology cursor, preliminary mastery of vacuum zero-point energy, the cornerstone of an eighth-level civilization, has reached 75%. This means that human civilization has completely mastered its theoretical foundation, and only the final application is needed. But, from theory to practical application, this is an extremely long and difficult process. I want to extract the vacuum zero-point energy from a space. There is no doubt that this difficulty is extremely huge. As the chief scientist, Lu Yongchang was leading a group of first-level academicians to make continuous attempts in the laboratory. Drop. A slightly urgent alarm sounded in the laboratory. Alert. As the blue holographic projection turned into orange, Zero's electronic synthesized voice also sounded. Abnormal fluctuations in space and time from unknown sources were discovered. Coordinate area. Li Yongchang stopped what he was doing raised his head, and looked at the orange holographic projection in front of him. Just one glance made him frown. A little strange. The intensity of this space-time fluctuation is not high. It can even be described as weak. Lu Yongchang made a simple estimate, and found that it was roughly equivalent to the fluctuation caused by a sixth-level civilization fleet entering curvature navigation. Theoretically speaking, this level of spatio-temporal fluctuations cannot trigger such high-priority early warning information. Most of the mid to low priority early warning information will not appear in front of Li Yongchang. However, the specific coordinates of this space time fluctuation have greatly increased the priority of early warning information. According to Zero's report, this abnormal space time fluctuation occurred outside the safe area of the neutral faction and is currently less than 1,000 light years away from the human fleet. This distance is quite sensitive. For today's human civilization, 1,000 light years is like a doorstep. In addition, on a large scale. The space-time fluctuation area is less than 50,000 light-years away from the central area of M87. This can already be regarded as the frontline area of the battlefield. These two extremely sensitive location factors directly raise the priority of this early warning message to second only to the war warning. After a brief thought, Lu Yongchang issued the order without hesitation. Suspend all research projects. The fleet has entered the first level of combat readiness. Open the small universe port. Inform Silicon Ray and Sekar Civilization of the situation immediately. The edge of the neutral zone safe zone. The silver-white Silicon Ray is lying lazily on the surface of a blue giant star, enjoying the pleasant feeling brought by the bombardment of star energy on the body surface. Unlike human civilization, he was not interested in the increasingly active quasar in the distance. After a long, tiring journey, the Silicon Ray just wants to rest comfortably for a little while. Suddenly, a tachyon wave coming from not far away woke up the resting silicon ray. He swung his pectoral fins violently and shot up from the surface of the blue giant star. That long, constantly wagging tail stirred up countless, turbulent waves on the surface of the blue giant star. After leaving the blue giant star, the silicon ray quickly entered a curvature navigation state and flew in the direction of the human fleet. The other side, five starships of the Sekar civilization are hovering quietly in the vast universe silently performing the task of guardianship. Starships come in all kinds of weird shapes. But considering the unique aesthetic and artistic culture of Sekar civilization, this is understandable. Imagine if a 100,000-meter starship was made into the shape of Venus de Milo. I would like to call it top art. The reaction of Sekar civilization is similar to that of Silicon Ray civilization. The moment the tachyon information was transmitted, 
These starships full of works of art quickly moved into action. Their target is also the direction of the human fleet. Human fleet. Under Zero's command, main starships of different models were passing through the small universe port in a knee queue. Accompanied by two bursts of space-time fluctuations of different intensities, the Silicon Ray and Sekker starships appeared one after another. Almost at the same time, a little further away, outside the dividing line of the neutral camp safe zone, dozens of gray shadow structures slowly emerged in the dim universe. At this moment, for advanced civilizations looked at each other across the illusory dividing line, pastoral style, fourth dimensional creature, in the tachyon communication. The exclamations of Silicon Ray and Sekker civilization suddenly came. Inside, Earth, Lu Yongchang's face also darkened. Why are the pastoralists here? Isn't this the territory of the neutralists? Fong Su's nervous voice came from the side. Do they want to attack the neutral faction? No one can give an answer. Even Li Yongcheng's eyes were filled with confusion at this time. Although the Sekker civilization is a bit scientific, it is still an 8th level civilization. The pastoral faction's opponent is the sweeper civilization. They won't provoke another 8th level civilization at such a critical moment. Right? Looking at the dozens of gray spherical shadows floating slowly in the holographic projection. A bad thought suddenly flashed through Lu Yongchang's mind. These pastoralists. Are you here specifically to find them? But the next second, Lu Yongchang threw this idea out of his mind. Since leaving the Milky Way, human civilization has always called itself the Energet Civilization. And the manufacturing style of starships has also undergone great changes. Perhaps some of the details still have shadows of the past. But that is not enough to prove the identity of human civilization. This was proven when the Andromeda Galaxy faced off against the Sweeper Civilization the other party had no clues to see through human civilization. Pastoral. The spherical shadow structure floats slowly in the universe. And its shape also changes slightly. Within the encrypted tachyon communication band, several four-dimensional creatures were involved in a heated discussion. The identity information comparison has been completed. And it can be confirmed that the other party is the human civilization from the Andromeda Galaxy. They seem to be observing the quasar structure in the center of M87. How to say? Do it directly? What to do? Don't you see that this is the territory of the neutral faction? What to do? According to the assessment results from the Andromeda Galaxy, they pose a great threat to the pastoral faction. As the neutral faction's only 8th level civilization in the M87 Galaxy, the Sekker civilization took the lead in attacking. Of course, Sekker civilization is still as socially terrorist as ever. They didn't say any nonsense. They directly showed a star map demarcating the territory of the neutral faction. And at the same time sent the other party a symbol representing a question. Question mark. The pastoral tachyon message came quickly. Sekker civilization. The pastoral faction has no intention of provoking a war with the neutral faction. In response to this message, Sekker civilization once again responded with a question mark. Question mark. Looking at the message sent by Sekker civilization. Lu Yongchang's serious expression was a little weird. He could even figure out the meaning of the interrogative symbol. There is no intention of provoking a war. So you are going to the territory of the neutral faction to have sex? Chapter 911, Stop Pretending. I'm showing off my cards. The pastoralist group did not respond to the message. It seems that they also have some headaches with this. Taciturn, 8th level civilization. After waiting for a long time, Tachyon information came again. Not long ago, the Andromeda Galaxy sent out a tachyon broadcast containing assistance information. Seeing this line of text, Lu Yongchan couldn't help but feel a thump in his heart. Good ones don't work. Bad ones work. Could it be that he really guessed it? On the other side, the output of Sekker civilization is as stable as ever. Question mark. After a brief silence, Pastoral sent a large number of messages at once. The content of the information is not complicated. It just reveals the true identity of human civilization or the energet civilization. At the same time, it also briefly introduces what human civilization has done in the galaxy. This time, the pressure came to the Sekker civilization in the neutral faction's encrypted communication channel. Energet civilization. Are these things said by the pastoralists true? The Sekker civilization sent a death inquiry. Not to mention the Sekker civilization. Even the Silicon Ray looked at the human fleet as if it had seen a ghost. What the H. L. Killed the pastoral two-dimensional creature painting during the fourth level civilization? Indirectly leading to the intensification of the conflict between the sweepers and the pastoralists. This isn't even the most exciting. In just 10,000 years, it went from a fourth level civilization to the peak of a seventh level civilization. What? 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 What are these? 
The silicon ray subconsciously raised its tail and scratched it on its head. For a moment, it felt like a husky mixed in with a pack of wolves. Inside Earth, the academicians looked at each other with more or less worry and panic on their faces. They were a little at a loss for this situation. Question. What should I do if the three top forces in the universe are interested in me at the same time? Waiting online. Quite urgent. Lu Yongchang sighed deeply, his eyes full of confusion, and murmured in a low voice. It's strange. Even the sweepers didn't know our identities. How did this pastoralist recognize it? Professor, now is not the time to think about this. Is it? Xiao Zijia, who looked a little pale, interrupted Lu Yongchang. Should we think of a solution? If this breaks out, there will be no way for human civilization to survive. After a short discussion, an encrypted tachyon message was sent to the Silicon Ray and Sekar civilization. Basically true. According to the advice of the School of Sociology, Lu Yongchang directly gave up the option of concealment and deception. Stop pretending. Let me show my cards. We are human civilization. The painting back then was killed by us. We have offended both pastoralists and sweepers. In this case, for the human civilization that is tied to the ship of neutrality, it is far more reliable to directly show its strength than to conceal it. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. As long as the strength is strong enough, human civilization can get enough attention. As analyzed by the School of Sociology, after revealing a series of shocking results, Secker's civilized attitude became more benign. Basic? So the part about the strength of civilization is not true. Secker's civilization subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. You were not a fourth-level civilization at that time. Right? I said. How can there be a civilization that can survive within 10,000 years? Ahem, there is indeed something wrong with this part, Lu Yongchang said with some embarrassment. Let me correct you. We did not upgrade from a 4th level civilization to a 7th level civilization. In more than 10,000 years, human civilization has successfully advanced from a 1st level civilization to a quasi 8th level civilization. Now that I've revealed my identity, it's better to do it all at once. Silicon Ray. Sekar Civilization. The atmosphere in the tachyon communication channel gradually became weird. Level 1? Quasi 8th grade? Have you mastered vacuum zero point energy? The former is an exclamation from the silicon ray. And the latter is a question from the Sekar civilization. Without any hesitation, Lu Yongchang said part of the key theory on vacuum zero point energy to the Sekar civilization. The tachyon communication channel fell into silence again. Sekar civilization looked at the data in front of him and fell into deep thought as one of the leaders of the Silicon Alliance. Although Sekar civilization is a bit socially fearful, it is still somewhat courageous. After a short period of thinking, it made a decision. Guaranteed. Enraged civilization. No. It protects the security of human civilization. On the one hand, as a member of the Silicon Alliance, the Sekar civilization has an obligation to provide assistance to human civilization. On the other hand, the Sekar civilization has also noticed that the current situation in the universe has been greatly turbulent. Strength is always the best weapon to protect yourself. Although the Silicon Alliance has a 10th empire, according to the information he has, the current 10th empire is far from being a match for the sweepers and pastoralists. Therefore, after learning about the glorious achievements of human civilization, Sekar civilization was moved. Perhaps the current human civilization is only a quasi 8th level civilization. But what about another 10,000 years? By then, his investment will bring extremely generous returns. On the other side, the silicon ray stared blankly at the human fleet in front of him and even stopped scratching his head. At this time, there was only one thought left in the core of his thinking. Hug your thighs. Must hold the thigh. He was promoted from a first-level civilization to a quasi-eighth level civilization in 10,000 years. Then in another 10,000 years, it shouldn't be too much for human civilization to become a level 9 civilization right? With a ninth level civilization at his back, he would be able to lie flat and be completely destroyed. Lu Yongchang's breathing was calm, and he stared at the holographic projection in front of him calmly. On the surface, there seemed to be no movement. But in fact, the fear in his heart was no less than that of any academician around him. A full ten minutes have passed, and neither the Silicon Ray nor the Sekar civilization has sent a second tachyon message. This is a big gamble. The stakes are human civilization itself. If the bet wins, human civilization will have a glimmer of hope. Lu Yongchang subconsciously clenched his fists, trying to calm his inner emotions as much as possible. Finally, there was a slight change in the Azure holographic projection. 
whether it is Energet civilization or human civilization. They are all part of my Silicon Alliance. The Sekar civilization and the Silicon Alliance have the responsibility to protect their safety. The bet was won. Lu Yongchang breathed a long sigh of relief. Feeling relaxed, he flopped down on the seat behind him. On the other side, the moment the declaration was issued, the main body of Sekar civilization also began to take action. A stable wormhole structure quickly appeared. And starships with strange shapes quickly got into it, heading in the direction of human civilization. In addition, the ultra-high-power tachyon broadcasting device set up in the center of the safe area and powered by more than a thousand stars has also begun charging. Chapter 912 The Gap Between Eight-Level Civilizations Pastoral The moment the tachyon information from the Sekar civilization was received, the fluctuations of the shadow structures of the dozen or so spheres quickly increased by a few points. Obviously, these four-dimensional creatures did not expect that the Sekar civilization would give such an answer. For a time, the four-dimensional creatures started arguing in the tachyon communication channel belonging to the pastoral faction. What should we do now? I suggest an attack on human civilization. There has never been such a civilization in the history recorded by the pastoralists. Once it is allowed to continue to develop, the consequences may be disastrous. How to solve the problem of Sekar civilization? If they try to block, destroy it together with human civilization. Let them know how huge the gap is between the eight level civilizations. The Sekar civilization is nothing. But if such behavior triggers hostility and attacks from the neutral civilization of the M87 galaxy against us, it may have an impact on the outcome of this war. The argument was not long. When wormhole fluctuations began to appear near the Sekar fleet, the discussion among the four-dimensional creatures came to an end. The threat to human civilization is much higher than that of neutrals. This is the consensus reached by four-dimensional creatures, even though this is likely to trigger a counterattack by the neutrals in the M87 galaxy, compared with human civilization, which is developing at a terrifying speed. They would rather face a scattered neutrals. Then, without any warning, the four-dimensional creatures directly crossed the invisible border, and the war immediately came to the territory of the neutral faction. A few minutes ago, accompanied by strong fluctuations in space and time, several stable wormhole structures are slowly taking shape near the human fleet. Starships of different shapes emerged from it one after another, and were arranged in formation. Looking at the four-dimensional creatures beyond the border, compared with the human fleet, the Sekar fleet's formation is extremely scattered. In the Earth Command Center, Zhao Zijia shook his head subconsciously. I'm afraid this Sekar civilization has never experienced a real interstellar war. Lu Yongchang nodded heavily. If a fight really breaks out, the situation of the war may not be optimistic. He pondered for a moment and sent an encrypted tachyon message to the Silicon Ray. Silicon Ray, can Sekar civilization resist the attack of these four-dimensional creatures? The Silicon Ray's response soon appeared in the holographic projection. Of course not. Even if fighting alone, Sekar civilization cannot be an opponent of four-dimensional creatures, let alone a total of 16 four-dimensional creatures here. Although Lu Yongchan was already prepared, he was still shocked when he got such an answer. How so? Isn't Sekar civilization an eighth-level civilization? Are four-dimensional creatures a ninth-level civilization? Of course not. Silicon Ray was a little helpless. Every four-dimensional creature is an eighth-level civilization. But, there is also a gap in the eighth-level civilization. Many times, the gap between level 8 civilizations is even larger than the gap between level 8 civilizations and level 7 civilizations. Lu Yongchan looked at the words in the holographic projection with an ugly expression. Don't worry. The pastoralists won't take action. Why? Always. They never will. Before Silicon Ray finished sending the message, a piercing alarm sounded in the command center. Warning! Warning of high-intensity space-time fluctuations. Zero's electronic synthesized sound was high and rapid enough to prove the danger of this unexpected situation. Without any warning or information, a total of 16 spherical shadow structures disappear directly into the visible universe. The next moment, when they appeared again, they had successfully crossed several light-year distances and appeared directly next to several wormhole structures of the Sekar civilization. Fourth Dimensional Jump In the command center, Lu Yongcheng's eyes widened suddenly, and he subconsciously stood up from his chair. For four-dimensional creatures, high precision, Long-distance four-dimensional jumps are as easy and simple as going out for a walk. Not good! In the flash of lightning, Lu Yongchan had already understood the thoughts of those four-dimensional creatures. Seek our civilization! Hurry! Close the wormhole! The tachyon communication carried Lu Yongchan's scream and sent it to the Sekar fleet on the side. But, 
It's too late. As a native of the four-dimensional space, in terms of understanding of wormholes, I am afraid that no civilization can match these four-dimensional creatures, accompanied by several special ways of space-time fluctuations. The originally stable Sekker wormhole quickly became distorted as if affected by an unknown object. It has to be said that the Sekker civilization has a very good control over wormholes. Under the sudden attack from the four-dimensional creatures, these wormholes managed to hold on for a few precious seconds. Wow! Under Lu Yongchang's gaze, several wormhole structures were like disappearing whirlpools on the water. After shaking a few times, they completely dissipated into the visible universe. The dissipation of a wormhole seems like a small thing in three-dimensional space. But the reality is not like this. For the starships traveling in it, an abnormality in the wormhole structure is tantamount to a disaster. With luck, these starships may be randomly thrown into the universe thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of millions of light years away. If you have bad luck, the space turbulence caused when the wormhole dissipates can tear any starship into pieces. A drop of cold sweat slowly slid down from Lu Yongchang's forehead. Something big has happened. Before the fight even started, the Sekker civilization was directly cut off from subsequent supplies. As for the number of fleet casualties, that is probably an exaggerated number. Pastoral style, an extremely strong tachyon message came from the direction of the Sekker fleet. You are declaring war on the neutral faction. The glowing beam of light came from the direction of the Sekker fleet and directly hit the slowly floating shadow structures. Dark matter cannon. Boom. The explosion of the dark matter chain reaction appeared in the dim starry sky. Like a large signal flare. Sending a signal to the rest of the neutral civilization of M87. At the same time, a tachyon broadcast came from the direction of Sekker's flagship. Enemy attack. Sound the war alarm. The pastoral faction invades the border and officially declares war on the neutrality faction. Faced with the message sent by the Sekker civilization, the four-dimensional creatures did not make any response. This is a habit developed while fighting the sweeper civilization. Once you decide to take action, you won't say any nonsense and just make a killing move. They know very well that as long as the Sekker civilization is eliminated, the Silicon Ray civilization and human civilization on the side will have no power to resist. The offensive methods of dimensional creatures are extremely weird. This point is vividly demonstrated in four-dimensional creatures. A Sekker starship, after being approached by a shadow structure, turned into a brilliant explosion of sparks without warning. That was the result of the leakage of the zero-point energy reactor within the fleet. Another Sekker starship was quietly broken into several pieces without receiving any external blows. Further away, the crew members inside dozens of Sekker starships were thrown directly out of the starships, struggling painfully in the vacuum environment. Everything happened in just tens of seconds. This is simply a one-sided massacre. In front of this group of four-dimensional creatures, the Sekker civilization, which is an eighth-level civilization and has mastered vacuum zero-point energy and wormhole technology, is like an underage child. Chapter 913 Rush to the Rescue of M87 At the moment when the four-dimensional creatures launched their attack, the high-power tachyon broadcast from Sekker's flagship also successfully spread throughout the neutral territory. Only, it obviously didn't have the expected effect. A large number of time and space fluctuations appear in the territory. But only a very small part of the time and space fluctuations are heading towards the battlefield. To put it simply, only a few level 7 civilizations choose to rush to the battlefield. The first reaction of most level 7 and level 6 civilizations is to flee to areas far away from the battlefield. The pastoral faction, aware of this scene, became more aggressive in their offensive. As they say, the neutrals are just a shapeless mass of loose sand. Even if these civilizations participate in the war, they will not have much impact on the war situation in the M87 galaxy. The Sekker civilization did not place all its hopes on these neutral allies. At this moment, the central area of the neutral territory, the energy supply network formed by thousands of blue giant stars connected to each other is fully extracting the energy inside these blue giant stars. Coupled with the zero-point energy reactor, Majestic and pure energy surged along the thick energy path towards an artificial planet comparable in size to an ice giant. This planet has only one purpose, to initiate a wide-area tachyon broadcast across the supercluster. With a continuous influx of energy, this ultra-large-scale tachyon broadcasting device gradually entered working status. Buzz. A low vibration came from the solid surface of the artificial planet. The next second, a wide-area tachyon broadcast with an extremely high energy level is centered on the artificial planet and spreads to all directions. The encrypted tachyon signal carried the information.
first flying through the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, and then across the Lania Chaos Supercluster. Eventually, it decays to an imperceptible state at the edge of the Lania Chaos Supercluster. This is a tachyon broadcast covering the entire Lania Chaos Supercluster. Broadcast audience, only members of the Silicon Alliance. The ultimate target of the broadcast is the 10th Empire, far away in the Hercules Super Galaxy Cluster. Due to the limitations of the number of stars and the level of technology, it cannot directly transmit information to the target area. But it doesn't matter. A few minutes later, several wide area tachyon broadcasts with similar energy levels appeared in the edge area of the Lania Chaos Supercluster. Like a relay race, these tachyon broadcasts quickly flew out of the Lania Chaos Supercluster and were transmitted to more distant areas. Virgo Cluster of Galaxies Binocular Galaxies Virgo Galaxy Cluster M86 Galaxy Hydra Galaxy Cluster NGC 3309 Galaxy Centauri Galaxy Cluster NGC 4694 Galaxy With the transmission of wide area tachyon broadcasts More or less abnormal movements have occurred in every galaxy What? Is the Pastoral Party Silicon Alliance taking action? What? The reason for taking action was that he was afraid of the development potential of a 7th level guy in the Silicon Alliance What? That little guy developed into a quasi 8th level civilization in 10,000 years? Can this be tolerated? One call, and a hundred responses. Under the influence of the Silicon Alliance's mutual help and teamwork style. Members of the Silicon Alliance, who originally stayed quietly in their own territory, and had no intention of participating in the war between the pastoralists, and the sweeper started to take action. Huge fleets set sail urgently. And the fluctuations caused by the super large wormholes spread to all directions. A little closer. The 7th level civilization rides on the hitch train of the 8th level civilization and sets off together. Those who are a little further away are the 8th level civilization attending the meeting alone. At this time, wide area tachyon broadcasts are still being transmitted to more distant areas. M87 Galaxy The border area of the neutral territory. After enduring a series of critical attacks, the incomplete Sekar fleet finally came to its senses and launched a comprehensive counterattack against the four-dimensional creatures. A large number of dark matter cannons and space weapons spread out in this area. Only, due to the Sekar fleet's insufficient understanding of the fourth dimension, they were unable to upgrade themselves or their weapons and ammunition. Therefore, these attacks are severely ineffective against fourth dimensional creatures. It's called Gua Sha for short. And the attack of four dimensional creatures on Sekar civilization. The attack launched from the fourth dimension easily bypassed all the shields and armor of the battleship, all real damage. No water at all. Of course, after the war started, the human fleet and the silicon rays were not idle either. Although their attacks are like small water guns, not even scraping, they are better than their intentions. Seeing that the Sekar fleet's casualties exceeded 70%, this war was about to fall into an absolute disadvantage. Strong fluctuations in time and space finally crossed the long star road and arrived in this chaotic battlefield. Countless tachyon broadcasts hovered in the battlefield. Dear Sekar civilization, the neutral Shima civilization comes to support. This is the neutral planet Karlin civilization. Neutral faction. Virus civilization. Sekar. Hold on. They are the M87 neutral civilization that chose to come to support. Unlike the Sekar civilization, these neutral 7th level civilizations still have some war experience. Before they actually arrived at the battlefield, countless dark matter cannons and space rifts roared towards them. The power of these attacks is not strong not even comparable to attacks from human fleets. But, the victory lies in quantity. This area gathers the neutral civilization of the entire M87 galaxy. Although most civilizations chose to flee and only 20% chose to support. That is still a number that cannot be underestimated. Quantitative changes lead to qualitative changes. Under the attack of ultra-high-density dark matter cannons and space weapons, even the four-dimensional creatures had to temporarily avoid the edge, they temporarily gave up their final pursuit of the Sekar fleet. The Sekar fleet also got a brief respite. Damn. Damn. Sphere-like shadow structures float slowly in the universe. A four-dimensional creature looked at the densely packed fleet around it and shouted angrily. There's too much movement. The branch has sent an inquiry message. This. How could this little movement attract the attention of the branch? The Sekar civilization initiated a cross-galaxy cluster tachyon broadcast. Damn it. Nearby river systems and galaxy clusters have experienced varying degrees of abnormal movement. According to information from the branch, an 8th level civilization has arrived at the M87 galaxy. Preliminary judgment shows that they are basically members of the Silicon Alliance. 
the communication channel of the four-dimensional creature suddenly fell into silence. Chapter 914 Leave a name in history. At this moment, the M87 Virgo galaxy has simply become the most conspicuous landmark in the Lania Chaos supercluster. The unabashed participation in the war by the members of the Silicon Alliance directly attracted the attention of all advanced civilizations. Of course, this also includes the neutral civilization behind them, since the wide area tachyon broadcast uses the Silicon Alliance's unique encryption method. The neutrals at this time were also confused. Did I join the war? When was the order given? What happened to the M87 galaxy? Ultra-high power tachyon broadcasts are transmitted rapidly between galaxies like no energy. Confused? Confused? After all the high-end combat power of the silicon-based alliance was eliminated, the group of more radical advanced civilizations on the neutral side were also a little unable to sit still. There is no doubt that the war between the pastoral faction and the sweepers has had a great negative impact on the normal production activities of the neutral faction. For those conservative neutral advanced civilizations, they chose to endure the calm for a while and take a step back to open up the world. But the more radical neutral civilizations are different. The more you think about it, the more you will suffer. The more you take a step back, the more angry you become. First of all, it was the sweeper civilization that unilaterally broke the tripartite agreement. Secondly, pastoralism is not much better. They also violated the agreement and launched a full-scale attack on the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster. The sudden outbreak of all-out war directly sounded the alarm in their hearts the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster, or the entire universe, was about to fall into war. In this case, retreating is never the best option. Every advanced civilization understands the principle of dying lips and cold teeth. It's just that most neutral civilizations choose to be ostriches with their heads buried in the sand. The reason behind it. After all, the knife hasn't touched him yet. And even if the sky falls, there will be someone taller to hold him up. But this does not represent the thoughts of all neutral civilizations. Among them, the radical higher civilizations are watching their own galaxy turn into a pot of porridge and they are worried that they will not have the chance to fish in troubled waters. The abnormal behavior of the Silicon Alliance directly gave them an excellent excuse. What is this called? The right time. The right place. The right people. Therefore, after the Silicon Alliance's fleet set off, there was once again a vast wave of space-time fluctuations in the major galaxies. This time, it's the radical civilization of the neutral faction. All space-time fluctuations are aimed directly at the M87 galaxy in the Virgo supercluster. Is it the end? No. It's not over yet. The spectacular scenes created by the Silicon Alliance and the Neutrality Faction immediately shocked the Sweeper Civilization and the Pastoral Civilization. Especially the Sweeper Branch located in the center of the M87 Galaxy. The head of the branch, who was performing a defensive mission and waiting for the arrival of reinforcements. Look confused. What the H, L? What did it do? As for the main force of the Pastoralists in the M87 Galaxy. Same reaction until they discovered that the location of a combat team was a bit strange the team's coordinates were not on the frontal battlefield, but on the edge of the neutral territory, and had even crossed the border. The four-dimensional creature responsible for commanding the offensive in the M87 galaxy only felt a numbness in its scalp. I asterisk asterisk asterisk. You asterisk 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 comma asterisk 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 asterisk. It directly turned on the tachyon broadcast, and sent an extremely cordial greeting to the sky-piercing combat team through the encrypted frequency band. The originally, hot, battlefield fell into silence because of this incident. The sweeper civilization, which is already struggling with defense, is naturally happy to see such a scene, especially after discovering the pastoralist combat team in an unusual position. They started to enjoy watching it. Good guy. I have seen people seeking death, but I have never seen anyone seeking death like this. The transmission speed of tachyon broadcasts is becoming more and more frequent. And the tachyon messages from the M87 branch are like reminders. Issuing questions and accusations. The mood of the four-dimensional creature headed by it fluctuated violently. And its projection in the three-dimensional space also changed greatly. Grass. Who could have thought of this? Just a small seventh-level civilization. They just want to solve a small seventh-level civilization. Who would have thought that it would evolve into a war of this magnitude? What is this called? Single-handedly triggering a melee among advanced civilizations throughout the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster? If nothing else, at least he can leave his name in history. Crazy. Those silicon-based civilizations are simply crazy. Now how to do? Continue fighting? That human civilization. Looking at the information in the Tachyon communication channel. The leader of this combat team felt that his blood pressure 
was rising rapidly. Still fighting? Beat the ass. Do you know that the entire Lania Chaos supercluster is staring at us right now? The branch has issued a death order. Retreat immediately. After saying that, as the captain, it turned around and retreated away from the battlefield. In just a few flickers, this gray shadow structure came 50 light years away. After confirming that it was safe, it started rubbing the wormhole without any hesitation. The wind is tight. Pull. If we stay any longer, not to mention the neutral faction and the silicon alliance, the pastoral faction M87 branch will probably have to deal with them themselves. Seeing that the space-time fluctuations caused by the wormhole were gradually getting stronger, the other four-dimensional creatures took one last look at the human fleet hiding behind the Sekar fleet and turned around to pursue their captain. This cosmic bubble. Wuxian Great Wall of North Pluto. This is the largest structure in the universe. And it contains countless superclusters and galaxy clusters. Stretching over 10 billion light years. The Milky Way is nothing more than an inconspicuous piece of dust in front of it. Hercules Supercluster. Along with the fluctuations in space and time. A fleet breaks free from the huge and stable wormhole structure. Clear markings on the hull indicate the identity of the fleet. The Tenth Reich. At the same time, a strong tachyon signal came from the rear. Like a breeze. Gently blowing through the fleet. Inside the fleet, several large individuals were exposed in the thick fog. Emergency communication comes from the Virgo M87 galaxy. Waves of electromagnetic waves pass rapidly through the mist. Virgo supercluster? This tachyon broadcast consumes a lot of energy. Did something big happen? After a brief silence, the intensity of the electromagnetic waves surged instantly. The sweeper unilaterally tore up the three-party agreement? The pastoral party launches an all-out war on the Lania Chaos supercluster? Empire home planet? Human civilization? A new member of the Silicon Alliance? Potential assessment result unknown? Becoming a quasi-eighth level civilization in 10,000 years? The information in the Tachyon broadcast completely shocked the Empire's top brass. Chapter 915 The Hollow Boodies. What happened to this universe? What is enough for 10,000 years? You know, the Empire spent far more than 10,000 years on the journey. In addition to being shocked, the Empire's senior officials also felt a deep sense of surprise in their hearts. Especially when they learned that human civilization came from the Milky Way and brought the Empire's home star with them. The favorability of the Empire's top officials towards human civilization soared. Okay. With such a potentially powerful civilization joining us, the Silicon Alliance has a bright future. Not to mention that this human civilization is still a fellow countryman in the true sense. This matter should be celebrated by the whole family. Before the Empire's top officials could give the order to celebrate, the second tachyon broadcast arrived. Silence. Boom. A dull sound sounded in the flagship and spread around. That was the sound of the tentacles of the Empire slapping hard on the deck. Following the actions of several high-ranking officials in the Empire, the originally calm mist began to stir, seeming to reflect the anger in their hearts. Pastoral style. How dare they attack members of the Silicon Alliance? Is this bullying me because there is no one in the Silicon Alliance? Thick dark gray tentacles were waving rapidly in the air, and the cylindrical body was constantly rising and falling in the mist. Damn. Give the order. Change course immediately. Prepare. Before he finished speaking, the third tachyon broadcast roared out. There was another moment of silence. Members of the Silicon Alliance rushed to ADM 87 Galaxy. Good. Good. That's how it should be. What? The neutrals also joined the war? This. In the thick fog. The Empire's top officials looked at each other in confusion. The entire Lania Chaos supercluster is in chaos. If I guess correctly, the neutrals probably don't know the specific situation yet and were forced to join the war. But, now that the neutrals have entered the scene, this war may not be fought yet. With the Sekar civilization here, there is no need to worry about the security of human civilization. Seconded, does the fleet still want to change course? We have not yet found a natural four-dimensional vacuole structure and we don't know how the sweeper civilization at that time had such good luck. Why? Vote. Move on. Or return to the Lania Chaos supercluster. A few minutes later, looking at the voting results presented in the fog, an electromagnetic wave communication echoed in the command center. Fleet. Repair on the spot. Move forward after replenishing the status. The target of this voyage is the Boody's Hollow. M87 Galaxy. Watching the wormhole fluctuations gradually dissipating in the holographic projection. Lu Yongchang swallowed hard, then raised his slightly trembling hand and sent a message of thanks to Sekar civilization. In the exchange of information just now, he has understood the reason for the retreat of four-dimensional creatures human civilization. 
which almost became the trigger for an all-out war in the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster. Although the crisis has been temporarily lifted, the Pastoralists have also sent a message to the Neutralists and the Silicon Alliance to clarify the misunderstanding. Lu Yongchang still felt a layer of fearful cold sweat on his back. If a war really breaks out, with the level of combat power displayed by Sekar civilization, I am afraid that human civilization will die without knowing it. Ha ha ha. Don't worry. The Pastoralists don't dare to provoke the Neutralists and the Sweepers at the same time. As the initiator of lighting the fuse, the Sekar civilization sent the Tachyon message carelessly. By the way, a response message has been sent from the Tenth Empire. Seeing this line of text, Lu Yongchang suddenly felt refreshed. The Sekar civilization cannot be counted on. If nothing unexpected happens, it is estimated to be the lowest in terms of combat power among the 8th level civilizations. But, the 10th Reich certainly isn't. New thighs. What did the Empire say? Lu Yongchang asked eagerly. The Empire thinks you have great potential and has issued a death order to the Silicon Alliance to protect your safety. But the Imperial Expeditionary Fleet has not yet found the four-dimensional vacuole structure. So, the Empire is currently unable to return. Is that so? Lu Yongchang pondered for a moment. Where is the Imperial Expedition Fleet now? The Hercules Supercluster. The next target is the Boody's Void. This piece of information directly triggered a burst of noisy discussion in the Earth Command Center. Lu Yongchang's face was also full of shock. Hercules Supercluster. All this went to Wuxian Beiming Zeo Great Wall. As for the Boody's Void, it is a terrifying cosmic giant structure. The huge hole with a diameter of 330 million light years occupies 0.27% of the diameter of the observable universe. There are almost no galaxies inside the void, making it a true dead zone. Before human civilization could respond, the Sekar civilization sent another message. A long time ago, the Sweeper civilization was a four-dimensional bubble discovered over the Boody's void. So it is understandable that the Empire wants to try its luck there. What's the meaning? Lu Yongcheng's heart beat violently. The amount of information contained in this sentence is too much. Literal meaning. 100,000 years ago, the Sweeper civilization discovered a natural four-dimensional vacuole structure in the Boody's void area and had a large-scale war with the Pastoralists. The victorious Sweeper civilization successfully obtained the four-dimensional bubble. Then, they analyzed detailed four-dimensional technology from the four-dimensional vacuole structure. It was also from that time that the strength of the Sweeper civilization officially surpassed that of the Pastoral faction. All goes well. Everything goes well. No wonder the Sweeper civilization was determined to find the two-dimensional fragments. No wonder they dared to unilaterally tear up the three-party agreement. Complete evacuation of the Virgo Super Galaxy Cluster. The message from Membrane revealed deep anger. We must not attract the attention of the neutrals now. The annihilation plan must not be exposed. Unlike the territory of the M87 neutral faction, the pastoral faction M87 branch is currently in an unprecedented crisis. This kind of dire situation cannot be solved with a simple misunderstanding. Not only do they have to accept the questioning of Membrane, they also have to be outflanked by sweepers and neutral civilizations from afar. In order to implement the requirements of Membrane, the original M87 branch of the pastoral faction had no choice but to give up the ring cosmic accelerator node that was within easy reach and withdrew from the Virgo Super Galaxy Cluster. As for the combat team that got into trouble in order to appease the anger of the neutralists and to stop the neutralists from pursuing the matter further. He was executed in public, but the information of human civilization was directly presented in front of Membrane. Membrane also noticed the seventh level civilization that came out of a remote corner of the universe. Look for an opportunity to wipe out human civilization as soon as possible. He gave instructions to all pastoralists. Chapter 916 Swearn Clan The Virgo Galaxy Cluster, especially the Central Galaxy M87, has gradually returned to calm. But that doesn't mean the war stops. On the contrary, at this moment, the war that spreads throughout the Lania Chaos Supercluster has just begun. The withdrawal of the Pastoralists has made the Virgo Galaxy Cluster the only pure land in this Super Galaxy Cluster, while the Sweeper branches in these galaxies breathed a sigh of relief. They also began the work of rebuilding and repairing the Ring Universe Accelerator. As for human civilization, also got an opportunity for stable development again. Although the original energy vest is gone, the status of human civilization in the Silicon Alliance has risen a lot. The reason, naturally, it is the wide area tachyon broadcast sent by the 10th Empire in the Hercules Super Galaxy Cluster. It clearly states that members of the Silicon Alliance have the responsibility and obligation to protect human civilization 
and ensure that it is not attacked by the pastoralists. It is also true that in the M87 galaxy, the starfield near the human fleet suddenly became a lot more crowded, the Sekar civilization, which suffered a heavy loss on the wormhole, directly moved the main body of the civilization to the human fleet. Nearby. Silicon Ray. Of course, there is no need to say more. Even if there was no order from the 10th Empire, he would definitely not stay away from the human fleet if he was determined to take over. Hundreds of years later. Earth calendar year 14,200. A spherical megastructure with a volume close to that of a star hovers quietly in the empty universe. Under the illumination of dozens of surrounding stars. This area is not considered dark. Of course, lighting is only a secondary role of these stars. Their main role is to provide starting energy for the central spherical giant device. Yes, it is the starting energy. This giant device, which is the result of hundreds of years of hard work of the People's Federation of Science and Technology, is called Suerens. It has only one function to mine or extract vacuum zero-point energy. In the past, Swearin invented the method of drilling wood to make fire and became the inventor of artificial fire in ancient Xia Kingdom. Today, Swarinchi can also lead human civilization to a new era and era of endless energy. The first laboratory of the Academy of Humanities and Sciences, including Li Yongchang. All the academicians were busy checking the various parameters of Swarinchi. Since Swarinchi is the first vacuum zero point energy extraction experimental machine, the inspection work before the experiment is relatively cumbersome. At the same time, the size of the device is also extremely large. But that's not a problem. As long as the experiment is successful, the miniaturization project will be put on the agenda immediately. Professor, the zero-point furnace has completed all inspection items. The energy pathway has been tested. Lu Yongchog stopped what he was doing. And after confirming that the last inspection item was completed, he issued the order in a deep voice. Start extracting star energy and prepare to activate. Swarenchi. Swarenchi area. Dozens of silver-white energy pathways extend from this spherical giant device. Extending straight to the blue giant not far away each blue giant corresponds to an energy pathway. Under the gravitational shielding technology and zero precise control, these stars not only did not have any gravitational fluctuations, they even stayed in place quietly. Dozens of energy pathways ignore the high temperature of the stars and are inserted directly into the interior of these stars like straws. The next moment, a large amount of stellar matter was directly extracted. And under the action of the mass energy interconversion device inside Swarinchi, it was all converted into pure energy. This energy continues to spread along the energy pathways within Swarinchi. The reminder lights kept lighting up. And the power of the zero-point furnace also began to increase, just like a pressurized water well. The zero-point furnace also needed a little energy at the beginning to act as a primer to extract the vacuum zero-point energy. The input power of the zero-point furnace has reached the standard. A line of bright white text appeared in the holographic projection. Start the zero-point furnace and start extracting vacuum zero-point energy. Lu Yongchang suppressed the excitement in his heart and gave the order without hesitation. Buzz. With an extremely slight tremor coming from the central core area of Swarinchi. The most majestic and magnificent energy in the universe appeared in the zero-point furnace. Output power 10%. 20%. 50%. The input of stellar energy has stopped, and the zero-point furnace is operating in good condition. Bong Su's excited voice echoed in the laboratory. The output power of the zero-point furnace is 100%. The running time is exactly 10 minutes. Suerin's stability is good. 10 minutes. This was the first goal set by Lu Yongchang at the beginning of the experiment. Listening to the reports, Lu Yongchang became more and more excited. Keep running. Time passes minute by minute. 20 minutes later. The operating status of Swarinchi is still very stable. But, drop! As the reminder sounded, an orange-yellow logo appeared in the blue holographic projection. Professor, Taoyuda's calm voice came. The energy cash area is about to reach its capacity limit. Today's Swarinchi is just a crude experimental machine. Therefore, the Academy of Sciences has not designed special energy conversion and storage functions for it. Then here comes the problem. How to deal with so much energy? Lu Yongchang, who had already made a plan, calmly operated the holographic projection in front of him a few times. In the empty universe, a huge hatch slowly opened on the side of Swarinchi. From the hatch, a huge gun barrel with a diameter of more than 100 kilometers protruded. This is the simplest and crudest energy release solution. You can even check out the performance of the latest model of dark matter cannon. Dark light flickered. Boom! A torrent spewed out from the cannon's muzzle 
and shot straight towards a nearby abandoned star system. The star system is not that big. Only about the size of two solar systems. A wave of time and space rippled out. Passed through the jump port that had already been opened and disappeared into the visible universe. The next moment, another jump port appeared near this desolate star system. A torrent of black light spewed out from the port and shot directly towards the star system. Wow! The chain reaction of dark matter unfolds. A powerful light suddenly appeared in this desolate star system. As time goes by, the light becomes stronger and stronger, even overshadowing the light of the two stars inside. Boom! The flames of the explosion completely engulfed this unlucky star system. When the light dissipated, it was completely gone. Only the scattered atoms floating in interstellar space can prove that it once existed. The energy has been released. The current, Swirenshi, energy buffer balance, 5%. Faint white text appears in the holographic projection of the laboratory. Chapter 917 Promotion 8th Level Technology Tree Success! Looking at the information in the holographic projection, a smile finally appeared on Lu Yongcheng's face. Not only did the performance of the Suerens experimental machine exceed his expectations, but the latest model of dark matter cannon also far exceeded his expectations. Destroy the entire star system with one strike. Of course, behind the powerful power is a terrifying energy consumption. Lu Yongcheng made a simple estimate. Without Suerenshi, even if the dark matter and antimatter reactors inside the white dwarf star, Chi Yu, planet fortress operate at the same time, it will take several hours of charging to meet the energy needs of this dark matter cannon. But in front of Swiranchi, this charging time has been compressed to 30 minutes. You know, this is just an experimental machine. It still has huge room for improvement. Once its size is reduced and installed on a starship, the combat power of the human fleet will be improved by an unprecedented leap. Just when the surroundings were filled with cheers, Lu Yongchan felt a familiar strange feeling coming from the depths of his mind. This is a sign that the technology tree is about to advance. With the successful operation of Swirenshi, human civilization has finally entered the threshold of the 8th level civilization. Lu Yongchang stayed as calm as possible, winked at Fang Su and others who were celebrating, then turned and walked towards his office. Office. Lu Yongchang sat on his chair and skillfully entered the technology tree space with excitement. As soon as he entered, his conscious body froze on the spot. Compared with the previous promotion process, the technology tree space has changed too much. First, there is the volume change of the technology tree itself. For the first seven levels of civilization, the size of the technology tree increases gradually. But level 8 civilization is different. Its volume directly increased dozens of times. This means that the amount of technology mastered by an 8th level civilization is dozens of times that of the former. Looking at the trunk of the technology tree that was like a world tree, Lu Yongchang was shocked and also had some enlightenment. No wonder the gap between the 8th level civilizations is so huge. Secondly, the changes in the volume of the technology tree have caused the volume of the technology tree space to increase several times. This is a normal thing. But, its changes have also changed the space background of the technology tree. The original model background has also expanded several times. This is a big problem. Lu Yongchang frowned and carefully observed the model background of technology trees. Perhaps because the area became larger and more details were revealed. The sense of familiarity in his heart became heavier and heavier. Suddenly, a horrifying thought flashed through Lu Yongchang's mind. No way! Lu Yongchang suppressed the shock in his heart, murmured in a low voice, and looked at the dim technology tree ahead. At the bottom of the technology tree is a lit cursor. Endless energy. Preliminary mastery of vacuum zero point energy. This is the cornerstone technology of the eighth level civilization. Countless thin white lines extend from it. And these thin lines are connected to cursors with varying degrees of brightness. Annihilation Starburst. Dark Matter Deflector Shield. It is not difficult to understand that these are technological applications based on vacuum zero point energy. Lu Yongcha continued to move his gaze upward. Perhaps because of the abnormality of the development of human civilization. There are also many cursors in the middle area of the technology tree that are half dim and half bright. For example, wormhole technology. Another example is for maintenance shields. He even saw an unexpectedly bright 30% cursor. Low-dimensional body constraint technology. After a brief period of confusion, Lu Yongchang suddenly realized. This should refer to the two-dimensional debris stabilizing device set by Hua back then. After a brief browse, Lu Yongchang gradually understood the reason for the large scale of the 8th level civilization technology tree. These are all dimension-based technology applications. For dimensions, 
two dimensions. Each dimension has corresponding technology. This kind of technology tree is not complicated. So it's weird. Lu Yongchan did not stay in the technology tree space for too long. Before leaving, he took another deep look at the modeled background. With his quantum brain, he forcibly memorized every detail of the background. Then, his consciousness shifted slightly, and he exited the technology tree space without any regrets. The moment his consciousness returned to his body, Lu Yongchan subconsciously wanted to open his eyes, and then controlled his body to stand up from his seat. Logically speaking, this is a very normal behavior, and can even be said to be instinctive behavior. But, he failed. Literally, he lost all control of his body. At this time, Lu Yongchang seemed to have fallen directly into an ice cellar, and his slightly excited mood instantly dissipated. What happened? Before he could figure out the specific situation, he discovered another magical thing although he couldn't open his eyes. It didn't prevent him from observing his surroundings. This is a magical feeling. Just like being in the technology tree space. His consciousness can observe the entire space without blind spots. Then, he looked at his body. A change occurred at this moment. Buzz. A burst of pure and surging energy surged out from the depths of his brain. Different from the past. The energy this time was too turbulent it penetrated directly into Lu Yongchun's body. This powerful energy formed a bright green materialized halo around his body. If there is an instrument on site to observe this energy in real time, he can even get a shocking answer the essence of this energy is vacuum zero point energy. The halo contracts quickly and then expands quickly. As soon as he retracted and released, his body turned into countless fluorescent green light spots, which quickly dispersed throughout the room. F asterisk CK. At this moment, there were only two beautiful words left in Lu Yongchang's consciousness. Gone. Am I dead? Flustered, confused, and confused. This was Lu Yongchang's first reaction. Anyone who watched his body being blasted into pieces by a burst of energy would probably have a similar reaction. But thanks to various experiences in the past, he broke out of this state in the next moment. Countless thoughts swept through his consciousness. Soon, he settled on the most likely idea. This is probably the last transformation of him in the technology tree space, starting from the transformation of his brain into a quantum state. Now, his entire body has been quantized. After finding out the reason behind it, the panic in Lu Yongchang's heart suddenly disappeared. After his mind stabilized, he also discovered his change. After his body was blasted to pieces, he felt that his whole body had lost its restraints now. His thinking speed is at least dozens of times faster than before. In his eyes, the world seemed to be superimposed in slow motion. He watched helplessly as the camera in the room glowed red. And the holographic projection began to flash warning signs. Most. Hi. Class. Don't. Police. Tell. Each text slowly flashed in his vision. Obviously. His sudden disappearance directly triggered Zero's highest alert state. Seeing that Ling was about to issue the highest level warning. Lu Yongchang felt anxious. Damn it! Don't! Cancel! Cancel the alert now! As his consciousness fluctuated violently, the fluorescent green light spots in the room gradually gathered and formed a palm in front of the holographic projection. Starting from the palm of the hand, these fluorescent green light spots continued to condense, and condensed into a figure with fluorescent green light all over the body at an extremely fast speed. When all the light spots solidified, the originally fluorescent green figure also transformed into Lu Yongchang's original appearance. Soon enough, at the moment when the alarm was about to be issued, Lu Yongchang's finger gently touched the holographic projection. Zero. I'm fine. Voice print confirmation. Fingerprint confirmation. Portrait comparison completed. Identity confirmed. Alert lifted. Under Lu Yongchang's gaze, the blood-red holographic projection returned to calm again. Chapter 918 Quantum Ghost the moment he saw the alarm was lifted, Li Yongchang subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. So close. Zero top-level warning procedures are no joke. He once asked for zero-related information and personally analyzed the underlying code of zero. Once the highest-level warning program is officially launched, not to mention the surrounding Silicon Ray and Sector civilizations, even human civilization itself will be directly classified as an enemy once abnormal behavior occurs. At that time, Zero was not recognized by his relatives. As the creator of Zero and the biggest beneficiary of strong artificial intelligence, Lu Yongchan knows the dangers of Zero better than anyone else. If it weren't for the underlying code that imposes a lot of restrictions, this thing is considered a dangerous technology in the technology tree. Perhaps because of Lu Yongchan's lack of concentration, the newly solidified body once again 
appeared a bit unfocused the bright green light spots were slowly drifting out from his body. Seeing this scene, Lu Yongchan quickly retracted his divergent thoughts and concentrated on stabilizing his condition. He slowly raised his hand, stared at the lines on his palm, and shook his head with a wry smile. Come on. It seems that I really need to go to doctor when this time. Thanks to his own quantum brain. He mastered the control method of the quantum state body in just a few attempts. After adapting to the office for a period of time and making sure he was comfortable, Lu Yongchang walked out of the office cautiously. Uh-huh. The sound of the office door opening attracted the attention of the academicians. Yongchang. Swirenchi Miniaturization Project. Seeing Li Yongchang's appearance, Fang Su's face showed a hint of joy, and he hurriedly greeted him. But, at this time, Lu Yongchang was concentrating on controlling his quantum state body. How could he possibly pay attention to Fang Su's words? While he was trying to control his body to behave like a normal person, he waved his hands to Fang Su who was walking towards him. No hurry! No hurry! Fang Su suddenly froze on the spot. It's hard to believe that these words came from Lu Yongchang's mouth. Yong! Yong Chang? Fang Su looked at Lu Yongchang in front of him with a suspicious look on his face. Are you okay? Lu Yongchang struggled to squeeze out a smile on his face. Do you think I'm fine? If he wasn't afraid of causing a sensation, he could even perform a transformation for the academicians on the spot. But then again, for the first time, he discovered that walking normally was such a laborious task. Perhaps because his whole body was quantized and his quantum brain completely lost its restraints. Lu Yongchang's thinking was particularly active at this time. With just one encounter, countless thoughts flashed through his mind until he found that his fingers were showing signs of blurring. While feeling shocked, Lu Yongchang quietly put his hands behind his back, stabilized his body and said, I, I have to go to Dr. Wen. Dr. Wen? Hearing this name, Fang Su's expression became more serious. Is there something wrong with your body again? Facing Fang Su's inquiry, Lu Yongchang nodded awkwardly. There is indeed a small problem. Maybe because the recent research time is too long. It's out of the way. Although he said this, Fang Su's expression did not relax at all. Let's go. I'll go with you. This isn't necessary. It is very necessary. Your physical condition is directly related to the future of human civilization. You must be aware of this. How is your heart? Oh? Ahem. It's okay. Let's go. It's not convenient to talk here. Half an hour later, Dr. Wen's office was flashing with green light. Fong Su and Dr. Wen opened their mouths slightly and looked at the scene in front of them in confusion. The general situation is like this. As familiar voices echoed in the office, the bright green light spots gradually converged into a figure. After a short wait, the familiar figure appeared in front of the two of them again. Fong Su, Dr. Wen. There was silence in the office. Is this the little problem you're talking about? No wonder they asked about his heart condition. At this time, Fong Su could only feel his heart throbbing in pain. Of course, he wasn't worried about his health. Let's not talk about the regular physical examination and maintenance programs organized by the Academy of Sciences. With the biotechnology currently mastered by the Academy of Sciences, as long as the brain is not fatally injured, it can usually be saved. Even with the help of various assistive technologies, people can survive and live normally even if part of their brain is cut off. Huh? Fong Su let out a long breath then stretched out his slightly trembling hand and pointed at Lu Yongchang's body. You, you. Lu Yongchang looked down at his body in confusion. No problem found? You? Where did the clothes you are wearing come from? Lu Yongchang's expression suddenly froze. Dr. Wen on the side also glanced at Fang Su with a speechless expression. We've been making trouble for a long time. But this is your focus? Seeing that Lu Yongchang's eyes started to look evil, Fang Su hurriedly coughed twice and changed the topic. What I mean is, can your current body be freely combined into other substances? Li Yongchang glared at Fang Su fiercely, and then explained, Does not. I did some general research, and the principle is somewhat similar to light materialization technology. You can think of the body I am showing now as a holographic projection with real touch. As for the real body, as you just saw, it should be in a quantum state. Dr. Wen nodded thoughtfully. You mean... It's no longer possible to conduct anatomy and observation on you. Lu Yongchang. Fang Su. It's just a joke. Isn't it funny? Facing the strange looks from the two men, Dr. Wen shrugged helplessly. Ha ha. Ha ha. Dr. Wen. I didn't expect you to be quite humorous. Fang Su subconsciously took a step back and responded stiffly. As for Lu Yongchang, he skillfully transferred this sensitive topic. 
let's get back to the topic. Dr. Wen, do you have any latest research results in this area? Hold on. Dr. Wen was silent for a while, then turned around and opened a holographic projection. In the projection, there are countless dense research materials. It's all over here. Dr. Wen raised his hand and gently pinched the painful eyebrow. Since the abnormality appeared in your brain, academician Mao Xingji and I have started research work on related aspects. Combined with the currently immature four-dimensional theory, we also have some guesses. The burst of energy you described did not actually occur in the three-dimensional space. As for which dimension, it is specifically, maybe it is the fourth dimension, maybe the fifth dimension, or maybe a higher dimension. I cannot draw a conclusion without data and theoretical support. But no matter what, it must be an impact from higher dimensions. Under the impact of high-dimensional, high-energy energy, your body is directly transformed into a quantum state. Dr. Wen was silent for a while. There is a word that may be able to describe your current state. Quantum ghost. Lu Yongchan was stunned for a moment, then smiled bitterly. Don't tell me. It's really appropriate. Although we don't know the specific process and principle, according to our speculation, this state should have a lot of benefits for you. Dr. Wen's voice continued. In this regard, we can do a simple test. Chapter 919 Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation After leaving Dr. Wen, the little uneasiness in Li Yongchang's heart completely dissipated. That's right. So far, whether it is changes in the brain or body, everything has changed in a favorable direction. And he really felt the additional effect of his current physical condition on research. The substantial improvement in thinking speed is only one of the trivial improvements. The most important and critical advancement is the cognitive ability in dimensions. It turned out that as a three-dimensional creature, Lu Yongchan could not understand the four-dimensional space very well. Even if he has a quantum brain, he only has slightly stronger high-dimensional cognitive abilities than ordinary people. But it's different now. Perhaps because of the impact of high-dimensional and high-level energy, Lu Yongchan discovered a magical phenomenon during the test. Those four-dimensional space phenomena that previously required mathematical formulas to be described. Now he can actually imagine specific pictures in his mind. This is an almost impossible ability for a three-dimensional creature. In the difficult dimensional research work, this is simply a plug-in ability. Just imagine, while others are still learning to recognize various simple flat images in kindergarten, you can already easily outline three views of complex three-dimensional objects in your mind. What an advantage. It is precisely for this reason that Lu Yongchang defines himself as a 3.5-dimensional creature at this time. It is a defective product that has not been fully upgraded. The next day, early morning. He Bailin woke up from his sleep in high spirits, washed briefly, and then rushed to the first laboratory of the People's Federation. Suerin's miniaturization project has been put on the agenda. As a first-level academician, he must lead by example and get involved in this new research project as soon as possible. Under the leadership of the robotic arm crawler robot, he Bailin quickly arrived at the laboratory door. He gently jumped off the deck on the back of the robot and gestured towards the robot. After watching this robot follow the rest of the robotic arm robots and begin to perform zero assigned basic tasks, he Bailin walked towards the interior of the laboratory with slightly hurried steps. Uh-huh. The door suddenly opened. Unlike usual, the interior of the laboratory was dark at this time. He Bailin couldn't help but froze on the spot. According to past experience, if the laboratory is not only brightly lit all night, it will at least ensure basic lighting conditions. This. What's going on? Suddenly, a shaking figure came into his eyes. After careful identification, he Bailin couldn't help but exclaim, Professor Lu? Why are you in the laboratory? Hearing he Bailin's voice, Lu Yongchog stopped what he was doing, turned around and smiled. How? I can't be in the lab? No, that's not what I mean. He Bailin laughed sarcastically and pointed to the holographic clock on the wall that was flashing fluorescent light. It's only four o'clock in the morning. It's too early for you. Morning? Lu Yongchan smiled meaningfully. After returning from Dr. Wen's place, he never rested. In a sense, this may be the biggest advantage of the quantum ghost state, he does not feel tired at all. Even after a day and night of intense mental work, his spirit is still in the most perfect state. What are you studying? As he spoke, He Bailin had already walked to Lu Yongchan's side, looking at the complex model patterns in the holographic projection. He couldn't help but froze. This shouldn't be something from the Swiranchi miniaturization project. Right. Lu Yongchang concentrated on describing the patterns. He needs to ensure the accuracy of the pattern as much as possible. Of course not. 
Then you are. How to explain it? Lu Yongchok stopped what he was doing with some trouble. You can think of it as a picture in my dream. I think it is very likely that there is a piece of information with extremely high information entropy hidden in it. Hearing what Lu Yongchong said, he Bailin also became interested. It was still early anyway. So he simply sat next to Lu Yongchong and carefully observed Lu Yongchong's extremely detailed and tracing-like drawing movements. Time passes by one second. The number of academicians in the laboratory also began to gradually increase. After discovering Lu Yongchong, all the academicians and researchers quietly came behind him and silently observed his movements. After checking it one last time, Lu Yongchong breathed a sigh of relief. Finally finished. Seeing He Bailin's still confused expression, Lu Yongchong smiled and waved his hand. Uh huh. The holographic projection instantly enlarged and directly covered the entire laboratory. Looking at the scene in front of him, Lu Yongchong was slightly absent minded. If he hadn't seen the instruments in the laboratory and the academicians around him, he would have even thought that he had really arrived in the technology tree space. Do you feel familiar? Lu Yongchong asked He Bailin with a chuckle. He Bailin frowned slightly. Indeed, there is an inexplicable feeling of familiarity. But I can't explain why. It just feels a little weird. Lu Yongchong said nothing. He straightened his expression, raised his hand, and quickly operated on the holographic projection beside him. Then, he stretched out his hands and pulled hard to both sides. Wow! The original model pattern, under Lu Yongchong's drag, turned into two similar but completely different sizes. This, this is, when he saw one of the smaller images. He Bailin's expression suddenly changed, and he couldn't help but explain. Cosmic microwave background radiation map? Good. Lu Yongchang quickly called up a cosmic microwave background radiation map drawn by the Academy of Sciences, and placed it on the small image. Zero quickly gave the comparison results. Matching degree, 100%. Chapter 920 The True Face of the Universe When the result appeared in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's face suddenly showed a hint of joy visible to the naked eye. Really? His guess was not wrong. As early as the moment the technology tree broke through level 8, he realized a small part of the truth hidden in the model background. Without detailed comparison data, he could not draw a conclusion at that time. But now, the answer is clear. Among the huge model background images, a small part is the cosmic microwave background radiation image. Teach, Professor. He Bilan's confused voice came from the side. If this small image is a map of the cosmic microwave background, then what should this large image be? Compared with small images, large images are increasingly complex, with countless structures and shapes that he has never seen before. Lu Yongchang slowly turned back and looked meaningfully at Yi Bailin beside him. Of course, it's also a map of the cosmic microwave background radiation. Hearing this, He Binlin suddenly felt that his brain froze. This, this is impossible. In order to prove his point, he reached out and worked on the holographic projection. Comparing the large modeled image with the cosmic microwave background radiation map drawn by the Academy of Sciences. Good agreement, 9.731%. He Bailin pointed at the result and looked at Lu Yongchang again. Professor, this, faced with He Bailin's doubts, Lu Yongchang just chuckled. I didn't say this was the cosmic microwave background radiation of this universe. Wah! What? The moment Lu Yongchang finished speaking, there were light or heavy exclamations throughout the laboratory. He Bailin, who was sitting next to Lu Yongchang, jumped up from his chair with a loud sound. His eyes widened, and he pointed at the holographic images surrounding him with horror on his face. Professor, what you said is not a joke. Yes. According to the latest research results of the Academy of Sciences, there is indeed more than one universe in the world. Even the number of universes will exceed everyone's imagination. But this is all still theoretical. At this time, Lu Yongchan directly presented the most powerful evidence and even put the standard answer directly in front of these academicians. This is considered a joke. Calm down. Lu Yongchang smiled and waved his hand to He Bailin and other academicians. Listen to me first. He Bailin returned to his seat in surprise. As for Lu Yongchang, he reached out and drew a circle in the center of the large model background picture. You can take a closer look. Although the degree of agreement between the two images is not high, there is a very high degree of similarity and correspondence between the two. In every block in the cosmic microwave background radiation map, you can find corresponding areas with extremely high similarity. At the same time, there are a lot of forms and structures in this larger image that we have never observed. He Bailin's eyes followed Lu Yongchang's fingers and stayed on several key areas for a long time. 
Then, he nodded thoughtfully and agreed with Li Yongchun's point of view. You are right. But, Professor, the observation technology of the Academy of Sciences can now easily observe areas outside the observable universe. This is why we have successfully redrawn the microwave background radiation map of the entire universe. But even so, the similarity between the two is only 10%. Are our observation methods not advanced enough? Is the real universe bigger than what we observe? Li Yongchang nodded with a smile. Certainly, each corresponding area, although similar, is still slightly different. What did you think of? He Bailin frowned, and after thinking for a long time, he still shook his head with a confused expression. Professor, I don't understand what you mean. The smile on Li Yongchang's face gradually faded. He stood up, looked around at the model background, and sighed in a slightly aged tone. It means these are two very similar universes, but completely different sizes. There was silence in the laboratory. All academicians, including He Bailin, were shocked by Liu Yongchang's remarks. Furthermore, that is probably the opposite of our universe. For example, our universe is on one side of the hyperspace membrane, like the part of an iceberg floating on the water, and that universe is hidden on the other side of the hyperspace membrane, just like the part of the iceberg hidden under the water. This, He Bailin, who heard this statement for the first time, subconsciously took a step back. Even for academicians of the People's Academy of Sciences, who are always accepting new knowledge, this statement is a bit too advanced. However, the quality of a first-level academician still allowed him to remain calm and ask a question. Professor, is there any evidence for your statement? Facing He Bailin's gaze, Liu Yongchang raised his hand again and called up a large number of images and data in the holographic projection. Actually, there were warnings, but we didn't pay attention. The most powerful piece of evidence is black holes. Where do you think the antigravitons near the black hole come from? Why have we never found antigravitons outside the black hole region? There are also sporadic antimatters that naturally exist in every corner of the universe. Where do they come from? He Bailin swallowed hard. Under Liu Yongchang's series of rhetorical questions, his originally somewhat rigid thinking finally started to work. You mean, that's where all natural antimatter comes from? The anti-universe? Yes, anti-universe. Liu Yongchang nodded. A very appropriate statement. In the anti-universe, all matter is probably made of anti-particles, anti-planet, anti-star, anti-galaxy, and black holes are the bridge between two universes. It's quite interesting to say that in the other party's view, the matter in our universe is probably antimatter. The inspiration for these conjectures actually comes from an inconspicuous technology cursor with a brightness level of more than half in the technology tree space. Annihilation Starburst As a traditional art skill of the People's Federation, after the technology tree space was promoted to level 8, Liu Yongchang immediately focused on this seemingly powerful weapon technology. Then, he received an inspiration that made academician Yevgeny feel ecstatic. Use the vacuum zero-point energy engine as the energy source to create an anti-star composed of anti-hydrogen and anti-helium out of thin air. Then, control the anti-star to collide with the star. This is the enhanced version of the twin starburst, the Annihilation Starburst. It was this inspiration that completely awakened him and made him realize the mystery hidden in the background of the technology tree. Chapter 921 The Technological Explosion of the Eighth Level Civilization The dual cosmology proposed by Liu Yongchang brought unprecedented shock to the academicians present. The universe is like an iceberg. The universe where human civilization exists is just the tip of this iceberg that has surfaced. The hyperspace membrane separates the two universes and prevents the occurrence of universe-level annihilation reactions. He Bailin took several deep breaths, seemingly calming down the complicated emotions in his heart. But, He Bailin considered his words, as if talking to himself, or asking Liu Yongcheng a question. Why is the volume of the anti-universe so much larger than the universe? It sounds like it doesn't make sense. Liu Yongcheng shrugged. The answer to this question may have to be traced back to the beginning of the universe. But in any case, according to the information given in this picture, the volume ratio of the positive and negative universes is indeed very different. He Bailin suppressed his confusion about the origin of the universe and asked again, Professor, the source of this image, dreamed about it? What a joke. Is it possible to dream of something like this? Facing the gazes of the academicians, Liu Yongchang had some helpless thoughts. Wow. The figure originally sitting on the seat turned into countless bright green light spots, that dispersed in the laboratory space. Before the academicians could utter an exclamation, the fluorescent green light spots gathered into a familiar figure at an extremely fast speed. 
looking at the stunned academicians in front of him. Lu Yongchang explained softly. Of course, the secrets of the technology tree space cannot be exposed. The reason why the body is quantized. Lu Yongchang copied Dr. Wen's statement and attributed it all to an unknown energy explosion that occurred at high latitudes. As for the model cosmic microwave background radiation picture, that would be better to make it up. He is the only quantum being in the entire human union. So he doesn't have the final say in what he can see. Even so, it will still take some time for academicians to fully accept these two things that are far beyond the scope of normal human understanding. Seeing the academicians in a daze, Lu Yongchan could only wave his hand and temporarily cancel the research plan for the day. 100 years later, Earth calendar year 14,300. After becoming a quantum ghost, Lu Yongchang's cognitive ability of higher dimensions has increased a lot. Thanks to this, the Academy of Science's research progress on dimensional technology has begun to soar as if it were on a rocket. The complete four-dimensional jump technology is the first high-dimensional technology breakthrough made by the Academy of Sciences. Today's four-dimensional jump technology is completely mature it can easily achieve. Short distance, jumps of tens of light years to warships and even planets. There is no doubt that the energy consumed by a jump of this level is an astronomical amount. Liu Yongchang also increasingly understood the reason why the cornerstone technology of the 8th level civilization was vacuum zero-point energy without the support of the vacuum zero-point energy engine, Swarenchi. All of this would be just empty talk. After truly mastering the four-dimensional jump technology, Liu Yongchang's understanding of the four-dimensional space has improved day by day. The four-dimensional shield technology that originally troubled the Academy of Sciences for a long time has also achieved a breakthrough within 50 years. Just like the Sweeper Civilization battleship, the four-dimensional Klein bottle with a special three-dimensional projection structure can wrap the battleship like a shield to deflect any attack in the three-dimensional space. As long as the attack does not exceed the load of the four-dimensional shield generation unit, this kind of shield is almost invincible to three-dimensional creatures. Two consecutive breakthroughs in four-dimensional technology have laid the foundation for further research. Neither the Silicon Ray nor the Secker civilization could have imagined that in just a few hundred years, humankind would directly jump from a quasi-8th-level civilization to an 8th-level civilization. They never imagined that human civilization, which has been promoted to the 8th level of civilization, can actually experience a grand explosion of science and technology. Until 20 years later, in the year 14370 of the Earth's calendar, a strong fluctuation in space and time appeared near the human fleet. This sudden fluctuation in time and space frightened the Silicon Ray and Secker civilization waiting not far away. The Silicon Ray put down the blue giant bathtub it had just found. And the Secker civilization urgently activated all its warships. When they arrived near the human fleet across a distance of tens of light years, they only saw a spherical space-time distortion structure that was running stably. This is Wormhole. The moment they saw the wormhole, the Secker civilization was immediately furious. The damn pastoralists haven't given up yet. How long has it been? The Silicon Alliance and the neutral factions are really easy to bully. For a moment, Secker starships with different shapes turned on their full power and sprinted towards the wormhole. Human civilization. Retreat immediately. At this moment, the Secker civilization is fully prepared for battle. The moment the Tachyon information was sent, the Secker fleet directly turned on the wormhole generation and stabilization device they were preparing to create a wormhole of the same size near this unknown wormhole. When the distance is too close, there is strong mutual interference between wormholes. Just like the turbulence in the ocean, even the pastoral four-dimensional creatures are not willing to face this kind of space turbulence. Since the last time they suffered a heavy loss, Secker civilization has put this tactic on its research plan. Even if they can't cause harm, they still want to let those four-dimensional creatures taste the chaos of the wormhole. Inside the People's Federation's first laboratory, Lu Yongchang, who was focusing all his attention on the wormhole data, suddenly heard a piercing siren. He glanced at the holographic projection, looking at the warning message given by Zero and the tachyon message sent by Sekar civilization. Lu Yongchang's face was filled with confusion. This? What's going on? Before Lu Yongchang could recover, another alarm sounded. Warn! The stability of the wormhole is declining sharply. Warning! Unknown space-time distortion discovered. Two alarms sounded in succession, frightening Liu Yongchang's whole body. Damn it! What is the Secker civilization doing? The experiment is about to be successful. Why don't you do it for me? While he was feeling anxious, Liu Yongchang's hands quickly disappeared and turned into countless bright green light spots. These bright green light spots quickly fell on the five holographic projections in front of him. Seemingly, dancing, in a chaotic manner. 
a large number of instructions are issued simultaneously. On the one hand, Zero quickly adjusted the wormhole stabilization device according to Li Yongchang's order, trying to stabilize the state of the wormhole. On the other hand, pieces of tachyon information were sent to the Sekker civilization. Coming from afar, Sekker civilization. This is a wormhole created by human civilization. Chapter 922 Family Members Who understands? The encrypted tachyon broadcast is transmitted around at super light speed. The Sekker civilization was the first to receive this message followed closely by the silicon ray, which was still on the road. Secker? Silicon ray? At this moment, the tachyon communication channel is filled with question marks and exclamation marks from the Secker civilization and the silicon ray. What the H, L? Can you create a wormhole? Isn't human civilization a quasi-eighth level civilization? As the silicon ray hurried on, it raised its tail and scratched its hard skull. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out at all. For 1,500 years ago, when we first met, the other party was still a small 6th level civilization. For 1,500 years later, the other party has become a leader among the 8th level civilization, yes. Wormhole technology is a watershed for the 8th level civilization. After mastering wormhole technology, the scope of activities of an 8th level civilization will increase by leaps and bounds, and its war potential will also be greatly improved. All of this only took 4,500 years of which nearly half was spent on the road. Family members? Who knows? Although he said that, Silicon Ray accepted all this calmly after a brief period of confusion as a gangster. The stronger his thighs, the easier his future life would be. Thinking like this, the Silicon Ray slowed down its progress. As for the Sekker civilization on the other side, after a brief shock, he hurriedly shut down the wormhole generation device on the battleship and sent an apology tachyon message to human civilization. More than 10 hours later, under the joint gaze of the Silicon Ray and Secker fleets, a mobile experimental ship slowly entered the stable wormhole structure. A few minutes later, a tachyon message comes from Infinity. In just a few minutes, the mobile experimental ship successfully crossed 100,000 light years and arrived at the target star system. The first wormhole experiment was declared a success. When the Academy of Sciences was filled with cheers, Secker civilization could not restrain its anxiety and sent a tachyon message. Human civilization. Have you advanced to level 8 civilization? The reason why I send this message is that there is no shortage of miracles in the universe. Not to mention those four dimensional life forms that grew up playing wormholes. Some, gifted, civilizations will also master wormhole technology in advance because of the wrong technology tree. As the designated guardian civilization of human civilization, the Sekker civilization must ensure that it has a clear understanding of the strength of human civilization It also reports the situation to the Tenth Empire regularly. Certainly, human civilization was lucky enough to master the vacuum zero-point energy engine 170 years ago and successfully promoted to the Eighth Level Civilization. Sekker? Still lucky? Are you polite? At this moment, the mood of Sekker civilization individuals is extremely complicated. On the one hand, whether it is the silicon-based alliance or the Sekker civilization. The strength of human civilization has no harm at all. On the other hand, as an old guy who has developed for millions of years before becoming an 8th level civilization, he must feel a little unbalanced when he sees a monster like human civilization. Grass. We are all a cosmic civilization. Why can they develop so fast? After briefly confirming the strength of human civilization, the Sekker fleet left silently. Then, they quietly withdrew their fleet a hundred light years away. On the one hand, this can express goodwill to human civilization no one wants to be surveilled, even if it is to protect their own safety. On the other hand, Sekker civilization has to admit a fact. I'm afraid it won't be long before the combat power of human civilization exceeds theirs as long as human civilization successfully builds an eighth level civilization starship, also known as a neutron star starship. Earth calendar year 14,500. The blowout period of dimension technology has long ended, replaced by the rapid development of conventional technology. Under the leadership of Li Yongchang, the Dark Matter Deflector Shield Research and Development Project was declared successful. The stability of dark matter is enough to restrain the two-dimensional fragments of the painting, and the shield made of this material has undoubtedly incredible stability and protection. The composite shield system composed of four-dimensional shields. Dark Matter Deflection Shields and Space Shields has also been identified by the Academy of Sciences as the basic defense system of Neutron Star Starships. In addition, weapons. 
The mastery of Vacuum Zero Point Energy has greatly improved the attack power of original weapons, the current human fleet hardly needs to consider the issue of energy consumption. Especially the introduction of the Annihilation Starburst technology allowed Academician Yevgeny to completely let himself go. Not powerful enough? Just add the equivalent. There's nothing heap equivalent can't solve. As for Academician Wilson, compared to Yevgeny, he may be the biggest beneficiary of Swirenchi. Energy weapons inherently have high requirements on energy. With the endless energy source of Swirenchi, Academician Wilson has refreshed the upper limit of the power of energy weapons again and again. The continuous advancement of weapons has brought great research motivation to the academicians of the materials branch of the Academy of Sciences. The spear has become sharper. But the shield cannot remain where it is. Right? As the mass of neutron stars continues to increase, they may become quark stars. The successful construction of dense quark materials has further improved the defense capabilities of the human fleet. Seeing the technology tree in the technology tree space gradually becoming more prosperous, Lu Yongchan did not hesitate at all and took advantage of the situation to propose a plan to rebuild the fleet. The Neutron Star Starship construction project is officially on the agenda. Compared with previous starships, the size of Neutron Star Starships has not only not increased. On the contrary, they have even shrunk a lot. The flagship, Earth, has been reduced in size to the level of 100,000 meters. The secondary flagship, Titan Mothership, is reduced in size to 80,000 meters. Not to mention the main battleships. Their scale has returned to the 50,000 meter level. Just like the starships of the Sweeper Civilization. All of this is based on a deep understanding of high dimensional space. With the support of space compression technology. Although the size of the starship has shrunk a lot. Its internal space has increased a lot. And its combat power level has far exceeded the original white dwarf starship. With the help of Lu Yongchang. The Academy of Sciences quickly completed the redesigned task of all starships. Then. For the first time. Human civilization showed the strength of the infrastructure maniac in front of the silicon ray. Thousands of starship factories sailed out from the small universe. Stars and planets are like materials on an assembly line being divided and processed into various materials. Faced with this unprecedented, wholesale, starship manufacturing scene, the silicon ray and secor civilizations fell silent. At this moment, whether it is silicon ray or secor civilization, there is only one thought left in their minds. Fortunately, human civilization is not their enemy. Chapter 923, Qualification to Compete in the Universe When all construction projects were gradually on track, Lu Yongchang sent a tachyon broadcast to the Sekar Civilization and the Silicon Ray. Human Civilization, are you ready to leave the M87 galaxy? After receiving the tachyon message from Human Civilization, the Sekar Civilization responded with great surprise. Yes! While checking the manufacturing progress of the Neutron Starship, Lu Yongchang sent a message to the Sekar civilization. The research work of human civilization in dimensions has entered a bottleneck. Just like the 10th Reich. After internal discussions within the Academy of Sciences, we agreed that finding naturally occurring four-dimensional vacuole structures may be the only shortcut. Under the leadership of Lu Yongchang, almost all ordinary four-dimensional technologies have made breakthrough progress. But, Lu Yongchang still has no idea about the technology of dimension upgrading. After all, he can only be regarded as a 3.5-dimensional creature. Perhaps, after a long period of research, he can completely decipher the mystery of the fourth dimension. This is already a huge advantage in the entire universe. Except for the pastoralists. Currently only the sweepers have completely mastered the four dimensions through the four-dimensional cavitation. Other eighth-level civilizations may not be able to break through this final barrier before they find the four-dimensional cavitation bubble. However, Today's human civilization does not have that much time. In order to have sufficient self-protection capabilities, human civilization must find so-called shortcuts. That is the naturally occurring four-dimensional vacuole structure. Secker civilization was speechless for a moment. Does this catch up with the scientific research progress of the Tenth Empire? Although the Secker civilization had long anticipated this situation, they still did not expect that this scene would happen so quickly. The current Lania Chaos supercluster is not peaceful. The Sekar civilization tried to dissuade, except for the Virgo Galaxy Cluster. The entire Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster has fallen into war. The war between the Sweepers and the Pastoralists is gradually escalating. And they rush to other galaxies at this time. I'm afraid there will be considerable risks. Looking at the words in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang's expression did not waver at all. Of course I know. But, in comparison, the danger of staying where you are is the greatest. Is not it? The Sekar civilization could not help but remain silent. 
Maybe this is the gap between civilization and civilization. For most civilizations, staying in a safe zone and letting nature take its course is the best way out. But for a civilization with top development potential, doing everything possible to strengthen itself is the right way, as long as you are strong enough. The sweepers and pastoralists are nothing more than floating clouds. Dear human civilization, Kossal civilization is willing to follow your footsteps. When he saw this line of text, there was a slight cheer in the laboratory. And Li Yongchang also had a faint smile on his face. Since arriving in the M87 galaxy, this is the first time that the Sekar civilization has used an honorific title for human civilization. This means that human civilization has officially entered the top realm of this universe. Although it cannot be compared with old monsters like the sweepers and pastoralists who have been developing for countless years. There is no doubt that today's human civilization has initially qualified to compete in the universe. Earth calendar 15,000 years. Along with a powerful fluctuation in space and time, a large and stable wormhole structure appeared in the edge area of the M87 galaxy. Led by the human fleet, the Sekar fleet slowly sailed into the wormhole. As for the Silicon Ray, at this time, he was shrinking into the small universe of human civilization. What? In a hurry? How can a star bath be as comfortable as being on the road? Again, his 7th level civilization cannot keep up with the speed of two 8th level civilizations. In order not to hold back human civilization, the Silicon Ray is willing to sacrifice freedom and temporarily live in the small universe of human civilization. He really made me cry to death. When all the starships entered the wormhole, this distorted space-time structure slowly dissipated. The undulating ocean of time and space also returned to calm again. Naturally, this powerful space-time fluctuation did not escape the sweeper civilization located in the Quasar region at the center of the M87 galaxy. But they didn't make any move. On the one hand, the friction between the neutral faction and the pastoral faction is happening right in front of them. And they do not want to cause trouble and collide with the neutral faction at this critical juncture. On the other hand, according to the intelligence from the mother civilization, after the Black Hole Fortress and Quark Fortress were dispatched, the balance of the war gradually began to tilt. This large-scale conflict that spread throughout the Lania Chaos supercluster is gradually coming to an end. For this reason, the pastoralists sacrificed the lives of a large number of dimensional creatures. But the sweeper civilization is actually not much better they have lost countless ring cosmic accelerator nodes. This will directly affect the original plan of the sweeper civilization. As the final collision region of the Ring Universe Acceleration Project, the importance of the Lania Chaos Supercluster to the Ring Universe Acceleration Project is self-evident. At this moment, repairing the accelerator node has become the highest priority task after driving away the pastoralists. As for pastoral civilization, due to the coquettish operations of the neutral faction, there are almost no traces of dimensional creatures in the Virgo Galaxy Cluster today. Even outside the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, there are not many dimensional creatures to be seen the pastoralists, who have achieved the goal of destroying the nodes, have begun to gradually withdraw from the Lania Chaos Super Galaxy Cluster. After the war fell into a disadvantage, both Membrane and other members of the pastoral faction focused all their attention on the sweeper civilization. On the other hand, the entire pastoralists never expected that human civilization could advance to the 8th level civilization, master wormhole technology, and even build an 8th level civilization starship in just a few hundred years. Then, by chance, Human civilization slipped out of the Virgo galaxy cluster smoothly under the eyes of the sweepers and pastoralists. Earth calendar 15,500 years. After the maturity of wormhole technology, the speed of human civilization has been increased unprecedentedly. It only took 500 years for the human fleet to successfully reach the Shapley supercluster. The Shapley supercluster is more than 600 million light years away from Earth. This is the first goal of fleet navigation. The second goal is to rely on the galaxies in the Shapley supercluster to move step by step toward the Boody's void further ahead. Although the vacuum zero-point energy engine can directly extract energy, galactic matter is still essential to ensure efficient ultralong distance navigation. According to the plan, the human fleet will take a shortcut directly across the entire Shapley super galaxy cluster and enter the latest destination of the 10th Empire from the other direction the Boody's hollow. Then, the rendezvous is completed in the Boody's Void area. This is also the proposal of Sekar civilization. Facing the attack of the pastoralists, even today's human civilization is in considerable danger. If we act together with the 10th Empire, of course, he is no match for the pastoralists. But at least it can reduce the risk a little bit. In order to ensure the safety of the new thigh, Sekar civilization even launched a superpower wide-area tachyon broadcast again 
and solicited opinions from the Tenth Empire. As a fellow countryman from the Milky Way, the Tenth Empire agreed to this request without hesitation despite being surprised and pleasantly surprised. Chapter 924, Cosmic Monitoring Plan Ten years later, Earth Calendar Year 15510, an inconspicuous and nameless small galaxy on the edge of the Shapley supercluster. The fluctuations in time and space flashed by, and the wormhole appeared, and then quickly dissipated. In this short period of time, uninvited guests from afar have stepped into this unknown galaxy. The fleet composed of hundreds of starships is like a group of starry ghosts, quietly gliding through this unfamiliar starry sky. Only the ripples that continue to echo on the ocean of space and time prove the existence of this fleet. The hatch on the side of the starship opened quietly. A large number of silvery-white spherical self-splitting detectors swarmed out from it and rushed towards the surrounding star systems. Unlike previous interstellar probes, the self-splitting probe is equipped with a large number of basic production devices. Under the guidance of internal weak artificial intelligence, one, they can spontaneously find suitable planets and use nanomining devices to mine resources, thereby completing self-replication. Just like bacteria, ever since the human fleet left the M87 galaxy, this kind of operation has become a routine every time it arrives in a new galaxy. The fleet will sow a seed of self-splitting detectors. This is the product of human civilization, cosmic monitoring project. The plan was proposed by Lu Yongchang. As the name suggests, its ultimate goal is to spread self-splitting detectors throughout the universe to achieve high-precision monitoring and detection of the entire universe. The reason for proposing this plan is that Lu Yongchang discovered the shortcomings of human civilization in the ultra-large-scale wide-area tachyon broadcast of the Sekar civilization as a newly promoted 8th-level civilization. Compared with the old 8th-level civilizations in the universe, the biggest flaw of human civilization is not its own combat power, but the lack of intelligence network. Before mastering wormhole technology, even for an 8th level civilization, the battlefield and territory were still limited to one galaxy. But after mastering the wormhole, the battlefield and territory will begin to expand rapidly. This is a leaping progress. And it is also the biggest gap between the top 8th level civilization and the ordinary 8th level civilization. At this time, the established 8th level civilization that has been developed for countless years has a huge advantage their understanding of the universe far exceeds that of human civilization. Needless to say, the sweepers and the pastoralists, as the two oldest and most powerful forces, have an intelligence network all over the universe. As for the centrists, with the filling of a large number of civilizations, it is not much different. Even the Tenth Empire, with the support of the Silicon Alliance, has a good intelligence transmission network. In comparison, human civilization is like a young man who has just left the village. He is extremely powerful, but he is alone, except for a few galaxies. It can be said that there is no understanding of the surrounding environment. Once there is a war across galaxies, across galaxy clusters, or even across super galaxy clusters, human civilization may suffer a big loss. After discovering this problem, the Academy of Sciences began corresponding research work. At the beginning, Bong Su proposed a plan to develop subsidiary civilizations, just like the sweeper civilization. It relies on a large number of affiliated civilizations to solve the problem of intelligence collection and transmission. But, this plan takes too long, and is extremely unstable in today's cosmic environment once the war between the sweepers and the pastoral faction escalates. Even a seventh level civilization may be completely destroyed in just a few years. Lu Yongchan did not want to see the offline, who had worked hard to develop disappear into the universe inexplicably. Therefore, he rejected the proposal. Immediately afterwards, Tao Yudaw proposed a plan to build a large number of interstellar detectors. According to his assumption, interstellar probes would normally be in a semi-dormant state. Once a phenomenon exceeding the threshold is discovered, the early warning information will be transmitted to the fleet mastermind, zero, after passing the preliminary screening of one. In this way, the problem of zero computing power occupancy can also be solved. And the stability of the intelligence network has also been greatly improved. But, this still doesn't solve the fundamental problem. Not only is it time-consuming, but it also consumes a lot of resources. Build detectors throughout the universe. Even if there is zero human civilization, this plan is probably calculated in tens of thousands of years. Then, there are the third, fourth, and fifth options. After more than ten rounds of discussions, inspired by the Forsaken Zerg, Lu Yongchan came up with a bold idea of self-splitting detector. By building in a large number of basic production equipment, the detector can find resources and copy itself. 
thereby achieving exponential growth. It consumes little resources to start up and has extremely high expansion speed. It is simply the perfect carrier for the cosmic monitoring project. The only flaw may be the accuracy of the self-splitting detector. The detection accuracy of a detector made by this method is definitely not as good as that of an interstellar detector made by human civilization itself. But it doesn't matter. For the first phase of the cosmic monitoring project, detection accuracy is not that important. With the release of the detector, the complete picture of this unknown galaxy gradually appeared before the eyes of human civilization. The accuracy is very low. But it is enough for human civilization to have a basic understanding of this galaxy. This is an extremely small galaxy. Its size is not even comparable to that of the dwarf galaxy surrounding the Milky Way. The small Magellanic Cloud. It is precisely because of its small scale that the sweeper civilization did not transform it into a node for the ring cosmic accelerator. There is no ring cosmic accelerator node. And coupled with its own lack of resources, there is no sign of the existence of the pastoral sect here. To a certain extent, it is the place that Silicon Ray cherishes to dispose. Lack of resources and lack of external stimulation. Under the combined influence of a series of factors, almost all civilizations within the galaxy are below level 5. There are only a few level 5 civilizations scattered sporadically in the central area of the nameless galaxy. Looking at the overview of galaxies emerging in the holographic projection, Lu Yongchang shook his head repeatedly. What a poor place. Go to the central area of the galaxy immediately. After confirming that there was no danger in this galaxy, Lu Yongchan directly issued an order. Send Tachyon broadcasts to those level 5 civilizations. The purpose of Tachyon broadcasting. Needless to say, it's natural to let the other party know what's going on and don't disturb human civilization without being discerning. Similar to releasing self-splitting probes. Such a move has almost become a routine operation for human fleets arriving in new galaxies. In the name of the Silicon Alliance and the Neutrality Faction. Coupled with its own strength, the galaxies chosen are all remote. No man's land. You really don't want to say that. So far, human civilization has never encountered a civilization that does not open its eyes. After the small universe supplies are replenished, the wormhole will be activated again. The Tenth Empire is about to arrive at the Boadi's Hollow, and we have to speed up. As Lu Yongchang's voice came, the fleet began to slowly increase its speed, like a sharp arrow piercing the center of the galaxy.